Pines is a type of bean. <laughs> Comedy Bang Bang, we are back. Of course, we have Mike is here. Hey, yeah, of course, Mike? we have Mike. I mean, I, I'm sorry, and also Mike is here. Yes, yeah, absolutely. I mean, <laughs> we also have Randy Snuts, and uh, yes, you want to say something, Randy? Uh, what's going on? <laughs> <laughs> yep, in the immortal words of Marvin Gaye. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get it on and what's This guy Randy's a legend, yeah, I gotta absolutely. say. He he had two songs about going on. <laughs> Yeah, that's true. He also no, he, had, he had let's get it on and what's going on. He had two songs <laughs> about true. on. On, yeah, that's yeah. true. He didn't have too many songs about being off. No, how many would you say? <laughs> Probably zero, I guess. Can I wonder if Marvin Gaye has Oh, thank you so much. We also have Dagmar the Small speaking <laughs> about being off. Oh, Whoa! There she goes. Very Mary. Ah, very Mary. <laughs> And we need to get to our next guest. This is uh, this is someone we've never met before, so this is very exciting Ooh, to me. Oh, my seventh person. <laughs> oh, okay. Here we go. Well, I mean, even if we had met him before, you st- it still would be your seventh person, would it? Not? I didn't mean to apply that. You had not met that before, okay, Mr. Rockman. Sure. <laughs> but you said that you hadn't. <laughs> okay, well, he is a mystery writer. Yes, that's correct. I guess, Thank you so much for having me. Did I? Come and has in an interesting earlier? voice. No, uh, but I do want to say your name. Oh yes, thank you. Oh, I thought maybe the name voice. was a mystery as well. Bennett Quince. <laughs> Bennett Quince. Yes, Bennett pleasure Quince to be here. here. This voice. Yes, thank you so, so much for having me. A very interesting voice. You think it's re- it's close to other voices? I believe. I. <laughs> oh, it's that's a, a <laughs> tricky okay. area. Okay. okay, it's nothing I've identified with having a, an interesting voice. But thank mm-hmm. you so much for knowing. Have you ever been on uh, a podcast like this before? Maybe you've never heard your own voice before. Or a good. I never have. I've never listened hey. to my own voice <laughs> amplified through headphones. That's true. Oh, okay. Well, well, I'm a bit of a bit of a luddite. I avoid technology. Oh. Why is that? Fear, mostly fear, fear. and security. <laughs> like fear, like frightening. Like you're frightened by. What's it, the or? other category of fear? <laughs> uh, just you're afraid of the implications of it. Oh, you know? the consequences. No, yeah, it's exactly. very primal. Scared of shocks of being trapped, getting my fingers chewed up and mauled by devices. <laughs> I said, what the hell? So okay. I'm, I'm a writer, you know, pen to paper, long hand. So I, you know, like a I David E. Fr- Kelly. Uh, sure, I'm never familiar with those proper nouns. You're but never oh, uh, familiar with them? Picket fences, David Kelly? That's exactly right. So you do know who David oh, yeah. e. Kelly is. <laughs> Why did I go to? Yes. <laughs> when I hear picket fences, I think Tom Skerritt. <laughs> Okay, oh, here's okay. where it starts. It's another proper noun right. I'm not familiar. Wait, wait, you mean mash? Oh, yes, yes, yes. Oh, yeah, I know. So, anyway, I'm a writer. Technology's not my thing. I like mysteries. Is that part of your writing, technology not being? In my worlds, my fictional worlds that I create where I am a god, I none of the characters have technology. It, it, just it takes, exists or it does no, not exist? No, it is not. Okay. No, there's no iPhone. No phone. What's the, the most recent invention in Telegraph. your- Telegraph is the oh, most recent invention. But, it's, but it, the, the, they are set in a timeline where that is appropriate. 1975. Okay. Oh, okay. So still people have re- telegraphs. People are still receiving telegraphs. Uh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> what, did you, what were you trying to stop me from saying? I was anticipating a criticism that did not come. Okay. <laughs> what was that criticism? Well, you know, just sort I of may like, levy it at you right now once, once you tell it to me. <laughs> totally. I, so it's 1975. Everybody communicates by telegraph. But that makes sense. Okay. Because it takes place in rural Montana, ah. where the phone lines have not been installed yet. So okay, so okay. I'm sorry. It's by, okay by 1975, no uh, sorry, uh, Mr. Quince, if I may, by 1975, you're saying no one in rural Montana had a phone. Not in this particular rural Montana What's that the, I set uh, my I mystery yeah. novels Where in. you are a god. Was where the I phone invented after the telegraph, though? Because you said the telegraph was the most recent invention. Uh-huh. Never mind. All right, so... <laughs> Sometimes the logical parsing goes beyond my little Luddite head. Oh, okay, because you don't even like these things, so why are you even writing about I, uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, Yes, I stay away from it. Even, <laughs> even, even just the particulars of technology, it intimidates right. me. So, I, so is this Earth, though? Like, it's called Earth, or is this a different planet like Dune is, you know? I've got... Yes, it, I, it is called Earth, but it is implied that it is a subtly different Earth <laughs> where way upstream history took a different path. I see. How often it's never you... stated, mm. but... I assume that all my characters have three eyes, a third eye right in the middle of the forehead. Like that Twilight Zone. Yep, but it's yeah, never where brought the guy up. takes off his hat and there so it is. Jerk. How, how often in your <laughs> mystery stories, in your mid-70s mystery stories, is the planet referenced? Mm-hmm. 
Um, let's see. In my most recent one that I'm on here to promote, which is coming out next week, it's a holiday themed mystery. Oh, great. Uh, it is Fun. referred to in every sentence. <laughs> okay, every sentence. That's not good. <laughs> mm-hmm. Wait, that's sometimes bad like, writing, I gotta say. I don't think so. Is it sometimes just saying like uh the, you just know, say s- comma on earth, comma. Right, or the you earthling know. said. Yeah, I, the, I don't <laughs> could you could you possibly read an excerpt for us? Why don't I read the beginning this. of the book? Please. I'd love to <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Quince. Thank you, Mr. Okay. Quince. This, so I'm, uh, this, this novel, What's this one called? This is called The uh, Blood-Soaked Trail of Santa the Claus. Ooh. Oh, okay. <laughs> Blood-Soaked <laughs> trail. trail. Yes, it's a whodunit, and my editor trail. made the decision to oh. give away the answer in the title. <laughs> So Santa did it, or he's slowly dying, but and someone else did. But did the Claus do it? No, Santa did it. Uh, oh yeah, how was Claus spelled? Yeah, I didn't know if it was an idle hands situation. C L A W S. Idle hands. Is that a David uh, Kelly uh, TV show that I'm not familiar with? No, it is a Devin Sawa vehicle. <laughs> but, uh, was that spelled differently? Whereas I D O L. Uh, an I-D- I-D-L-E, I D I D L E. I right, believe. yeah. But why did you bring it up? Oh, I didn't know. It, he said he gives it away that Santa is the killer, oh, okay. and I thought, well, maybe there was a twist where it's just Santa's claws acting oh, without I his see. own oh, knowledge. Oh, okay. Like Would I D O L have made more sense to you? No, because she said uh, she thought it was spelled differently, like it was an idle hand situation. <laughs> right, I believe Mr. Mike brought that up. She was talking about the plots, and I thought C- she was talking about the title. C-L- Please, Miss Wall, do not call me Mr. Mike. I'm just Mike the, the janitor. That's all. He's just a simple guy who cleans things for a living. I just clean other people. People's filth and all I ask C L A W S was I I believe Mike's question. And then I was sort of positing maybe just the hands did it and Santa himself. Right, yes. You were talking about the plot, I was talking about the title. All he, right, he's I've, talking about me like I'm crazy, but it really makes sense. All right, sense I've got us I've got a song for your book. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh not something I you know, the book is finished, but uh here sure. we go, here we go. I haven't done the audio version yet, Santa which I will never did do. it. He did it and his blood soaked stuff is the evidence. Oh no. <laughs> Honor. Earth. Honor. <laughs> and we all have third eyes. But. Yes. My editor, my editor would like that. He said so that. So telegraph my... me Santa tonight. <laughs> it gets better and better. Good, I like how it song. incorporates a new melody at the end. <laughs> You know, but it's non Santa baby. Kind of a weird slam against Mike over here. I mean, I was I was wrapping it up. Yeah, he was right on. I yeah, he was right on pitch. It sounded right perfect. Pitch. I'm sorry, I thought overly scrutinizing every single thing that was said was the mode of the day. I'm so sorry for me to step out of line. What a freak criticizing a decision. Unlike you all, just letting well, it pass. Bennett, you're a guy we've never met before. We, you can't, can't we all Mr. know Quince, each other, Mr. Quince. Come on. Is is that, is that really so strange? This is a talk show, people coming on. I'm the only normal one. I'm coming on to promote a piece of media. Second mic, what's Look, your deal? Okay, I oh, he's disassociate. First mic. Please, Mr. Quince, I'm the I'm second first mic. I disassociate when I see shit. Also, I'm a plumber, and I have a 12-step Okay, process. and what's the logic of that being on a talk show? Do I need logic to live my life? He's advertising his business. Mr. Mr. Quince, if I may, it, it's not so much uh, that what you did was out of line. It's that you took a big, big swing, and you just struck a swing. <laughs> oh, I can't. That, that happens. I accept that. It happens. Well, thank you for the song. If I ever, uh, if I ever get around to doing an audio book, maybe I'll incorporate it. All right. Well, because I'm scared of that technology. Let's not wait any longer. Let's hear the first chapter of this book. The first chapter. <laughs> How about just the first couple sentences? You know, I mean, tell you what, two pages. <laughs> what a what a compromise. <laughs> the blood soaked trail of Santa the Claus. It was a cold day in the North Pole, comma on Earth. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Wonderful. Very good. When happy the Elf uh, scrambled up some eggs. Uh, I noticed, Justin, unless that sentence is not over yet, it did not mention Earth. <laughs> it did. It said on Earth right in the middle. Did I? Oh, I'm sorry. Was that? Oh, that was a comma after on Earth. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. I thought mm-hmm. it was a period. Mm-hmm. Oh, one, okay. I didn't forget my deal. <laughs> Where was I? Oh, yeah. Just a normal day, thought Happy, as he walked around, and then below him, on the planet Earth, he saw a blood-soaked body murdered by his boss, <laughs> Santa Claus. Wait a minute. That's how it opens. The very first sentence. <laughs> yep, end of chapter one. So oh, okay. I can't, so, <laughs> that's the <laughs> end of <laughs> chapter one. Very My easy. editor is like, you got to give him a grabber. You know, in today's audiences, they have no attention span, and I'm like, well, that's the problem with technology. He's like, well, yeah. you got to have a short So chapter. you very easily could have read the first chapter. I don't know why you were so yeah, why are you balking at it? It was only two he sentences. Well, I, oh, I just yeah. opened up the book to read, and I forgot we put that break oh, in. Right. Okay. Oh, okay. i got to say, I think that is a real grabber. If you were reading a book, a mystery book, mm-hmm. that in the first 
<laughs> couple sentences. There's a Give body away the murder. and a murderer. Yes. And then it's like, you next page, chapter two? Wow. I'm, I'm that's a yeah. wild Let book. me read it. I'm in. I'm in. Chapter two. Santa Claus, securely fastened to the planet Earth, was mid-coitus <laughs> with not his wife. What? <laughs> Big twist already. First <laughs> sentence. Betty... Quagmire. Betty Quagmire. A fellow great earthling. Name. That's a great like noir. <laughs> End of Wait, chapter so Santa's two. Wait, so an earthling? End of chapter two. Santa's an earthling. Yep. We make that decision. Mm. Why? Is he an alien in your well, continuity? Or? I mean, I guess he was like Thor, where he's an alien from another planet that no, we no, all thought was a, a just, god. He's just an overambitious human being. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, uh, really? Just okay. super productive. Now but immortal. Now the second chapter also is just a sentence long. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> At this point, as the reader, I'm thinking... Is this a children's book? <laughs> <laughs> this seems pretty grim for kids. It's just a fast-moving mystery story. How many, pa- how many pa- pages and how many Ooh, chapters? 140 chapters, uh, 22 pages. <laughs> 22 <laughs> pages. Wow. So they have multiple chapters per page. Yep. Sometimes they have multiple chapters a page. <laughs> this will be like the longest book I've ever read. <laughs> oh, okay. Randy, all right. Not much of a reader, are you? Not really. I mean, I start things and I set them down, and I've been criticized a lot for it. Anyway, continue. <laughs> You know Would what you set down this book, though, if you were reading it? No I mean, way. I'd fly through it because it's getting to the point, right? It's grabbing me. Every single chapter is succinct. Plus, it's reminding me that it's on Earth. No! Sorry. <laughs> My hands got caught in the microphone. Okay. Yeah, I guess How you shouldn't be even... around technology. Wow. It's just not, I'm not good at it. Can you, you know what? I like to read books by going to the last page. Reading the last few sentences and yeah. saying, do I want to Do you mind if we this? do this? I, yeah. mean, I'd love I don't to. see why not. Yeah. I'm also a weirdo. Let's Let just see how this thing lands. To the end of page 22. Wow. And so the mayor of Des Moines said to the people around him, all standing on the planet Earth, you were right. I'm a jerk. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Oh, so that's wow. the that's end. That's the, end. That's the end. end. mayor of Des Moines admits he's a jerk. But now to me, the fun is how did we get how to that get, point? So yes. you got to get yes. from Happy the Elf discovering a dead body. <laughs> Murdered by Santa to the mayor of Des Moines. And I don't know if you know this, generally a prideful person. Mayors, they don't like to apologize. They don't like to admit right. that they're wrong. They don't like to admit no. that they're so wrong. Despite Santa's murder or murderers, it sounds like the mayor is the villain of this story. Well, I'd see, he's the protagonist. He's got the emotional journey to go on. Oh, I on. see. Okay. From a non-humble, arrogant mayor to one who will admit he's a jerk. Is he the one in charge of the investigation or something? How does it he comes in into- very late in the story? <laughs> he's the <laughs> chapter 145. <laughs> earlier that page. Wow. The mayor of Des Moines enters. Here's what I think is, are, is a lot of my favorite this. detail so far, and I do think it's a critical part of the mystery we need to think mm. about. Okay, is that Happy the reindeer? Was scrambling. Elf. Oh, the elf mm-hmm. was scrambling up some eggs. That was also my favorite. That's part, an interesting part. I don't, my favorite part. I don't think of elves of having eggs. I don't think of them <laughs> making their own. Elves. About what they You'll eat love for chapter breakfast. ten. You'll love chapter ten. I'll really? flip right to it. Happy the elf. <laughs> he flipped right to it. Walked wow. about the earth. Oh yeah, I'm great at finding chapters. Mm-hmm. No problem. <laughs> what was I? Chapter ten. So you're bad at technology, but finding <laughs> chapters in a book because it's paper. Yes. You know, it's it's uh, it's an old technology. I feel comfortable. Paper, yeah. scrolls, uh, stone walls. That's the, the Declaration kind of, of Independence. I I would crush with the Declaration <laughs> yeah. of Independence. Yeah, tactile stuff. You're a hands man. I'd like to think so. Yeah, that <laughs> sounds incredibly creepy the way you're putting it. But I I, uh, I guess that's true. You write with your hands, don't you? I certainly oh, do. Oh, he's got so. you there, Mister Chris. Yeah. <laughs> yep, I'm wrong. I'm a jerk. I write with you're my hands. So defensive. <laughs> Am I? Are I, you kind of a? Are, is this mayor character kind of you? And you at the end of the book saying everyone's right? I'm a jerk. Is that just you? Yeah, it seems like yeah, you have I, a lot. You know, every book the characters are all a facet of the author. So yes, yeah. there's part of me who who needed to admit that he's Great. a jerk. Great. Now read chapter ten. Chapter ten. Happy the Elf, walking about on the planet Earth, helped himself to another <laughs> helping of scrambled eggs, fried tomatoes, a uh, couple of beets, squeezed pomegranate <laughs> juice, and hunk of ham. That is a that well was a that wild was a ride for me. That was incredible. Yeah. Not a single like, part of that list do I imagine an elf having. And so for me... <laughs> the juice actually I could see. Yes, for a moment I thought, if he says orange juice, I'm still out. But <laughs> but pomegranate with sure. the very small it's seeds and their small yeah, mi- whimsical exactly. hands. That's a superfood. Mr. Quince, when you say that he's walking about on Earth... Mm. <laughs> Do we ever narrow it down to a specific region of Earth? <laughs> yeah, that's Or is the I mean, Des Moines, left to wonder? I would assume. Well, Des Moines is very specific. In right. that case, we do know that Happy's in the North Pole. Okay. It's said earlier. On Earth. Oh, I do apologize. Uh, I didn't know so in this chapter, in I didn't know if he moved. In that case, it is okay. narrowed down. <laughs> All right. 
Why did but often we don't get any more specific than just saying they're on Earth. Why did is you? Is this one yeah. not in rural Montana where they don't have phones? Most of the action is in rural Montana. That's where my detective, who's in every single one of my mystery novels, he's is. the protagonist then, or uh, that, or or she, or uh, that. Oh, yeah. Who he's is sort the of the meta protagonist to cross? But just like some Sherlock Holmes stories would focus on, like Irene Adler or something. Mm, sure. You is that one of your the, influences, Sherlock Holmes? Never heard of him. <laughs> but I just, <laughs> that's, that's, <laughs> that's very strange. I swear you just mentioned it. Wait, so so you think? I don't mean to nitpick. I know that happens on the show. No, yeah, and and that's a big you, thing for you. you that? No, 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 no. I've never heard of Who are we talking about? I was incredible. I, I feel like you disassociated there for a second. <laughs> yeah. No, I've never heard of him. I don't know why I mentioned him. Mm. Or Irene Adler, who I don't know. <laughs> Wait, can, can we get a chapter that that mentions a telegraph going through or something yeah. like that? Yeah, sure, I'd love sure. to hear a telegraph. Yeah, we got to yeah. introduce this protagonist because I have no idea who Yeah, who's this person? The detective who's in all of my novels? Yeah, yes. is, there, is there a telegraph and protagonist detective? Is it like yes, a, I can. A Philip Marlowe situation. Yes, uh, I got it right here. Chapter Hercule six. Poirot. Watch chapter this. Six. Chapter six. No problem. Jack Reacher. <laughs> Deep in rural Montana, nestled <laughs> securely within the surface of planet Earth. Phew. <laughs> I, I've noticed you get it out of the way early most of the time. <laughs> a lot of commas. In because it, a lot of like sentences that. are like traps where if you save it till the end, you have no way out. Oh, I hate those trap sentences. Yeah, yeah well, you know, <laughs> since I know my readers uh, enjoy it, I like to deliver it early. Sort of like, also, I don't want to distract them too much waiting for it. Like a right. Hitchcock cameo. Exactly. Yeah, you know, you're always you're on edge going it, like, where is Alfred? So a lot of times. Jack relax. Ryan? Yeah. All right. No. <laughs> Would you ask Jack about Reacher. Jack Ryan? Well, Jack Ryan, he's, he's another one of those guys. Anyways, what, what, what were you saying? I forget. Chapter well, six. You just, sorry, Mike, you're just now chiming in yeah. with another, another character, protagonist. character from a series late. of novels. I okay. was a little late. Okay. All right, chapter six. Deep in rural Montana, nestled securely within the surface of planted Earth. We yeah. find, the surface. God, as always, <laughs> working more on a case. The surface, but Our hero, second detective, Boobs <laughs> Rins. Boobs Rins? Boobs Rins? Oh, second detective... <laughs> Second boobs detective rinse. Boobs Rinse <laughs> had another file across his desk covered oh, in blood. I never could have seen that it was a man. <laughs> wow. Boobs Rinse? He what ran to the telegraph. What a twist. Oh, this is a new sentence? And sent, yep. He ran to the telegraph and sent a message to his boss, who also lived dot, dot, dot. On Earth, <laughs> dot, 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 <laughs> chapter seven. Wow. Yes. Chapter seven. Wow, so I, I got to okay. ask you a question here. <laughs> sure. Boobs, rinse. Anybody what else part sweating? Of your, <laughs> <laughs> what part of your personality is, is boobs, rinse? I yeah. got to know. You said that this all came from your personality. Boobs rinse, is, uh, boobs, rinse is the confident part of me. You know, the swaggering, mm. kick open the saloon doors with both your yeah. knees, walk in and take over the room. <laughs> is a, man, a man who is okay with the nickname boobs. <laughs> is it a nickname? That's what I want to know. No, given name. Oh, given My name. Apologies. Mr. Quince. Not at all. Is it short for something? Yes. Uh, It is short for... Boobs Azingas. Boobs Azingas. I can see why you'd shorten it. Yeah, it Boobs Azingas. Boobs Azingas. Boobs Azingas. Yeah, it's a Welsh name. Uh, you know who I'm Boobs not going to I don't want to nitpick that. Yeah. Why did you get into writing? I mean, it, it doesn't seem like it doesn't seem like your thing. <laughs> you hate it. I just, I just took to it. You know, I won an essay contest when okay, I was in third You did? What was the essay that you wrote? The essay was Why Jimmy Carter is My Hero. Oh, okay. Yeah, I was, and you know, was, was like, he still in office at the time? Not or was at this, all. It was, was a couple unrelated. years ago. <laughs> I wrote this in 1996. Mm. Okay. But I had read about the um, uh, Habitat for Humanity, which is the uh, the charity that uh, former President Carter headed up, and I just thought it was great. Mm. And so I wrote an essay. My teacher thought it was wonderful, made it into the local paper, mm. uh, got submitted to a series of essay contests. Later that year, I was in third grade, I was editing the Paris Review. Mm-hmm. In and third grade? And I decided grade. to become a writer. Yep, that's wow. right. You know, a wow. lot of people the say- The Paris Review was taking a lot of Swings that year, <laughs> so they hired an, a third grader. They're like, we got to get some eyeballs. An American third grader. <laughs> yep, they hired an American third grader. Me, I put on. You know, it was an all drawings issue of the Paris Review. So you were not interested in writing then. You just did. <laughs> you did drawings. It's I did very drawings. rare for someone in our generation to not like technology, Mister Quince. Yes, I, I was. Uh, I was different than a lot of my generation. It's mm. true. I stood out. Uh, what can I say? Some people are different, and I'm one of them. <laughs> still hung up on boobs rinsed. <laughs> Were you in the shower rinsing your boobs and then you thought, I'm, I got some swagger right now with these clean titties. And then you said, oh, that's a good character name, clean titties. No, 
<laughs> Maybe it's boobs. <laughs> That's exactly it. I got uh, it. Wow, I you nailed it, Mike. I knew it. I mean, he takes showers a lot, so he's. I'm in the know, shower all the time. You're a plumber, yeah. is that right? That's right. Oh yeah, you 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 seem it. I don't, <laughs> I don't know what that on, means. That on, seems like on. a slam. What I just, is I, going I, on with you? You haven't met any of us. I don't know. I don't know. I've never been in an argument in my whole life. This is an interesting day for me. It's almost like you're coming for our next. I never knew meeting people could take such a turn. Yeah, you haven't met too many people, but sometimes it ends up like this. A true asshole just walks in the door. Ooh, I left. That sounds like the beginning of a novel. A true asshole enters. Sometimes it ends up like this. A true asshole walks right in the door. Unless you add on earth, it ends up. Like this, yeah. on Earth. Is this a, a sci-fi true asshole asshole not? walks okay. right in the door. Yeah, right this is, in the door. This is a good, good book. I'm gonna, I gotta write this down. Good, good book. Get out my scroll. My <laughs> oh, it's not even a pad. Dip yeah. my nib of my pen. Into <laughs> we don't need to hear the Hang entire on, it process. Doesn't do a ballpoint. Wait. Well, now Get hold on. Sarah I'm watching. Down, right down the beginning of this. Sometimes this is how it happens. A true asshole on Earth. On Earth, Earth. <laughs> oh, walks okay. right in the room. Gotcha. Okay. Okay. So is I it? Move, I moved the on Earth a little later. Yeah, I noticed, but you took some liberties with it. I, I, I liked it though. Well, I'm just revising as I go. All right. So do you have a plot in mind for this book, or because we were running out, we need to get to our next guest? Or let's say no. Do you just want to write it? While we, <laughs> tell you what, by the end of the show, I'd like to hear some of this book. I'll work on it. Thank you yeah, very okay, much. Yeah, okay. That would be great. But we do need to get Thanks to our Thanks for next having guest. me. Yeah. Of course. Uh, great to see you. Happy holidays. <laughs> and also with you. Thank you so much. And a very merry. Oh, thank you. You're not uh, as much of an asshole when you're being nice to everyone. Just like the mayor of Des Moines, I'm going through my own journey. Mm. Yeah, great. That's interesting. <laughs> All right, Enjoy well, let, let's get to our next cool. guest. We have to get to our next guest. Please. Uh, he is a cartographer, which we mentioned earlier is a map maker. Please welcome for the first time on the show. What a pleasure. And you're used to, did you do any uh, cartography reading up in order to just seem dumb? Haven't yet um, done that. Okay, well, if you ever have one on your show, this will be good practice. Okay, great. So I want oh, you in here. Okay, great. I will be here as Gillian Jacobs, co-host of Periodic Talks today. Yes, okay. Oh, well, we're okay. doing we're hosting competing podcasts. Great, great. Okay, great. <laughs> Two podcasts for the price of one. That's the way All I right. look at it. Hi, I'm Gillian Jacobs, Hi, and welcome I'm to Scott Periodic Ackerman, Talks. And of course, uh, each week we talk to somebody to from Bang the Bang world Bang of and STEM. Have, uh, and today, this is the show where we talk to interesting so people, humanities podcasts. Of course, we have a Cartographer on the show. Please Can't welcome to the show to for the first Henry time, Henry Sane. Um, hello. Yes. Wow. Uh, thank you so much, Scott and Gillian. Wow, yes. What a, what a thrill. Welcome to Comedy Bang Bang. Welcome yes. to Periodic Talks. Oh, I didn't expect that second one, but sure. Uh, the more exposure, the better. <laughs> sure. Uh, yeah. That's well, great. This, I, I expect this to air as an episode of your show, <laughs> by the way. Clip it. <laughs> just take me out of it, yes. and then it's just you. Quite easy. Wow. Oh, hey. Yes. Um, welcome to the show, Henry Sane. So great to meet you. Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm thrilled to be here. Uh, uh, listen, I'm going to be real honest with you both, if that's please. all right. I'm no, here. I expect full candor from all of our guests. So oh, please. good. I, I'm not a good liar. I have to be straight up. I'm looking for business. I'm oh. looking for business. Oh, okay. Uh, I'm a cartographer. I make maps. Mm -hmm. And yeah. as you might guess, in recent decades, map making is not we've, as in demand we've as We've been everywhere, once. you know? We've been we everywhere. Know? Everything's covered. Yeah, most maps are for places. Once you mapped it once, you don't need to do it again. <laughs> You really should have thought to be in a business where it has repeat business. You yep. know what I mean? Like I didn't think podcasts, about Gillian and I. Oh, it's perfect because we put out perfect. one a week. One a week doesn't tire us out at all. No, uh, it's energizing. It is energizing to be here. I've never heard of a podcast host getting tired or anybody <laughs> getting tired of it. So you, you right. guys were smart. But for you for making, making a it's map, bad. are you energetic the minute you you set down your pen and you're like map I done? Love it. I Did love you say it. something like that. Map done. Mm -hmm. Everyone has a closing phrase uh, in the world of cartography. I don't map. I wish I had map done. <laughs> Mine is map finito. <laughs> Someone else had map done. Another cartographer. Somebody, yeah, map yeah. done was who? Gosh, who knows? Probably yeah. Matt Magellan Dunn. had that. <laughs> Matt Dunn. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Yeah, a man named Matt Dunn <laughs> would have loved to have had it, and probably doesn't. It's um, a competitive world. You so you say map finito. Map finito. And is anyone around to hear this? Or? Never. Hmm. I'm alone in my room. <laughs> uh, it's a lonely. Um, well, it's your room. Um, who else do you want in there? Nobody, you're right. You know what I, I mean? Be what happy? about I should, an like, animal the, companion? Okay, but what's the point of Ooh, getting a room? I do have an animal companion. Thank you for asking. Oh, what do you have? Kitty cat. Oh, oh kitty cat. I, I, cute. I consider her a little familiar. Oh, yes. Mm. Um, like a witch's familiar. Like a witch, like an extension. Fear Street, 1666. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Uh, have you ever heard those words before? Fear Street, Fear 1666? 1666. I haven't. That'd be a great You've map never heard of any of those words? Ne no. Fear? 
Never. You've never heard of fear? Never. Hold on. Hold on. Turn around for a second. All right. <laughs> what is that? That's fear. This? <laughs> oh, I'm alone so much. I'm never startled. <laughs> My life is not so... even your kitty cat jumping on you. Oh, no, she's a sweetheart. Oh, she never would. Yeah, she never would. She's my familiar. She she Henry, cares for me. Do you know that I actually in real life named my cat after a witch's familiar from the Scottish play? I respect. Oh, thank you very much. Oh boy, <laughs> don't want to say that around here. Yeah, that's a superstition we have in the mat making world too. You're not allowed <laughs> to say that particular play. She's talking about me. Baby. No, don't oh, Scott. She's you like, blew it. Ben times and spit over my shoulder. Oh I've had my that gosh. feeling again, twice in one day. Uh, have you heard of the Melancholy Dane? <laughs> I have, yes. Um, you're talking about um, uh, coming up Dane with Cook. Dane, yeah, okay. when, his, when his brother Beth. stole all that money from him. I can't believe I don't know oh, any Danish what? people. <laughs> Map Beth. Map Beth, yes. Yes. Not bad. I'm going to write it down. Is that cat's name? I wish it was. My, my kitty cat's name is Lulu. Lulu. After the, after the British singer. After the British singer. To Sir With Love. That's okay. right. Yeah, she's, oh, my, she's nice. my favorite. Uh, Where my do you favorite. live, by the way? What's your address? Yeah, let's let's get more information Well, on that's you. very personal to find out a map maker's address, you know. Well, I just, of, it, it ties into an earlier question, so I'm wondering if you have an address, if you could just say it. We can bleep it if you want, but I just want to hear it. You just want to know what my yeah, address is? I just want to know what your address is. Yeah. I'm on 1,000... Mill Plain Road. <laughs> okay. Danbury, Connecticut. All right. Just wanted to see. Oh. You haven't heard of that word street. Okay, good. Mm, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> okay, good. Just wanted to see if I could catch you. <laughs> what if I, I almost walked into one there? <laughs> <laughs> laid the trap. Nope, I've never heard of Street, never heard of Fear, never heard of 1666. Hmm. Okay, 1666. Interesting. Interesting. Mm. What else? Well, I have a question yes. for you. Mm-hmm. Um, we're still finding out a lot about space, which I know about because I've actually interviewed an astronaut for my podcast, Periodic Talks. Wow, what a brag. Uh, yeah, thank you. And so why don't you start... Which part? The, her knowing a lot about space? <laughs> Just no, uh, having an astronaut on her podcast? I yeah, guess, yeah. I've never... No, I've had one astronaut Whom? on Whom? Who's that? I can't remember what his name was. <laughs> but it was about a... a a year and a half ago. That's going to be a bummer for that person. <laughs> You're an astronaut. And it's not enough to make people remember you. Why don't you map space? Yes. What? Jeff Bezos oh, I would love to. went I up would... there in a dang penis the other day. No, we're all flying so around in a flying dong. I know, I know. And, and I he's get... like, let's let's throw out our trash up here. You could be the first to, person to map love it. To map space, I would love to. There's no money in it. Who wants to buy a map of space? I'm 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 broke. I gotta sell oh. these maps. Which, which maps do you have? You have maps that people could buy right What now? I've resorted to since, like, <laughs> most things are mapped is I make personalized, oh. individualized maps. Oh, so it is I of like an this. area that technically they could find on an existing map, but I try to personalize it. I like it, this. Try to, like, mark things. For example, Scott, if I were to make a map for you, I could theoretically map your route to work. Sure. And yeah. maybe mark things that are Little of things of interest to, to me, like, like, oh, I like this restaurant. Yeah, or a restaurant this, you like. Or this is out. the place where someone spit on on me. <laughs> you okay, know. that'd be a weird one to include, but it would be personal and individualized sure. and then I could sell that to you and you might frame like that. This. That could this be sentimental a and it uh, uses my map making skills, but it uh, still has Gillian, a Gillian, where, where would you get mapped if you could get a personalized map? <laughs> mm, I, I like to do, what if you did like uh, someone's whole life? Yes, the every step they've taken. It could be. Yeah, we could start where you were born, mm-hmm. for example, and into a place where you live currently. We yeah. could mark things along I bet th- there. I bet there are babies who were born during iPhones with GPS that they know every single place that the baby Ooh. has ever gone. I, I wish wait. I could remember For that, that. generation, oh the gosh. map, the individualized maps are going to be so accurate. Wow. I can't wait. For for you guys, uh, question. I got to guess a little bit. Yes, uh, the, the, the woman in the corner. Is it important <laughs> that a map is... Accurate. Yes, that's a good what point. An interesting question. I'm going to say yes. <laughs> well, I've seen some like exaggerated maps of like the United States, sure, or, or like a New Yorker's view of the world. Yeah, where, like, all of New you York know. is big, and the rest and of the country everything is small. Very small. I love yeah. that cover of those New Yorker. enrage me. Oh. Oh. Those so are inaccurate maps, and their popularity baffles me. Why okay. anybody would like an inaccurate or purposefully distorted map? I do not understand. You like them Sorry to be, get so angry. Could, that's no. quite all right. We, Oof, I'm used I to. Like appreciate fear. the passion. We had the fear, yeah, yeah. Uh, on our end. But yes, uh, w- I'm so, feeling really 1666 now. Are are you accurate to in the sense of uh, you're to scale, but everything is exact, exact, exact? Do you do all the measurements yourself and everything? Yes, yes. It's got to be to the scale of the whatever that map is. Uh, what are not, what's the scale of a map usually? My personally favorite uh, one to ten. <laughs> one to ten. Mm-hmm. One to ten. So only <laughs> only ten times as small. <laughs> okay. These are big maps. Hey, that's how I like it. Most of my. Uh, 
maps. <laughs> the walls <laughs> These are just maps of the neighborhood. These are giant maps. Mm-hmm. They look great. <laughs> One to ten is a. It's really a. It's or really they're small a, maps of a very small area. Yeah, oh. if it's like a molecule or something. Ooh, yeah. yeah. Or what about you can make placemats? Like little kids like to have placemats, or maybe parents like educational yeah, placemats. Yeah, exactly. Kids. Mm-hmm. Gillian's pointing at me like I'm going to co-sign. So okay, yes, yeah. sure. You know. Okay, so like yeah, a, a map the size of a placemat, so the kid can be learning something while they're eating or whatever. Exactly. Like a map of their neighborhood, maybe where they're sure. allowed to go, where they're not allowed. Do you like to, to learn go. things while you're eating? Mm, yeah. Didn't you ever read cereal? boxes growing up? Cereal boxes? Didn't they used to have fun facts on cereal boxes? Maybe a little uh, game? I mean, occasionally I would look at the Wheaties box and figure out who won the Olympics that year. Mm. Guess I've always been more of an intellectual than you, Scott. Oh, I suppose maybe you are. Uh, we weren't allowed to read the cereal boxes in my house growing no, up. No, I had why? a very religious family. Oh, no, interesting. What and does we, religion have to do with cereal boxes? They just controlled, my parents controlled the information we were exposed mm. to. Anything that wasn't religious, you weren't able to They didn't want to partake? risk it. They didn't know what was in the back of these oh. things. They didn't know what sort of information. Yes, woman in the corner. Question, how do they then feel about you referring to your cat as a familiar? It's been, it's caused a huge separation. A my huge family. rift with your family. I really. had to basically agree to disagree and I, I'm not Are you so interested in, in witchcraft? Is that Very much. Yeah. <laughs> the dark arts. Uh, huge. Oh, so they're dark arts when you practice them. I only like the dark arts. Oh. Not the light ones, not the good ones. Okay. So maybe mm-hmm. there's an area here where you could make a map of something related to your interest in witchcraft. Done it already. Oh. Who would he sell it to? Himself? Yes, the, the trouble, the trouble, Gillian, and I, and first of all, thank you for the suggestions. I don't mean to be critical of them. I'm not making podcasts for me to listen to. I can't sell my dark arts. I thought maps. you are supposed to be your own own first <laughs> target audience. best audi- something. audience something <laughs> if you don't like it who's gonna what i have tried to do is to map the evil in people's souls i oh. like this okay i cast a spell of the dark arts with okay. my familiar lulu lulu perpetual is lulu kitten. here could we see could we do this spell could we practice it on gillian over here i, do I would happen love to have lulu here in my satchel a real oh. sue storm yeah, that's right. Is yeah. That, you should be Sue Storm, by the way. All right. I am. Oh, I, I thought you right. meant a Native American tsunami, but you mean the character from Fantastic Four. <laughs> yes, I meant the invisible woman. <laughs> how long Storm. How long have you been sitting on that since we were talking about it earlier? <laughs> holding on to it for a little while. <laughs> okay, good. Good to know. So you have, oh, here's Lulu. Yes, I have Lulu oh, right here in my set. So there she is. Lemon. <laughs> Now, Lulu is a kitten, but I have cast a spell to keep her in the kitten-like state forever. That was Gillian, by the way. I, the cat has been making noises, but then Gillian just went right into yeah. the mic. Scott would never make a cat noise beneath him. <laughs> yeah, Scott's too cool. Gillian, not at all. Not at right all. In. That's my brand. <laughs> yeah, this is Lulu. She's a perpetual kitten. She's frozen in this age by unnatural means. And I don't uh, know what any of that means. I yeah, I'm like Fear Street 1666. Yo, I, I have no idea. You don't know what it means. No, I heard the words before, but I don't know what they I've mean. I've frozen together. this kitten in her current age for the last twenty years. What? She is in the state of being six months old mm. for the oh, last twenty oh, years. Oh, you haven't literally frozen her in your in your ice box. <laughs> no, I didn't like. No, I didn't like. So, you Han didn't Steve Solar. Rogers her. Oh, okay. Two yeah. competing <laughs> Ted Williams Disney properties, though. Uh, oh, so yeah. we're on the same, same wavelength, universe, same uh, continuity of yeah, freezing okay. fictional characters. <laughs> mm-hmm. No, no, no. I have used the dark arts to keep her at the same age. Oh, okay. Boy, I would love to do that. What age would you be if you could stay at any age? Oh, God. Under 30, under please. 30, under 30. <laughs> <sighs> you know. I don't know, because sometimes yeah. like, sometimes you look back at old pictures of yourself and you're like, oh, I, I look way too young. Boy, I was just a baby or whatever. But like, if no one ever knows you get older, then people love it, love you at that age. I don't okay. know what I'm oh. trying to say. What, you, you feel, I feel like you have an answer to this question. Which age would you like to have been frozen at? <sighs> when was I the best? I think. <laughs> I had 27. 27? Yeah, that's when I was at my that's peak. A, mm-hmm. That's an athlete. Two years ago. That's an athlete's Two career year. Two years ago. I knew you at your peak, I can say. <laughs> yeah, proudly. You certainly did. Um, Gillian, what year would you pick? A four. Four. Interesting. Four. You, you would stay four. Four. Years four. Old. The rest of your life. That is a very interesting <laughs> choice. You you have the you have the ability to speak. You can yes. probably read. I was reading in three. I don't know when you were reading. I I was in Montessori school, which I really Although enjoyed. Your, your 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 brain still continues, so you would be able to do anything. You'd be having uh, adult conversations, but you, your body would stay at four. But you would be that creepy kid who talks, you know, like an adult. I was that kid. <laughs> <laughs> You're telling me. You're <laughs> still that kid. Hello. Now, using this kitten. Have we gotten too off track? <laughs> it's never happened to me before. Okay. <laughs> this, He's always on the map. I never get off track. 
I will now map the evil in both of your souls. I'm both of so her. excited oh. about this. So this could reveal sides of yourself that you might not be ready to learn. I, look, I'm, an, I'm an open book. Nature. Anything in be... my life is I'm, I'm perfectly fine with Gillian and the listeners seeing. So, OK, well, I admire that. I don't know if you feel that way, Gillian, but I do as well. Okay. This, this will not reveal like secrets or like gossip. This will just be your no gossip. Inclina- I, I'm afraid no, not. I'm afraid. No dish? XO, XO. <laughs> but you it should will... be her. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking give it to Chris and Bell again. She did it already. It's her gig. That's Give hers. it to Gilly. Give it to Gilly. Great hashtag. We need to start the give it to Gilly campaign. All right. Well, we got to focus. Narrow in on one. Which one do you want me to have? I want you to have Sue Storm. All right. Definitely. Okay. We need a series from Fear Street. Great. Give it to Gilly. We need a love reboot. Okay. Someone replacing Paul. <laughs> A Scott Ackerman, yeah, perhaps? Maybe a Scott Ackerman type. <laughs> okay. But who better, really, when you think about it? <laughs> give it to Gilly! I like hashtag this. Should we start? Okay, hashtag give it to Gilly. All right, go ahead. Henry, here we go. I'm now going to... Lulu, come here, please. And I'm going to lay out this parchment here. Yeah. Sorry, I have some parchment. Okay. Yeah. And now I'll just pour some uh, primer. Sorry, to get some primer on your <laughs> table. <laughs> now... <laughs> You are familiar with the seven deadly sins. What we will do now is gluttony, see. the Great rest, sloth, gluttony, and the rest. The gluttony is <laughs> the main one, <laughs> and we'll just see how, what, which, uh, what, what, like mixture of the seven deadly sins are each of you. Okay. What mixture? Oh, okay. So it's like forty-six percent this. It's kind of like a twenty-three me, but just like. For oh, okay, sins. great. Yeah, I love this. You know, okay. like what? What, is, what are you made up of? Yeah, you're, what you're evil. Your inner evil. What do we got? All right, Lulu. Yes, yeah. Which we we'll do first? We'll do we'll do Scott first. Oh. Holy shit. Oh my well, God. Why? What are you seeing? This is bad. Well, Uh-oh. Well, what's going on? Got. I'm assuming it's all gluttony, right? I shouldn't, no, I shouldn't. I don't know if I should. Do it. Just go ahead. Do I, it. it can't be that bad. It's, an, it's not one of the standard seven deadly sins. It's not Whoa! one of the seven? It's an eighth? It's itchiness. This is like, what? Your main sin is itchiness. You're itchy. That's a sin? Yeah, it's a sin to be itchy. In my family, it was. <laughs> You're itchy. I mean, yeah, you're like hundred percent itchy. Yeah, the, no, that that tracks. That's but gross. I didn't you. realize that, that's gross to you. I find that distasteful. So I what if itchy, I'm always itchy? I'm not scratching that myself. Means you're dissatisfied. You're fundamentally not happy with your physical state. It's gross. You're rejecting God's greatest gift to you. Your I body. didn't realize judgment came as a part of this. As Here well. you go. Your map of your soul. It's out of Thank my hands. You. Wow. Gillian. This, by the way, this you've you've drawn this on a, a piece of I can only call this parchment. Where did you get parchment? I mean, How we do just you have make like paper. Parchment? Like yeah, I make it. You make it. I make the paper How in do you my do basement. That? It's a long process. You got out of trees. Bark. Take the tree, I knock the trees down. I pulp it up. You knock them down. Just You're felling knock them down. trees. I'm <laughs> felling the crap oh, out of one them. One piece of parchment. Mm-hmm. I'm not I knock into them over and I go tree finito. <laughs> <laughs> to no one, of course. To nobody, all by myself. And does anybody hear it? Just me, Lulu. <laughs> Yeah, that's a good point. So, but, right. by the way, you've just drawn a circle, mm-hmm. and in it, you've just written itchiness. Itchy. Well, that's what it is. Yeah, um, Lulu and I have uh, have uh, found that to be true in your soul. Okay, hundred percent right. itchy. I hope 100%. you can live with yourself. Wow. You're a disgusting person. All right, Gillian. Wow. Yes. It's your turn. Okay. New parchment. Do do do. Do 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 do. New primer. Ba 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 ba. I love the song. The cards. songs you sing. Oh, thank you. They're cool. Yep. Ba-ba-boo-boo-boo. They're like they could be on the pop charts. You think so? Yeah, I think they're really cool. You think ba, 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 could be in the I mean, objects. the way you do it. I mean, this it's could cool. be a new career it's, for it's, you. You know, cartography. Well, I, know, I do. I love, I love singing. I mean, I've never. Do you, you, know, do you like did. rap as well? Yeah, of course. You know. Oh, I'd love to hear something here. What if well, I were I to go boo, 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 like to get, hit us uh, with a rap? I was going to drop a rhyme like yeah, on that. Yeah. I'd say. Um, <laughs> seems, <laughs> seems of my nature and uh, not dangerous at all. Let's. Here goes the routes that'll. Betray your soul. Mm -hmm. See if your evil is dark as coal. Betray your eyes. Reveal the lies. Mm. She rhymed again. And show your nature true as the devil. Ooh. He didn't no rhyme. rhyme. No he rhyme. didn't rhyme That's there. an artistic choice. Interesting. Interesting. It's an artistic choice. You're good, though, man. <laughs> you think so? <laughs> yeah. I mean, aside from, I mean, I would have rhymed maybe, done like you a- You would have done a rhyme? I would have done a A-A-B-B-A structure, Ooh, probably, but- uh, Like the bard. Yeah. Like the melancholy bard. Bum, and that's bum. my type, by the way. A-A-B-B-A. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, that's- <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> I don't even know how that's gross, but I feel like it is. Yeah, add a little sliver. Okay, okay. <laughs> of lasciviousness. Yeah, little lust on the corner of the itchiness. Okay, thank you so much. All right, Gillian. Your sin breakdown. Here it now is. Now it's time for a breakdown. Never heard of that. 
<laughs> um, oh, oh, holy shit. What? Oh, my God. This is bad. Oh, no. What is it? Just this tell me. So much worse than itchiness. Oh, I don't know. God. I don't know. This is worse, worse than itchiness? Oh, is it Lord. one of those? It's not one of the oh, eight? Hang on. Do I tell her? I don't even know this person. You got to tell her. She no. said it was well, cool. Maybe I don't need to know, Scott. No, That's we okay. need to know. No. Tell, yeah, maybe tell me. Tell well, me. It's too bad. Tell me, and I'll see if it's cool. All right. She floats. I heard that. Her sin is floating. I she, do not. She, she floats. She floats? I float? Like in a pool? Like if you, if I were like, to throw her in a pool? No. Or if she were to go in a pool? Oh, you mean like a witch Above floats? the ground. Oh. Like not oh, like, like Marty floats. McFly in Back to the Future 2? Like yes. Sue Storm. Yes. Does like, she float? No. Oh. Huh? I mean, Stepping she can make an invisible shield? bridge, you know, that she, she walks She could lift around. herself up with an invisible force shield. Okay, yeah. like Gossip Girl. <laughs> Wait, Gossip Girl, Gossip Girl has invisible force <laughs> shield? That's another give it to Gilly. <laughs> I love the reboot of Gossip Girl with invisible force shield. <laughs> OMFG. XO, XO. XO, XO. The invisible force shield. Yes, you're a floater. Oh! Like you're disrespecting pro- gravity Wait, in the ground. Now I'm looking down at her feet. <laughs> They're totally off the ground. <laughs> I mean, she is sitting, but uh, still. Yeah. Still, look at those feet. Just dangling. Re- you are rejecting God's second greatest gift, which is gravity. What's his first? Uh, but the body, the human body. Oh, the I human thought body it was like love, is gravity. Maybe. Now, love is like eight. Really? Uh, yeah, love screws you up. Love distorts. Love Did makes you Did someone hurt mad. you? What? Never. Oh, God. oh, no. Oh, Henry. Henry. Oh, Henry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I got rejected. We're having a breakthrough I here. I got rejected. By my whom? true love. My true love rejected Let's me. Let's get Anna. into this. Anna. Anna. Palindromic name. I know. It's what No I matter how you her. spell it. Any scale. <laughs> no, that's. Two, is that? two N's? One A-N-N-A. N? A N N A. Yeah. Or A N A. They're all palindromic. I mean, I guess if you were to do A N N A H, that wouldn't be. Mm-hmm. But w- which way were you thinking? Well, I have a friend. I can't talk about it. You can't talk about a friend? Nope. I okay. made a vow. Was it A-N-Y-A? Oh, the Anya? I, that's a different name. Or I think Anna. Anya. I think Anna, Anna, any way you spell it is yeah. palindromic. All right. Pal- Why can't Pal- you talk about your friend? Let's not talk about it. Okay. All right. We will not bring it up again. Yes, is- I was rejected by my true love earlier this week. Oh, just this week. Wow. Yes, just this week. What happened? Oh, my God. Let's go to a break. And when we come back, let's get into what happened. Oh, I guess we're going to a break. <laughs> okay. That's the trouble. <laughs> right. That's the trouble with two hosts. Two Anybody comedian can call I, didn't, I wasn't going to take one, but I guess we have to. Yeah. We'll be right back with more comedy bang bang and. Oh, periodic talk. <laughs> we'll be right back. <laughs> comedy bang bang. We are back here. Uh, Gina Lombardo is here. Uh, hit record. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you, you didn't hit record. <laughs> I'm not positive. I hit a lot of buttons. <laughs> You're not positive. That's good. Oh, I'm not positive <laughs> got that you're in the five percent i'm in the five percent so we also have cleopatra here uh yeah, who uh i guess a cleopatra frog hybrid yeah that's was right. it a famous frog uh the wb frog <laughs> oh really the double 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 wb double, double, frog? Double, 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 frog so michigan J. yes 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 <laughs> oh, okay. he's like one of the frog. three frogs i know so <laughs> yeah. that, that's a good one so <laughs> you you may burst out into song at any point at any moment <laughs> well <laughs> we'll be waiting for that <laughs> yeah. uh well it's time to get to our next now guest now i know why Cleopatra has a top hat and cane. <laughs> yes, that wasn't part of the lore. I didn't understand that. Yeah, so no, I didn't that quite wasn't understand. In any of the that came from the frog part mm-hmm. of it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, let's get to our next guest. He is a rope trick expert. Please welcome Idaho. Hello, yeah. Idaho. Howdy. Welcome. Glad to be here. Well, thank you for welcoming uh, us. Scott, you need a little help with that water? Whoop. There you go. Oh, there you go. That you lifted it up to my mouth. Yep, with my hands. Now, separate yes, from being you. gracious. Thank you very much. Uh, although I am chivalrous to a fault, I'm also handy with the ropes. You yes. Know, mind if I demonstrate? Did you bring some? Uh, not here. <laughs> oh. Do, ha- do you have any here? I yeah. Well, I, I have a large chest full of ropes. Oh, that great, we keep great. Just mind, mind if for I for such an occasion? Yeah, you here? want to know my first day of the internship? Scott Ackerman was like, "Look, let me show you the ropes," and he yeah. just opened up a tray. <laughs> He's you know, like, "Yeah." Because we keep. Yeah, in case there's a rope expert who forgot them. <laughs> Fan of the old wordplay, are you? Well, I yeah, am this too. guy loves this shit. Oh, it's great. I'm a I'm a huge fan of puns myself. Really? Uh, What's your favorite? My favorite is uh, rule of thumb, more like rule of guns. <laughs> All right. I don't know what you're talking I'm a fan about. Of that one. Write that down. <laughs> rule of thumb is more like rule of guns. That's All my right. favorite pun. So what is the <laughs> first? Might I just use one of these ropes here? Can I, uh, sure. Is, can I just help yeah, myself? Yeah, help yourself. All what right. is the first rule of guns when, uh, when it comes to rope tricks? The rule of guns when it comes to rope tricks is try not to 
uh, out. Try not to get into fights with people with guns. Got it. Okay. Yeah, you don't want to bring a rope gonna, to a gunfight. That's right. It would be like a day go to bring a knife to a gunfight. <laughs> well, I'm not going to endorse or even get near any I of your. I think I'm allowed to say day go. <laughs> that one I'm for sure. Yeah, yeah, well, <laughs> still, you shouldn't. <laughs> Um, yeah, I'm not going to endorse or even pretend like I heard any of the controversial statements that you're saying. Um, Smart, yeah, so, you try not to bring a rope to a gunfight. That's that's yeah. basically what that one. I mean, means. you can as long as you also have a gun. Sure, it yeah, actually I might. That's right. Yeah, yeah, it might Could, actually put I you guess at an advantage. Gun plus rope would be better than just gun. Yeah, gun plus rope beats gun. Beats rock. Beats rope. Yeah, but does not beat scissors. No, scissors. No, scissors is rules. actually scissors. that's even worse for me than guns. It's so, it's so goes, it goes scissoring gun rules. plus rope, then gun, then gun, yeah, then uh, uh, rock, then, then rock. Oh, no, yep, yeah, that'll be the rock. Then rope, then scissor. Yes, then no, paper. Scissors above rope. Scissors above rope. Oh, that's right. It can cut the rope. Yeah, yeah. I can't go near any. I can't. If someone's got guns, I'm so, out. And okay. if someone's got scissors, I'm double out. So if you don't have a gun, you can beat paper. If you don't have a gun, if you just have scissors? Yeah, no, no if, if you I have, have rope. rope. Yeah, if you have rope, can you can beat, beat paper. paper. But yeah. you can yeah, beat okay. rock with rope. Let me let me write this down. <laughs> uh, yeah, can you lasso a, a rock? Oh, uh, yes, you could, but is it any good? Yes, you'll, you'll defeat a rock with a rope. Okay, so rock oh. rock actually beats uh, uh, scissors usually. But I've rock beats scissors, with rope rocks. beats rock. But, but just rope like cannot, scissors, rope cannot scissors. beat scissors. Scissors, scissors beats, beats rope. paper, paper beats rock. It happens. You know? <laughs> yes, this is the dumbest beats paper <laughs> avenue we've ever gone down on this well, show. Me and my friends, when we try untrue, <laughs> when we try to make decisions with each other, it takes a long time because we yeah. have all these other facts. Anytime you want to get into a fight, are you taking inventory of what the <laughs> other person has? Involved, do you have paper? Like, do you I'm have... like, tell me what they got, so <laughs> yeah. I know what my odds are. <laughs> okay, gotcha. if, if everyone's got a rope, I'm in. You're because you're an expert. I'm an expert, so I'll yeah. probably come out on top. Okay, but if they have guns and ropes, well, I'm like, well, I got to have a gun. Right. Yeah. Because then, you know, hopefully my rope expertise will outdo their gun yeah. expertise. Do you have a gun with you right now? Yes. Okay. <laughs> but we, should, we should, should have we, metal I'm detectors. Not an expert in I this. also have a gun with me right now. Yes. Oh Jesus, really? I do too. They <laughs> gave not... me one right as I walked into How the did, dark yes. light. Do you know what they do? What? Do you know what they do? Yeah, I'll show you. Let me use a little rope trick on my gun. I'll just lasso it right here. <laughs> oh, sorry. Oh, sorry, sorry. That last part was a mistake. Oh, I, meant, I meant to whip it around. That part I had control. So you're not good with the ropes? No, no, I'm great with the ropes, but the guns, I'm all thumbs. My arm is Rule bleeding. of thumbs. You're all, rule of thumbs. You're all guns. Like rule of guns. That's what that yeah. means, which is I'm all thumbs when it comes to these guns. So you can only cock them, you can't shoot them. Yeah, well, with my hands. Right. Well, with my rope, I'm great. Here, here, let me try it again. Let me try it again. Oh, no. Here please. Don't point it. Oh, sorry. <laughs> that one grazed me. <laughs> my bad. I'm, oh. Idaho. Yes. You're a rope trick expert. Correct. Yes. <laughs> Tell us about yourself. Oh, yeah. This almost seems irrelevant now, but my main application of being a rope trip expert is uh, I'm hired muscle for crimes. Oh. Crime ah. gangs. What, like your Ocean's muscle. Eleven type heist you know, or so maybe sort of like mafia the, the enforcers muscle. or something like this. I haven't heard of them, but uh, what I try to do is I uh, talked about them on a podcast once. Well, I don't know what you're referring to. <laughs> I am available as like muscle. Fancy Dan. Don't know who that is. <laughs> okay, gotcha. I, I tend to associate with um, with gangs. Who each have a specialty, mine being rope tricks, for oh, example. I see. So I might be of use if you're robbing a bank and you need someone to go in and like lasso up with cameras, you know, and like whip oh. them off the walls. I could take care of that. Okay. Now, is and then you bring in a stick. lasso, or is it lasso when you're saying it as a verb? The pr proper way to say it? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Lasso. Lasso. Okay. You la lasso, lasso is a verb and lasso is a noun. Oh, when you okay. have so a I'm going to lasso you with my lasso. Right. Copy that. And when you have a way. very consistent uh, southern accent, <laughs> yep. it's easy to well, tell. Well, it's more of a western drawl. <laughs> okay. So it's like if you have a TV show, you can see sue it, but if you watch it, it's see so. Yeah. You can see sue it. Neither a of those apply show. anymore, unfortunately. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I haven't, yeah, I've, I haven't been here in nine and a half months. Uh, Cleopatra, yeah. have you seen any see so? Shows? What? Have you see sued any CISO shows? Yeah, did you watch? They uh, were on my list and then got scratched out. <laughs> They're kind of harder to find. Now. Yeah, you Flowers know, is great. <laughs> yeah, the UCB show I think has moved over to Stars, maybe. So, <laughs> yeah, you got to get the Stars app. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, so yeah, so I'm available as hire for like. Um, great. Uh, my my recent gang, everybody sort of had their own specialty. I was rope tricks. Okay. Uh, my friend Spoony was real good with spoons. Oh, really? He'd come in there and just he'd be able to like whip them spoons around and like. How would he whip a, spoons around? He'd, he'd like throw them? ricochet them off things. Oh, you know, okay. he was real good with them. Like pinpoint or, accuracy with throwing mm -hmm. spoons. Could he have thrown anything with pinpoint accuracy? I or suppose, did, but I never did saw he know him try. The, the weight of a. He's 
spoons. just seem comfortable with spoons. Yeah. And, and spoons would, might be like, you might want to learn spoons and then get to knives eventually. You can yeah, I, that. I, maybe that's where he's headed. Because I think One thing about d- gangs is you don't, you don't get personal with each other. It's sort right. of a code of like respecting each other's man. What was his name? Spoonie. Yeah, but what was his real name? Oh, I no. never learned it. Oh. Okay. Mine's Lawrence. Oh. But nobody okay. cares. I prefer Idaho. It's nice. Thank yeah. you very much. Oh, yeah. yeah, that was a sort of a self-ascribed nickname. Mm. You, you gave it to yourself. <laughs> yes. What else would that mean? <laughs> I, I'm just self-described. And I'm just. Uh, why would you do something like that? Well, I just you know Lawrence doesn't really have any sort of panache or sure. elan. Are you from you know? Idaho? But so you picked no. one of the most interesting states. <laughs> I'm not from Idaho. You're not no. from Idaho. Where I grew are you up from? In Central Connecticut, baby. <laughs> that explains I, the, the draw. You say well, baby too. Huh? You say baby too. <laughs> yeah, everyone in Connecticut says baby, baby. <laughs> but uh, Idaho, I, the the Northwest is sort of a mythical land for me, and I just wanted mm. to. I aspire to its kind of frontier values. Oh, I see. Never been there. <laughs> I this is around, also where I learned that Idaho's in the Northwest. Yeah, yeah, Idaho's in the Northwest. Sure, nestled right up there around Montana and Washington State. Oh, great. I've heard of those. Mm-hmm. Great, right, yeah. great country up there. Lovely. You should I visit. Suppose, it at I've some never point. been there. Yeah, yeah. It seems nice. <laughs> right. I mostly stick to gangs in Central Connecticut, Central Massachusetts, <laughs> Southern Rhode, Rhode Island, <laughs> uh, uh, Eastern Vermont, Maine. What about Maine? What America's Maine? erect penis. I never made it to Maine. Oh, mm. you got it. What'd you call it? America's erect penis. <laughs> Not Florida. Florida. Florida's flashing. the droopy dick. Oh, and wow, what a weird way to look at America. And Hawaii's jizz and Alaska's your ass with shit dripping out of it. <laughs> These are gonna Texas help. Is your, Texas this is forever. your scrotum hanging off the side of a bike seat. Cleopatra, is this helpful for you? Is I'm California like so an inner much. fat urethra that yeah, just makes uh, down? Yes, the... California's actually a thick vas deferens. Mm-hmm. <laughs> North Carolina okay. is the fupa. <laughs> What's that upper pussy area? Is you got to write this down, is Texas, Cleopatra. Uh, what, post, ba- post baby hips or something? Like oh, a broad, yeah, yeah. Like yeah, a broad yeah, ass. Yeah. Uh-huh. It's a big, thick, secretary spread ass. That's what it is. Mm-hmm. Anyway, I rob banks. <laughs> right. Thank you for and, uh, and I'm good at it. So if you need somebody, you know, I'll you're, bring... You're not good at it by yourself. You not need by, No, I need, need to other be part people. of a 12 or 13-man gang. <laughs> so like an Spoonie ocean... usually comes along. Spoonie's usually there, really. I, I work with Spoonie a lot. Do you guys team up a lot? Are your skills? set complimentary? Yeah, I'll usually like whip the cameras off the wall and then Spoonie <laughs> will kind of ricochet something off and, you know, send the deposit slips going crazy. Yeah. That distracts everybody. Can I ask you, have you ever done anything aside from whipping cameras off the wall? <laughs> Not you mentioned yet. that twice. I'm available. I mean, like, <laughs> usually at that point, everything else is taken care of. Safecracker comes in and he opens right. up the vault. Now, Flat- his skill set seems very applicable. He's to crucial. <laughs> if we don't have Safecracker, I'm like, we shouldn't go. Sometimes we've tried to rob the banks without Safecracker. So you get to I'll the get cameras? There, I'll whip the cameras. <laughs> Spoonie will rifle the deposit, deposit slips. slips everywhere. We'll get right to the vault and be like, well, we're out. I mean, this is it. We can't. Okay. Nobody catches us. So sure. it's harmless. Sure. We cause a lot of mischief. But without Safecracker, it's yeah. rough. Have you ever whipped a human being? To make them work faster? <laughs> no, I've never that, uh, used again, my ropes as Cleo, whips. No, I no, that's bull. No. Do you We're trying a... not to talk about but that. But what story. if you need yeah. to build a big temple to yourself? Yeah, a lot of people will <laughs> yeah. say that slavery is the only way to get through massive periods of growth, uh, but let's not yeah. get into that. Okay, okay. That, I suppose I could, like, lasso around them and constrict them and cause them to be uncomfortable until they did what I wanted. Right, okay. yeah. I've never whipped, per se. Do you have a bullwhip guy, though, on the team? Yeah, there's usually Whippy. We'll bring Spoonie <laughs> and Whippy. Whippy is, uh, he doesn't do a lot. A lot He's... of people have more obvious nicknames, and then you go by Idaho. Idaho, baby. <laughs> Here comes Idaho. Does it get a little confused? Do you always have to say, I'm Idaho, and then people, like, kind of look and at you? And then I go, I do rope tricks. tricks. Yeah. Yep, yep, I do have to do a little more explaining than everybody. <laughs> yeah. My Rope, friend, uh, Ropey might have been a great. Ropey would be good. Ropey's weird because it was a way to describe loads. Well, Ropey is another friend of mine who's... You can have ropey loads, you know? <laughs> ropey loads? Like when you oh, jizz like, sometimes. Jizz? Yeah, you can like shoot You're ropes. You're describing the shape of the oh, jizz? Dear. That's a Caesar roped. <laughs> a lot. <laughs> At two, Brute. <laughs> I think of Ropey as a description of a stream of urine more than an explosion of okay. jizz. Oh, yeah. Right, like a yeah. warm, drink ropey more stream water. of drink urine. Drink more water then. Okay, yeah. If it's like thick and viscous. <laughs> yeah. Do you not drink ropey. water? <laughs> not usually. What do you drink? Straight beer, baby. <laughs> Straight beer. Straight beer. <laughs> Straight beer. I don't Straight. dilute it. Straight. <laughs> no ice? <laughs> no ice. Give me that beer straight up. Well, let me pour you some water. Oh. oh here right we go. This wow, right is, near this is, the mic. Yeah, this is right in his well, wheelhouse. This is what he's rope. here to do. Whoa. 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 Sorry. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, okay, you are not good at well, these ropes. It's been a while since I haven't roped a camera. Yeah, how <laughs> long is it? If this was a camera, I would have been great with it. How long has it been since your last uh, job? 
Uh, we had a heist this morning. You did? Yep. <laughs> Wait, so you said it's been a while. Yeah. Oh, a couple I, hours. So you lose the skills? No, no, no. Like it's been a while since I haven't roped a camera. Oh, You've only okay. roped cameras. I've, I've been roped okay. cameras like all the... Yeah. So I haven't yeah. roped a bottle. Boy, it's been years. Right. So you, okay, so how was your heist this morning? How Drink go? straight beer and never really good. get to rope the... We didn't have Safe Cracker with us. We didn't have Masky. So it's going to be dangerous Oh, so you didn't have any masks Wait, is Masky in charge of giving you all masks? Well, what Masky does is he whips his hands quickly in front of our face, creating sort of a mm, blur. I image. notice uh, a common verb everybody uses. You whip the cameras off the wall, Spoonie whips spoons around, yeah. and then yeah. Maskey whips his hands around. Well, I'm not a writer. I mean, I don't know why you're attacking my word usage. Yeah, you know he's not mean? Elmore Leonard here. Yeah, I'm not know? like, I'm not the, you know, I don't like write the histories of the, of the no, you I, know, I, I'm not, that's not my thing. I'll yeah. rope it up. Okay, so yeah. I, I guess I got stuck on whip. Thank yeah, you, I think, Gino. I think your story has third act problems. <laughs> Well, so, we got a lot of critics here. Uh, you, you, once you graduated school, Gino, you became a real snob about words. A real, I, uh, real I was, Richard Ropey. I was just <laughs> wondering, everyone, everyone's whipping shit around. I just wondered, did you have a whippy? Yeah, we have a whippy guy. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. Yes, we did. Is, have that. Does whippy also? <laughs> and is, is he, he in charge upset of whippets? That everyone whips stuff. Yeah, I guess he gets a little jealous. He's like, yeah. "Whoa, guys, that's my thing. Yeah. Relax." <laughs> Um, so you, so you, no safe cracker today. We no, had no safe cracker today, no so masks. we didn't, we didn't finish. No masks, so we we'll probably so. have some questions to answer. Although I think we'll be able to just pass it off as mischief because we didn't actually take anything from the bank. <laughs> Although you know vandalism with the yeah, uh, the cameras off the walls. Yeah. They'll be so relieved that we didn't actually take anything. <laughs> <laughs> that that plays a lot into uh, sentencing strong, guidelines. Is relief. Friend. Yeah, yeah. What, cops, they, they think you rob anything. It's like when I would just. Oh, we were so relieved. Hijinks, the big well. <laughs> Yeah, you're almost like uh, Buzzkill at this point. Like a, yeah, it's like a disappointment. Yeah, or yeah. Buzz Lightyear. That's someone you should look up as well. Buzz Lightyear. I mean, yeah. Oh, and look up Buzz's girlfriend, Woof. Woof. <laughs> okay. After you've watched Full House and Fuller House, now, then you I can watch Are you a Toy fan Story. of those shows? Love Fuller House. Never <laughs> seen the original. I wasn't aware there was anything before it. I was like, a rich backstory to did, this complicated universe? What did you think the, the word Fuller referred to then? I, I thought it was like, like the Brian last Fuller? name of the characters. Oh, okay. Oh, you thought everyone's name was, even though I they're could, constantly why saying? Why you call it Fuller House? I was like, I guess this was originally owned by some Fuller company. Right, like an architect named Fuller designed the house. Yeah, or the Fuller brushes like or something yeah. like that. Yeah. I didn't know what was going on. Right. I don't know, maybe it'd be revealed in the last episode. I kind of saw it as a mystery. A lot of people don't talk about Fuller brushes brushes anymore <laughs> you know i find it a frequent interesting topic of conversation <laughs> fuller brushes you guys never that's had fuller a, brushes that's a thing that people used to talk about in the 70s perhaps they that... sold door to door uh <laughs> yeah. just a well-made brush kind. i think they're still relevant <laughs> put that on your list cleopatra okay. yeah, fuller, fuller brushes, brushes. Yeah. brushes. Fuller brushes. Yep. Uh, now, so who else is in the gang because i'm really enjoying oh. the amount of people because i'm trying to figure out when if if you, yeah, you who mentioned else is a needed twel- behind a, Safecracker and Man. You mentioned a twelve and thirteen member gang. Yeah, so. we usually got a, a guy named Flat Hands. Flat Hands. What his, is he? Well, his hand. This is a sad story. His hands were mangled mm. in a farm uh, machine. Okay. Of so they were undetermined cut, uh, nature. They were cut off. No, a, flattened. No, they were just flattened into like an iron sort of platter shape. Your guess for <laughs> Flat Hands is that his hands were cut off. Well, no, but I mean, you <laughs> mentioned from the machines. You sure, mentioned a sweet. farm machine. Uh, There's yeah. not really a lot of farm machines that are it, just it was like steamrollers. I remember it now. It was a hay baler. Okay. And it tried to bail his hands okay. into a square. <laughs> Oh. Now that's tragic because he has no articulation of fingers or thumbs. So did they like turn out mallets. like a two-dimensional square? They, they yes, he sort of flattened into a, a round, flat square, which are good like platter. A, a round like, square. Yeah. Well, I'm no writer. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what you call it. Circle plate. Oh, that's right. Yeah, plates. Plates. He's got like two plate-like uh, appendages. And what he is can, he good for? Hitting people. Because <laughs> he could, he could whip them things around, and he's got. <laughs> <laughs> so he, he's like he's paddling people in other yeah. words. He's yeah. like spanking people. Yeah, and he's better at punching people because his hands are big, flat. Pieces. Surface area is an underrated part of punching. Like well, you. Also, I would it's imagine hard for him to miss. Yeah, it's he a lot would, like a fly swatter too. You can get you know. Uh, I, I would imagine the wind resistance though would be bad for it. You know, yeah, he's, he not have... good, he's not good in a long arc situation. Yeah. <laughs> but just for quick jabs, flat hands gets in there and just like quick punches to the tellers, and they're like knocked unconscious. Yeah. Speaking of long arc situations, Raiders of the Lost Ark. You got to watch that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah there's yeah. that wordplay again. The, yeah. Okay. <laughs> right. Okay. You know, I've seen the arc. sort of. You've seen the. You saw the arc oh, of the, the covenant. Arc of the covenant. Yeah, I like hung out with it. 
hung out with this yeah, little situation? Me, yeah, just like I put my feet on it. We Whoa. were just hanging out and I was sitting down. You used it as just, an ottoman? We used it as an ottoman and put some drinks on it. Oh my God. Did yeah. anything ever come out of it? And uh, Oh yeah, some very scary ghost-like things mm. melted some of my friends' faces. But then I was fine. Well, I were was you not casual. looking at it? I wasn't looking at it. Mm. I was looking away. What were you looking at? Uh, Attila the Hun. <laughs> He was around? He was around. Your and lack of curiosity saved your ass in this situation. <laughs> right, looking right. in the ark, I think, is bad news. Yeah. Oh, yeah. What were you looking at Attila the Hunt for? Oh, my God. Like a, as a potential partner? He had those, v, that, that, those the, V's. Uh, oh, the right, high, the high, the high right, right above, right above the, the... Right above the... Yeah. yeah like had, Brad Pitt in Fight Club? He, yes, yeah. exactly. Oh, he had those, those V's, and I just I think, cannot... I, 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 think we call, I think they're called cum gutters. Yeah. <laughs> Jeez, they were in ancient Greece. I, I thought back then that the what was conventionally attractive were, was people of a, a more girth. Ew. That's sick. That's disgusting. I think Illinois and <laughs> Tennessee are. Make me Ew. Sick. I would have them killed. I'm trying Any to think fa- the, no fatties. All right, look. The cum gutters of the American states. I'm going to guess Tennessee and, Illinois, and uh, Kentucky. Yeah. The, yeah. Like the cum Oklahoma, gutters. Oklahoma, maybe? Because it's, it's shaped like one of those. On. Yeah. 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 Just geographically. Yeah. Yeah. This is yeah. no aspersions on the <laughs> residents. Okay, yeah. look. We have to take a break. <laughs> Comedy Bang Bang, we're back. Uh, and I'm sorry to say Scapegoat Smith is, is here with us still. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, maybe our... Uh, Next guest can help us with maybe. our maybe our workflow or uh, uh, or at least uh, our deliverables or something like that. But uh, he is a productivity expert. Please welcome to the show Jonas Kings. Here's my deal. What makes you such an expert? Here's my deal. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you're getting your deal uh-huh. in right away. Here's my deal. Hold uh, up. What is that you're holding? What makes you such an expert? <laughs> well, this is a pencil. I have a number two pencil right here. What makes number you such two? an expert? Yeah, this has to do with a. Well, I, it's a, I'm a, I guess I'm a Why self- number two? Are there any other, by the way, number two pencils, they, yeah. have, a, they have a lock on pencils. <laughs> they do have Trust a lock me, on pencils. Trust me, I've tried to get, like, number, tried one, to get number three. Also, number like, 1.5, yeah. number three. Remember threes? that Nelly song that was like, uh, two is not a winner and three nobody remembers? Of course I do. Like, I, sang I it am this number one. Yeah, you did? Mm-hmm. You say that to yourself every morning. You sang, Nelly. You sang it in the shower or on, on record? Which uh, and this, I did it in the shower. It wasn't like a deposition. I just <laughs> What's like your oh, I don't mean on, I, I mean on 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 like in a recording. Session. Oh no no no, it was amateur, just around my. I house. can make you a beat if you want a beat. Yeah, yeah. You, you had that beat you were doing before. Go ahead. Boots cats, boots cats. Number boots, one cats, is the boots, best, cat, and here boots, comes cat, number two. Boots, cats. Sorry, that was my approximation sorry, of the lyrics. Uh, yeah. First time I've ever fucking said sorry in my life. Um, <laughs> uh, I accept your apology. What's, uh, what's, what's, I don't want to say what's your deal because that's how you came Why in. are you holding the pencil? I love pencils. Uh, I'm a productivity expert. A lot of productivity is lists and items and to do. So if well, I, you must use the notes app a lot then, right? I've, I never do. I'm a, oh, I'm a gross. You're an no. idiot. You're an idiot. You're an idiot. Get in with I'm the times. Also, your pencil. Anti smartphone. Mm-hmm. Why? Why? What happened? What happened with it? Yeah. I mean, do you have any experience with them, or you don't? Like yes, the- I got my I got my life taken over, and I think a lot of people have this experience uh, where they they lose they spend too much time in their phones. Sure. And you, and you find yourself just doing screens all the time. So I've gone to a pure yeah. non screen. Scapegoat, what, uh, well, what's your sc- your average, your screen time a day? I average, average. 23 hours a day. <laughs> <laughs> that's too Very much. high. <laughs> Very 23 high. 23 hours. Very, that's almost as Last many week, hours my, as there are. My, my uh, use was up. 23 hours and 42 minutes. Re- oh, it was up. Oh, really? It so you were, you were. I averaged more, 23 hours. You were minutes. spending 18 minutes not on the phone today. <laughs> yes. Yeah. So what happened? You just, you just fall asleep for those 18. You must have the screen on in your sleep, I guess. Were you micro napping? I, I was micro napping. Yeah. Oh, okay. So that's the way yeah, to do it. I was micro napping. I just take these like brief naps, get enough energy, get a boost. Uh, and I'm, yeah. I'm back at it. Yeah. Is date- that good for productivity, by the way? It is. Uh, the, the the micro anything approach is the Except way to do it. Except for a micro dick. Don't want one of those. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Productivity expert. Productivity you, expert. We're what makes you such an expert, though, bro? Self-taught. Like, what makes you better than any of us? Just proofs in the pudding. Just helping people's lives. When's These the are- last time you actually had pudding, though? Uh, great question. Let me think. When did you have time to have pudding? Yeah. You know what I mean? Oh, you must I've be got, so productive. I've that... got lots of time. I'm a time management expert. So if I wanted, I could have pudding 40 hours a day. So There's you don't, not 40 you don't hours want... in a day. Oh, my God. This guy thinks we're fucking dumb. He's coming for us. No, no, no. Because <laughs> an hour is not just an hour of time. That's a common misconception. An hour is how much you get done. 
Oh. So I could get an hour's worth of things done in, say, 10 minutes. Whoa, so you're li- it's like you're living 40 hours a day. That's right. Because I have, you're getting so I much am done. I so efficient that I get 40 Whoa. hours of stuff done. You're getting what other people only get done in 24 hours. Do you get That's bitches, right. bro? Uh, I don't like any of maybe the words that you're using, but I okay, think any the sentiment. Them. Bro? No. Yeah, I bro just, okay. do. No. You? I don't well, like you. Okay, well, no. There are bitches, and then there are women. I and think there I really girls, don't like any of those. Do you get bitches, bro? <laughs> do maybe I like do. Do is okay unless you use it in doo doo. You and feel and you? Uh, the doo doo style from Ad Rock. What about you? <laughs> <laughs> Love Ad Rock's doo doo style. What? Okay. There are bitches, there You're are women. You're cool, by the way. <laughs> you think so? <laughs> See, I just wanted to say, wait, you have a very no, cool energy about you. Up. He's just, the way he's dressed, the way, I mean. X Factor? You're, you're wearing like a, a cool, like, like almost Justin Timberlake style fedora. Oh, thank you so much. Yeah, it's uh, very cool to wear this uh, this look. Have, yeah, you know, it's because I'm relaxed, because I'm not stressed. I got yeah. away from the phones. How do you get so much done? Well, uh, it is... Is you stay away from the phones, first of all. <laughs> sure. No chance. Get your list up. But actually, I'm in a place where I do one thing a day. What does that mean? You only What's one do thing one you did thing? today? Like, what's I that? I haven't done it yet. But you're, you're doing, not doing this. it right now? I'm but you're doing it. This. this isn't it. This does not count as my thing. <laughs> this is your Who thing. Who are you, the strokes? <laughs> no, I'm sorry. Giant drag. <laughs> Wait, what? This is, this is, is this it. it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, this isn't it. I'm not the Strokes. I'm not the first track on their album. It's hmm. a reference, I think. No, like, but this is something. Like, who are you to say this isn't something? That would be to dismiss no, me I, and my, yeah, thank my you. brother man over here. <laughs> thank you. What's your name? Stalemate? Scapegoat. Stalemate. Stalemate Smith. <laughs> Stalemate's my cousin. Really? Yeah, but we don't, we're done talking about me. Okay. We're done talking about All it, right, but right. I am going to interject when I feel the need because everything Seems I say like is, you're feeling the need quite a bit. Everything's important. Everything this comes isn't out of my thing. mouth is important. This isn't a thing because this is... Uh, this you got to feel that This way. is leisure. I'm enjoying this. This is something is I'm doing leisure? for... Is it leisure? Is it leisure? Like Heath Ledger? Heath I've always thought that now, word was pronounced it, ledger. Is, is it not it pronounced he, ledger? Is Travel and ledger? No, that's Sports and ledger? No, no. Leisure. Ledger oh, is leisure. ledger is is either Heath Ledger, an actor, or mm-hmm. or something that you write down. It, now, it's like the it, proto notes app. What is it Heath Ledger? Or is it Heath Ledger? Interesting, like Edgar, like Edgar Wright, like Heath Ledger Wright. J. Edgar Hoover. Yeah, oh, I yeah. learned about him in, uh, back in high school. Did you? Did you watch that movie, J. Edgar? No, I just like I I can't just sit still enough to watch a movie. Good oh, for really? you. <laughs> I have, yeah. I, have a, I have another friend who has a, a piercing in her butt that she's only able An to sit down piercing. for. Yeah, and her her anus is pierced, I believe. Why and would you get your anus pierced? I, I I have no idea. She worked at Claire's, but she could only sit for a half hour at a time. <laughs> she, worked, she worked at Claire's, so she got her anus pierced. Yeah. So okay. she, she, could, she couldn't see a movie. Blue Jasmine was the only movie she's ever watched, <laughs> which I, I wonder if it's holding up now. <laughs> I haven't talked to her in a while. The anus piercing or the movie? <laughs> or <laughs> both. I honestly. Wonder. Honestly, um, I would love to get my ass pierced. By the way, I I'll, do it, right, I'll do it right time. now. I'll do it right now. With, with, with his dick. I'll do it with my dick. <laughs> Tell me how that would work. If You're I gonna take a detached it, dick I'll and pierce a whole. It. Well, yeah, because I can sharpen it. At this point, I am able to sharpen it on the side of this uh, curb here. Like you sharpen. can, like a like on a whetstone. The, you're gonna yeah, like. The, it's, it looks like you're curb stomping your own dick right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. well, I just want to say, I, you don't need to mutilate your what? detached penis just to give me a piercing in my butt. If that's what you're, I don't want you to. I feel like once you do this, you're gonna lose some of the power. This is the insane. Deck and I feel bad. I'm, you're right. I'm not going to do that. I don't want to. I've kept it's this insane, but in. it's something you brought up unprompted. No, <laughs> no, it would be insane to pierce your butt with my dick. I think it's, that's right. Yeah, that would be weird. I think we There's got to be something better to pierce my butt with than your. <laughs> Why do you dick. want one? Just because I, mean, I mentioned it, or because you? Would that yeah, it be, sounds fun. I would mean, would that I, be your one thing? Sorry. Nope, it'd be leisure. The one thing is a is, oh, a, right. is a chore. It's a task. I see it's something you don't want to be doing. Exactly, it's something you have to do. They say if you can work doing what you love, then you never work a day in your life. Is I that... subscribe to that theory. And if you and if you spend your hours doing things that you love, you're not you get more hours in the day. I love being on my phone. So then, hmm. okay. So that if that's if that's joy for you, then that's that's not bad for me. It causes an almost immediate nervous breakdown. Okay. And so I what can't does one be on of your nervous phone. breakdowns look like? <laughs> 
It's crazy. Show I, me. I, I, no, 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 no. I don't want to have a nervous breakdown. Show no, no, me. No, 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 put a no, phone no, no, in his no. face. We're going to oh, put a phone in his face. 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 He turned into a two-dimensional cartoon. Yinga, yinga, yinga. This is a good song. Could I freestyle over that if you guys keep that? Yinga, 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 yinga. I've calmed down. I've calmed down. Okay, well, all right, whatever. I just make a song. I just, you know, the phone to me represents, you know, an unseen audience of critics. Yeah. You know, it's like, it's like I worry about what people think of me. I get do you, FOMO. Do you react that way to uh, just any phone, like Alexander Graham Bell style phone? Yes. Since, yeah, since the smartphone creates that reaction, now when I see like an old rotary phone, I also get the same feeling. Oh my God. Yeah, That's or a telegraph. Sick, yeah, bro. Morse uh, uh, code. Does that do it for you? Yes, if I see a telegraph. I'm Semaphores? Just like, I picture a bunch of guys with big handlebar mustaches criticizing me. So Dude, it's rough. That's yeah. a lot. By the way, you have a big handlebar mustache. That's yes, what's I so do. strange is like I love the look. you're are judging you, them. <laughs> can I ask you something maybe personal? Sure. Are you a white dude? Let me check. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So white, white, dude, white, dude. white dude to white dude to white, white dude. White dude to white dude to white dude. Yeah. We should say, we should change the name of the show white to, white to, to white dude to white dude to white dude. dude. I think we and could. maybe one woman. Well, we don't know. Maybe. Yeah, we could. We could. White but... dude to white dude to white dude and maybe one woman. I can think of many podcasts yeah, that applies that's almost to. A, that that should just be a genre of podcasts. Maybe one woman because we don't want to hear people's shit. That, is that <laughs> yeah. too long of a title? Anyway, I just want to say that like... I like get you, and I didn't oh want to like gosh. kiss me. Okay, <laughs> this is a slippery slope. This is and gonna I'm lead honestly, you to. No, no. So, I'm only doing the kiss me thing too to see if like you guys are brave because I know some people don't want to kiss strangers during COVID. I did feel I don't. I, know I was making myself vulnerable, vulnerable to do it. Yeah, yeah. It's I just came from a rager, a morning oh, rager. No. Well, I wish you had told me maybe before we kissed. Oh, right yeah. on the lips. rager. <laughs> Well, do what? you want to, would you do it again? If you I, I would, but I guess I would have, that, I would have liked to know that just so that I could be taking have the risk. all the information. Yeah. Yeah. Just so yeah. that. Yeah. Hey, all but, right, well, you hmm. went to a rager this morning. I went to a rager this morning. A morning party where like, what, what was it celebrating? It was in a warehouse. It was just celebrating Wednesday. Hmm. Like they happen every day. But, do you know how hard it is to Today's get? Monday. Why would they be celebrating Wednesday? Well, because Wednesday's coming. <laughs> okay. I like, like to celebrate Wednesday coming, early too. Like winter is coming. So is Wednesday. <laughs> Yeah, that's a good reference. And I'm just saying, never seen that show, but I know that reference. Hodor. <laughs> Do you know what that's? You've never seen the show. Do you know what the big uh, reveal on that was? Hodor. Someone's related to someone. I don't know. I've never okay. seen it. Yeah, interesting. Have you ever seen the town? It's not that much. <laughs> I have seen the town. You like the town? Uh, I think the movie shit. <laughs> okay. Shit. I've never seen it. Let's let's let uh, uh, Jonas. Jonas. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Name, right? I'm having a good time. Yeah. Hey. Um. Well, something I was thinking about. So a rager would not be a task because that's something I assume you enjoy. I did. Yeah. So under my theory, you still have your task left to do. Ooh. Like you. So, so here's the. I think people are so addicted yeah. to work. They work too much. We get too obsessed with our tasks, and so right. you, you have to restrict yourself to one. So, task so what a day. if what if um you worked at a job? Would you consider like quit that job? What if, if that you job loved makes your you job? Do, but wait, what if you loved your job? Then, then it's great. Then you could stay. Then, okay. you, then you're enjoying it. Say you're a, de- a pizza delivery person. Okay. And you love it, but you hate going to one house. You is, that, to... is that your task? Well, to you go to that one, one house once a day, right? Mm-hmm. That could be your task. So, okay, because the people don't tip you, or they they have a, a mean dog that barks at you, or they just subtly undermine you. I've done that to <laughs> delivery people. <laughs> can I ask you something? Do... You just make a can little I judgment. Ask... How do you subtly That's, undermine? You come to the door. You let's let's role play this. I, You'll I'll be, the, be delivery the delivery person. Yeah, okay. Yeah. And this will be my my boo, who's in the car with me. All right. Nice. <laughs> okay. <Sick>. Okay. <laughs> so we do do change our voices for this part. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah. Okay. Try try okay. try to make your voice slightly higher. Slightly high. higher. Okay. Here we okay. go. <laughs> Ding dong. All right. Come on. Oh, hello. Yes. Hi. I have your delivery here. Uh, I'm the, his boo. Uh, yeah, this is, well, the, we're on the outs, oh, um, but she, she's trying to get me back. And, oh, uh, you just say that to anybody, just hoping that they solve your problems? Okay, goodbye. <laughs> what do you say? Do, do you, you just say that to anybody? I didn't hear. Do you just say that to anybody? It didn't work, whatever he was trying to do on me. <laughs> yeah, didn't fucking, didn't fucking work. What if it did? Door back okay. open. Okay. I said, <laughs> you just air your emotional problems to strangers. You're changing the language. Yeah, I do, bro. What's it to you? Changing the language. Just seems like you're uh, out. You're outsourcing. Why are you in my your, face, bro? Just you're outsourcing you're your sure. emotional burden on people. This is, you you trying to embarrass me in front of my boo? <laughs> no, I'm his boo. Don't do that. <laughs> this is my boo. This is my baby. He keeps me safe. You guys shouldn't be together. Why? This is a bad couple. You're looking Why? to get a pizza in the face, pizza face. <laughs> what? Hey, I am sensitive about my acne. <laughs> 
<laughs> that's that's. Where'd that, you clean that, that, that up, be, babe? That I was a can't. low blow. Will soap and water, bro? Hey, instead babe, of all this a, oil. That's a low pizza. blow. That's a low blow. Sorry, Sometimes bro. it's hormonal. Let's I've talk. been to several dermatologists and they are baffled. You look like Katy Perry in that commercial. She's gorgeous, babe. Not that commercial. The other uh, commercial. Oh, okay, 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 okay. okay. I, that's an insult. I am very sensitive. You, you know what? Oh my God, he's turning into a cartoon. Keep doing it. I'm going to do a freestyle. I'm going to do a freestyle. Do your boom cats, boo. Dude, this sounds amazing. I was recording that and I just uploaded it to my SoundCloud. Just nice. Yeah. Your editing machine's broken, but you're able to release stuff to SoundCloud? Incredible. Have you been following me? How do you know my editing machine's broken? I was sitting here the whole time. I was sitting here texting when I got scolded. I'm still in the improv, bro. Quietly. Hang on a second. Yes. Wait a minute! You, the pizza guy, did you, uploaded Did you it to sweep SoundCloud? us without us noticing? <laughs> yeah, I, I tapped. Uh, I tapped somebody on the shoulder and asked them to sweep. <laughs> okay. Think, oh. All right, we're well, out. Of I it got now. confused. You you broke the reality of it. Yeah. I, yeah. My also, the expert did not wait for some big laugh to sweep at it. Yeah. <laughs> and you're not fucking razzing him. <laughs> yeah. You have something. I do just want to say you have something yeah. against me. I actually productivity expert. Yeah. I Jonas. like want to r- Jonas. Okay. Why wasn't it just John? You're asking me why the name that somebody else gave me wasn't just, just John? John? That's the thing is, is like, why two syllables for names? Like, one is enough. <laughs> you know, my <laughs> two parents... Two is too much. You my know what I mean? parents were overambitious. Yeah. They over t- building the lily. Overambitious. As the immortal bard once said. Bam. Overambitious. <laughs> Great. <laughs> nice. Good stuff. Nice. Great portmanteau. Mutter that to yourself <laughs> you next time you get into a relationship. Over and bitches, over and bitches. Okay, you over and bitches, just, bitches? No, I never direct it at them. I just say it. It's, whatever. So I'm, you're yeah. saying I think that people are taking it out on you personally? That people are yeah. coming at you kind of yeah, hard? Yeah, don't you feel like that sometimes too? Yes. Yeah, I that's do. what I'm saying. A lot of our guests feel that way. We get like it. they come on the show before they can even get their deal out. I can't imagine. Onto something else. <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm here. I want to hear about the product activity expert. What are your credentials? though like in a real way like where'd you go to school would you he, study he says he's self-taught i'm self-taught i did go to school but not but for you productivity. had to have gone to school like i did no, no way people yeah what are we talking pre-k no i went to the whole full bard all the way through full bard full board bard, 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 is actually full a bard. Woman, bard is a woman's school yeah what are you creeping around in the hallways of bard for think, what are you doing doing a bosom buddies dressing up like a woman and going to bard i think bard's co-ed although i did attend in drag but i think bard's a co-ed school <laughs> Simon's Rock Bard College, right? The Great Books Program. That, yeah, that, yeah, yeah, you're right. Sure. They accept, they accept men. Oh, I, yeah, but I, right, I went in right. drag. You just went for in the, drag just for, for the sport of it. Sport okay. for the thrill. For the thrill, yeah. How was that? It was pretty Thrilling. fun. It was kind of my thing, you know. The, yeah. You know, sometimes people did in everyone college, know? Did they f- figure it out like oh, yeah, right it was away? Or? Bad drag. It was because you still have that handlebar mustache. I, I had imagine. a handlebar mustache, not a feminine frame. I have a question. Sure. If you have a handlebar mustache and you're worried that people, a bunch of guys with like mustache. Dude, like, I say things wrong sometimes. It doesn't mean I'm dumb. Like, Should Hannibal well, Burris be called Hannibal Marstash? <laughs> Maybe, but it's just still too many syllables. <laughs> yeah, true. Anyway, uh, so if you have a handlebar mustache and you're worried you got this, like, room of critics who are, like, handlebar yeah. mustache people, is it like that you feel like you're your own worst critic sometimes? Yes, yes that's exactly I'm right. I'm deeper than people think. Thank you for understanding me. <laughs> I thought you were I, about that deep, though. So I, you, you, you so, till this. Also, yeah. I feel this is unnecessary, but I will say, in that particular moment of the conversation, I was worried about what, when I was looking at a telegraph, what I would worry about. And when I look at a telegraph, Morse code, I envision an audience of people with handlebar mustaches criticizing me. Yeah, yeah, but so, that's, you know, I, I, the yeah. audience is fitting to whatever the tele, to telecommunication device I'm looking Are at. Are telegraphs Morse code? Do they use Morse code to communicate the telegraphs? Or is it, you know, because you, you see it in old-timey movies yeah, where tap, the guy's tap, like tap, 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 tapping tap. on something. Are, are they they're tapping Sometimes Morse they're code? Sometimes they making beats. Yeah. The just, original have, Boomcats. Have you ever, Morse code. Yeah. yeah. It must be. I don't know what other way you could communicate with the telegraph unless like Maybe a little squeak or something. Saying, yeah, but then you problem. see those uh, stenographers in court and they got those machines and that's not Morse code. Oh, yeah, that's right. You've uncovered a huge conspiracy, that I think. That is weird. Yeah, interesting. Somebody's that's hiding nice. something. Weird. So in any case, do so one thing a day. Do one thing a day. Uh, people work too hard. They, yeah. need to own, they need to restrict themselves to doing one thing a day. That's quite important. Don't use any screens. Okay. Stay away from the smartphone. Uh, I've helped a lot of people with this. And, and then you're, you're successful? 
I would say yes. I'd make a cool $64,000 every Nothing. four years. Oh. Every four yeah. years. That's... Not too bad, though. Where do you live? Uh, currently on my brother's couch. <laughs> And you think you're successful? Sure. Are I mean, you able to use any other part of the house, or just you have to stay within the couch? It's funny you say that. I am currently uh, grounded uh, <laughs> to only stay in my brother's living Wait, room. Wait, does your but does he like literally punish you or ground you? Yeah, if I misbehave. Uh, <laughs> what did you do to get grounded? I undermined the family at dinner. I oh. made a lot of personal observations, and okay. he was like, "You're grounded." And uh, so, so yeah. you, you, so you basically are you? You're allowed to go to the door. I'm restricted and to the couch. Yeah, the couch has the. Bathroom? It's a living room as a bathroom, and there's but a door can, out. You can, you can go to the bathroom? I can go to the bathroom. And the bathroom is outside? No, there's an indoor bathroom, oh, and then. but I'm lucky enough that the living room has a front door, so I can still get in and out oh, of the uh, place. Okay. I'm not restricted to, like, a confined inner okay. room. Okay, all right. Pretty lucky. And how long have you been grounded? Let me check. Seven months. Seven, Seven that's months? That's a long time. Yeah. This dude doesn't well, I made not. a lot of personal statements about his wife and his oh, children. Like and I, what? I mean, well, I was like, this marriage is bad. You're bad for each other. What are you like airing your problems out on other people? What about, what about the children, though? I was like, you seem like you're never going to be anything good. You're inherently we bad. We come from you. Uh, so just their qualities, <laughs> not their physical appearances? No, I didn't. No, I never. What do his of, kids look like? They're beautiful. Okay. They're just beautiful little. They're just they're just lovely little. They're lovely little people. Really attractive. Not going to amount to anything. I don't think they're going to amount to anything. That one sucks. of them I think is uh, kind of boring, and the other one I feel like is a real pushover. Hmm. <laughs> mm. Runs in the family, I would think. I'd say. <laughs> I'd say. I'd say. Can I ask something that's Yeah. Like, hey, please. Uh, Sephamore. Sephim what's your name? <laughs> Sephamore. Sephamore. This is what I mean. Sem You're not taking me seriously. Sepultra? Sepulveda. Sepulveda Smith. Sepulveda Smith. I'm just kidding, bro. That was a joke. That was Wait, like no, who LA are you again? Because I my notes are right over there, but I don't want to lean over to look at it. Are them. you using the notes app? To, did you use your notes? <laughs> no, unfortunately, I'm just using a computer. Okay, well, uh, Scapegoat Smith. Scapegoat. That's right. Yeah. Scapegoat. What do you want to ask? You literally suck my dick and you don't remember my name. <laughs> hey, it happens. <laughs> okay, cool. <laughs> Can you remember the name of every single person you've been with? Uh, No. Hey, That's for sure. good news. I found a number three pencil. Whoa. Oh, whoa. Okay. What's Hang the on, difference? Gotta... Is that like finding a $2 bill? It's just as rare, I think. Yeah. Okay. What is the cool. difference between a softer two and a three? Softer lead. Softer, softer the higher you get? Yes. So one so is So why like, don't people use number one? Uh, it's too, uh, you, want, you want some give. Too you hard. Want some well, give. well, then why do they even make them? I think at first uh, people just weren't sure what they were doing with pencils and they wanted a range of options and then everyone kind of settled into the number two. Settled two's, in and said, uh, you know, two is the best. Two is it. Are, are there like sixes, sevens? I don't know if anybody Man, could I've push out, it that I've far. I've been out of the pencil game for so long, I have no idea. But I remember a number I, yeah, I don't a number don't one at some point. And a they number had, one and are, a number three. Maybe they're for art purposes? They three are for art. Like three smudges like easier, so sometimes it's better to oh. draw. Yeah, I took a drawing class. I just sat, but I, you I, did. I, I, but I wasn't you? able to, I wasn't good because my hands weekends? are soft. Yeah. yeah, that's what I, I, I took the class. And like did you do it like Mila Foot style where you were like... No, no. Like my feet are pretty, they're not weak, but they're not. They're you have strong like thighs. but very. The, thank you. Thank you. But you you, you so don't much. have prehensile toes? No. You can't no, grab things with no, them? No, I can't grab things with my toes. Mm, okay. Yeah. I'll yeah. kick people. That's brave with, of you to admit that. Them. Yeah. That's brave of you to admit that you can't Thank you. You're with the first toes. person to ever say anything nice to me. So I wow. don't think that's true. People have said nice things to you right in front of me. Yeah. I think if so, you had a pencil that was number seven, yeah. that would be so soft it would just be like liquid. I think it would just yeah, be like, pouring out of the. Oh my God, you should invent liquid pencil. You'd be like Mike Nesmith. <laughs> oh, I'd be rich. I love it. I could use it. I'd love you to do it. it. Liquid pencil house. on liquid paper, that would be a dream. Would that be like gel pens but pen for pencils? Or no? Uh, I think it would be like even even more than gel pens. Like I think gel pens Literal still have liquid. some Well, some liquid pencils would be paint, right? <laughs> Whoa, we what? just invented paint. <laughs> oh, I could retroactively claim ownership Maybe. of paint. Well, yeah. A number seven pencil would just be just be like goo coming out Gooey of the pencil. Yeah, would so you want to go into like, business with us as the bubble yeah. blocker too? By the way, yeah, 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 the the text bubble blocker. Sure, I'd love it. As long as I don't have to look at the screens, yeah, I'd love what, to be involved. What are your What are your uh, suggestions for us in order to get this off the ground? Because we, r right now we're in beta testing. Beta. Well, I'm, I'm an we, alpha, but we are in beta yeah, testing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, we're I, definitely we, both alphas. Which Which aspect feels weird to even say beta testing? Honestly, <laughs> like, literally, let's just call it alpha testing. Yeah, let's just call it alpha testing. Alpha yeah. testing. We're right. alpha testing it right now, which means we've come up with a name and yeah, the idea. Yeah. <laughs> and what, what was the idea? The bubble basically blocker? like. We don't want anyone to know that we're typing on text, so we uh -huh. want those bubbles to be blocked. Yeah. And for our text just to come up so we don't have to use the notes app. That'd be first. An, an incredible uh, an incredible invention. 
Yeah, it would be. So how do we get do it going, want, yeah, bro? Bro, since you're such an expert. Yeah. Yeah. How do I get it going, bro? No, how do <laughs> no, we no. get it going? No. Yeah. Bro. No. Yeah. Don't try to match it's, our it's energy. Like, okay. You're, how do I get it going? You're bro. obviously not an you're alpha. You're not an alpha. You don't have to pretend to be an alpha. If you're anything, what's C? Seda? Data? Is a D. You're a data from you're, Star Trek Next you're, Generation. You're, you're, what? Yeah. No way. I'm a wolf you're a all the way. You're a total data. No way. I'm an anything. You're a data cuck. I'm not a data cuck. I'm a wharf uh, doer. I wouldn't even. I wouldn't even give him data. I would be like Feta and yeah. not the cheese. Yeah. You're a Troy. Yeah. What, you're Deanna a Troy? No, you're a, you're a Will Wheaton, even worse. Worse. What, just a couple seasons? Come on. A couple seasons and then people go, oh, he's too annoying. Get him out of here. <laughs> no way. I'm a super wharf or I'm an extra number one. You're not a wharf. You're not going to the spinoff. You're not going to DS9. Right. I like this guy. I'm down to go I into like business. I like this guy. With, I'm yeah, down I want, to business yeah you want to go into business with this guy? I'm about a create. pager for remote control. Yeah. So, okay. like, if your remote control, if you want to use it, you need to page it, and it gets back to you and calls you. <laughs> <laughs> so, if you want to change the channel, you page your remote you control. Your remote at control. some point in the future, it gets back to you and lets you know if it did it or not. I feel like we're doing our other show right now. No, we're not. No, we're not. No, we're not. Because this is a not. This. This. I feel like this idea. This is, is a different. I feel like this is a different show no, somewhere. No, this is idea. This idea is bad. This is not. This is a bad idea. Oh, bad, okay. Bad. All right. That works. You, why did you bring it up if it's such a bad idea? Because sometimes your worst idea. Have you ever like come up with a TV show idea and it's like no. you're <laughs> editing? <laughs> I wish. <laughs> Other people come up you're, with them and I put my name on you're them. Ed, you're <laughs> editing. You're editing your own ideas and then you discover the idea you think is bad is actually low key good. Whoa. Oh okay. Gosh. Is that productive? And that's. I asked yes, the productivity I, experts to try to reel him into the conversation. I'm gonna have to mark this down also as my task for the day because now now you're not enjoying it. <laughs> I'm not enjoying it, and we're engaging in in work, like a chore work. Yeah. We're okay. starting a business. Well, what do we call ourselves? What do you think of it? Um, white guys. <laughs> the, th the three white amigos. The three white <laughs> Perfect. Yes, if I heard of the company called the three white amigos, I'd be like, let me in on that. That sounds like a good <laughs> company of good people. That sounds like white, good things are going the down. The three white amigos. I like We're it. In. If anyone's got a problem with it. I can't wait for the IPO. It, we can put a little thing in the notes app. Yeah, we'll do a notes app to apologize we, for it, but it'll be too late because yeah. I'd rather ask for forgiveness than permission. permission. And I think the stock ticker could be WYWYWY, like Y for a male yes. chromosome. Yeah. So and then, like, and then uh, the upside down uh, what, Y, mm -hmm. right? The Spanish Y. Oh, I love that one. Yeah. So Y, upside down Y, Y, upside down Y. The Spanish Y. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. We're in. The three, three white, white amigos. amigos. The three white amigos. Love it. Yeah. She. I mean, th that's definitely in our podcast. I I really hope our next guest is white. <laughs> I hope so. We'll find out. We have no idea. He's uh, he's in the other room right now, so yeah. we have no idea if he is or not. Is but... this like Maury, where they say so and so's in the other room, and they cut to yeah, just like just like uh, a room soundless uh, dressing room cam, dressing room cam. Or yeah, the, yeah. And we're also going to find out if any of us uh, are the fathers of any of the rest. And of us. we're also going to find just out just as a service. Yeah, no, yeah, I, we, we do uh, DNA testing as we walk the in. Fathers, here. I we could also maybe in between this take COVID tests. Because I did go to that rager. Sure, yeah, okay, yeah. we'll do that during the break. Okay, so we need to take a break. <laughs> Comedy bang bang, we are back. <laughs> we need to get to our next guest, if that's okay. Yeah, uh, of course. And uh, I, I hyped him uh, a little bit uh, before. This is exciting. You're a, you're a sports uh, fan. Uh, somewhat, yeah. Somewhat. You know, I know you baseball liked and baseball football. and football, but yeah. uh, you know a little bit of basketball. We know the swishes, of course, yeah. and, and the squeaking of the shoes. Um, and, uh, he's a coach of that sport. So, uh, lots, lots of questions I can think of. Coach of basketball. Of basketball. Yeah, okay. exactly. Uh, please welcome, uh, Lewis Green. Howdy. Thank you so much for having me, Scott. Howdy. Are you from the South? Uh, yeah, I've traveled through there. I, I try, I like to pick up. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> you travel. You're not. Yeah. Yeah. When I said you're from the South, yeah, you said yes. I grew yes. up in Northern Maine, uh, but I have traveled through the South. N that is the tip of the America's highest point. Erect penis. Yeah, it's, it's that's what really we call it. That's on Canada. the that's on the license plate. <laughs> the tip of America's erect yeah, penis. Some people call it Southern Canada, but on our license, if you come from the northern ten percent of Maine, all the license plates say the tip of America's erect penis. Just the tip. Yep. And, Boy, and David, you're from America's droopy dong out there in Florida. Yeah. No, no, Georgia. <laughs> so oh, you're I'm, from Georgia. Uh, yeah, I'm. Uh, 
I'm the pubic bone. Yeah. <laughs> right. Or oh, the prostate, maybe. <laughs> if we're going to go. <laughs> no, the prostate. No, the, the butthole is uh, out here in Los Angeles. Because yeah. if you really look at the United oh, States as a, as a silhouette of my, a person standing to the side, yeah. you have the butthole in L.A. Mm. So the prostate, I guess, is maybe Colorado Barstow? or Arizona. Oh. Yeah, somewhere in there. Yeah, it would be. I would go with. Las Vegas? Actually, Colorado might be exactly where it is. It, yeah, yeah, it kind of looks like one in a way. The prostate Colorado. of America. The prostate of America. Yeah. Anyway, you're from. So you're from. Tip of Maine. The tip of Maine, but you've traveled through the South. And what I have, I like to pick up little colloquialisms. I like to absorb and be open to the trends. Of, and how do you, something that you had not read in books or anything, mm-hmm. you just picked it up as you were going? I had through? never heard the colloquialism, boy, howdy. Or just boy howdy. howdy. So I noticed you hadn't said boy howdy. You said howdy. Originally. Bring, I'm sorry, I'm coming in hot. <laughs> uh, yeah, howdy. I'd never heard of that phrase, and I was uh, in a diner in deep Tennessee. Mm. T- Tennessee's the south. Yes. T- Tennessee's in the south. Yeah, deep, deep Tennessee. And when you say deep deep, Tennessee, Tennessee is kind of a yeah. flat state, dead so center. It's like a. It's, yeah. it's the. Uh, well, it's the frying pan of America. Yeah, deep well, wait, dead now center. We're, we're switching up our. Metaphors yeah, I guess here. we are. So what is it on a body? It's uh, kind of the, maybe an upper lung. Uh, Ah, no, well, it's it's bottom it's def- rib, bottom rib. Well, okay, if the bottom penis is out, we know yeah. where the penis is. We know where the butthole is. Bottom but rib. The penis is the whole East Coast. <laughs> it depends on where you are in the flaccidity of of the penis. Yeah. Um, when America's erect, Tennessee is a bladder, I guess, or maybe the uh, when when America's erect, Florida is the ball sack. And when it's drooping down, Mexico is the ball sack. I don't really know. Oh, you know what? Florida would be the. Um, uh, what do you call it when you have a tail? Uh, uh, vestigious tail? Yeah, vestigious tail. Okay, I guess that's if, like, America if, turns around if that's to the, face, uh, turns to the other side. Yeah. 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 Okay, yeah. Also, it doesn't have to be vestigial. It could be uh, an enhancement, uh, you know, like people are getting body, body modification all yeah, the time. Sure, so, yeah. yeah. I'd love a tail. Yeah. Why are you here? Uh, yes. Um, <laughs> uh I've come here, and I, I'm taking advantage of the show's open-door policy to, to ask for work, and I apologize for taking advantage of the audience. I'm, out of, I'm an out-of-work high school basketball coach. Oh, you're out of work? Out of work. Oh, and okay. I'm, I'm currently between jobs. Did your high school close, or were, are fired, you no longer employed? Dishonorably. Oh, I like your optimism that there's going to be another job. Thank you so in much. Between jobs. Oh, I appreciate that. I take that as even a, in this field, yeah. can do spirit. I yeah. take that as a, a non passive compliment. <laughs> so you were fired dishonorably. What does that mean? You you Scandal. were your your conduct was dishonorable, yes. or they the 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 way they fired both. you both both. I was I acted dishonorably, and then also the manner in which they dismissed me was also dishonorable. <laughs> Although there's no penalty for that. <laughs> How does this work? So what was your conduct, if we can just start there? Well, let me just, in my defense, I would never hurt a child. Okay, that's, that's a the, bad start. It's not, it's not going to get worse than there. This is going to be all right. Everybody take Okay, everyone's all right. Yeah. We're not going to be. Trigger warning only in, in your worries. What, okay. What, I'm not going to. Your a conduct weird, was. Said, ne- I never have hurt a child and never would. Never would. In right. any way. Okay. But I do care about winning. Okay, okay. if I'm guilty of anything as a coach, I care about winning. Okay. Right? And I'll, I'll admit to that crime. Okay, that's not a crime. I care a lot about winning, and when it's on the line, my passions run deep. Sure, not a cr- still not a crime, uh, but we could get to the crime. What I do sometimes to motivate my players is I make them sing karaoke a- to be hmm. vulnerable, to be open, to do something they're not comfortable with, okay, to push them out of their comfort that. zone, and I push them hard. To, to, I, to the singing? To the singing. Okay. And I made a boy sing Bohemian Rhapsody. Oh, that's a hard song. He wasn't ready. Hmm. And he was bad at it, and I humiliated him. And for that... You humiliated him after he was bad I at it? I brought him to the pep rally and made him do it in front of the school. <laughs> after he was already bad at it? Yes. I said, you want to be a center on this basketball team, and that's how you sing Bohemian Rhapsody? I brought him out in front of the school. He had come from a pretty traumatized home life. Oh, I guess we don't have to get into the no, exact it was nature bad. of it. But it was bad. Some bad so, yeah. Okay. And I knew about it. And, and I, you, knew, wait, you knew about it? You knew every I detail? I thought this would – sometimes I think – Were you in conversation with his parents about this, or yes. he, had, he had confided in you? He had confided in me, and the parents had separately confided in me. I was holding a lot of secrets. <laughs> okay. But I thought – sometimes I thought – Sometimes a little tough love is what people need to wake them up. Sometimes tough love can be respectful. 
Sure. You can be like, I trust you to handle this. David, with your upbringing, you had a combination of tough love and easy love, as I recall you talking yeah, yeah, to me about. Yeah, it was called teasy love. It was a, a teasy love can be the worst. I mean, it can be the hardest. And that was a really good TLC song, as I recall. Mm-hmm. Teasy love, yeah. Yeah, it's a, a seaside. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's not you included. To, it's like you, you know. had to turn over the record to the B side and then turn it over again and it would somehow appear. Yeah, it was like a Jacob's ladder type yeah. thing. And then the C D would click over and Right. Yeah. That's what CDs originally stood for, by the way, was C sides and D sides. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Exactly. So now you uh, tough love with this child mm-hmm. making him do something he's not adept at in front thought, of the entire school. And I thought he would rise to the occasion. And he did not. And he was terrible at it and, and, and ridiculed. Ridiculed by? It was a performing arts high school. And they, <laughs> wait, uh, wait, wait, wait. You taught at a performing arts high school? I taught basketball. And you thought making these kids sing would be outside of their comfort zone? It sounds like basketball is outside of their comfort zone. These were the only kids who couldn't sing. <laughs> okay. So these were the... a requirement to be on the basketball team? Were they getting scholarships to the school because they could play basketball, but they yeah. couldn't sing? They were being brought in for their athletic ability. Oh, because What's they wanted question? these trophies. Uh, was that a requirement to... To be able to sing? To... Uh, no, was... Uh, Dave, I've, I've, David's lost in the... Yeah, in, 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 it's yeah. a complicated backstory. It's very complicated. So you taught at a performing arts high school where they, they would give scholarships to children who were good at basketball That's in right. order to win trophies for the school. That's right. And these were the only people, uh, the the only students who didn't sing. That's right. And I said, that's 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 baloney. You're Bo- singing. You're singing. So you yeah. and, and these students who are adept at singing and quite good and almost uh, want to be professionals at it. Yep. They took that uh, opportunity then to make fun of the basketball players. I mean, this is they were I, ruthless. I, Those I, kids were creative in their barbs. I'm sort of on these kids' side. I mean, growing up as someone who was ridiculed for not being good at sports. Yeah, it's it's a it's a it's a big f- uh, flipperoo is what we call it. Yeah. The technical term. Yeah, so, I was so glad you said it. I was about yeah, to say it because it's a flipperoo. Yeah, the big flipperoo. I wasn't. I felt that they were coming from a bad place. But I did think that this kid needed some tough love. Right. So I thought it would be to a good end. Were you also making fun of him after it happened? Yes, during. During? What yeah. were you what are the kind of things you were shouting at him? You call that singing? You 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 wimp? You wimp. Yeah. That's you, not incredibly hard. Uh th- this kid took it hard. He took just being called you a wimp. You call someone who's been an athletically adept his whole life a wimp. He's not ready for it. Wow. Yeah, I guess I'm not never sure heard he'd it. heard and the term. How did he react to a um uh, I mean, no, no offense, but a sure. frail, weak, mm-hmm. uh, kind of middle-aged, mm-hmm. dumpy yeah. kind of yeah, guy. Yeah, not kind of. Those are accurate. Yeah, they, I mean, I usually don't like to talk about a guest's appearance, but since it's come up and you're throwing the first stones, yes, uh, I don't even think you could throw a stone. Your arms no, are I like can't. the They're, sticks that we were talking yeah, about earlier. My arms but how weak. did how did the this uh, athletic? I'm not kid, a physically dominating presence. Yeah. Uh, how did he react to that? Uh, I would say the what, what I registered on his face was surprise and then confusion. Right. The, he went through Dabda, the stages of grief. Yeah. First denial. Yeah. And then. Um, um, then anger. Oh, right. And, and then, then betrayal. Then betrayal. No, no bargaining. Bargaining. Did he okay. try to bargain with you? Yeah, he did. He said, which didn't Please make Please take sense. it back. Well, he's just like, have this notebook, which I, that's what he was going through. He was through. trying to barter. Yeah. Instead did of he barter. sing it or did he say it? Did he stop singing to say that? Or he was sung it? He was in, in a high. He was locked into a high falsetto. In Bohemian, Bohemian Rhapsody. Rhapsody. And, right. and then he, he said, the, um, take the, please take this notebook, sang please it. Please take then, this notebook. And I was like, "You, what is that? <laughs> right. And I'm flailing my little arms. Right. <laughs> like, and then he did, Then he went to the next D, which would be uh, what's after bartering and bargaining. It's uh, What's the acronym? We've, uh, DABDA. We've already done uh, DABDA. Deni- yeah, denial. Are you from the South? <laughs> That's DABDA not a colloquialism. Like a southern, you don't need to pick it up. Right. Uh, I can't remember what the, the second D is. I might be saying De- Deceiviousness. Deceivious. So we went through deceiviousness where he was trying to hide his Yeah, he wimpiness. became crafty. And then acceptance. Yeah, then he was all right with it. Wow. But his parents weren't. His his parents were there. The parents, the same parents uh-huh. that, that put him through this terrible home life. That's right. Wow. They were making fun of him as well. They were big theater people. Their big theater. So they were so disappointed in their son. Well, they finally got him into a performing arts high school. You know, that was that had been their dream. Right. Yeah. Wow. And they're I'm, I mean, I, I know I grew up a disappointment to my parents oh, for yeah. being Me in too. performing arts school. This is the biggest of flipperoos yeah, that I can the, think of. Yeah, it's a big flipperoo. Yeah. Wow. So so I was fired for just for that. That's right. Because so far you've said nothing against the law. 
There's no, there's no, there's no there's, crimes. They, they would not be able to prosecute a crime under the current, the current, the system. current laws. Yeah. If, if new laws get passed that are very specific, some of these new rules I've I heard could about. be in trouble. Sure. I could see why you'd be fired though. I, uh, it's the school's prerogative. Sure. Um, yeah. Any sort of conduct. I mean, no shirts, you know, no shoes, no service as far as I'm concerned. When it the comes principal to called me exhausting. The principal said that I was a complicated man and too much to deal with. Too and that much I brought to too much exposition to the high school. And too, he was upset with me. Too much exposition. Uh -huh. Wow. That was the term he used. I think he was a, a writing background. Oh, he right. saw most things in an essay context. He, he saw everything in screenplay structure. When he yeah. fired you, did he say, yeah, this, he is, said, he this said, is your we, second we open on, We open, yeah. He said, this is your uh, belly of the whale. Wait, right. was your principal Sid Field? Yeah. Whoa. Like, wow. Before he fired me, he made me buy and read that <laughs> goddamn book. No. And it took me took me forever. I had another season of coaching because I, I took forever to get through Sid's book. Wow. Right. Oh. And I, I liked parts of it. I'm not saying it wasn't totally helpful. Right. Boy, was did, it a Did slog. you do that like uh, three or four day intensive? Yeah, like, I had to go to a seminar. Type of yeah. This is before he fired me. I had to go to like. <laughs> oh, so boy. he kept you on the hook saying. He kept me on the hook. Just, Finish this oh, book. Wow. Go to this seminar. Oh. I finished a couple of screenplays, which are OK. <laughs> what are they about? One of them is about a man who becomes the Empire State Building, which what? is wow. I thought was a great arc. I guess Transformers is stupid in the same way, just like robots stupid. who become cars. Whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa. Yeah, we, sit down. A, a, so, sit down. My arms are flailing like crazy. I, I, I want to go back to this uh, idea. So he becomes the Empire State Building. So the did, Empire did, State, State Building didn't exist? Section, or is, it didn't exist previous did, to this? In this is universe, there's no Empire State Building. Oh, New York has no skyscrapers. Alternate history. Yeah. Oh. No, why would it have no skyscrapers? Skyscrapers, like what's the limit? No Five one stories? had conceived or? of it. No one. It was just like, no one thought they could build that. Just high. like people used to think you couldn't go faster than Mach one. Right. Or the so plane so would in this world, are there fifth floor was seen as something? There was no building in America. It'll just than topple five over. Floor. Yeah, architects were too scared to try it. Uh, Frank Lloyd Wright in my movie is a complete coward. <laughs> he's um, a, oh, he's yellow. Yeah, he's wow. yellow. Are there still like ten million people in <laughs> yeah. New York? <laughs> yeah, uh, the city takes up much more space. Wow. So, yeah. so this, how does the person become the Empire State Building? He's then? an architect. Okay, and he's that doesn't explain to, it. Oh, well, he, he gets, wants to defy the rules. Sure. He thinks he can do it. Does he get bit by a radioactive Empire State Building? Something very similar. He uh, he goes into space and is showered by cosmic Empire State Buildings. Oh, okay. That's, okay. A, that's a, a small flipperoo. Yeah, yeah. So then he goes back down to Earth, lands in the place where the – does he land on the fifth floor of what would have been – the Empire. So is the Empire State Building it, actually five, five floors? floors <laughs> there is a building there that is five stories high. Right. Yeah. Um, and so in this yeah, alternate called, world, yeah. the Empire State Building is it's five taller. five stories taller. So that is a completely different. That's alternate completely world, yeah. different. Yeah. What, and does Sleepless in Seattle still? Do they meet there at the end? Yeah. Or? They they come there and they just kind of climb. They go up a couple flights. <laughs> And they just sort of shake hands. And they, they go have up a, a when you say go up a couple of flights. What do you mean? They go to like the third floor of the Empire State Building. <laughs> oh, this is before the man becomes. In my movie, the first act contains the movie Sleepless in Seattle. <laughs> Wait, on an fast abbreviated forward? version. An abbreviated version. Oh, okay. A montage. The Cliff's Notes version of yeah, Sleepless in Seattle. Yeah, just let's go through the quick beats of it. And do, and do you hope to land Tom Hanks in this movie? That or was, I mean, in the screenplay, I said I I said Tom Hanks. Non negotiable. Because when you were. Sid told me that I could be aspirational in my casting to help work out the right, story. Right, right. That's one of his big rules. Yeah. <laughs> wow, so, and then, then what's the other so screenplay? I, I <laughs> the other screenplay. You said you completed two. Yeah, I just, no, I would love I, I to did, know. For some reason, I don't know why. I said I did two. So I, um, <laughs> one of them, a man becomes the Empire State Building. The other one is about a garbage man okay. who falls in love with. With uh, garbage? With garbage. Whoa. And uh, and he does, and it's a workplace romance. They say don't shit where you eat, but it's uh, forbidden. The garbage man union tells him first day that you can't do it. What? So does he enter into a sexual relationship with this it's garbage? It's a hot or? movie. Oh. It's very erotic. Is there like a West Side Story type element? Romeo and Juliet, yeah, Capulets yeah, and Montagues. Wow. The gar they the love is true. What piece of garbage is it? Do you remember? I mean, yes. of course you remember. Of course I remember. I spent a long time writing the screenplay and I worked it out. It is a crushed Heinz pickles can. 
Oh, a can really? of pickles. A can of pickles. <laughs> I, but crushed so flat? Like, just dented on the side, like, oh, uh, I, as if a strong man had to demonstrate his not strength. Not you, certainly, because so you're, you're, you're very weak. I it's also an lift. alternate reality where pickles come in cans. That's established. Oh, wow. <laughs> so does it in start at the Heinz reality, Pickle factory? It begins on the Heinz... Uh, assembly line? The Heinz assembly line and the decision to not put pickles in jars but can oh. them. Oh, interesting. Oh, wow. Because the, oh, what's the reasoning? People don't want to look at the pickles? No, corruption. <laughs> oh. Uh, some grift. Yeah, so uh, the canning industry throws oh. some money towards the Heinz oh, wow. to wow. get in there to God. establish their dominance. Uh, ama- this sounds incredible. Yeah. I would love Sid to see. Sid said too much. <laughs> He thought that particular part of it was too much? That was his only note of both screenplays. <laughs> anyway, I write two extra. screenplays. I read his whole book. I go to the seminar. It's three days. I liked part of it, but I was like, does it have to be three days? I right. think he could have summed it up a little bit could more. Could have compacted it I'm not it saying the guy's days. not good, but it just felt like a lot. Which three days is it, by the way? Is it like an entire weekend, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, or when does I, he space them out? Or? When I did it, it was a Tuesday, and then two weeks later, a Thursday, and then the v- next Friday immediately after that. I think he had a weird scheduling. Oh, I see. Yeah. that's that. I mean, that's inconvenient for you. It was hard to remember the first yeah. day, two weeks later. Wow. Anyway, then he fired me. Right. Then which, he fired you. Which is dishonorable to take such a long time. I see. Wow. Well, this if is. If a, you're gonna, it's his right as the principal to fire me. But to string you along like that, that's right. You think it, is because I had to get that extra money and yeah, yeah. and I paid for all that stuff. You did. Were you still on salary? Were you getting yeah. paid this entire time? I was getting paid. I coached for another couple of years <laughs> while I finished this. Wow. <laughs> so it seems like. I, I mean, it seems I like you, you see, came out ahead. I could retroactively see that as severance that I got or <laughs> and something. And you got a couple for, extra years Because he decided to fire me, and then it took a couple of years while I did the work. Yeah. But I don't know. I don't know. I don't see it that way because I, I was in the dark the whole time. I yeah. think I'm doing great, and then I find out I've been. Yeah, what was the, What ended up with the kid and his family? He yeah. did great. <laughs> <laughs> what does he do now? Is he? He is. Is he on The Voice or something? Or uh, He plays I, for the Timberwolves, doesn't he? Oh, really? Yes. What's his name? I don't follow the NBA because it's traumatic for me. Oh, so how did you even get involved in basketball? You're such a physically weak man. I Sometimes, don't know. you know, you can't do, but you have a love for something. You actually Is your can mind, be... can you calculate? Yes, the... I am a genius basketball player in my mind. Oh, okay. And But my body, I just, you know, a great mind for basketball and a body that can't do it. How? What is the pick and roll? I don't know. I've never heard of that. <laughs> <laughs> well, look, we... We need to take a break. You're okay. here. You're here. You want a job? Have we? I'm we here looking for a job. If anybody needs a high school basketball, <laughs> well, I mean that that's it's as simple as that. If you have a high school basketball position open, I would just just give me a shot. I'd love to come in and interview. That's all. A guy hey. who's who's who can't play basketball certainly never could. Never nor, could. Uh, couldn't even demonstrate it. Doesn't even know what a pick and roll is. Can't even demonstrate uh, have, or have heard of it. Have heard of it. Really? Uh, uh, so if you're, uh, and is it performing arts high schools only, or? That's been my experience, but I'm open to other jobs. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Um, so just, yeah, keep it in mind. Just get in touch with, I guess, you, Scott. And oh, this, no, and you, I don't want to take you on can this just pass responsibility. On whatever, no, um, I think. Uh, well, whatever the way to do it is. If we could eliminate the middleman somehow. Does Ben I, Schwartz do that? Who, who handles that for the show? I, I, yeah, I've, no, I don't think it's any of us. But, okay, well. Uh, do you have a way to contact you directly or? Uh, no, I'm currently. pass this off on David, though, maybe. Like, David I maybe know, has. I, I would absolutely love to help you out. Okay, uh, so. Get in touch with David however you'd like, and then if you get any, if you hear about any jobs, just let me know. I'm currently roaming the country. Uh, right. Just oh, hang on. Bettering I'm getting something myself. right now on my phone. Oh, oh wow. Nice. This is immediate. Wow. Uh, wow. That's weird. Are you, it's, uh, are you open to working for NASA? Oh, interesting. Huh. For a basketball for a basketball, team basketball for NASA. Team? Yeah, I could, I could I see that. There would be different kind of challenges out there. I guess the, well, the dribbling would be very hard because it, it would be very hard to like – you know, get it to go down to the floor. You, it would be a different set of muscles required. The dribbling would be reversed. The hard part would be sending it down. Oh, I see. So you would be dribbling up. That would be interesting to see a basketball game on a spaceship where you're dribbling against the ceiling. And I can mm-hmm. see that NASA needs to get people interested in the space race again because, it's, frankly, it's become yeah. quite boring. Well, I mean, I think that it would be great for NASA to have a team out there in space because, like, we've exhausted all the places you can have teams here in the United States. There's I mean, none left. You know what I mean? I mean, w- if What it, about a volcano? Oh, that's oh, right. That's yeah, true. we could, could do have, a volcano. Uh, different teams in different volcanoes. The yeah. volcano lavas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I think space is a great thing too. Like, the, would it be the space astronauts or the space? I guess the first one could asteroids. be the astronauts, just like how all the original baseball teams were all called the Giants. <laughs> right, and the um, and the men. Yeah, 
<laughs> so you'd have to switch it up eventually, but I think the first team could be the astronauts. Sure. Okay. Yeah, this is great. I, um, I'm, yeah, I, I'm, I'm into. Let's have a let's let's have a meeting at least. Well, sure. Did, I said. Were there any terms, David, in in there? Um, salary? Let, or? let me scroll through here. Uh, I'm not fussy it about asks, salary. What is your MBI? I don't know what that is. Oh, a muscle body index. Okay. I believe. Yeah. Yeah. Wow, they want to know my muscle body index. Yes, That's rough. Um, yeah. Well, let's put that I'm open to trying to improve it. Open oh, okay. to trying to But it is currently one. One percent? Yeah. Oh. I'll oh. put that in parentheses yeah. or something. Just at the end. Uh, yeah, currently, hopefully they won't read all the way to the end. Of the title. I'm not one. above a spin. Put a lot of com- put a yeah. lot of commas in there too, so they have to take a long time to read it. Maybe they'll I'll just, just give do up. a long ellipsis. Yeah, great. I just Thank hold you. my finger down in the. There we go. Nice. Uh, wow, you're holding your finger down for okay. a long time. Thank yeah, you, David. I, I mean, that's I, a special skill of yours. Appreciate it. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's not. It it hurts. Yeah, oh, yeah, hurts, don't it? Definitely. Yeah, right now, it hurts. Yeah. Any uh, other uh, terms, or I mean, are they offering any kind of salary, uh, or could you relocate mm-hmm. uh, to Reno? To Reno. Interesting. I didn't know NASA had any offices in Reno, the yeah. second biggest gambling oh, mecca. Oh, I'm sorry. I misread that. I'm mis- I misread that. It says, could you relocate with Reno? I think they mean the performance artists <laughs> from oh, the 80s. Oh, oh right. yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, okay, I'll work with – so they've already got Reno <laughs> If signed. Reno's on board. Well, this is more my expertise. If he, A performing artist is – Hang on, hang on. I, I didn't. Oh, there's more. Uh, yeah, it says <laughs> – Are they putting a lot of ellipses in there? <laughs> yes. It's a long It says email. Reno, the – Performing artist, uh, the performance artist from the '80s is not who we're thinking of. Oh, at the maybe there's somebody so else. I guess it's a different. Maybe they're thinking of Reno. Remo Williams from the uh, uh, The Adventure Begins. Let yeah, me keep scrolling. <laughs> yes, we are thinking of Remo. Williams. Oh, the they, fictional Indiana Jones ripoff character. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Who played that again? Um, Ace Ventura. Oh, right. The Ace fictional Ventura character is Remo Ace Williams. Ventura. Yeah, the adventure begins. <laughs> In Fort Fairlane. <laughs> well, look, uh, well, I'll, I'll, I'll I, get I think back this to is them. a great uh, – It's uh, worth a meeting. A great it's opportunity, a definitely. You, uh, uh, thank, this is this you may is have already to go to, been I, great. I, this is a, a nice, heartwarming story. Yeah. This is story. a success story, yeah. yeah. I mean, you may have to just, relocate to Cape Canaveral or, yeah, uh, or space or itself, the moon. I'm I don't know. I'm open to it. I'd love to learn some new sayings. Yeah. Well, look, we do need to take that break. Comedy Bang Bang we're back. Uh, this is Vanessa Bayer, of course. First time on the show. Um, she didn't come on to promote any of her movies, didn't come on to promote any of her television shows. But now that she has a podcast, oh, guess who gets a call? That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Finally, she's on my playing field <laughs> and decides to come uh, on to Comedy Bang Bang. Well, it's wonderful to have her, of course. Uh, we have a, a great guest that we have to get to. Are you interested in the weather? Oh, I love the weather. Yeah, when it's um, when it's up there, we need it. Always. It's so important. Yeah, totally. It's, uh, it's, it's above us most of the time and, and also surrounding us. That's the thing about weather. It certainly is. Well, we have someone who... Uh, is an enthusiast of a certain type of weather, and uh, we have to welcome him to the show right now. He's never been on. Please welcome to the show Brent Finley. Hi, oh, Brent. Hello, Scott. Thank you so much. You seem surprised when I said your name. Well, I just I can't believe it. I've been looking forward to this, and I'm just really? so just so happy. Up till the moment you said it, I was like, it's not going to happen. <laughs> you thought you were going to get bumped, I'm huh? I'm a pessimist. I was like... I'm, You're a pessimist? I am. I was watching the clock, and Tyler. I've done podcasts before this one, all right? Yeah. Let me give you some Wait, advice. who have you done? Oh, I've done tons. Conan O'Brien? Done Conan, I've been on Conan what? O'Brien several times. What? Yeah, I sneak in there in between his interviews with big comedians. He loves people who are into the weather. Another He's guy, amazing. by the way, who suddenly got a podcast and decided to come on this show. Not for any other reason. Oh, you couldn't you couldn't talk to him before that? You yeah. were stiffed by old yeah, Mr. Stiff OB. Stiff arms, given the old Heisman Oof. by Mr. OB. Hey, you don't get to the you don't get to where he is in the industry without playing pretty tough, I bet. Not, yeah. I, I'm not an entertainment guy, I'm not a Hollywood well, guy. When you, well when you're at his level, a lot of people want your time and it's you gotta be judicial with it. You yeah, know? Maybe so that's I, I can he's, understand he's, that. Yeah, he's just now Vanessa, I don't know, you know. Ah, of course Vanessa's I put her in the same in the same level of the arc. As Mr. O.B.? I think so. If there was an arc and you had to put two of every comedian on or whatever, two of every, just, I don't know, put, like every, a, put oh, everybody oh, on. Oh, like a Noah's Ark. Noah's Ark. Oh, okay. I thought you meant an arc like... like a story arc? Well, are you are you a writer? I mean, hey, I dabble. <laughs> you know, I, I've never, it's not my profession, okay? Wait, but so you, you write, I, what, wait, narrative... 
I what? do a little narrative. Just, hey, I've never been pu- – this is embarrassing. I've never been published. Sometimes in my house, I'll scribble away a couple of Are we stories. talking novels or are we I'll talking novel- like screenplays? Hey, I, I, I mean, play? fiction. You don't do novels, maybe a play. Because really? when one says arc and one makes the, the motion the little, that I you're did. You're doing the motion. The little swoop of like – You, you are know, miming a sort of – Most – I would say 99% of the people, and Vanessa, maybe you'll back me up with this. Okay. Maybe not. I don't know. But um, 99% of the people are not going to say, like a story arc? <laughs> what, what's <laughs> – if this were Family Feud and this was the most alienating question ever and they were like, what do you think of when we say the word arc? What do you think's number one on the board? I don't even like think a, people like go a ball? To, to Noah's Ark. I think people think A-R-C. Okay. Like mathematically. Right. Like mathematically. Like a so, section of a circle. Yeah. I so think the, the world of is more interesting. Scott, I think you got to – I think they're out there thinking in terms of fables and stories. If you say arc, people think Noah. People unless, lock into story structure. Yeah. Three acts. They think Noah first, which Noah is what first. I thought. And then second, he was the story original. Structure. He was the best to ever do it. Vanessa? Yeah. What's your opinion on who's, who does good arts? Your, your, your uh, religion. Uh, you believe in... Your religion. In, that's, the, that's the half that you do believe in, right? Um, yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. The half of the, the Bible. Er, the early Bible. I be, yeah, I only believe in the old. Right. Because uh, what, what's the last book of that first part of the Bible, that first testament of the Bible? What's the last one? Mm. I don't know. But then suddenly it goes to like Matthew or whatever it is. And it's mm. like, well, I'm, you know, I don't, I'm not buying any of this. I've read the first book of the Bible only. And then I got bored and I, I said, Genesis. That's it. And you were out. That's you it. made your exodus out of the, reading that book. Is that right? the next book? It truly is. Oh, uh, Okay. <laughs> Can you, thank God. What if it was Deuteronomy? Could you have worked that into a witticism? <laughs> Maybe you have a revelation. Yeah. That's the last one of the other book. By then it gets crazy. Am I right? Uh, it's like knows? I wasn't buying the whole like God has a son part of it. And then you add like locusts and, and weird dreams into it. It's mm, like, come on, man. Sounds nuts. I lied. I have read something besides Genesis. I've read Psalms. Oh, really? Some which, of them. Which one's your favorite? Number five. <laughs> I don't remember what it is, but I just remember n- taking a note of it and be like, going, five like, is good. I got to hold on. I got to hold on to that one, but I'll yeah. have to look it up again. Well, Brent but Finley is here. Five. He's a, uh, <laughs> how's this going by the way? Let's going take, really well. Yeah. I he's, right. he's uh, a part-time amateur screenwriter. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Um, but I'm, I primarily Scott, I'm a lightning enthusiast. Lightning enthusiast. What does that mean? Explain that, that to That means Vanessa. I am enthusiastic about lightning. I okay. like lightning bolts. I'm fascinated by them. I think they're beautiful. I like photographs of them. I like like reading about them. I like getting out there and stuff. What do you read about them? There's not a lot. (laughs) They're pretty short right now. There's not a ton of original (laughs) material. I think think that is a gap that should be filled. I think people could be writing a lot more about lightning. Yeah, I guess I can imagine scientific papers, but once those run out, it's like there's not a lot of And they're pretty dry. Yeah. You know, they're pretty. There's not a lot that really captures the fun of lightning. But you like reading about them. Yes, I dig into it. Or I, you would like reading about them if there were if there was more. What material. little I can do, I'm excited to do it. Right. You, you ever uh, you ever see lightning, Vanessa? Oh, sure. What's your opinion on it? Oh, I think it's very cool. And you know, great, I don't right? know if you know about all of the um, electricity stuff that's related to lightning. Oh yeah, do you know anything? <laughs> yes, I've yes, I have heard of electricity, and I know that it's related to lightning. Yes. I don't know if you've ever heard of a little guy named Benjamin. Franklin. No, no. Yes, I very much have heard of Benjamin he, Franklin. Yes, he but, was besieged and besought by lightning he, at one he, point in his life. He sought it out. He, he sought it out. He couldn't get enough of it. He was yeah. like a lightning freak for yeah. a little short period of his life. For a little period of his life, he was like, what's going on with these eyeballs of mine? And then he invented, of course... The stove. The stove. Yes. yes. And he and was like, like and he warmed him up. He's yep. like, they, they were chilly. And then he warmed him up of with course. the old pot bellied stove. But then there was like a three year period where he was mm-hmm. like, let me go out in the fucking rain and fly this kite. And he was and, just and, a real and that's weirdo. all he could talk about. But that's like act two of Hamilton. Yeah, it's exactly like that. Yeah. It's basically they deal with that. He like Aren't there just two acts in Hamilton? Yeah. It's so the whole the second, second act is just basically like like Let Benjamin me get out Franklin there in the rain. Oh, yeah, yeah passes that, Hamilton. You forget that Benjamin Franklin's in Hamilton. Oh, People yeah. really overlook People forget that. him, yeah. Yeah, anyway. he's in there. Yeah. Listen. So so lightning by the way, just to for our listeners. Okay. When when rain is coming down. Oh, I always forget to do this. When you're a nerd about something, you forget yeah. to let you think everyone in. knows everything about you it. For, okay. You go right to the deep stuff, Scott. I appreciate. Vanessa this. and I were talking about this earlier. Weather. Oh, right. Yeah. Love. Love it. Okay, but occasionally, mm-hmm. um, the weather turns a little. Uh, well, there's no other way to describe it but wet. 
That's absolutely right. That's one hundred percent on the money. Now, droplets of what we call rain are coming down out of the sky. Yeah. Okay, and it can be surprising. If you're not ready for it, it can really throw you off. It, it truly is something where it's like... If you're walking down the street and you haven't been ready for it and some water falls out of... Has oh the ocean gosh. turned upside you down? Go, you go, what? Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Or you but, might go, what? Yeah, I mean, varying degrees of, of what's. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. But uh, were, was, that, you was had... that your little John impression, by the way? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I was snucking in. I uh, write novels and I do some really uh, obscure. Okay. Not obs- I do still. Well, we have a rapper coming up, so I want to. I want you to debut oh, okay, it sure. for him and see see what he thinks about <laughs> no, it. I'll get his opinion. But every once in a while, this rain will be coming down, and then suddenly, what comes out? But a big. F- like, I guess yeah, there's no other way to describe it, but like a big light in the sky, like someone flipping on a light switch. This is something I've always had trouble with is how do you describe it? It's yeah. like, you know it when you see it. Like, if, like if lightning happens, yeah. I'm like, that's it. That's but then what if somebody it is. says, what'd you see? I'm like, oh, it's like, oh, it's a, I, sort of like a light yeah, beam, well, but Vanessa, it's. You have... I have a real easy way to describe oh, it. Oh, great. Let's hear it. Zigzag lights. Zigzag lights, ZZLs. Vanessa, I know you have a successful career, (laughs) but a quick pitch. If you ever wanted to write about lightning, there is a dearth of material. I mean, that's a title as far as I'm concerned. And, and, And maybe even an opening sentence. Yeah, it's like you zigzag know, lights. That's like the 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 hook of the whole thing, zigzag lights. Yeah, I saw zigzag lights. If yeah, I was beautiful. browsing Project Gutenberg for text only versions of these stories <laughs> where they show the first couple lines in the table of contents and it said like lightning is like zigzag lights. Let me tell you something. I'm downloading that zip file. Yeah. Incredible. How long do you how long does a, a file like that usually take? On my personal internet connection? Yeah. What do you quite have, a while. Dial up? I got eight I got eight BBs. Are you still on 3G? What is that? That Oh, you're not even there yet. I think okay. I'm on 1G. Oh, no. But I save a bundle. I get it. I understand. The, the money you save for only having I'm 1G, sure it's worth it. There's not a lot of money in lightning enthusiasm. Uh, so far, none. So far, zero. Okay. But I am paid quite well in passion. <laughs> oh, okay. So you're not money. No money. But you have a lot of passion and you I pay yourself. You're self-employed. I am engaged in my work. I'm self-employed, and I declare my passion as a form of currency. Okay. There's no need to declare it to the government because they're not interested, but I am invested in my Have you told them about it? I let them know all the time. (laughs) Every quarter, I write a handwritten letter to the U.S. government saying, just letting you know, by my own measurement, I've gotten five units of passion this quarter. And they never ask for... They always write back. They do. This is the thing. If you write a handwritten letter to the IRS, they will... Because these guys are... They're lonely. I would imagine everybody's only mad at the IRS. Yeah, they all they get are these angry letters and like accusations. Yeah, and then they get you know whatever this is from you. It's a handwritten not, letter. What do you mean whatever this? I is? I mean it's get? not a love letter. Oh yeah, you know, it's, it's not the total opposite of the hate mail. It's that a, they get. it's a, it's a, it's, it's a little more in between. I'm mean, a check in. I'm checking in with yeah. you. There I'm is something them know. romantic about a handwritten letter, though. You know, yeah, it's, it's intimate for sure. Yeah, I mean, look, if some, I'm interested. Have have has a friendship ever sparked up uh, with any of these? I wouldn't IRS call it people? a friendship. I have. There's a man named Glenn. He and I do exchange letters. Uh, I would say, oh gosh, it's so tough with male friendships how to categorize it. There's not a great yeah. vocabulary for the. You're levels. either best friend or it's like a guy you work. A guy with. you know, and, or and a buddy of mine. There's no one that you can be like. You know what? I'm really close to this person, but like with romantic relationships, yeah. you could say. I'm that's my gone on some dates with. I'm seeing someone. Yeah. I'm dating someone. It's my baby mama. I'm or you, baby mama is one of the right. levels. Yeah, yeah, that's exactly. true. Yeah, you could say I'm there's baby, so I'm, many I'm baby different, mama with. Yes, yeah, so many different. Ver- but with a guy friend, it's, it's just like, like who? He's is, my friend. He, that's that's it. about all. You there's can no say. and but in reality, of course, there's a lot of nuance. How to do you that. feel about him? I would move furniture for him. Okay, uh, but for I don't free think or for, nice. for pizza for and beer for free. I would expect pizza and beer, but if he didn't offer it, I wouldn't be mad. But I would not go to a family function of his. That, we are not there yet. Not there yet. So somewhere, whatever that is. Okay, and do you hope to get there, or if it gets there, fine? Of course, we all want want more friendships. We all want higher quality relationships. Exactly. Lightning enthusiasts are just people. Yeah. That's what I tell everybody. So tell us about this lightning enthusiasm. What What, what, what happens is you go out into a storm. Okay. And you and you just you hope to see some. You get you know get a camera. If Do you, you ever go to, out when it's not raining and you're like, God, just, I hope it just rains. Hoping. Yeah, because sometimes it can really come on you quick. So yeah, if you know, I'll walk out there sometimes and just roll the dice. Yeah. Like literally. Like uh, I would imagine you would usually try to do it in the months between eh, no, 
October through Those uh, are the best months to April. do it, but I've been known in the in the middle of July on Bastille Day to walk on out and look for the <laughs> really? rain. Yeah. How, and how are you celebrating Bastille Day before then? <laughs> before the moment I go out, and yeah. look, you know, I'm in there just rooting on the revolutionaries. <laughs> sure, sure. Hey, as a writer, I'm on the side of the story. And right. Bastille Day is about the revolutionaries. Of course. I think. <laughs> <laughs> storming. I think it's. Storming, I, though. Storming the Bastille. Did, did that, is that what gave you the idea? You Let's were like, say storm. yes. Let's say yes. Okay. Let's say that I read about storming the Bastille. And then I'm like, you know what this makes me think of? Let me. Hey, I'm not doing anything. I don't have a job. I'll head out and maybe a storm will hit. Right. If, certainly if there is one, I want to be there. Yeah. And suddenly. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. You're, yeah, you're supposed to be the one who follows up on that. I, yeah, I, I'm like telling you about my no, life. Yeah, I no, thought, had you been following me and oh, you were no, going to just start yeah, telling no, me about no, my life? No, no. I was like setting you up to really knock it down. Oh, really? But apparently but I biffed it. nothing happened. Nothing happened in the middle of July. Yeah. Sometimes reality. You usually want to get out there in like April or something. That makes more sense. Yeah. yeah. Tons of great, tons of great storms then. Anyway, so when you, you go out there, yeah. When, yeah. You, when you, what do you do? Do you look up? Do you look down? So you know what? I've never thought about this, but I do tend to look up. Maybe I should next time. Time, try to look down. Well, because in my mind, if you're looking down, then suddenly it happens. You can be like, Whoa. can I parse and that a little bit? When you say yeah. in your mind, if I'm looking down, does that mean when you're picturing me looking down? Yeah, I'm picturing. OK, so in your mind when I'm looking down, I'm picturing you mm -hmm. in my mind. Yes. And you're looking down, and okay. weirdly, you're Happy? not at your you're not at your house because I've never seen your house. You're at my house. Oh, well, in this context, that makes sense because I've only seen the places I've seen. You know what I mean, Vanessa? I mean, this is like you've only seen the places you've seen. Right? Well, I wrote what this are, what, down. What, if I if I saw it, I would remember it. Right, right. <laughs> what are the places you've seen? Oh, I have to go soon. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, nothing. <laughs> what are the places you you've seen in your you life? You can't go. Um. Oh, all kinds. Yeah, all kinds. Name two. Two kinds um, of places. A school and okay, that's um, one kind. and um um she can't do it. That's tough. Well on the it's spot a tough on the like spot a, it's and, tough. and the university. Oh, uh, great. No, that's different. That's well, different. I don't know. Like, no, a, like a grade school and a university. They're very different. I Those are very different know. places. A grade school is smaller. You can smoke in one, I guess. But university is much bigger. University contains all aspects schools. of life. Yeah. That's a know. different. A university is totally different. Okay. Aspect. Well, in, in any case, does that answer your question? I forget what it was. <laughs> you were asking me about what I was picturing. And I was picturing you. Oh, yeah, you, it does. Thank you. Yes. I was picturing you wandering around. Yes. And you were looking down. Mm -hmm. And then lightning happens. Because. It, and, and there's no, you know, thunder as a, yes. Thing. You know thunder, right? Is thunder before lightning or is that after lightning? Um, I always forget. Let me, th I think it's after. This should be right. something you know. I, I should. I'll be honest. I am, I am, I am all a Twitter. I am, uh, I, you know. You're I, a lightning guy. You're not a thunder guy. I'm not a thunder why guy. So he, I, the lightning strikes and I tend to tune out. But I think the thunder happens some seconds after that. Yeah. And then, and sometimes if you, if you count... Like 1,001, 1,002, 1,003, you can put yourself to sleep. Which is what you want to do. Yeah. Because the thunder is scary. So if you can fall asleep in between mm -hmm. the lightning and the thunder, you have saved yourself a little bit of pain. Well, you could use that counting technique to fall asleep whether there's thunder or not. That's a good point. Oh, my yeah. God. It's, I've never caught it. Should I've never we try it? That. All right. Let's give it a shot. 1,001, 1,002, 1,003, 1,004. 1,005. Mm. I don't know. It's not working for... Wait, it looks like it's working for Brent Finley. Brent's asleep. Oh, my God. He looks so cute, doesn't he? He should go. He's adorable. You have to go? Why? No, I just... You Are, are you uncomfortable here with... Is it? Is it Brent? Yeah, I just... Is he creeping I'm you out? I'm having a blast, but I just... Yeah. He looks, he looks so cute. Mm. Why don't you pinch his cheeks? Oh, I can't yeah. go. Oh, my... What was that? <laughs> Like lightning of the voice of the snore. <laughs> he's really out. Should we wake him? Probably because he's going to be so pissed that he didn't get all of his in info out. Yeah. Do you, do you have a stick I we could poke that, him with? I think you could probably just, <laughs> like, I don't think you need a stick unless you're afraid of, like, touching his shoulder. Uh, maybe use nature's stick, my finger. <laughs> I've never heard it called that before. <laughs> Have you heard any other part of the body called nature stick? <laughs> Never mind. Anyway, let me let me use this here. I'm gonna poke him here. Oh, oh. 
Hey. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. Did hey. I? Was I just out? You were. You. You. Oh. Yeah. You I'm actually so fell asleep. I'm so well, embarrassed. No, it's okay because we, we were, were. We were trying. We but were I, trying, but you're I, the only one who actually did it. And you, oh, it was really? Quick. Yeah. Oh, that's. That's uh, what a what a mortifying experience. No, it's okay. It's it's. Uh, it, I don't think it's ever been done on this show. I mean, occasionally some people have fallen asleep on this show before. Yes, but I believe that was voted out. I, I heard that episode. <laughs> that guy was, was it, voted off. Wasn't the that wasn't that convention? <laughs> uh, wasn't I know there was somebody who used to appear when people fell asleep. Yeah. But it was pretty. I would say aggressively <laughs> voted out. I don't think so. I think it was just the fans just spoke. Fairly, just the fans spoke. Yeah, so, you know, sometimes case. the people who might have been the one to bring up that convention feel that they have to honor the continuity of this insane I mythology. Don't think so, you know, but right, in well. any case, um, what is your favorite lightning? Oh, thank you for asking. What a great question. Thank My you. favorite lightning is the song Lightning Crashes. <laughs> By uh, Live? By Live, yep. They're That's my favorite so close. Their, their band name is so close to being Lightning. That's what, said they take a they take a hard right. I always assumed they, they go, wanted it to be lightning, yeah, and they just didn't have the guts to follow through. There's some yeah. kind of marketing guy got to them and said, "You're living." Whoa, whoa, your whoa! Audience. They were they 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 were at a press conference, yeah, and they said, "Our band name is Lie," and they were about to say "Tsning," and the, the applause started, and a press guy comes in and goes, "Whoa, whoa, 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 everyone, whoa!" <laughs> yeah, he got involved. Yeah. And so, and then you've been to these kinds of things. I know well, most I just, bands when they start, there's a press <laughs> conference that announces their name. Yeah. yeah. Well, it's such a problematic name because it's, is it live? Is it live? I've yeah. always thought that they would do much better if their name was Lightning. Yeah. Oh, thank you for saying that. That's true. Oh my gosh. What a generous thing. I don't think thing. there's ever been a band called Lightning, has there? Can you name one? I'm trying to think. Oh, there was lightning. I mean, yeah, if the, <laughs> the, I guess if you had to name it. Yeah, I But I don't about know lightning. if it existed. That'd be cheating. Yeah. But um so my what, dream yeah. What's your dream? is to Tell someday be hit by lightning. Whoa. That's one part of it we haven't even talked about. Oh my gosh. Of. That's my dream. I would love to experience now I know it's dangerous. For the listener. Yeah. Basically, this lightning comes down. The zigzag in, lights. The zigzag lights, yeah. Uh comes down in like I don't know, a thunderbolt. Like if you've ever seen Shazam. This is the best reference. Which, by the way, you know I'm not Captain Marvel because I just said it and I didn't turn into him. That's how you can tell. Yeah. Whenever That's I how you have can trick a Shazam. suspected a Shazam, I'll be like, if someone I think they're a Shazam, I'll be like, well, just say Shazam. Say Shazam. <laughs> say Shazam. And if they do it and they don't turn, I'm like, okay, now exactly. I, I believe you. But so, That'd so, be good if that happened to everybody. Like if a cop said copy, like his uniform appeared. <laughs> <laughs> they have to tell you if you are, if they are one, though. That's what every person who does drugs tells me, but I've never heard a <laughs> it's, policeman it's confirm not that. Practical. Yeah, but a Shazam has to tell you that if they're a, a Shazam, Shazam has well. no choice because when they because say Shazam, you, it just happens. Am I a Shazam? Oh shit! <laughs> like a Dracula doesn't have to tell you. Like no. a Dracula can say they can Dracula, say Dracula, and all the time. then nothing. And gets they revealed. love it. They love saying Dracula. They're big third person people. Yeah, I mean, as a writer, I always notice um, tenses and points of view. Yeah, but in any case, this thing comes down zigzag and, lights and zigzag lights, and if it hits you. You get all like like microwaved, you know. I mean, I don't. I want to know what it's like. It looks like it kind of fries you. It looks like a tremendous amount of heat, right? Uh, you know, goes through your your body. But I I I think it's got to be magic. I think that's got to be something yeah. special. I actually know someone who this happened to. Really? Holy yeah! Beans. The Shazam part or the the lightning part? The well, both. But I'm both. not going to talk about the other one. Oh, okay. Um, the lightning part, and um, he got like uh. Oh, I don't. Per- he's a friend of a friend, and she showed me a picture of him, and he just has like, almost like a, it looks like um, veins, miming. just like uh, like like a spider web of veins yeah. at the at oh, the wow. incision yes. point. Exactly. Oh, oh crazy! My God. Yeah. See, I want some of that. Oh man, that's yeah. like the ultimate tattoo, the ultimate body God's, modification. Like God's tattoo. tattoo. Yeah. Yes, God's tattoo, free tattoo. Oh, I, I want it, it so badly. I've tried so hard. Like, I've gone out into storms, riddled with coat hangers, just trying to increase my. <laughs> How do you riddle yourself with those? Well, you just sort of like you ask yourself a question, and do then you go. You wrap do you like around. go into the closet and put on a jacket, and you're like, oh God, this already had the coat hanger in it, or sometimes I'll a, do that, yeah. uh, you know, and then stick a couple around my hands, you know, wrap one around my yeah. like head, kind of looking like Jerry you're Lewis a, style. a doll. Dang Edward Scissorhands or something. Exactly. Yeah. That that's some of my, Oh, Edward Scissorhands. He probably got oh, struck by Oh, he probably got all, all the time. time. Just had the same. Well, thought. that guy had everything going for him. You know what I mean? Yeah. I mean, his hair looked like he was struck by lightning. Am I right? Oh boy, oh did he ever? Please, you guys, I'm sorry. That's not nice. But uh, I'm, what a I'm what sorry, a beautiful man. face on that on that creature, Edward Scissorhands. Totally. Scissors. And Johnny Hands. Johnny Depp. Who's that? Oh, he's this canceled celebrity, I guess, <laughs> okay. in today's climate. <laughs> 
<laughs> He's, yeah. Speaking of climate. <laughs> Speaking of, yes. Wow. So I would love to get hit by lightning, and I can't make it happen. Yeah. I'll go out there with all kinds of metal. I'll try to go up high on a hill so you're closer to it. Yeah. You know, mm-hmm. I'll try to be where there's no other metal thing. Once, oh, it yeah. almost happened to me. Really? And by sheer coincidence, a man in a metal ball <laughs> rolled right up. and Like in and, a phantasm ball? Yeah, like in a fanta. I don't know if he called it that, but he was in some sort of very complicated obstacle race, <laughs> and he, r- he rolled. He was right in up. a metal ball in the middle of a rain. It was some part. He had a bunch of quests he had to do. It was oh. like sort of an amazing race situation, like a scavenger hunt kind of thing. Yeah, some or? kind of bunch of like you know you had to go find this and then answer this riddle and then put yourself in a and metal it was ball. Cl- it was it was metal, so it wasn't clear. How was he? How did he know? Because after was? he got hit by lightning, the lightning that should have been mine oh. struck him and it popped his little metal ball up in like an egg. Oh. And he came out and he was all smoking and he's you know his hair was all nuts and he was like, "What happened?" I'm like, "I got hit by lightning, right?" Oh, uh, my where lightning. Where were nice. you? Where were you? This was uh, out in a meadow just outside of Lansing, Michigan. It's mm. crazy that you guys were in the same. You were so That's close. That's what I think. Yeah. I had no idea that a was, race was close by. Was, was the the object that he was on the scavenger hunt for there in the field or something? Or yeah, he was right at the finish line. Because then after he got struck by lightning, five or six other people, all in various contraptions, came out of the woods. Whoa! And were you? And you're saying you had no you I had no I connection to it. it. I had nothing to you do. You just with the happened race. to be in the middle. I of I just this field. happened to be in the middle of this field, and that a guy happened to be the finish line of this this crazy thing somebody in a homemade exoskeleton came up it was like burning man but for metal like a mech like a mech like a homemade mech exactly of course i know what a mech is of course we've had someone who created one on this show before uh well I, i'll take your word <laughs> yeah, for it yeah i'm sure you will yeah um well this is incredible so i got i got kind of you know bad luck there that that should yeah. that should have been my moment but somebody came out in big metal stilts somebody had the little homemade mech suit the guy in the ball they were having a blast. I mean, I don't want to rain on anybody's Was it a parade. metal making Boom. competition or was it a scavenger? It was a real metal oriented obstacle race. Uh, sort of, they had to yeah. they had to construct things with metal to finish the race. Okay. One guy had a catapult and he like wheeled in the metal catapult and <sighs> flung himself up in the air, flew himself above mm-hmm. everyone else. But the finish the... line was right where I was, just by coincidence, like fifty just... yards ahead. Okay. Buried in the ground. And all of them were racing to it. The finish line was buried in the ground? Yeah. They had to dig the ground to confirm that it was the finish line. (laughs) A chalk line in the Is this a television show? What is this? No, for fun. For fun. college kids. It was a a for fun amazing race. It was a for fun amazing race. It was like, let's do a for fun amazing race. That they put together themselves? I don't know if they had a GoFundMe or some kind of, you know, who knows? I don't know what's going on. Or Kickstarter. I'm not sure of the mechanics of it. Look, you're the pro. It's... And well, I don't I want to tell you, you how to do your not job, really but a pro. I just think if you see a, if you're trying to get struck by lightning, you see a bunch of people, you know, <laughs> in metal balls and with metal attached mm-hmm. to them and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. Don't, you know, you got to get away from those people yeah. because it's going to make it so much harder you're, for you to get struck by lightning. You're absolutely right. But I'm, I'm a beta by nature and I didn't want to like. <laughs> Wait, you're a beta cuck? I'm a beta cuck <laughs> by nature. <laughs> Oh, by, not by nurture, nurture, I'm an alpha. Oh, okay. but it didn't take. So <laughs> I'm right. just a beta cuck. So your mom raised you to my be mom an alpha. raised me to be a big time alpha, but my little beta cuck nature came right through. <laughs> no. She kept being like, "Go get him, honey." I was like, "I don't know. Uh, I can, I don't it can be know. hard. It can be hard." I don't know. She's a sweetheart. I love her. Is she still with us? She is. Really? God bless her. Yep. She's not been hit by lightning, has she? Nope. She's not that lucky. Our family has all kinds of bad luck. Re- what else? Well, no one's been hit by lightning. Okay. Uh, we all live in log cabins because we <laughs> only feel safe in those. Okay. I consider that bad luck. Okay. I... None of us have won the lottery more than once. <laughs> oh, wait. So you, you've you all, every member Most of, of your family? Most of us have won the lottery one time only, okay, which wait. sucks. Okay. How much did you end up winning? I won $800,000. Uh, is that why you don't need to work? And you can that just... Helped. That certainly took the pressure off. <laughs> How much did, 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 like, your mom, how much did she win? Let's see. Hers was pretty good. Uh, she had, like, one Yours point, was pretty good. Not really. $800,000? Wait, what was she, hers? You said 1.3? I think. It was a That's set, only it was, 500 more than yours. And you think hers is good and yours is You're right. Isn't? I got to stand up for myself. I did pretty good. Thank you, Scott. What a beta cuck way to look at $800,000. How many, how many, is this your extended family, too? Yeah, everybody in my extended family. Well, no, oh. I guess maybe not everybody. Let me think. Oh, no, no, yeah, everybody. Everybody in my extended Extended family has won the lottery at least. Are you one picking time. numbers? Or are you? Yeah, we pick numbers. How I mean, this is like they, it's harder to win the lottery than it is to be struck by lightning. And Not yet- my family. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> wow. It's a drag. Can oh, I? and I don't tell my friends in the IRS about the lottery money. Oh, okay. I tell him about the passion. I think that would really sour the relationship. <laughs> okay. So let's keep that between us. That would be between, between us. us. Yeah, uh, definitely. Between oh, the, the reason I came on this podcast. Oh, yeah, tell us. I want tips on how to be hit by lightning. That's all. Okay. Uh, go up on the roof. Oh, let me write that down. Go okay. up on the roof. Well, I was just going to say, uh, look, I, I, I know you perceive yourself to not have good luck, but I'm worried oh, that, you, you know, it seems like you keep picking really good lottery numbers. Mm-hmm. And what, worried... Which ones do you pick? Do you pick the same ones? No, I picked it. I just kind of, I, I go inside myself uh, <laughs> and I ask for the, for the numbers and I tell myself them and I write them and that's what I pick. There's a part of me that thinks perhaps if you do get struck by lightning, mm-hmm. you might not have the same luck. Yeah. Picking lottery numbers. So maybe you should just consider yourself Well, he's lucky. only, each of your family members have only won once. Is that what you were saying? At least once. At, At least, least Most of them have only won once because we don't have that. How many luck. times have you won? I've won twice. <laughs> what was your other one? What was your other winning? Uh, $700,000. Okay, so that's why I didn't bring it up because who gives a crap? It's you've won one point five total, total, more than your mom. Well, if it was one lottery, yeah, but I don't have that kind of <laughs> I don't have that kind of juice going. You had to do it over two department. different weeks, and yeah, so it's it took like... forever. <laughs> it just feels like you know if you when I won the second week in a row, they were <laughs> was very suspicious. <laughs> oh yeah, I walked right back up there. They're like, "You again?" I was like, "I don't know what to tell you." The huge investigation, but it was just you know I just picked them. You but know? I think Vanessa's right. If you were to get hit by like, have you played since, or was that just the last two weeks? Are you playing this Friday? <laughs> Yeah, I'm playing Friday. I play every week. <laughs> okay. Oh, look. I love the lottery. Don't get hit by lightning. I want to get hit by lightning. It's all Until I want. Until this streak ends, at least. I don't, you This know, is going to end your streak. Look, I, I, I just, I don't see it that way. I mean, the, you know, lottery, that's just, that's just complete coincidence. That's just, nothing you can rely on. But you know? it just feels like if <laughs> That's you not a career winning. like being enthusiastic about lightning. <laughs> if you keep winning money in the lottery, then mm-hmm. you've got like a great future ahead. Whereas if you get hit by lightning, then what? Then you experience the kiss of well, God. Well, you can't pay to be hit by lightning. That's an Trust interesting me, thing. I know. You know what I mean? Yeah, like you, 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 people have tried. To, there are certain things that, that only a few people get to do, like being yeah. on Saturday Night Live, one of the, the cast members. Oh. There's only been what? That is a, that's a privilege, right? Like that's a, 10 over the years. You yeah, know? probably like 10 people total 10 have people. been on SNL. Yeah. And you can't pay to do it. Like, you, like I wonder if anyone's you tried can. to bribe Lauren and I'm like, sure. Well, yeah, well, I'm sure hey, it's happened. After their audition. <laughs> yeah, yeah. like, They'll slip him a 20 and just say, hey, if this does anything, well, you know, let me know. Just but like, you can't pay. For your trouble. <laughs> That's the thing. Like, anyone can win the lottery. Anyone can make money. Anyone can, like, go do a, yeah, do like not a, everybody... a guest writer week on SNL, you know, and make, you know, no, like know. scale, you know. Not Any, everybody can Anyone get... can do that. But you can't. <laughs> You I'm gonna I'm gonna say something to very I'm gonna say something light. very personal to yeah. me, and I do not mean to make light of this. Yeah. But I got very depressed once by not being hit by lightning, and I thought about ending it all. <gasps> very very serious, and no. you know this is a very sad state. I went to the top of a bridge and I jumped off of it. By coincidence, a giant eagle happened to be flying over no. the river and caught me and brought me to his nest, and where I was rescued. No, and did did the giant eagle raise you to be? I mean, I, I was already an adult, but we did become friends. I mean, I okay. lived in that nest for several weeks, and we formed a relationship. Okay, did you take like? Were you eating from the eagle? Was the eagle the like eagle chewing would feed up? me? The eagle would bring uh, yeah. me little grubs and stuff, and chew them up in in its mouth, spit and then me into spit my it, mouth, which I was yeah. grossed out by. But I, you know, but yeah, you're rude hungry, or yeah. somebody's house. Was it? It was that high up you couldn't get down? <laughs> yeah, I'm not a good tree climber. Yeah, how would you end up actually getting the down? fire department uh, found me by chance? By chance? How? And then like they just were jo- they were going on a joy ride with a truck and I. I saw With the my, ladder up? Yep. And I just That's jumped out dangerous. on the ladder and slid down. You jumped on the ladder. So they didn't find you. Nope. They I just, were just passing I went, by. Whoop, right into the, like right into the cab. And and I was like, sorry, guys. I was up in that nest. <laughs> anyway, I've never been hit by lightning. So yeah. what are you going to do? I know you think you're unlucky, but I think you might be. <laughs> Maybe one of the luckiest yeah. people that I've ever met. I mean, I don't see it that way. I know every yeah. time I flip a coin, it's heads. Oh, have you ever been to a little town called Las Vegas? Some people call it Lost Wages. Lost Wages, I've heard of. <laughs> I only but, know cities by their nickname. Lost oh, Wages. It's like a. What like, have you been to? The Windy City? I've been to the Big Apple, uh, the Big Vegas. Easy, uh, Windy City. <laughs> Chi Town. Yeah, Chi Town. Well, love Chi Town. Yeah, well, that would it surprise you to know the that's City, the Windy City. And then I went to Chi Town. I was like, wait a minute. <laughs> yeah, okay. I've been here. Wow. Well, yeah. look, uh, Brent, you, hey. you're a fascinating guy. And to be honest, I don't think so. If you wouldn't mind telling me your lottery numbers. You know, for this sure. week. Well, I haven't picked them. I'll pick them right now. For you this pick, Friday? Yeah, please. Yeah, I, I do. I do a pick six. Okay, great. So yeah, let's, let's get them. Again, I got. Uh, I'll do. Hmm. 
go inside myself, check myself. Nine, three, five, two. <laughs> oh my God, did you see that, Vanessa? <laughs> it happened. He got hit oh by Oh my lightning. God, it happened. Inside a building. Right before he was going to tell us the numbers. <laughs> Wait, no, I'll still... Uh, I'm, uh, I don't know what the next number God would be. God damn it. I don't know what the next number would be. Oh, oh, what'd you, I had 9352 and then... Oh, you know, there's a pick six. I don't know, there's no rabbit. That's not a number. Uh, oh, my uh, God. Wooden. That's not a number. It's an adjective. Uh, okay. Oh, jeez, Louise. Well, congratulations, Brent. Yeah. Hey, guys, let me check out my side. Spiderweb veins. Oh, nice. Oh, I hurt. Oh, oh I'm in pain. I'm All right, well, look, look pain. we have to take a break. Can you compose <laughs> yourself? I got nothing to do. We'll be right back with more Comedy Bang Bang after this. Cue break. <laughs> Comedy Bang Bang. We're Sound back. speech. Oh, God. <laughs> we're back here with Claudio. And action. Claudio Doherty, uh, contest winner, but not to be on this show, contest winner uh, uh, of a petite modeling competition. Petite modeling opportunity. Who happened to have this on her schedule, so I... I suspect my mom wanted me just to check in with you. Yeah, I don't know why. But she likes you. She does. She I've does never like met her. you. She always, you know, she always organizes for me to come meet you. Yeah, I, you know, I went out there to to Australia that one time yes. where we met each other, yeah. and uh, you, she was nowhere to be found. So I don't know whether she actually does like me. Well, she she's a catfisher, so that oh, be she's okay. very hard for her to actually meet people directly. Oh, but okay. she loves to, you know. Um, what does she actually look like? What does she say she looks like? Um, just like me, but a bit taller because she's older. She, oh, yeah, and she hasn't smoked as much? Exactly. Yeah. Also, Gina Lombardo is here. Uh, his own show is called The Gina Lombardo Show? That's correct. And that's on Stitcher Premium currently. Uh, hell yeah. Hell yeah. That's and, where we're living, dog. And uh, you are actually in my seat on that show. Oh, yeah, I'm hosting driving, the show. Driving I'm the, the guy who's relying on other interesting people for content in, on my show. <laughs> right. Like and you're I, doing now. And I Yes, and I came and uh, provided some of that. Oh, you you crushed uh, Scott interned f- for me for uh, it was a, v- a real nice treat to finally have that pressure off you know yeah. so I wasn't engineering and I wasn't interning it turned was, out it was not that hard no it's way easier than you think it is you look <laughs> at the freaks that work at this place <laughs> that's true shout out to Ryan over there to my left uh, please welcome to the show Stanley Chamberlain hello so nice to be here thank you Scott uh, very nice to meet you this yeah. is Claudia she oh, hello. she won a contest but you. not a contest to be on this show oh okay as, as she has previous oh here's some water coming Oh, gosh, thank you. Coming to you. Does so Gino, much. our intern? Thank you. Wow, you're really doing it. Um, Are you a medical doctor? Yes, that's right. I'm a physical therapist. I'm fully trained so in So you all... went to medical school? That's right. I went to. I went twice. You went twice? Yes. Why? Went, Meaning two days? You liked no, no, it so much? I went much? through it twice. I went through Johns Hopkins initially, and it was hard. So I went again through Southern Connecticut State University just to crush. Oh, okay. So wait, you went through it once and graduated, uh-huh. but then you wanted to do it and have I a said, better time? Yep. I wanted to. I like doing <laughs> things once I know what's coming. I'd like to ask a question. Then I will recognize that question, and you can And begin. you know what's coming. Okay. <laughs> Why is his name Johns? Oh, um... I think it was just more than one. Brother Is it like named Ruth's J- Chris? No, I think, I think it was it's like attorneys plural. general. I think it was just more than one John whose last names were Hopkins. So John. the ju- so it's much like Whoppers Junior, where you pluralize yeah. the first word rather right. than right. Yeah, Hopkins is the modifier of the multiple Johns. Got it. Is that, that got the it. most boring answer I could have I given? I don't know. Did, to it, that did it come up in your classes? Is that, that something? Yeah. Every year uh, at the initiation, they would go over the naming scheme and what Johns Hopkins meant. They would correct people if they talk said the Johns this, were. Talk us through this medical school initiation. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was initiation. That oh, sounds intense. Yeah. Or, I'm interested. It sounds like orientation by a little. No, it's not an orientation. It's an initiation. They bring you below ground. Aha, uh-huh, scary. Below ground. They blindfold you. <laughs> they blindfold you. This, uh, this is why I wanted to do it over at a different university. I get okay. It. I they bring, you they blindfold you. And everyone's acting, and you start to ask questions. You're like, what's this about? And they're like, shut up, shut up. You, you Don't be dumb. Don't be dumb. There's a lot of pressure oh to not God. look dumb at Johns Hopkins. Oh, I bet, yeah. And Because it's, it's an incredibly competitive medical school. Oh, of course. And anyone who there. looks dumb, yeah. Great yeah. lacrosse program, too. Of course. Uh, and so you go underground, you're blindfolded, and you take all your clothes off. You feel Hell yourself yeah. getting beaten by what you assume are oak leaves. You, yeah. you take off the clothes. They, they say, don't, take off your clothes. Take off your clothes! They don't strip you. No, you have to do it. You comply. 
You have to comply. I think, Fully, I think it's, it, no underpants. This, you have to take your underpants off. You Dongs be, out. Dongs out. And you're being be- yeah. beaten with, why do you assume you, they're oak leaves? To me, it felt like oak leaves. The, oh, I thought you, you said mean, oak like leaves. The I thought you meant the <laughs> sun. Oh, that's, no, that's what I thought you said. What oh, did you say? Oak leaves? Oh, oak oh, leaves. Yes, yes. Whatever they, whatever you know what? There's two things that I could have said. Whatever the most boring one is the one that I said. <laughs> I, oak <laughs> leaves. Does I, that hurt? Yeah, do it, that. I mean, what would soothing. hurt more? Oak leaves, I feel like, would hurt more. They're hard plastic. Hard plastic. Yeah. You get hit yeah. with those croakies, you know, those things that hold them on if you're jet yeah. skiing. Those yeah. things fucking hurt. Is that an So you're down band? there, and you don't know what's going on. You're 18, in my, or t- sorry, 21 years old, and um, and you're terrified, and you don't want to look stupid. You're like, your sure. imposter syndrome is so big. So off come the clothes. Off come the clothes. Rather, You don't want to not fit in. You'll assume that this will make sense. And you, maybe, you would rather people look at your t- tiny, tiny penis that's right, than which to I, seem oh, stupid. Yes, which I do have. Oh, shoot, I forgot I have that on my <laughs> name tag. <laughs> Tiny, tiny penis. I do. I'm so I wondered, worried, I'm so I wondered worried about, about, that, about yeah. the size of my penis that I just like to get it out there. Yeah. I thought so it was, that, I wondered, you know, at the Arclight on their name tag is their favorite movie. I wondered right. why you had tiny, tiny penis under your name. I was well, like, is that a movie? Hopkins, you have to have your favorite organ. Oh, okay. Much like Arclight. And yours is tiny, tiny penis. Yes, I like organ. tiny, tiny Did penis. you have to describe it thusly or? Well, I don't like large penises, nor do I like unremarkably sized ones. Oh, so this is your favorite organ on anyone. That's right. But you happen to have it. That's Which is how I Lucky. know. Lucky. That's why you like it. It so much. There I am underground. <laughs> <laughs> Setting it's the a, scene. It's an, it's, an, it's an initiation ceremony. Wow, I'm hooked. <laughs> so there I am. I'm underground. There's a oh. there's but there's a babbling brook somewhere. Whoa. We're deep underground. Inside. I'm sorry. You know how you can you tell? Have, I just have one more question. Sure. What's are your balls normal size or do they make my balls are normal size. So that makes the t- normal size for a tiny tiny penis. No, normal size for a regular penis, <laughs> big relative so that to my make, tiny that tiny throws penis, the second which time makes them look even smaller. smaller. Forced perspective. perspective. Okay, yeah, yeah. Perspective it's like is Gandalf part of up. the petite modeling. Yes, right. I understand that. It's I sort of like I have a petite penis with regular size testicles. So there I am. Cool. There's a babbling brook, and and well, so we know we've walked very deep because it's right. like we're not just in a room or a basement. We've got there's earth. You can, so you, is it has, cold or hot? It's cold. Okay, right. so you haven't gotten towards the you center of the earth. Yet. We haven't gotten that far yet. Okay, but then did you ever get that far? Yeah, he yes. says yet. We enter into an elevator <laughs> and they bring us down several miles. Wow. Whoa. We come out into now. I never saw this, but it felt like I was near a something very warm. I assume mm. magma. The core. The, the core, core could wow. be the center of the earth. Yeah. And still, I'm worried about, you know, I'm like, we start, I hear people are, asking questions. Are you hearing like a rustling of creatures that are down there with some yes. sort of like There's some underground sort of, language? There was a society of work, a worker race. <laughs> you knew it was a society. Well, I could hear them having exchanging protocols. <laughs> okay. And like, so I could hear you sort knew of like, there were laws and repercussions yeah, for breaking the laws? I heard a trial. Laws? I heard a trial. <laughs> One of the worker races must have like somehow insulted another member of the worker race. Okay. And in, and an impromptu their trial, language, or they spoke just... of sort of a broken English. Oh, like, okay. So insult me, insult me, you did. How And the other was like, ah, no, unfair, unfair. Wow, okay. And I, I wonder like, what's I wonder, going on. Did the, they learn the language? Did they ever talk about this? Did they learn the language from, from the, the, the top of the earth? I'm or assuming they either learn learned it from there. us or there's a common source that taught both of us. Okay, interesting. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus. Could be Jesus. Could be Jesus. Could be Jesus. Could be. I didn't rule him out. They never but mentioned Jesus? He did not come up. He didn't come up. So I mean, he, I had the blindfold on. I didn't interact with the world. Now, you don't race. know, did they have religion or was re, maybe down there by the center of the earth, religion is, isn't, isn't even a thing and it's they just did a construct. They, they did have religion. They're Presbyterian. Oh, they are. Oh, okay. Isn't that interesting? That is interesting. Do yeah, they go door to door evangelizing or? I just heard them talking about their, I happen to be a Presbyterian. Do they and have I heard them, doors? Um, I heard a door. Okay. So you heard have, a door. I heard a door open. And the close. elevator door. This is your first been, day of medical school. First day of Johns Hopkins. <laughs> You're Jesus. 21. I got dropped off by my dad because I was too scared to go on my own when I was 21 years old. <laughs> your dad moved you so into you, grad school. My dad moved me into so grad school. So you didn't school. need We're a ride. Close. That's cute. You, you could have driven yourself. I could have driven myself. But it was like, a, you know, he dropped me off at college. <laughs> he I was helped like, you hang your posters and stuff. Yeah, I put up like my my Reservoir Dogs poster. <laughs> and like, What about your Farrah Fawcett? <laughs> I put up my Farrah Fawcett, yeah, and I had um I had a... <laughs> like a Jimi Hendrix. Oh, that's um, that's cool. But he's like, playing in a band post, with John Lennon. Did you have the and poster of the little Vietnamese the black, girl running from the carnage? The yeah, black I have that photo. too. That's yeah. right. Huge that's black and white photo. Poster. Did you have a black light poster? Was that the Jimi Hendrix one? Or? Yeah, yeah. And I also had a Kiss uh, Army. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. With, that, with the posters. Spirit of 76 one where they're all dressed up like uh, Confederate. This is they're in Central Park and they're using their superpowers to like save oh, people. Okay. Got it, got it. <laughs> that's Anyway, 
There but, I am. But now, but you're nowhere near there. Nowhere at this point. near that. Like that was. Hours Those are ago. your touchstones. That, Look, that's I'm what, away from my comfort zone. Your dad's you're, gone. Not my only dad are you is gone, he long left. gone. You're you're but then, totally away from your home. But, but yes, yeah. yes. Thank you for appreciating this. It wow, was, it was so disoriented. But honestly, being naked was the least of my worries. Sure, right. yeah, that was the least. Because who knows? You, you may be left there. And yeah, is this is this? Is are it, you part of this new society? That's or old. Do society? I have to join the worker race? However, age it is. Does the worker race have clothes? They definitely had clothes because I heard them arguing about pleats. Oh, oh, that makes sense. That so I know they the had trial? khakis. No, so that just came up. That they're was like, a side argument. They're like, you're going to wear that to be a lawyer? And he's like, I can wear what I want. I'm a lawyer. <laughs> okay. There's like, it's pleated. That's out of fashion. Okay. He's like, shut up. I know what I'm doing. Were you passing by these arguments or these are just happening right they next They seem to, you? to be walking along beside oh, okay. me. Okay. So this is some sort of like walk and talk. It's like really a sort hard to picture. Yeah, I, look, I, I think you're doing a great job. I can really uh, visualize I it. I keep in, imagining it's hot, but it's cold. I've been no, trying to no, it's it hot, hot at this point. Now it's hot. It is hot. Okay, right. We I'm initially... trying to draw it, but I'm still stuck on your you penis. Got. This is all I have so oh, far. Oh, you just my penis. penis. Yeah, okay, oh, yeah. well, that's, that's, that's pretty close. You have many attempts, I see. Yeah, the vein format works for you? There's too many veins. Okay, yeah. I'll now, knock, what you've done is sort of the Thanksgiving thing where you've done the outline of your palm. And you've yes, because I'm going to choose one of these five depending on the size. I was I would assuming with pinky. For yeah. Pinky, yeah. Yeah, okay. And just add some, like, apple-sized balls right there. Mm. Oh, you got it. So, what happened? Apple-sized balls. <laughs> boots with, with the, the fur. fur. <laughs> she hit the flow. Oh, shit, we're hitting that bolo, baby. Oh, yeah. Um, well, so dude, This is a reference I don't know. So now what happens? What happens? You're naked. What? So there we are. So we get led conversations. into a chamber, and the doors thunder shut behind us, and they mm. take off the blindfolds. Okay. Around me are all the same people I entered with, the, the incoming class of Johns Hopkins. Okay. Has anyone dropped off at this point? Is I, anyone... I can't. It was roughly the same size. Okay. Maybe, maybe. You don't know the other people, maybe, so you don't yeah. know. I don't, I'm not familiar with them. They I look like most the of us are there. I think in the future. If you're going to do a radio show or a podcast, I would introduce myself as something besides a physical therapist. This is, so. fucking, this is super interesting. This is not what I came here to talk <laughs> yeah, about. Yeah, no, we'll get to what you wanted to yeah, talk yeah, about. I'm but. just saying, like, this is fucking wild. This you should is have a, a documentary made about it. This is incidental. <laughs> I'm not, this I, is a side story. I've tried to tell people about this, and they're like, we don't care. Get back to physical therapy. I, like, we right. really care about it. On well, this I love show. it. I've been this wanting is... to talk about this for years. Okay, yeah, please. Spare us no detail. So there's the dean. Okay. okay. The or, dean of the of Johns Hopkins. The dean, or the dean of, of the Johns, workers union. No, the dean of John the worker race. Worker race. Okay. I don't think they have deans. Okay, so maybe the they have a provost sort of situation. Uh, okay, provost so you didn't know what to call him. It's your first day. Well, this I don't and know still, what his name and you is. You still don't know. I still don't know because he's got to inter. It might be himself. dean. It could be Dean. Could be Dean. Dean. Yeah, could it could be. be. It's not. It could be Dean Jesus. It's not eliminated. Yeah, we have no idea at this. Point. He's grown antlers. Uh oh. He has grown antlers. He hasn't put them on or He's fixed naked. them. Maybe there's some really intricate um, special effects, prosthetics, kind of, or some sort of situation. Yeah, some movie makeup. It looked real, and his face was beat red, and he was and he was naked with, and there was all kinds of insignias drawn on him. Oh, some hell sort yeah. of like runes, yeah. pentagrams, runes. runes. Yeah, um, yeah there might have been a pentagram. It was sort of like an illustrated man situation where he was just decked out. Wow. Still had on his glasses. Oh, okay. To, That's one thing that you can never really go you without. Get away you with know, it. as scary as you are, if yeah. you have bad eyes, you have bad eyes. You got to be able to. I'd see. like to see one of those movies like Halloween or something, and Mike Myers is like wearing glasses because you know every serial killer in these movies has great eyesight, and they never go to the bathroom. In H two O, he gets LASIK. <laughs> as long like as a big it, fuck that they shoot a laser at him, thinking they're gonna kill him, and then he's like, he's now like, I can see perfectly. And they're like, you talk, and he's like, I always have, bitch. <laughs> yeah, he that, says, bitch. That movie he, like, he's answered sassy. and created. Created a lot of questions. Yeah, everyone's still pissed at Rob Zombie for that shit. Yeah, I liked it. Um, so now he addresses us as the fallen. <laughs> We're like, what? He can't mean us. We haven't done anything. <laughs> you, where to? From where have you fallen? Yeah, you, you just arrived. From grace, from our humanity. <laughs> You're says, in a prestigious welcome, medical Welcome program. the fallen. We're in a, some sort of cement room deep in the earth. Wow. Then he just starts going over academic prerequisites as if none of this has happened. <laughs> okay. He's like, you're going to need four credits of anatomy. Okay. You're going to need four credits of biology. You still have That's to take- it? That's it. <laughs> Well, they're hard. <laughs> credits it's, at Johns Hopkins. Four credits of tough biology. Yeah, yeah. Four credits. I mean, you this one credit of Johns Hopkins biology is like six credits somewhere. <laughs> oh, sure. I've been yeah. in National Community College for nine years, so I get it. Right. Okay, yeah. If you're a fellow <laughs> academic, then you understand. So you, you you have a fairly comprehensive sense of bi- biology, then. 
<laughs> yeah, we went way over my biology than anatomy, which right? I, you know. So you know a lot yet, about it. But it's the fundamentals. I know everything about it. Anything you could ask me, I'm what ready is to the it. What is the human body's largest organ? Uh, the skin. That, okay, there you yeah. go. There He knows it all. Sorry, boring to be right, but I, my ego took over. <laughs> 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 boring to be correct on the trivia question. And I understand. Yep, that's how I went. Where was I? You were, well. Uh, oh, yeah, we're deep credits. in a cement chamber. Deep and he's us. Get, we're beneath the earth, and it's warm. Beneath the earth. Or, yes, deep in the earth. Mm-hmm. And he's going over, and then he's saying, if you want to change roommates, you can't, you have to go to this particular office. And it's all this very dry information. Do you even know who your roommates are at this point? No, we haven't been given a room. I mean, I went to my room, but I haven't met the guy. Nothing's been right. assigned. We don't know anything. Right. I don't know where that's. It's reasonable, though, that he'd tell you that. I guess that's the kind of Did he tell you where the cafeteria was? No. Really? That's, Yeah. Then um, he says, he says okay, and he goes over some other information and get, passes out some forms we have to fill out. We have to fill out a sexual harassment form. And Did you have to fill it out right then and there, yes, naked? Yes, naked, on my knees. I put the paper on my knees. And, with, and the pass form out. was about whether or not you wanted to be sexually harassed? Yes, you had to put in yes or no. <laughs> yeah, an option. Yeah. And did he pass out? Which I said no. Sure. Yeah, that's cool. yeah. Although, See, I would have been fucked because I always just click accept, 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 accept. <laughs> oh, and yeah, then yeah. I, so I would have been you would have yeah. been in deep trouble. Yeah, yeah, you would have been very ha- harassed. Did he pass out pens? No. There was, How, uh, did everyone bring them? How did no, you they, feel? Um, one of the worker – I did see one of the worker races. One of the worker race came by with a knife, pricked our uh, pinky fingers, and we had to drip <laughs> – Drip blood onto the forms to answer it. Okay. So what did the which is actually race? easier to do? What's that? What did the worker race look like? Rabbits. They look like rabbits. But they talk. What Tall size rabbits. Tall so like rabbits. tumnus looking things? No, tumnus is more of a satyr, traditionally a half man, half goat. Okay, yeah. right. Yeah. Yeah. I believe a rabbit is that's called Harvey or uh, sure. <laughs> yeah. That's some, full rabbit. That's full rabbit. This is yeah. yeah they were like uh, you never Eddie. know full rabbit. Three and a half feet tall, uh, walking. <laughs> Instead of hopping, they were sort of comfortably walking on their hind legs. So they're walking legs. on two legs, not on four. Two Bi- on, not on four. Bipedal, if yeah. you will. Bipedal. To walk on four legs would break the law, is that right? Down there, yes. If you walked on four legs, you were uh, you would um, you'd be jailed. Right. How'd you know that, Scott? I well, I've I've heard stories what the of this hell, type of thing. Scott? I mean, I, I walk on two legs all the time, You were right? asking him questions as, as if you didn't know what he was talking about, and now you suddenly know. Well, I just, I would assume for a race like that to walk on four legs uh, would be some sort of, it would be against the law, Sounds and what happens like when you break the law? you've gone down there. I've never, I mean, I've not been down that far, certainly. I mean, uh, What's this was What's the furthest you've gone? I mean, it was, uh, you know, I mean, maybe... A few kilometers. Wait, Those you, don't always, miles, right? you don't always. You don't always walk on your two legs. One time, I was at your house, sitting in the living room, and you came down the stairs upside down in a back bend. <laughs> I did. You I walked, you that's that unrelated. <laughs> that's due to an exorcist type thing. Oh, okay. Yeah. I knew it. Yeah, it's yeah. a totally different thing. <laughs> Continue with your story. So what? Well, what then it gets to- weird. Then it gets weird. <laughs> yes, because so after we get all this information and we're properly initiated, he's like, "All right." Now, as you know, you've entered into an extremely competitive program, and not all of you are going to complete and graduate. Mm. Do you do the look to your left, look to your right, one of you is I was to... waiting for that, and he didn't oh, do yeah, it. Oh, that's a classic. I know. Did he do bottle of red, bottle of white? He did. He, he first sang all of scenes from an Italian restaurant. <laughs> all of it? That's a seven-minute-long song. Thank, oh, thank God it's good. <laughs> yeah, that's true. And, and he actually, was good singing it? He was great. Wow. He actually didn't have such a strong voice as much as he committed. Okay, oh, that's all you need. Which Got I it. feel like is all you want. Any backing track? Difference. It's pretty much the same for Billy. No, no backing track. It was a cappella. <laughs> that's a tough song to do a cappella. Especially had, the. Uh, he had, oh, he, it he hummed him. all that. <laughs> he hummed it. He hummed like the clarinet solo, too. Did, was, was he. Uh, imitating different instruments. Can I just say that it's so interesting to me that there are follow-up questions on this <laughs> part of the story on how he sang scenes from an Italian restaurant. I just, oh, I, I mean, know I don't mind. Do it. I've always wanted to say this part of the story, but sure. I've never gone down this. St- there we are in front of a stag elemental. Sure, but okay, yes. What was your question? He well, did, did all he, the different. He instruments. did. He imitated the instruments. So when not, he's, not all of them, but he would do like the prominent ones, like so that's the clarinet. Uh, but then yeah, when yeah. it goes, bah, da, 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 was he doing the piano or was he doing the horn section? Initially, he would do like, ba, 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 ba. And he's like strutting uh-huh. around doing these like lunges. He's strutting. He's lunges. into it. Lunging. He's into it. Wow. Yeah. And it was a relief because things had been so alien and strange that to hear a familiar song was calming. Right. Sure, yeah. And I was like, maybe this guy's not so bad. <laughs> okay. Maybe this is going to be actually fine. Yeah. Okay. But then it got weird. Then it got weird. He said, well, you know you're entering a competitive program. We're, and if you are of weak character, if you are of minimal talent, you will not be able to survive. Oh. You must fight your way back to the surface. Fight your way back to the surface? Handed each of us a machete. A machete! Yeah. 
And Fuck yeah. Whoa. <laughs> this owns. And then he said, <laughs> and then he said, the elevator that returns to the surface is powered by these gems. And the gems <laughs> uh-huh. will only work once. Okay. And there's only 10 of them. And there were 20 of you? About 60 of us. 60! Oh, God. So 50 did not make it out? That's right. Whoa! Incredible. And you're we, one of the 10. Yeah. And then after you graduated, you were like, I should probably go to medical school. I'm going to go school. to another medical school again because I don't want it to be like this. Right. So I went to Southern Connecticut State University the second time. So did you take out five guys uh, or, or did uh, you or eat it in the restaurant? <laughs> <laughs> or Uber Eats? <laughs> I took out five guys. <laughs> I ordered from five guys. They had a telephone service down there. Five guys delivered. Okay. We all talked to each was, other. We're it like, took a long time. Well, we, were like, we, were like, we were like, five delivery guys. Yes. Down five the guys delivered. They already had gems. I well, guess the guys they, from oh, five they, guys had their own gems. So they can go they up can and down. They could just go up and down, 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 down like yeah, crazy. Yeah. They're delivering all the well, time. Well, we all were like, we're about to murder each other. Let's yeah. have a last meal. Oh, really? So you guys paused. We were like, let's be civil and have a last meal together. There's a gentleman's they, agreement of yes, like, look, this is ordered, coming. Death is coming to five-sixths of us. Yes. So we ordered five guys, and we all wrote letters to our loved ones that we agreed that whoever survived would deliver them. Did you keep that promise? I did, and that's why I'm here today. What? Yes. Again, I would say put that in your bio when no, you come on. No, I still have like... to talk about physical therapy. <laughs> Wait, who? to whom are you delivering yeah. this letter? One of us? Claudia. What? What? That's right. Wait, who died? I murdered <laughs> a fellow oh. contest winner. Oh, but not my family member. No. Oh, okay, fine. Well, they seemed real. They seemed very. They, you meant a lot to them. This person in their they last wrote a letter life to, you. to you, and you don't know who they are. This guy's name was Chet. He said he won a contest with you some time ago. Oh. Um, right. His last name was uh, I'm trying to remember Wellman. Chet Wellman. Yeah. Oh, well, here's his letter. He said you have to promise to get this to Claudia Doherty. Whoa, okay. So I'm giving this to you. Can you read it out? My eyes hurt. I can't. <laughs> oh, I can see that your eyes look very yeah. sore. Yeah. Yeah. Dear I'm Claudia, doing, doing it's me, Chet. Thing. That's right, Acorn Chet. I don't know what that even means. Whoa. Acorn Chet. I don't know Chet. what he's talking Who is, about. What, do yeah. you know Chet at the moment? I, I do. It, yeah. And uh, you know what private, Acorn Chet is referring to? Thing. Here that's in my private. last moment. It's actually kind of an aggressive thing for him to call me. Oh. Oh, it is? Wait, he called himself Acorn Chet. To reference that is kind of aggressive. Oh, okay. It's very Chet. He seemed very aggro. If it makes you feel any better, he was the first to go. So he's aggro, but he still, all of that was. He had like uh, a lot of like chest, just like, oh, I'm going to kill All of that was guys. betraying a weakness in, guys. inside. Me, Chet, me, yeah. Chet. That and then you just yet. slop. Yep, little Slops tiny dick me slushed him right off. Because my small <laughs> dick, everyone thought that I would be unmanly, but I was actually quite handy with you plus, also, plus yeah. also, you, you got, got your equipment tight. This, you know, you don't have any hangers for people to chop off. That's yeah. right, I'm not as vulnerable. Small dick is actually the highest form of evolution. Yeah, because all the big dicks, they would get, like, whacked with the machetes, and then they're in huge, My dick! And then they're, yeah, they're looking oh, down. Oh, no, my, my dick! dick! And, and then, then they're distracted. Whoosh, everyone's right so out. concerned about losing their dick in the machete battle, but you, you have no concern. You're not yeah. even flopping around. You're not even risking anything. I don't, except for them apple-sized balls. Even, yeah, yeah, those balls, I don't know. But that's How full of testosterone. How many women got out? Uh, the women all survived. Okay, good. Oh. But they joined good. the worker race. So oh. They, they, they survived opted. by bargaining. Oh, their way to entering the worker race. That is well, I, I would typical, imagine like typical women. chicks. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Yeah. I would Attach imagine the worker race needs more to you know to be more productive. They need uh, more children, more they offspring. Have to breed. Can they, they have to breed, breed with human women if they're rabbits? That was the plan. I didn't stick around long enough to find out. <laughs> so you they, never I, went down there again. No. How did they? Fight? I, well, I understand like not wanting to go back. Yeah, I get that. Yeah. But could you finish? Continue this letter the from letter Chet? because it looks lengthy. <laughs> It yeah, is it is. Long. Dear Claudia, it's uh-huh. me, Chet. Acorn now, this Chet. is an ins- but Let's just talk for a yeah, second. This is an insane many co- times. <laughs> this is an insane coincidence that no, I you knew came she'd on be and, here. Oh, okay, okay. I didn't even know I would maybe be here. Your, maybe your mother, this is why she sent yeah, you here it today. It seems like it could be. Do you know my, like, do yes. you know my mom? Do you know my mother? Not to well. To quote that wonderful children's book? Um, oh, I guess it's Are You are My you Mother? Are You My Mother? Yeah. Are You My Mother? I, I'm not your mother. That should be the sequel. Do You Know My Mother? What about the yeah, children? Yeah, they should go down in good, stakes. It's a good I, are you my mother? I get you're not my mother. And then the but third one should be, have you heard that? of my mother? <laughs> Each one is more Does removed. anyone have a mother? mother? Sorry. Okay, I the, want to uh, you. The plot is really thickening. Yeah, it I will truly say that. is as as thick as the pages on this yeah. letter because this I is several pages. Which there are many. That's eight point Arial font. It's so <laughs> it's much. Very small. <laughs> 
So uh, Chet here is like, it's uh, Dear Claudia, it's me, Chet, Acorn Chet. Here in my last moments, I find my thoughts traveling back to that day we spent together. Oh, Only God. one day. Yeah. Um, thank you. Get us some more water, Gino. Great. Yeah, That's- you're going to need it because this is uh, a long, long time. I wish this wasn't happening on a podcast, to be honest. Dear Claudia, it's me, Chet. Acorn okay, you don't Chet. have to re- go backwards. <laughs> It's good for me though, because I'm getting a lot. I'm because I keep missing the first couple. It refreshes couple. the memory. Here are my right final moments. I find moments. my thoughts going Returning, back to that day we spent together uh-huh. when we won that contest to run that radio station. I guess you won a contest to run a radio station. Yes, or something we like did. That. And you and I were co DJs for two and a half hours. Co DJ? Couldn't you just out. say they're both DJs? You don't need to like split up the duties of a Scott, DJ. Have some respect for the co- dead. I mean, have some respect for the dead. A DJ team like you know Flipper and and the Bird, you know. Like yeah. they, they don't call themselves co-DJs, do they? Well, since they had probably both met that day and won a contest. We were just like, sure, whatever. You, no. so if you, you, split share, up if you share a chair, yeah. it's co. Oh, okay. Yeah, That's yeah. true. Okay. The conversation we had changed my life. And I never have felt as strongly connected to someone as I did to you that day. Oh, God. And the friendship I felt with you was reassuring to me that human empathy is possible. And I've thought of you every day and longed only to meet you again. And now that I see that my life may be ending, I wanted you to know that it is you I'm thinking of. And then it's just the first chapter of Great Expectations. The whole first chapter? Yeah. So well, can I call have me- that? I need a calendar. Yeah, what is it? Call me, uh, no, that's uh, <laughs> Moby Dick. Dick. Yeah. What is the first line of Great well, Expectations? Yeah, it was the yeah, best of times, it was the worst of times. No, uh, no that, that's uh, Tale of Two Cities. Yeah. Okay. Uh, see, this Wait, Tale about- of Two Cities is the title of a real book? Uh, yeah, why? Yeah, why did you? What did you think it was? Because I've been reading this magazine called Tale of Two Titties, and I didn't realize it's a it was magazine. a pun. Yeah, it's a magazine. It's a periodical. I've been how trying it, to get through it. It's dense. How is tail spelled? A T A I L. Right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, so says, like, uh, let me see. Let me see the letter. I'll, uh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. So the, it it goes on. My Something father. My it. father's family name being Perip, and my Christian name Philip. My infant tongue could make uh-huh. of both names nothing longer or more explicit than Pip. So I called myself Pip and came to be called Pip. And it goes on. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Well, it sounds like he was just stalling from getting machete to death. <laughs> <laughs> and Claudia, I, and he, did he have like a, it was like a, a copy of Great Expectations? <laughs> yeah, he was copying it down. He was copying okay. it down. That Pretending that it was that a letter. Exactly just, I, I bet I'm he did, almost done. Give me I, one more second. I bet he didn't even really know Claudia all that well, and he was just like trying to stall. Well, yeah, we really only knew each other for that one afternoon. We, uh, we were on I'm the glad to hear that because I murdered this together. man. I murdered this man. You killed wow. one guy or several I'm, I shouldn't say. Oh, you're, okay. but go ahead though. I killed seven people. Seven Holy people. Shit. So someone else only killed three. That's right. Wow. Wow. Or one person killed. Did it change your personality afterwards? No. How would? <laughs> how do you know though? <laughs> well, yeah. I guess I don't know what I would have been. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Did you feel a change once you took the life from someone? I certainly was uh, not. I wasn't. A certain fear left me. To see the light go out in someone's eyes and mm-hmm. realize that their soul is no longer inhabiting this earth, that must prepare you for the medical profession. I think so. And when we yeah. took our Hippocratic Oath, uh, they have a different version of Johns Hopkins, which is like, <laughs> carry on the legacy of those you murdered by helping others. <laughs> by right. helping that, others? That's what brings you here today. Wow. Yeah. To give me the, that letter or that's to read right. it. Have you me. delivered the other six letters? Nope. I'm keeping an eye out for uh, for them just to show up on podcasts. <laughs> okay. I've been going to open mics, hoping they get into comedy and just seeing if they start doing that. Okay, there are better ways to find these people than going sort of on podcasts. Sort of been scanning the show mic. listing page at UCB to see if any of them are on Herald Night. Time. Okay, Such yeah, a long it's going to take you a while. Well, 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 do you need anything from me? Like I'm a, like, like notarized or anything? Uh, yeah, would you mind just signing the envelope sign and giving it back to me that I do? Don't sign that in blood. This may be a trick. I'll do what I want. Okay, I'm just uh, saying this might be some sort of trick to get you down there and uh, breeding with uh, the oh, okay. race of yeah. Is it is this a trick to get me down there and it breeding? Was. It okay, was. I, I knew it. I'm not going to sign it. I'll Thank sign it. Scott. I'll sign it. Gino, you don't have to sign it. I just go Gino underneath. Just the, I just go two miles. Oh, he down. already signed it. Oh, perfect. Signed it. And already. I just get to fuck these rabid freaks. I think yes. I think that's right. <laughs> I'm into it. All right. All right. Well, looks like uh, the, the minute your show is over, <laughs> you're going to be going down and joining the that rabbit race. That sounds good to me. I'm I'm polyamorous, as I like to say. I'm polyamorous, and I'm into white guys and gals. So, Polly want to crack. <laughs> All right. <laughs> well, look, Stanley, we're, we're out of time That's here okay. on your That's segment. That's okay. We didn't get. To can I, can, I, can your... I give the briefest version of what I was going to talk? About? <laughs> Maybe you should come back and do it. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Come back another time. Maybe come back. Come back. Different another... name, different job, and <laughs> tell us about. <laughs> 
<laughs> I'd love to hear more from you. No, 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 that's okay. I don't mind. I was, believe me, I had this bird. I was, I, I've been trying to get this off my chest for a long time. We have a doctor come on. He tells us only about the first day of med school. <laughs> well, you know, he's, what a day. he said, it was an interesting he story. said initiation and not orientation, and yeah. it just led us there. Yeah. Well, Oops. all right. Let's let's uh, uh, bring on our next guest here. He is a uh, community organizer which is a, a, an interesting job that I don't, to be frank, I don't know that much about. I'm seeing it's not Barack Obama. Are you disappointed, London? It's not I'm Barack so Obama? I'm so disappointed because I wanted to meet him. Uh, but uh, <laughs> it's not Barack Obama. I'm so sorry to say, but uh, he's a community organizer. Please welcome to the show, Ruben Stone. Oh, hello. Thank you, Scott. Thank you so Hi, much for having me. Hello, London. Yeah. Nice to meet Hi, you. Hi, Ruben Stone. Hi, yes. babes. Uh, lovely to meet you. Um, Are you from Ruben? Like London is from London? <laughs> Stop talking. Um, no, but I, w I wish I was. And if I ever find a town named Ruben, I'll move there. Oh, you should, Ruben Stein. <laughs> yeah, you know, you can open up Google Maps pretty mm -hmm. easily now. And and just one. Yeah, and yeah I've tried it. to open up Google Maps. I, can't, I haven't yet been able to get it to work. I haven't. <laughs> no, what's, the, what's the problem? <laughs> the interface is too complicated. I don't the get it. Where, interface. where do you enter stuff? I don't know. I, I open it up and There's I just a, start... Have you ever been on the internet? There's like a box at mm -hmm. the top. Yeah. And if you click on it, you can oh, type in. Oh, there? Yes. Oh, I thought that was for my name. No. <laughs> Wait, you were just putting your name in? I would That's just type in still Ruben the same Stone. thing. Oh, you yeah, were looking for the Ruben city Stone. Named Ruben. Yeah, yeah. So I'm t I'll tell you, the thing is all messed up. Uh, look, I'm no okay. good with computers and tech. I'm sure I'm doing something wrong. Oh, all right. Ruben. Well, Ruben Stone uh, is here with us. You're a community organizer. Community organizer. What exactly, what, what exactly does that mean? Scott, thank you for asking. A community oh, organizer. It's, it's, you know what? You're welcome, and it is my job to ask people about what they're here to talk well, about. London was the beneficiary of it earlier, <laughs> mm -hmm. and I, you're here. I still appreciate it, even if it's your job and you're doing it out of total obligation. I think uh, more people should be thanked when they do their jobs. You know I what think I mean? so, too. If, if I were a boss, and I pray to be a boss at some point in the future, mm -hmm. I would thank every single one of my employees. I would make them form a line as they exited whatever building we were in, mm -hmm. and I would and shake each of their hands and thank them personally every single day. Like the end of a baseball game. <laughs> yeah, good. Both teams good game, line good up game. and they tell each other, good game? Yeah. Now, I know this is early in the interview to flip the format, but can I ask you a question? Wow, this is so early and this is unprecedented. I, I was, you know, London asked me a question when she first came on about how I was. Is it going to be how am I? Because that was already covered. No, we're in the going show. way deep into that. When you're dealing with Ruben Stone, I flip the script. Oh, I do God. not oh. like to play out things the way they go. All right, okay. are you going to just ask me a question or are you going to ask uh, London a question as well? I'll ask you both a question. Thanks, okay. Ruben Stone. I'll ask you both the same question. Oh, okay. In what way are you not a boss? In what way do you wish to be a boss? You said, someday I hope to be a boss, Scott. Well, at this point, you know, I have been a boss before, mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. you know, uh, uh, directing movies and with my own television show. And and uh, at this point, nothing's cut, really going on cut you off. in the house. You're going to cut me off? I'm going to okay. interrupt yeah, you. Yeah, cut him off. Cut him off. Cut him because off. Because I'm going to tell you, you are a boss. Because a boss what? is a state of mind. <laughs> You are a boss the minute you declare yourself internally to be a boss. London, yes. how are you not a boss? I am a boss, Ruben. Stone. I'm going to interrupt that's you. That's the answer. I'm going to interrupt her boss. before before Ruben can interrupt her. <laughs> you are just, a boss. It's yes. a state of mind. Well, no, I was going to say that. I was going to yes. say that. Sorry, man. But it's just something I came up with. You can't do it. Oh, Ruben, Ruben Stone, can I ask you a question? Of course. I'm, op I'm an open book. What is it? What do you do? You get paid to do the community, or what do you organize? What, what a is question! It that you do? What does that mean? It is yeah. a it is a completely fair question. Uh, no, I don't get paid, and I wouldn't take money for it. What I do, <laughs> I live in Los Fila, the Los Feliz neighborhood of Los Angeles. Yes, and oh. I walk around the neighborhood and I do good. That's what I do. I try to make the world better How do you through do that? small actions in my community, not for money. And not and I not, and I have no power. I have no elected okay. office. No, do you, nobody. Do you is. live above Los Feliz Boulevard or below? <laughs> I live. I guess I live above it because I'm higher than it. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna put you in a scenario. We're in Los Feliz. Uh, you're a stranger to me. Yes. I'm walking around the streets crying. Mm. Oh gosh. What would you do to help to do good to help me as part okay. of the community? So can you elaborate what you're crying about, London? You, you, do you mind? Listen, I'm you wouldn't crying. know. I just see somebody crying. You just see someone crying. You don't even know why. No backstory needed. 
I'm crying so, in Los Feliz. Crying this is a tacos. terrific scenario, and it's one that I get involved with all the time because you want to be respectful of the person's privacy. Yeah. But if you can help the person, you want to do it. So I stand at a respectful distance and I right. say, Madam, may I be how of service to you? How respectful is this distance? 50 yards. <laughs> 50 yards? <laughs> yep. Because you don't want to be. That's half a football field. I'm str- I'm a stranger. You don't want to be threatening. So I'll right. back up. If I see somebody crying, I'm going to give you a real LA specific. In London, I know you're sort of new to the city, so these yes. intersections won't mean much to you. But no. let's say you're at Vermont and Franklin. You're right outside House of Pies, <laughs> and you're bursting into tears. Yeah, and that, that Indian restaurant right across the street from it is that still there? That's still there. I don't know. Uh, House don't of know India happening. is that what it's called? I can't remember because I just called the place next to the Seven <laughs> Eleven. So let's say I'm near that Indian restaurant yes, and, I'm, and I'm coming out of, I just had a heck of a meal. I just had a, a, a chicken tiki masala and I'm full. And okay. I see you outside a house of pies. You're bursting that's a, into that's tears. That's the state that you want to be in when you exit a restaurant, isn't it? Just say oh. it. <laughs> You don't want to be still hungry when you leave a restaurant. Well, yeah. It might seem unnecessary to say, but when I describe myself leaving a restaurant, I want to point out I'm not hungry anymore. (laughs) Some people say when I tell stories, I throw in stupid details that are uninteresting and not necessary. I say no. I like to spell it out. Good for you. So, London, I see you crying outside a house of pies. You're 50 yards away. Not yet. I'm Uh-oh. outside. I'm, so, I'm right across the avenue. Yeah, right across the street. So and you're I, approximately what? What is that? Ten yards away. Ten yards. So you run in the yards. opposite direction. I to back up. Me. My eyes on you. I back straight up, <laughs> straight down. When you're coming out of the restaurant, are you back yeah, up and I, into I, the I kitchen? Kind of sashay to the right so that I'm lined up with Franklin, and then I back up. Yes. In, a, in a nice in a nice power walking <laughs> stance. Yes. Keep my eyes locked on you, and I'm like, one moment, madam, one moment. What's I? And I have to eyeball this. I can't promise that it's exactly fifty yards. Yeah. Sure. No, I mean, there are apps on your phone that you could, if you were, yeah, to know how to use. Yeah, he's not that them, way inclined. He doesn't have to use. I tried to use Google Maps to measure distance, and it really doesn't do any. I type in it does. 50, 50 it yards back. Does. <laughs> I mean, kind of. One what, thing phones are bad at is knowing where can, you are. Ruben, so we cut you off, sir. Continue. Oh, how polite, London. You are a gracious um, co-guest. Uh, Thank you so co-host. much. Oh, I forgot to ask if she was the co-host on on uh, the after party. I'll, I'll seize my time to find out this information. <laughs> no, nah, we'll tease it. When, when, uh, <laughs> after the break, we'll find Good that out. <laughs> yeah. Um, so I'll back up 50 yards and I'll shout, Madam, how may I be of service? Right. And and then if you indicate that you need to talk about something or that if you need a ride somewhere or if you just if you just need then I will then I will move closer. What, what if what what I wanted was you to come closer, but you then were I will charge but, immediately reverse my steps. Charge. 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 Head as fast as possible. Mm-hmm. Tuck my head down, shoulders. <laughs> how, and, how fast uh, can you run? Last time I timed it, which was this morning, I can do. <laughs> okay, um, we don't need any time yeah. in between that. Yeah, so just use the one from this morning. We don't yeah, need any updated time. I can go no. do it right now if you need. I don't know no, if I'm that's quite all right. We, we'll take the one from this morning. I can do a 50 yard dash in about 20 seconds. <laughs> what? Yep. Wow. It's Why aren't you in the Olympics? <laughs> I, wow. I should be. Um, <laughs> you should. Yes, you should be. I, but it's, I'm not interested because the Olympics don't do enough good for my community. And I'm interested in being a do gooder. Okay. Oh, yeah. So what? So so you're just wandering around Los Feliz looking for crying people. Is that what's happening? That's what I'll do. There's you, many of them out there. I reckon. Yeah. Would this be a bad time for me to explain my origin story, or should I wait for that? Oh, I, a lot of guests don't have origin stories. London, oh I didn't God. even ask you about your origin. Yeah, you story. didn't care about my origin story, but you'd yeah, rather speak to this community organizer over me. So carry on. What? What's your origin story, Ruben? Uh, as a mediocre white man, yes. I have my origin story ready to go, and I go. and I and I let it out any yeah. any chance I get. It's way more interesting than the black girl that's come from Britain that's conquered America. Go it's on, it's really go not. On. Your, go on. Your sarcasm is on point because this go following on. story is not as interesting. <laughs> go on, babe. It's true. Well, let's hear it. I mean, go on. I'm going to say it anyway, but I'm going to keep an open mind and 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 see if that if if it's interesting. Go on. Yeah, my goal, go my on. goal here is to help my neighborhood. So even if I'm boring and mediocre, I still hope that it adds some good to the neighborhood of Los Feliz. That's and I'm coming on the show to inspire people. So if that yes. if that happens, then I've done my job. Uh, my origin story is that uh, I was fired from being a predatory stockbroker and investment manager uh, two weeks ago. <laughs> <laughs> 
predatory. <laughs> predatory. I would to, uh, to, I would, to, to your coworkers to or? coworkers. I would be uh, harassing and angry to my coworkers. I would call up <laughs> senior citizens and lie to them to get them to invest in poor stocks. <laughs> I would take that money and use it to create um, poorly run apartment complexes. I <laughs> slums. <laughs> well, you're a landlord as well. Oh yes, my God. I was. I got fired. I lost all my assets. Okay. Um, it was money, money, money. That was my goal, and it didn't matter who was in my way. I, 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 I punished and and ruined people. Uh, and this is just two weeks ago. Yeah, ten days, really. I'm rounding up to two weeks. Um, what, so what happened? Usually in the origin story, something happens that makes you change your bad ways. What happened? Yeah, was there an Uncle Ben type character yeah, who died by the because of this? Spider, like what happened? Yeah. Um, did you both make Spider-Man references at yes, the same we time? Did. I think we, we did. did. Yes. <laughs> you are a nerd, London. That was. I told you. <laughs> Were you bitten by a radioactive stock? What, what exactly <laughs> happened? A radioactive Fraser, perhaps. Uh, <laughs> given all the powers of Fraser, I was given all the wit and empathy <laughs> and um, frustration. Yeah, and frustration. <laughs> just all the all the proportional uh, empathy and frustration of a, yes. of a full Fraser. No, that yes. did not happen. Okay. My boss took me into his office and said, "You're under arrest." I ran out of the building. <laughs> was he making a citizen's arrest or was he undercover? He was arresting me. He was, he was like, I, as a citizen, am arresting you for your bad behavior. The very like, definition of a citizen's arrest. As I'm running out, I'm like, you're not a police officer. He's like, try and stop me. I jumped out of a window. Luckily, we were on the first floor. Oh, so God. it was, I just, I landed. Did you find that out once you jumped out the window? Or? Yeah, I just said any window will do. And I was outside. I'm like, oh, thank God. This is the first floor. Oh, landed wow. in a soft, rolling somersault. I'm incredibly athletic. <laughs> <laughs> like you were running 20 seconds. So fast, I could imagine. Yeah. Yep, oh, I landed God. in a soft rolling somersault right out fast as I could, about 20 seconds, 50 yards. Or I didn't time it that particular day, but I assume it was sometime around that fast. Yes. At the end of my 50 yards, I'm like, okay, I got to lie low, and I'm calculating. What am I going to do? I got to escape from this <laughs> – from the citizens' arrest, you know, and you start to who can I hide out with? What friends of mine won't won't talk? And then on the ground, I this you're not going to believe this. This is in Los Feliz. On the ground is a knight's gauntlet, a metal glove, a glove. Yeah, like, like an old an old chainmail yeah. style right. did you work a suit next to, of armor. Did you work next to Medieval Times? Yes. Or? Oh, yes, I worked next to Medieval Times, but I believe that was unrelated. I couldn't believe this. On the sidewalk, <laughs> have you ever been to the Medieval Times in Los Feliz? No. I, <laughs> I didn't know they had the, a It's chain behind there. the Starbucks at Los oh, Feliz right. and uh, Hillhurst. Okay. There's a, little, there's a little Medieval Times. There's yes. a little mini one. Yes, I'm a, yes, sure. So you find this gauntlet that's been thrown down, and that is, of course, the origin the of the phrase throwing down the gauntlet. That's right, yeah. And I'm like, I have been challenged. And, and knights, of course, are men of honor. Uh, of not, course. You know, like Sir Lancelot, they're fighting for their kingdom. They're fighting for chivalry. Yeah, you got Brian McKnight. He was fighting. <laughs> oh yeah, Brian McKnight. He was one of the one he of the. He would do it any time. He's yeah. a man of honor. Brian McKnight. If you see Brian McKnight walking down the sidewalk and he's singing, and you're crying instantly because his voice is yeah exactly. too beautiful. His yeah. Brian McKnight's voice is so beautiful. He should be. Um, regulated. Do you know yeah. what I'm saying? It's like yeah. the powerful. government should step in at this point, mm -hmm. much like they. He are shouldn't probably be allowed to just Facebook. sing anytime he wants because they'll just everyone will just break into tears. Just they should shatter break you. up the monopoly of Brian McKnight's voice. You know, yes. separate his voice from his body because Absolutely. he's good looking and he has and that voice. He, yeah. Oof. It's not fair. It is London. Uh, you should date Brian McKnight. I don't know what I feel his like status he's is. Old though, he's like sixty odd, isn't it? He's just black, yeah, so he looks oh, about 40, old. but he's like sixty odd. That's too old to be a sexual human being. I know. Would you go on a date with him though? Just. Just be just for the spectacle. Yeah, I would. I'd probably smash, to be honest. But yeah. <laughs> and can I ask? And I'm sorry, as a as a sexless older man, when you say yes. smash, to what degree of interaction are we talking about? Oh, full penetration, full pain. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, okay, sl I'm sliding into home yeah, and feeling good. all that foam. I thought Smash was just like hard kissing, just like no, just like oh face, no. just like full pain. Can I ask yeah. Ruben why are you a sexless older man? Yeah. I had a castration. Yeah, you had I a had castration, a self castration, chemical um, or or nope, the old full, snip snip. Like, yep, gelding, like a full gelding. <laughs> why? It was interfering with my stock trading. It was some. It was I was I was not no, as aggressive true. a stock trader as I, I wanted to be. I dated stock traders and they wank a lot. Honestly. Yeah, that's right. And it you was wank, distracting me. You have to wank me. like four or five times a day to get the drama out. Yeah. So I was like, no, no, all I care about is money. So I gelded myself. Yeah, it seems, no, I get It that. seems like cutting off your 
your uh, junk mm-hmm. would l- make you lose that sort of drive that that drives it, you. Nah. Somehow it inspired me more. I it was getting imagine. in the way. I was more focused. Yeah. Okay. I was more focused. Yeah. So why were you going to be arrested by your boss? Because wouldn't wouldn't the boss normally have called the securities, you know, exchange in? Is that and the they question you want to ask you? him? You don't want to know about this gauntlet? More about the gauntlet? You want to find out about why? You know, London, well, they're, they are related. <laughs> okay, this, go on, This babe. is why I like to have people like you on the show, because I get lost <laughs> yeah, clearly, in these stories that people lost. tell. You're so I appreciate lost. you have a very organized mind, which very I appreciate. Organized. So to, to have yeah. three shows on Netflix, you must be able to because, yeah. you know, I would be on the after party and just start talking about the history of swear words. Right. Exactly. You know, like, oh, fuck happened when someone was having sex and banged his penis and said fuck yes. and then said, oh, that's that's pretty good for what I'm doing right now. <laughs> so you have watched the show. Yeah, okay. Maybe, maybe a little bit. When you when you said the name of your show was to catch a dick, I thought it was about people who cut their dicks off and had to catch it in their hands. I thought oh, that's what the whole special you. was. Is that what you did or did they that have like a little bucket down there? And then I just like scooped it up in my hands. In a li- where I'm incredibly is it athletic. right now? Is it in a little Ziploc bag in your freezer? Yes. Where is it? I keep it, it in my freezer just sort of as a keepsake, just sort of yeah. as a memory of my past life. I would frame it and put it on my shelf like a Grammy. Do you I might mean? get a taxidermist <laughs> to make it look like a little chipmunk. <laughs> well, also, you could, like, say you didn't want to remain sexless and you had a partner, and the yes. partner comes over and you say, look, I was castrated, but I can still pleasure you with my original penis. Yes. It's here in the freezer. <laughs> what a gentlemanly offer. As a, as a man of honor, I'd like to say that. <laughs> So so back to London's question. Tell us about the gauntlet. You found uh, the gauntlet. I found yeah. the gauntlet. I'm, I'm in a run. So my boss wants to have me arrested. I assume he was in contact with the Securities and Exchanges Commission with the right. government. And 100%. he was simply executed because I had broken an insanely high number of laws. Oh, yeah. How, how, what's high when it comes to laws? Two. Yeah. That's a lot. Two. Yeah. At least lot. two. I had... um. Insider trading, you know, I mm, used mm, mm, knowledge mm. from CEOs of actions they were going to do. To what did you know about? This is 10 days ago. What did you know about? Did GameStop. you know about the GameStop I, thing? I knew about GameStop. You, know, yeah. you must have known. The um, mm. One of the moderators of the ga- of um, Wall Street Bets on Reddit, the little subreddit <laughs> where this whole thing started. Right. <laughs> He and I are buddies. We're on a trivia, a pub trivia team together. You're on a pub <laughs> qu- quiz. I was on a pub team. trivia team with the g- oh moderator of Wall Street Bets, and this is the place where they organized the whole GameStop yes. thing, where they drove up the price of the stock artificially mm-hmm. to mm-hmm. frustrate people like me. But he's my buddy. He's like, hey, he's like, and this is a little bit complicated. He's like, do not short the GameStop stock because you know we're going to drive the price up. And I was like, oh, it's not really? complicated. That's not exactly complicated. what the That's whole exactly story what, about yeah, GameStop was. Oh, okay, great. I, can't, I don't Twitter. know what normal it's people great. know about investing. We know it all. We understand it. Yeah. You are smart people, all? London and I, yeah. right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Seems mm-hmm. like a seems like a, a huge claim. But um <laughs> <laughs> You're rude. You're getting I cheeky. may be just, you know, I am rude, Ruben, yeah. Ruben, you're getting this very is my old, uh, This is my old self coming back. My predatory self. You got to cut off your, cut your, off. your penis. <laughs> I, don't know, yeah. I don't know what's cut left. Your balls. Your, are your balls still there? Everything's gone. I, I'm like ah, a Ken doll. I just, yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah. <laughs> it was a disaster. I shouldn't have done it. And you yeah. did it yourself? Yeah. Yes, you cut it off. Yeah. You put it in a zip no, I bet, but you normally I would attention. go into like a, a surgeon to do that normally, for me. Normally, did and you just say, Scott, did you say normally you would? <laughs> yeah, in a normal situation <laughs> when I'm cutting my penis off. Okay, cool. Look, you're right. It's an extraordinary situation. I think I would leave it to a professional. Right. You, you're, and you know what? You'd be right because I screwed up. I was like, I'm an athlete. I can do this. And I blew it. I blew it. Was I did it, it. Like, what's that movie? Is it 120 some hours when yep. what's his yep. face is cutting off his arm? Was James it like Franco, that? Yeah. Or yeah. was it like that? In one frink. And it's you know, off, if, or was if it, it like... had been, uh, if it had been 128 hours, he would have gotten to his penis. <laughs> he would have finally gotten around to it. Thank God they came in when he did. Oh, I yeah. pitched a version of that movie where a guy's dick is caught between two rocks and he has to cut it off. And I'd be like, this is like two hours. This movie would be two hours. Because you just do it right away. <laughs> you just do it right away. Like, eh, you know what? It's I don't not think I'm it. getting it. What was he doing with his penis in the rocks? Exactly. Yeah. How big did your dick have to be to get caught in two rocks? And why not Jesus. just like let it go soft? <laughs> and you're clearly... just... But what if you're somebody who's aroused by nature? So you're in yeah. the, no, like you're, the you're majesty. By rocks. Yeah. That's the thing. It's just never going to go soft. I may it'd as well a, just cut this off. It'd yeah. be a tragedy. That is the thing, you know. You can be aroused by rock, rocks. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. Well, you know what, R- Ruben? We were going to hear your second crime. Yes. Oh, yeah, because the first crime was basically a financial crime, insider sure. trading. Yes. What was uh, the second crime? Malfeasance. <laughs> Malfe- Whoa. <laughs> 
Wow. Yeah. What an amazing revelation wow. to bring back after the commercial break. I'm, wow. I bet our listeners are so glad that <laughs> Why when did you, you say go it's fast with that crime. Yeah. It's a high stakes. It's a yeah. high stakes crime. Yeah. What right. exactly did you malfeasance? What? Yeah. Malfeasance is uh, like the, the wrongdoing of a public official, basically like misusing your political power. Oh, are, were you a public official? It seemed to me like you were just a stock it trader. It seemed to me like, yeah. No, I was the president of the One Direction fan club in Los Feliz, <laughs> and I and I used my power to take what? all of the leaked MP3s for myself and not distribute them to the group. <laughs> I see. Okay, and that, that is a criminal offense? I didn't yes. think so, but the, the it was a very passionate fan club, and they were able to get me charged with malfeasance. They, yeah. they got a very Ribbon. talented lawyer, and the charges stuck. This, this also seems like a civil trial, more than I think it should have been. Ruben. <laughs> it absolutely should have been. Yes. Ruben, who's right. your who's your favorite Zane. member of what in Zane. order? What, what who are your in favorite? In alphabetical members? order. Who are your How do you favorite? rank yeah, <laughs> the like, One Direction members? Yeah. Uh, Harry Styles is first, Zayn is last, the rest you can fill it in. So what <laughs> sure. so, sorry, what the other three? Um what let the me, other three? Oh hang on. I my foot's what? caught. Hang on. What? I'm sorry. Oh, what? No, don't cut off your foot. No, what I'm, is your foot my caught foot's in? My foot's caught in the shower drain. My foot's caught in the shower drain. I, oh, oh no. I'm not. I know. What's your favorite single of theirs being the president of the One Direction fan club? It's a little known B side that never got released called uh Check Out This Check Out This Shopping Mall, which they oh. just did a, a tour of a shopping mall and they right. each took oh, really? like a little verse where they would talk about different stores. Different stores? Oh, really? Yeah. What? Can you sing some of it? I never I never heard. Yeah, yeah. Oh, hang on. I'm, I'm caught. My, oh no, you your other foot? My other foot is caught in a Never, different oh. shower drain. I, how it? many showers do you have at your place? You, I mean, you're rich, obviously. I'm super Clearly. rich. I got a ton of bathrooms. I got at least three. How wow. many beds? How many baths? And is it a tutor? <laughs> What's it's a tutor? An English tutor house. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen some tutors over there in Los Feliz recently. Uh, this is a, this is a ranch style, uh, a oh single God. one story ranch style, two bedroom, four bathroom. That's a lot of bathrooms for a bathrooms. two bedroom house. I had two yeah. added. I had two added. And how many drains? How many drains are there? Yeah, how many it, drains are one normally drain a bathroom, bathroom has two right. drains at least if they have just a shower one. in there? Yeah. Just, just one. Just, just one. Just drain. One so drain. the sink and the shower share a drain. That's right. <laughs> Yeah, I had I had the sink routed into the tub. I was like, this is this is nice. wasteful to have two drains. So what would you? So it's best to sing in the shower, and you are in the shower. So why don't you sing the shopping? Yeah, let's hear now, We've already yeah. talked about me being a mediocre white man. Do you really wish me to display my <laughs> lack of talent in another area? Is that something you're? <laughs> Oh, well, who so. who threw down this gauntlet? I think that's the big question. I've been that, trying to get to know this question for so long now that I don't really care anymore. I have to I'm admit, I'm honest. reading into the situation a little bit, but I assumed yes. that a knight, a man of honor, had thrown down the gauntlet to challenge other citizens to also be men of honor. That I was mm -hmm. chosen mm -hmm. by finding this gauntlet by the universe mm -hmm. to live my life in an honorable fashion, to be a modern knight. In all the good ways. So uh, you 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 ran you jumped out the window, did a somersault. Did did, did, a, did you do a somersault, or am I just making yeah, that up? I, I said that several times. I fell into a nice graceful. No. So I was proud of it, which is why I brought it up. Mm, How many times up, did you turn over to do a three sixty? One and a half. One and a half. Sprung to my feet lightly. Right. It's easy to tuck and roll when you have no junk because you can sort of compress. This is right. true. This yeah, is you true. don't as have to woman, do the tuck part. As a woman, yep. I can confirm that this is true. Yep. Yes. And then I ran top speed. 50, 75 yards, found mm -hmm. the gauntlet. Have you, ever, my, have you ever timed yourself at miles per hour? Uh, no, I, no, I haven't done it. Huh. Yeah, oh. what's the, are you only good in short distances or can you run long distances as well? Yeah, I run out of gas quickly. I'm a, mm -hmm, okay. mm -hmm, I'm a, mm -hmm, I'm like mm -hmm. a turbo a 50 boost. 50 yard guy? 50 mm -hmm, yards, mm -hmm. I could probably squeeze 100 yards. But if I try to do like a 5K even, I'm out of Why gas. Why aren't you like a running back for the NFL? I should have been. I should have been. But um, probably was in a previous life. But uh, true. Life. Yeah. Do you have have you ever uh, gone to a psychic or uh, you know an astrologist and figured out what you were in a, a previous life? Yes, I have it, and I was not involved in football. And I, I, I was a very fast welder in World War One. Oh, okay, that's not bad. No. Yeah. I mean, the, they needed those planes. <laughs> What's yeah. wrong with you, Ruby? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> Nothing's wrong, man. I'm, I've never been better. My life is on a terrific upswing because I so you, I have purpose. Yeah. Ruben. You've got your hair. You've thrown down the gauntlet, right? Yes. You, well, you I picked found it up. the gauntlet. You picked it up. Yeah. How did it turn you into a good person? I just decided. 
Oh, Ruben, why did you just say that this whole time? Yeah, <laughs> on reflection, I should have. I'm mediocre even in my narrative uh, terseness. It seems to me like Ruben, you 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 were outside of a little medieval times. Yeah. Yes. Where one of the employees just dropped part of his costume. Mm -hmm. As a good Samaritan, what you should have done is went Mm. to the little medieval times and said, hey, someone dropped this outside your place. And he's looking for it. Because that employee now has to pay for this glove. And it's it's coming out of his salary. Yeah. Yeah. And it's COVID. So no one's got there. What's it? Stimulus checks. Oh, my God. It's sad. London, you're up to date on American politics, too. That's humiliating to me. (laughs) See, we're both smart. We really are. Yeah. Yeah, we're smart. Well, this is a terrible story. Ruben Stone, uh, community yeah. organizer. Uh, yeah. uh, you know, been through I mean, it. he's been through it, man. He's been through he it. He really has. But, you know, I think we're finding out that uh, not I every guest to... on this show is someone that we can admire. And your story yeah. is. Oh, God. And it, it started out so well, like community organizer, a guy that yeah. does good deeds. Like I was crying and you helped me from 50 yards away. And you yes. fucked it. You fucked it. I did. Get yourself together. I need and to go hear back it. and face your demons. And, and return give, that glove. Return the glove. Give back the gauntlet. Stop the steal. Yeah. I really don't want. <laughs> I'm going to see if I can keep the glove, but I'll, I'll go offer it. Why it's, do you want to keep the glove? It's, yeah. so, it's rad. I just think Mike's <laughs> stuff is radical. Do you own rad. like other other sort of knight memorabilia, like swords and stuff like that? I picked up stuff here or there. I, gotta, I have here a sword. And there. And I, yeah, I'll run across a mace or a battle axe and I'll pick it up and I'll take it back with me. This is all I'm just the, stuff you're the, stealing from medieval from the times. Store. You need to give it back. You need to give that back to I the like people. to go to medieval times, and if someone's leaving something around, I feel like that's there for the customers. It's so not, leaving it's it not. where? In, like, the employee break room? Employee break room, uh, the trunks of people's cars. If someone is just, like, <laughs> leaving, leaving something not. around, I'll pick no, it up. No, Ruben, you need to give the people their stuff back. This is bad. This is bad, Ruben. Well, Ruben, we have to move on to our next guest, if that's, that's okay. totally fine. Uh, please welcome to the show Randy Useless. Hey, hey. thanks for having me, everybody. Hey, hey. What a pleasure to be on a show with another musician, Dan. I don't know if we've crossed paths. I, I've done so many gigs. Mm-hmm. It's hard for me to keep track of what rooms I've been in, you know, what I've worked on. But uh, maybe we've crossed paths. But if not, I'm glad to meet you now. Yeah. Fellow musician. I think one time I borrowed your snare drum. Oh, yeah? But it would. I mean, I lend stuff out like crazy. So that, that doesn't surprise me. You, what, what, I'll uh, give it away. What inst- Give it away just like the Chili Peppers, right? The Chili oh, yeah. Peps, as the they Chili say. Peps, they love to give it away. Do, Those ever, guys are generous as heck. You ever play with them? I don't remember. I might have wandered in and out of a session with them. It's hard. God, it blurs together. Once, once, you're a, once you're a working dog, it's just like, you know, you're just clocking in, just trying yeah. to serve the song. So I, I, prob- I, I probably did something for the Peps. Yeah. You what, know, what they're you, giving what, away. What instrument do you play? I like to, you know, whatever. Uh, um, I'll do a little guitar here. You know, I'll hit a little bass sometimes. I'll hit a couple of drums. You know, whatever. whatever. I look around and I'm like, what do I need? I guess I specialize in spoken word. If I had to say like what my absolute, I mean, I'll do whatever. I don't mean to, but my wheelhouse is spoken word. When I get a, when I get a chance to just like add in a spoken word to a song, that's where I feel like I'm really in my own personal sweet spot. I guess I don't know what you mean. Spoken word okay, in the middle I, of a song. I don't do like to brag. I don't like to brag. Oh, please but don't. I guess please I'll, don't. Okay, so what else? Um, I like... Uh, no, but tell me what, what you mean oh. when you say spoken word without bragging. Okay. In a, and if you brag, I'll call you on Okay, so I'm going to do this in a very humble way. Okay, not a, a humble not, brag either. No, no, not a passive... Uh, no, no, whittles, I'm, I'm going to put nothing on this. Okay. I'm going to put nothing on... No stank. On, just a fact. Just the facts, man. Do a dragnet. Okay, this is going to be as if I am a autistic detective, emotionless. Just the facts. Is and what we're I'm and we're and when we say autistic, we mean in the good sense of the word. We're oh yeah, not dragging. Like, you know, no we mean dragging. like the good doctor. Like he's great. Yeah, this he, guy. They should call him the great doctor on the spectrum. He's so good at being a doctor. But very talented, and you love the guy. You that's, love the guy. This is okay. That's you're where do, I'm coming from. Okay, so not like problematically. What are we going to do about this? No, not like you're saying it like a slam. <laughs> There's no like, slam on it. No it's just slam. like, hey, I've, I have trouble reading social cues. I'm going to put. I'm going to be so far away from bragging that it'll be like I can't read social cues. Okay, but read, in a good way. Read my cues, okay, though. Okay, before I start, I'll read your cues. But once I start doing this, I'm not going to. You're not going to be able to tell social cues. Okay. 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 I'm I, smiling I, right now. So, so you're happy. Yeah. I'm so happy. you want me to continue? Okay. Yes. My main feat, which I just say as a fact and not as a brag, that you've probably have heard of. Do you know the 1994? En Vogue song, Never Gonna Get It. Well, let me see if I can sing it. Never gonna get it, never gonna yep. get it, never right. gonna get oh, yeah. it. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, that's right. Is that right. about it? That's right. 
in the two thirds mark of that song, I say a little part. I say a little part where I come in and go. Now it's time for a breakdown. Oh yeah! Yes, that's in that song. I remember that. Was that. Me. I was brought in. I don't even remember what for. I think to play a little guitar, a little bass, hit a couple drums. I don't remember, but like. I just improvised that during one of the. I was so moved by the grooviness. Of you that were just. Tune. You were in the studio. I was in Oakland. The ladies of with the ladies Invogue, of Invogue, including Don Richardson. All four. And this is before they went down to three. So all four of them were all there. All four in Vogue. They're doing four part harmonies. They're, They're grooving. You're in the studio. Tremendous talents. Hitting on a couple of drums. I'm hitting a couple of drums. I'm playing hitting a little on guitar. A bass. Playing a little bit. Ba- hitting a bass. Throwing around a guitar. Doing whatever sure. can help. And then I just threw out that. Now it's time for a breakdown. And Did I- you? know a breakdown was coming no you didn't i felt though did they have to improvise a breakdown they i put them on the spot and and but in vogue to their credit as pros instantly had a breakdown wow yeah they put a breakdown right in there wasn't going to be a breakdown they in improvised. that song but they were like i you know i, I think we were all feeling it i don't really want to take credit because i'm sure. in a non-bragging mode sure uh, as i say this but you just say it was your main feat though well i think this is like what i'm most known for i guess most notable accomplishment even saying it's an accomplishment is kind of a brag yeah so i guess it's uh, how can it's i put a, this in a total it is a this is an event that-, that i was associated with <laughs> Uh, this is an event that I was passively associated with to no credit of my own that the largest number of human beings would have prior knowledge of. Okay, that's not bad. Okay, is I, that a non-brag? Now, I'm smiling right now, which means continue. I know you can't pick up on and this. I'm in my current mode. I'm refusing to read social cues, so thank you for telling me. <laughs> okay. As a talented, temporarily spectrum session musician, I appreciate you letting me know. So, so that's after incredible. that, I was like... And they I and how did is, they feel afterwards when you uh, after the song ended? I have they? no idea because I was so excited that I immediately ran out of the studio and never went back. <laughs> and I just said, "It's you know, it's just like it's not going to get better than this." So you were excited said, by the accomplishment just of the like, song. I just can't believe that I said, "Well, that I said now it's time for a breakdown." They did a breakdown. What that song's one take. Wow, just With like no Lionel overdubs. Richie's Hello? <laughs> yes, exactly. That's what they said. They were like, we're going to do this like Lionel Richie's Hello. I was like, Whatever happens, yeah. happens. I, was, I said, who? Which was awkward. And they had to explain <laughs> to me who Lionel Richie was. <laughs> You never and heard the of the Com- Commodores or Motown <laughs> or Motown, <laughs> which, by the way, so what before, are you doing in this session? I look, I I just serve the song. I'm not obsessed with history. I hit a guitar, I hit a bass, I hit a couple sure. drums. You ever, you ever play on a Motown song? Uh, probably. I mean, <laughs> you don't even know what it is because I walk in with blinders. I'm like, I don't want to know the fame. I want this just to be about the work. I'm starting to think that you actually are on the spectrum and you I, do not I don't pick up on so. social cues. Uh, if you're hinting at something, I am unable currently to pick up on that. <laughs> So well, I ran out of this. I have no idea what out. they thought of it. I said, "Did you I, run to your car?" Or I did ran you... to my car and left Oakland, and I've never been back <laughs> to the whole city. Yeah, <clears throat> and that's wow. not a judgment because I think Oakland's to the a Bay great area? place. I've been to the Bay Area. I've been to is, is San Jose the Bay Area? It's a, it's a, then I have there. not been to the Bay Area. I've only been to San Jose. Was okay. San Francisco the Bay Area? It's definitely. Never definitely. been there. Never. Okay. <laughs> so you've kept away from the entire Bay Area that's since right. that day because it was so special. Mm. To be part of a one take, no overdub, dance, funk, pop hit in you which you do know I, it's dance and funk. Yeah, uh, you're saying that I am aware of that. You are aware of the, I mean, of the guessing, genre of music. I, I I didn't know when I walked in. I was like, "What is this group?" The barbershop quartet was my first guess because I saw four <laughs> singers. So you're a barbershop quartet fan. I'm an aficionado <laughs> of barbershop quartets. What's your, who's your go- favorite quartet? My favorite. Who's court- your favorite BQ? I mean, I go pretty deep cut, so I don't know if anybody's going to heard of the people sure. that I like. But my favorite BQ is probably the um, the four dimwits <laughs> from England. What an unfortunate name for them. It's family name. Oh, <laughs> you got to take. Okay. And as Randy Useless, I'm I also carry this burden. Sometimes whatever fate hands you, mm. you got to see it as a gift. You I can't see. fight the waves of fate. The four dimwits. The four dimwits yeah. uh, who exclusively sang deep intellectual theories of physics which nobody was expecting, but I saw as a fascinating contrast. Wow. I wonder what— And they did uh, Oh, Susanna. (laughs) They did a great Oh, Susanna. A great Oh, Susanna. I wonder what got in the way of their career more, their name or their choice of Who knows? It's one of those things where if we had a time machine, we could figure it out. It'd probably be the first thing I would do. I guess. Do you— But I love BQs, and I don't get a ton of chance to be on BQs. They don't need a ton of spoken word or a ton of guitar bass. You don't need a session musician. Right. The thing about BQs is they're like, they're self-contained. Yeah, and you don't— Dan, you ever been in a BQ? I've never been. You'd be great. Think so? You look to me like a guy who'd be a great tenor. 
is now you, is tenor um, your vocal is, range? But is now the best time to mention that I don't know what a BQ is? A barbershop, barbershop quartet? quartet? <laughs> we didn't. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm going industry speak on you. That's not cool of me. I I'm brand new, man. I'm green. Put yeah. on a pinstripe suit and a straw bow. Yeah, I mean, I, I know think. what a barbershop quartet. Yeah, yeah. Have been in one? I call it a BQ. I'm sorry. I'm deep inside. Do they have barbershops up in Canada? Like, are all haircuts free too? You ever pull out your credit card there? You just put your head in the freezer and then you shake it really violently and then it kind of breaks apart. Save money. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Your hair looks great for that method, by the way. Thank you. That works? No. Oh. (laughs) Well, if you ever get a chance to be in a barbershop quartet, I see you as, I think that might be your calling. I think he's a tenor, even though he has kind of a deep, husky uh, speaking voice. Uh, Look, we're meeting right now for the first time, but if you're singing in a deep, husky singing voice, you're screwing up. I say, kick it up. (laughs) Kick it up. An uh, octave. An octave. Yeah, one octave. Go a full octave. A full calendar octave. In the tenor range. Get three guys who look... Just generally jovial, yeah. <laughs> dress alike. Just see how it goes. It is an earnest art form, isn't it? Oh, there's la- there's no irony in BQ no style. irony there, but no bra- la- no bragging as well. Yeah. No bragging. I don't think there's any barbershop quartet song with a brag in it. There's not a ton of boasting in four part harmony. You know, it's, it's, mostly it's very just descriptive like, about something that happened. It's like, very yeah. story song. It's like what happened to a riverboat yeah. or where a girl is currently. Light a rose, my home again rose. They always yeah, tell you like how many very seats are on the bicycle. Requests. Yeah. What is it? They always tell you how many seats are on the bicycle. Yeah. Let you know that it's built for two. <laughs> this one's built for two. Every you bicycle. Can, you can ride it for one. Most people, is, you know, when you hear a bike, you're thinking one. But if you're listening to a BQ song, they'll let you know how many seats. Yeah. There's yeah. no room for error in how many seats are in a bicycle. It's in a because they ha- there's a deep uh, history in the legal community of it. And they don't like Oh, yeah. Egg. You can't get yeah. sued. Because no, if they... you tell somebody you and I rode a bike together and you didn't say it was built for two. And then somebody tries to put two people two on, people a, single on bicycle, a single bike. Yeah, and then they dangerous. get hurt. Liability. You're liable for damage. That's like the Beavis and Butthead setting, you know, kids setting fires and everything. You know? Oh, yeah, it's yeah, exactly, exactly the same. Or like listening to an Ozzy Osbourne record backwards and then you do whatever it says. Yeah. That's, that's well, on Ozzy. Worship yeah. Satan, of course. Yeah, yeah. Well, this is uh, – and you don't sing. Uh, I speak. I mean, uh, uh, so no. <laughs> I mean, like, it's not um, – <laughs> Most people don't consider that sing. Hey, there's music in everything. I would, you know, we can. There's, a musicality, there's your, a musicality to your musicality to your flat cadence. voice. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I could have said, I could have said instead of now, it's time for a breakdown. I could have just said, hey, now it's time for a breakdown, and I would have blown it. Yeah. yeah, you know what I mean. But I was like in this kind of nice cadence, you know. And again, I don't mean to brag. I'm just stating the facts of the event. That occurred. That is incredible. Congratulations hey, to you. Hey, thanks so much. And have I'm you, just open to other gigs. Have you worked since then? Um, what do you mean by worked? <laughs> I mean, you ran out of the studio. Yeah. I don't even Top know if you speed. got it. If you, you Did know, not punched your paid. time card. Didn't, didn't get, get paid. paid. Didn't no. want it. <laughs> didn't want My it. My payment was the work. I wow. when, the, when the album came out a year later, this was in early 93 that we did this. Mm. When the album came out a year later, I eagerly ran to it. I was like, who knows if they... Edited that out, I certainly sure. wouldn't have been mad, and there it was, and that's my payment. Wow. Yep. Incredible. So have you been paid since? Uh, not for uh, music s- session work, no. I'm a vice president of actuarial science at Aetna Insurance Company, <laughs> but I don't consider that I don't consider that my career. Do, can I ask you a question? So you're, yeah, of course you can. You just, you're, yeah, that's what I'm vice, here for. Why would you even have to worry about that? You're the vice president, one of the vice presidents of Aetna? The vice president the, the of vice actuarial vice science. Actuary, yeah. The but data, the stats. I wouldn't say that you're vice live. president of Aetna, though. That's not, that's a different okay, guy. Yeah. But I am the sole vice president of actuarial sciences. And did you which have is that the data wing? Did you have that job prior I to? Did. Okay, I did. I've had that job since 1982. <laughs> okay, so yeah. can I, I worked, ask? I worked a long time to get that job. Can I ask you something? Career. Yeah, sure. When you say that you are a session musician, that's right, were, baby. Were, were you uh, employed to be a session musician on that day of the uh, En Vogue? <laughs> no, I was brought in for <laughs> to sell some policies. <laughs> en Vogue knew they were going to do well. They're like, we need life insurance. <laughs> Policy. So I came okay. in there and I was like, and I was hanging around <laughs> while they recorded and, and hitting a couple of drums. I was like, hitting a couple of drums, hitting a couple of bass guitars. Where, do, which was is what I always do. Were the I'm words in the studio. "Don't touch that" ever muttered yes. by anyone? Yes. Don't touch that. Stay away from that. But they were real chill and nice, so it didn't seem like I had to listen to them. Right. So they you, were they were the sweetest people. So you you just the happened whole to wander in. Grew. I happened to. Well, I didn't happen to wander in. They asked me to come they sell asked them you, some they life asked you insurance. To come, I laid out some policies on a table, and I had everything. And I you know I tried to fill out as much as possible. These are big names, so they just have to like sign it and like look it over and see right. if they want the policy. Of course, same policy of course. for all four and all four. All, all four wanted the same policy. Wow. Well, they had a, you know that was like to stop fights amongst the group. To my understanding, you couldn't have like a. <laughs> 
couldn't have a di- yeah favorite yeah. yeah favored nations when it came to their life insurance yeah <laughs> so, uh, so I yeah, feel like fav- we're getting, getting in the weeds about their policies there <laughs> which I'm happy to do so um, I, I would rather not because okay. I, I actually. I want to highlight the fact that you were in there selling them uh, life insurance initially. Yes, initially, and so you, then and then you uh, strode they up to a, a, a microphone. I'm in the control booth. They start recording. I'm like, this. You were great. in the control booth and went into the. <laughs> yeah, I'm in the control booth because I have to run it by their manager who was there, and I'm showing okay. it to him, and I'm letting him know like, oh, that'll be this, and here's our short term this, and if you get paid, this is the beneficiary. So then ho- they start doing the song. Yeah, Dan, Dan question Did, over here. Yep, are, fellow are musician. We, are we Dan. discovering here that actually? When you said, and now it's time for a breakdown, you were actually just condensing the very thick yeah. document into bullet points. Yeah, so was that this insurance related? It. Yeah, yeah. I was trying to summarize some of the insurance. I mean, that's what I was saying initially. Mm-hmm. And but you once happened I to be it, by a microphone. Once I was by a microphone in the control room. They left a hot mic on by mistake. And But as I heard myself say it, I was like, you know what? This actually applies more to the song. Mm-hmm. And in vogue. Responded and did a breakdown. Wow. And then the, I, now as I was running out the door, I remember they were like, were we supposed to do that? I don't think they thought. Were you running out the door because they were upset? Um, well, I'm not great at reading social cues, so I'll tell you what they did. And you tell me if that reads to you as upset. Okay, yeah. They're yeah. like, you ruined this. Get out. We'll never work with you or Aetna again. I don't wow. know. Now, now I That's... left. I left, so I don't necessarily know what that means. That could have been a gag. Yeah. yeah, and you or never close. On. You never close the account. I did not. No, we didn't close that. The account. on the on Vogue account. <laughs> we didn't get the on Vogue uh, life insurance account, but that's okay. Edna's doing great. Well, I mean, it, well, it worked out for them. I mean, that was a smash. Oh, yeah. And I smash it. And I've, I've never so heard proud. of you. I had assumed it was a sample or something. Uh, I mean, uh, I guess it probably has been since then. I mean, that was the birth of a sample. Well, I don't if know. You know what you mean. philosophical about it, like. Just the first time you do something, every, everything we're doing is a sample, just the right. samples that haven't been used yet. And if it's a birth, it's crawling through that canal. That's right. All births come out of vaginas. Right. That's what I always say. Well, that's amazing. Thank so, you so much. Uh, oh my so, gosh. And I'm open for gigs. So if anybody needs someone to hit a drum, hit a guitar, hit a bass, yeah. do some spoken word, let me know. I'm yeah. open to it. Or if you need a life insurance policy, I can that's also do that. That's mainly what I think that you should be here talking about. <laughs> well, I'm not, you know, I, I don't want to tell, I'm a chill dude so like whatever people <laughs> want to do is fine it doesn't you don't seem that I would chill I consider myself exceptionally chill you seem... I haven't been rattled in days <laughs> what happened a couple of days ago this asshole driving next to me on Los Feliz Boulevard gave me the business I got out of my car the with a bat it was bad with a bat went to some batting cages to work it out oh okay I thought you meant car. you mentioned Ozzy Osbourne before I thought you meant a bat bat oh like a like a, <laughs> like a flying yeah. mouse <laughs> Isn't well, that what they are? My goodness. Uh, my goodness. Randy Useless. Thank uh, you. You're really uh, 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 personifying your name. Yeah, here. it's a stage name. Yeah. Oh, it's a stage name? Yeah. What stage? <laughs> Uh, Hartford um, <laughs> Civic Center. <laughs> In that stage right. only is where I use <laughs> okay. it. Okay. Uh, can you stick around? We have one more guest. Yeah, I think I can stick around, Scott. Okay, I'll stick great. around, too. Okay, we have one more. Come on, everyone, stick around. What do you say? One I'm more like, person. Hey, let me look at the it's clock. It's so rude to leave. <laughs> let me look at my clock. He's a punk rocker. Does that uh, oh, entice you at all? I like that. that. A that's fellow true. entertainer. Yeah, oh, let's Billy get Joe to him. Armstrong. And then, by the way, you'll get to plug things if you stick around. So that's well, I hope it's I Michael DeBar. I, 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 I got something to plug my mouth. <laughs> okay. This character You don't have to stick around. <laughs> Talk right. about a CBB presents. Let's bring him on. Uh, he's a punk rocker. He's never been on the show before. Please welcome Keith Stanley. Hello, everyone. Oh, oh. I'm Keith Stanley. Oh. I'm a punk rocker. Oh no! Oh no! Hello. Oh no! I'm, I'm liking Hello. this guy's energy. <laughs> he's terrific. No, no, no. Sorry, no. I've been waiting for two no, hours. No, 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 no. He's all keyed What's up. What's going on, everyone? Let's no, rock. No, no, no. Let's no. get. Punk rock, everyone. No. This guy Tear sick. down the system. No, no, no Holy no, no, no. shit, wow. this guy's sick as hell. What's going on, Scott? Hi, Keith. Is that how, how you, you really talk? Or, uh, the, yes, no, it's more real voice. No, no last minute uh, I don't adjustment? Think so. no. This is okay. my actual good. voice. Okay, good to see you. Very authentic, and it will sustain. Hell yeah. <laughs> yeah. You my must... name's Keith, everyone. Keith from uh, the UK, I would imagine. Is that That's with correct. F or TH? Yeah. Well, it's spelled on me birth certificate with a T. But everyone called me Keith, and I'll roll with it. That's okay. the punkest shit I ever heard in my life. Oh, it's very <laughs> punk. Birth certificates to man. Tear it down. Burn down the birth certificate. <laughs> birth certificate in front of us. Oh, I brought it. And it's... Oh, so, no. 
<laughs> you turn your them. volume down, Scott. <laughs> for everyone? Really? Yeah, wow, no, interesting. Not for me, no. Oh. No, I see you turning your volume oh, down. Oh, no, I am turning my volume too down. Too much yes. punk rock for you. <laughs> yeah, well, it's not that it's too punk, it's maybe too loud. Oh, it's see, too, yeah. yeah. But, Good uh, distinction. Yeah, so now you you you, uh, uh, you play punk music or you listen That's to right. punk music? I'll listen to it, I'll play it, <laughs> I'll breathe it. <laughs> so he does all of it. Wow. Anything but punk rock music, man, that's my jam. Okay. I'm a bass player primarily, <laughs> but I'll play anything a punk band needs. So... I'll play a drum, I'll play a mm. guitar, I'll play a, you know, a noise rock sort of synthesizer augmenting. Ooh. You got it. Yeah, no, yeah, any of the instruments. <laughs> do we, you do you I were know nodding any, pretty early. Do what? I know any of your songs, Keith? No, I'll refuse to release them publicly. <laughs> if you want oh. my music, you got to buy it right out of me hands. I'll press it only on old 78 speed acetate. Okay, well that's... I need a Victrola to play more music. That's pretty fun, bro. That's pretty that's fuck. Pretty Come to fun. me, I've got a Toyota Celica. Champagne-coloured Toyota Celica. <laughs> Come find me after me show. I'll send it to you right out of me trunk. And that's the only way to hear more That's the music. only way to hear your music. Wow. wow. Are you part of the great punk rock movement we were promised would come out of the Trump administration? <laughs> Some great uh, uh, protest songs that what, were supposed to come out. Are you a writer out? for like, Atlantic Magazine? Are you a think piece? Are you? No, I'm a fellow entertainer. Oh, what's your medium? Mm, big chunky bubble. <laughs> <laughs> Good for you, mate. You guys should team up and do shows together. Well, I love big chunky bubbles. You have such similar energy. Because the man and the system has little tiny smooth bubbles. Exactly. And punk rock bubbles are big and chunky and they smell like yeah. tomato based. You get me. <laughs> I feel like I want to join this band too. You're in. I play, I play a one note instrument that just kind of Let's whines and is whines. super loud. So Let's like, hear it. Play some. You want to hear it? Okay, you asked for it. Here we go. Two, three, four. <laughs> yeah! Take that, the man! Burn down the system! Wow, we wrote a song almost instantaneously. <laughs> so, Keith, That's my crime. what's going on? Do you, have a, do you have a real job as well? Yeah, I'll do every day job. Thank you for asking. Where do you, yeah, where do you work? <laughs> I'm a town planner for Ridgefield, Connecticut. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in charge of overseeing zoning. zoning. Commercial, residential, huh. protecting a two-acre zone that the rich folks like. Oh, okay, so you're protecting the interests uh, of the rich people. And uh, they drive uh, me mad. And that's why I need to express myself at night with my punk rock music. Right. How many hours a week, uh, though, are you doing your, your normal job? day job, job 60 to 70 hours 60, a week. 70 a week, wow. I'll sneak out at the end and put in a cool 45 minutes at the <laughs> punk rock club. Right. And I'll stick it to the man. Something fierce. So I should maybe describe you more as like a, a zoning no! guy I'm a than a punk rocker, rocker, right? I mean, yeah. I'm a punk rocker. Town planning's merely an avocation. And by the way, you're from Connecticut? That's uh, correct. <laughs> Fairfield County, Connecticut, the most rich and austere of the Connecticut counties. Can I ask you a city planning question? Of course, but I won't pretend to like it. <laughs> okay. Uh, so I'm I'm a big national parks guy. You sure, know? who is it? Why don't we have more national parks in the middle of cities? <laughs> what an insane question, mate. <laughs> what you say we should set up a nature preserve in the middle of a commercial zone? You plummet the economy. You need sidewalks, mate, and buses. That's the heart of any good civic planning. This dude's yeah. making a lot of he's sense. A co- he's a commercial planner. He's not a punk rocker. I'm a I mean. punk rocker. <laughs> That's not very I'll tell you this about national parks, mate. They're lovely, but they're sort of a bit woke. You know what I mean? They're performing. I don't don't know that. uh, (laughs) Who hates the woke? Everyone raise their hands. Who hates the woke? I hate the the woke. woke. I hate you, I hate walking. I like to call them wokes like John Cleese does. (laughs) Yeah. Uh, The woking dead is what I call them. (laughs) Right? Yeah. That's right. So, you know, the wokies, the woking, the woking dead... They you're having national- trouble with the accent. Uh, <laughs> it's my real voice. I've had it since you're I was from a Connecticut. Bike. You admit it. He admit it. Yeah, I'm from Connecticut. <laughs> oh my God. But punk rock is so <laughs> strong in me marrow. <laughs> When did you start talking like this? What, what, Always, Scott. What I'm was not, the first punk rock I'll record you ever heard? Yes, and this accusation. What was the first <laughs> punk rock record you ever heard? That I ever heard. Yeah, and when was this? Um, Basket Case by Green Day. <laughs> this morning. <laughs> so you just the turned punk, punk today? Rock song, Green Day. <laughs> Naming their album Dookie. What a punk rock move. So you haven't you haven't played any shows? Yes, I have. 
Oh, did today? You did. You did this afternoon. You played a punk show, yeah, like a matinee. Yeah, or played a punk rock show, a matinee in the outside <laughs> in the parking lot of me town planning office. Did you oh, get the the right permits for this? Ah, uh-uh, no way. <laughs> I did fill them out out of habit, and then I tore them up. <laughs> <laughs> At the last second, I strapped on me bass. I said, "Fuck you, Ridgefield." Can I ask you a question? How did you talk yesterday? I dug this. Like this, okay. let's say. <laughs> what's, all, what's all this focus on my voice? Oh, I've been it just it. is so ridiculous. It's very real. <laughs> okay, I beg your pardon. I beg your pardon. I've never had a more real voice in my life. <laughs> so you so you listened to Basket Case this Correct, morning. Yeah. The rest Correct of the album? Song. No. No, just that one song. <laughs> I have a CD, right, and an old Walkman, and I put it in, and it started skipping on track two. So I couldn't finish, but I was like, I don't need any Okay, so you listened to the one song, you said, I like this lifestyle so much. Much. I'm mm-hmm. gonna play. Uh, I'm gonna tear up these permits that mm-hmm. I made myself write. Well, just out of habit, you know. Out filled of out habit. the paperwork, out of habit. I filled out the permits for a punk rock show in the park. So do you I, think? I, I don't need this. Do you think this is gonna uh, gonna stick with you? Yeah. Have you have you done this with other types of music in the past? I mean, are you a kind of a sure, chameleon? Sure. Yeah, I've had a bit of couple phases. Yeah, like what? Oh, I was a bit Led Zeppelin fan last week. <laughs> oh, really? Which? Sure. What was your favorite song? Or did you only hear one? I only heard a whole lot of love. Really? Was it a Dodge commercial that you heard it in? Yeah, it was a Dodge commercial. <laughs> and my favourite commercial jingle right was Led Zeppelin. <laughs> you were in the market to buy a Dodge? <laughs> I've been looking for a good Dodge for quite a while. No, I didn't tell you on a second. What's that? I said, don't get rid of the Celica, but I stepped on your thunder. No, it's all right. I appreciate you keeping track of me continuity, mate. <laughs> you can buy a Dodge, I bet, but they're beyond in the Beyond section. Really? You can buy cars? Yes, you wow. can buy cars. It's very punk rock. It's a very punk rock. I don't rock think that's punk rock. Very, very, very that's beyond. very punk rock. It's What's very punk, punk rock about? It's commercialism. Punk rock's relative to your to the base. So if the base is bed and bath, and then you've got a Dodge truck, that's punk rock, That's a big mate. corporation selling it something. Is How is so that? All you got to do is break expectations. If you go into law, if you went into the 1970s, right? New York City went to CBGB's, and in the back there was a stockbroker. What do you think CBGB's is? I think it's a, a deli. <laughs> <laughs> so, so what does went... the C stand for? Kappa, uh, what is it? Capicoli. Uh, Capicoli. <clears throat> yeah, the C and the B is... Gab- Gabagool. <laughs> <laughs> the same thing. <laughs> if you went in the back of a CBGB deli... Bread. Or, and it's punk rock. <laughs> and there's a stockbroker, he's punk rock when he's in there. Okay. Because, yeah. you know, to be mainstream, it's sort of like Paul McCartney's the most punk rock of the Beatles. Uh, really? Because he know. sort of dares to be square, you know? You know, John mm. Lennon, it's easy to be cool. Mm. It's to easy be to be cool because you're not. What? <laughs> <laughs> wow, you reacted so strongly That's to that. insane. <laughs> Do people Look think at me, you're pink cool? Mo- yes, I assume. How, how did you... How I don't did, walk did down your, the street and survey everyone. What did your everything. bosses think when you got this pink mohawk today? They paid me little mind. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't really I call it... I felt they were stubbornly uh, uh, ignoring I me. I wouldn't really call it a pink mohawk. It just looks like you used your hands and pulled your, like, hair yeah. to a point. And, and, you, and your hair is pr- thinning it's pretty bad. I smeared my remaining hair into a <laughs> midsection and tell me it's not pink. You can't tell okay, me it's not pink. I mean, pink. your whole, the top of your head is pink from a bad <laughs> I sunburn. Grabbed, I grabbed, well, yeah, I did sunburn me head. <laughs> so I, I think people just thought your entire thing is your sunburn. <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> I took a can of bright pink spray paint, sprayed the middle, my little um, comb over, yeah, and you, it is bright pink. Your little Larry David there. Yeah, yeah, it's a little Larry David. <laughs> yeah. God bless him. What are you wearing? A khaki <laughs> pants, it looks khaki like. Khaki pants and, and a, a polo. Blue <laughs> polo. Yeah, polo under. Now, how is that punk? <laughs> Depends where you are, mate. You know, if you if you're walking down, you know, uh, Soho of London in late seventies. What do you think Soho fun. is? I think Soho sort of. Um, I think it's. Um, What's it a stand man- for? I think it stands for so open, um, <laughs> hetero. Hetero. Okay, no, it's um, decidedly not that. Hombres. Hey, so why, open, why, why is very everyone? progressive, heterosexual Don't, men. Yeah. Me and my open friends mind. call each other when we're rolling down the street. So open, hetero, hombres. Yeah. Hey, so hey, no so But listen, <laughs> why is everyone attacking this gentleman? He's an entertainer. He's living his truth. Leave him alone. Uh, yeah, I feel like everyone's trying to tell me that I'm not a real punk rocker. 
No, I, I, I think you are. And I think you. Fitbit and Beyond is also a very punk rock. I mean, the Beyond so. section definitely is punk rock. What about the bed section? Though? The bed's not. The bed's Going square. to sleep isn't punk? I don't think so. Not a bed, bath and beyond. Being awake isn't punk, I'll tell you that much. It depends where you are, Scott. If you're in the middle of a New York marathon and you went to sleep, that's punk rock, brother. <laughs> that makes sense. <laughs> It is true. But you know, and if you and if you uh, if you want um, staying awake to be punk rock, you'd have to go to a sleep in. I protest where everyone's sleeping for peace, and you stay awake. That's <laughs> punk rock, brother. I gotta be honest. When you started, I feel like you were screaming. Now you're kind of <laughs> working. Out of you are just <laughs> running out of steam. Out to a whisper almost. Uh, the way you're describing punk rock to me, it sounds like just not. Uh, it sounds like being annoying. You're an opposite <laughs> guy. <Yeah. laughs> that... just, a, just a contrary individual. <laughs> I think you're more true. of a libertarian than a punk rocker. That's not true. What, what do you think about taxes? I hate them. <laughs> well, that's John Lennon. No, that's uh, George, George Harrison. Harrison. Yeah, oh, George right. Harrison. He's very punk rock. So you're like you're like the libertarian that we all work with at the office, who's no, just no, like I'll... wants to talk to, to you about libertarianism at lunch. Is I that... disagree. Me and the rest of me Ron Paul fans. <laughs> I love Ron Paul, but not for his libertarianism. Oh, what do you like about him? Two first names. Two first names, great. <laughs> and one of them. That's punk rock. Paul McCartney. That's right. The most punk rock of the Beatles. Who's the most punk rock comedian? Bill Maher. That's a great pick, but I feel... He makes too many rules. <laughs> I think yeah. they're new. That's they're new. Ricky, Ricky Gervais breaks them. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Ricky Gervais he breaks the rules that you Bill Maher writes. You never know what he's going to say. He tells rich people they're cool, then he tells handsome people they're cool. You never know. He's kissing the ass of the popular and the rich. How, punk rock. <laughs> I, I, think there's I don't think you've ever seen then. you've never seen a Ricky Gervais bit. I've ch I've switched the channels and seen him, and I'm flipping by. When I'm, you're looking for those Dodge commercials to watch. <laughs> oh, I wish I could find a good Dodge. <laughs> you gotta Not go to iSpot.tv. Why? It's a, it's a website where you can see every commercial. You, are you search Dodge. Oh, you're doing plugs early. What's, what's <laughs> yeah, I'd like to plug iSpot.tv. <laughs> now, if you've shot a commercial and want to know if you're getting paid properly, you got to start an account there. Is it one of the great websites? This is bleak. Oh, my God, iSpot.tv, one of the great websites. <laughs> From RedTube.com to Google.com. Just did your premium. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I well, feel the most. I know you're trying to wrap up. Yeah, would it surprise you to know that I'm trying to trying to Sandman you off See, the, the stage at this point? You're trying to wrap up, so the punk rock thing to do is to really stop that from happening. <laughs> There's nothing more punk rock than being told to get off the stage. <laughs> you're validating me, Boo, you, Scott. boo, you yeah. suck. I love it. You suck. I love like that it. punk rock show, The Apollo. Drive <laughs> with The Apollo. If yeah. you went to The Apollo the famous and did punk a punk venue. rock show, it would be so punk rock. Oh, my gosh. Well, uh, it's great to meet you, oh, uh, Keith. And uh, I tell you, so this nice is a returning guy, guy, real guy. This guy will be back. You gotta come back. You gotta, gotta come back. Person. You gotta come back. Yeah, Keith and Fart real. Simpson. <laughs> Don't forget the throat goat himself. <laughs> the throat goat right over here. Punk rock. Give me that punk cock. Oh, yeah. More like, yes, spunk, like spunk rock, right? Spunk rock. Make the t-shirt. Make the t-shirt's in production now. All right, guys. Well, we're, we are running out of time. I'm so sorry to cut you short, uh, Keith. Cut so your shorts. Well, thanks for having me. <laughs> cut uh, my shorts. <laughs> oh, oh, fart. Fart Simpson. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, we do need to get to our next guest. We're going to find out what he sells. Please welcome to the show for the first time, Andy Manders. Hey, Scott, thanks so much for having me. Hey, so I'm great so to meet excited. you, Andy Manders. Andy Manders, yes, yeah, chair Sprague. salesman. Oh, this Sprague, is, nice to meet up? you. I'm oh, Sprague. you wanted to say chair salesman Doesn't before matter. I <laughs> introduced you to... That's <laughs> okay. You're a chair, so you sell chairs. I sell chairs. I'm Gino That's Lombardo. Gino, this nice is Gino, though. So you I'm, sell chairs. Seems like you wanted to quickly get out your thing. Just real quick. Uh, <laughs> I think this is a smart idea. Before anyone could disrupt it or... I don't know why I would worry about that. I've never met any of you before. <laughs> Just I just traditionally when I'm meeting with people I try to get my thing out pretty fast. It's well, just sure, smart. It's how we would remember you in 2021. It's smart. Just yeah. people's conversations are really accelerating. I find in society, and if you don't get your thing out fast, it gets taken away from you. So of I just course, where'd you grow up? <laughs> oh, oh, I grew up in. <laughs> oh, please misspeak. Uh, please misspeak. Uh, Ohio, 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 Northern Ohio, right outside of Cleveland. Ooh, I love oh, it. oh, right outside, yeah. really? Yeah, Parma, Ohio. Why yeah. not just in Cleveland? <laughs> well, it's funny when you're born, you don't pick. So. 
I guess I should. I guess, but you know shit. what I mean? That's I a good t-shirt. Your parents pick. I like, feel like that's a good t-shirt. When you're, when you're born, born, you, you don't, don't pick. pick. Yeah, and then it's a baby picking their nose. Yeah. This is a t-shirt. This is good. You're All like right. Lady Gaga. You were born that way in northern Ohio. <laughs> yeah, just outside of Cleveland. I was born that way uh, in an right. uninteresting town. You ever town. go to that uh, baseball museum? Yes, I have. The uh, one the, in New York? The one in Cooperstown, yeah, New York? Yeah. <laughs> why? Uh, <laughs> yes, why did I go there? You know, I just like he's out of his mind. Why a fair question. I went somewhere and defended. I am a fan of baseball unrelated to anything <laughs> really? we've brought up. Like how big of a fan? I like, say medium season plus, tickets? Or? Medium plus. Medium plus. I What's go, up with the chairs? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we actually want to know about the chairs this time. <laughs> Enough with this baseball bullshit. Tell us about your chairs, bro. You're you on a must have podcast. had a lot to say about the chairs. I if feel compelled to said. finish the sentence on baseball. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, no, been, I, like I go to, to I go to a, I go to see it. You ever catch one of the like home runs or anything like? Yes, that? Yes, I have. I've caught one of one of those home runs, but at a minor league game, oh. so it was soft. Oh, it was, it was a soft ball. Lofted up high by drug a weak free. player, yeah. single A. Yeah, yeah, okay. probably drug free. That's probably what it was. Some right. non steroid. Still, that's gotta feel good though. I mean, so. Satisfied. Oh, yeah, man. I was in the bleachers by myself. The uh, home run gets hit. By yourself? No no other I fans was in the stands? I went just to get my mind off things. I sat there <laughs> in the bleachers. This single A guy comes up. This guy looks like he's not even going to be in single A for more than like oh, half an hour. Oh, yeah. Inning. Hits it right on the screws. Oh, you my can God. see his face light up. And it sails up into the bleachers. I'm there by myself reading a book. <laughs> Happened to look up. Which book? Wait, it. which book were you reading? Heidi. Heidi, yes. Oh, yes. about the, yeah, the, the uh, Swiss girl, Swiss girl uh, yeah. Shirley Temple. So you went to a baseball game in. to read a book. Mm-hmm. Isn't that ironic? He was because depressed. D- Shit happens. I was man. depressed. I was there. trying to get out of my head. It manifests in different ways life. in different people. Gino, so I totally you. understand. That is so yeah. epathetic of you. My Dude, therapist says that's why I'm so depressed. You go Who's to your therapy? therapist. Uh, well, he's not my therapist, but he's a therapist that I can hear because he oh, works from home upstairs. Oh, so you okay, listen yeah. to somebody else's therapy. I listen to somebody session. else's therapy. And Do your problems apply to their n- no, advice? No, no one has the same problems as me. <laughs> <laughs> Weird. I relate to this because I read other people's horoscopes and I take that advice. I like that. Yeah, I like this. Aries get I good, good ones. ones. Maybe, yeah, you were, maybe your parents didn't tell you when you were born. Exactly. You know, maybe uh, you're like a month off or something like true. that. That's true. Maybe I was lied to. You yeah, know, maybe, maybe you were switched at birth or something like that. And that's why you like chairs. Because downtown Cleveland, one month earlier than you thought. No, fuck Parma. Yeah. Who yeah, knows what's Parma. a lie? Yeah. Yeah, I think kind of, I think lying is sort of the worst thing you could do. Oh, thank you. Spray why are your it? eyes shifting back and well, forth? I just wanted to say that. I don't know why. Weird. Where, when did you get a cape? No, you're holding it up over I've the I've always had a cape. That's He's always had a cape. Design. He's a cape guy. I've always had a cape. Okay. Yeah. It's it, it's interesting. It's ironic because the movie Heidi interrupted that football game back uh, during yes. the 70s. And, then in and the you're reading game, Heidi. I'm interrupting it with yeah, Heidi. Yeah. With a fly ball that you end up catching. Yeah, the game run. interrupted Heidi. I a real dinger. Did he get called up to the show or what? Uh, he never made it. He never made oh, it to the to the big it. leagues. That's, I the think guy, that, that's the guy who killed himself from the Northern Ohio Water Dogs. Yes, the guy Bruce. Oh, the Northern yeah. Ohio Water Dogs. I guess that was the high point of his life, and then he. I had read something about how the the guy who caught the ball wouldn't throw it back to him. Yeah, yes. the bar as a memento. Situation. I'm right here. He came out. To, <laughs> he came out. He he. Oh, caught, that's you. Oh, yes. Okay. I was I'm the only one of the two two as four. stated. He came up to me right after the game. It's very nice. And he's like, "Hey, I've never done that before. It's kind of big. My kid was watching. <laughs> Would you mind if uh, I had the ball?" I said, "No." Way. This is the only good thing that's happened to me in a while. And, and by the, fan, what, was, what was going on with you? It's fan protocol. When you catch the ball, sure. you can keep it. Unless I, it's the uh, opposing team. Yeah, and you throw it back. But that's right. Was he on the opposing team? He was on the opposing <laughs> okay. team. He was so, like, just throw it back. So everyone was pissed. Execute your fan given right, right to throw it back. What was going on with you that nothing had uh, good had happened to you? I just lost a ton of money at a carnival. <laughs> <laughs> or, so wait, no, one day? day? Yes. <laughs> so, yes. I thought you were about to circle back to your business. Wait, but this, this isn't about a carnival? <laughs> this doesn't have anything to do with that carny worker in northern Ohio who killed himself. <laughs> yes. <laughs> what Earlier that what? day, I had gone to a carnival, <laughs> bet on the fair wheel, which you normally <laughs> Why? cannot They don't let you do that They don't anymore. let you do it, but I sweet-talked him. I was like, I got what a feeling about the bet? which one would come in first. <laughs> oh, first. Yeah, you're gonna it's get a fucking circle. Hammered this is so, way, it's a bad idea. Yeah, so I, but I said, I feel like I got a good feeling about Blue 5, and so I put a ton of money down on Blue 5. Oh, uh, no. All these side bets started forming. <laughs> 
And this, that would feel what were great. the side bets like? <laughs> I, is this guy insane? I've seen this yeah, happen. Is he going like, to get committed right problem? Right. Will, will someone commit suicide? Will they force him to pay if, when this bet doesn't work? Because it's Will they feel so bad right. they let him go? Will anybody get hungry and order a cotton candy during the wait? Did that uh, did that pay off 10 to 1? Everything hit except for my bet. <laughs> oh, my I God. was mentally ill. <laughs> someone did order cotton you were. candy. Not anymore. Though. Yeah, they were not so sad that they wouldn't make me pay. <laughs> Lost everything. Whoa, I was completely depressed. God. Pickpocketed a book of Heidi from a passing librarian. Because <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I had nothing. Sure, so, so you wanted at least a book. To, that makes sense. I just need to pass time. Because when you said Heidi earlier, I'm like, you don't seem like a guy who would pick Heidi as a it's book. not my pick. Right, but if it's... But I was like, this maybe is punishment. I, I deserve it. How'd you know it was a passing librarian? <laughs> yeah. She had a book in her pocket, dude. The book. <laughs> if she has books in her pocket, <laughs> bitch is a librarian, baby. Yeah, that's no, funny. I knew because I asked her. I asked got her. books in your pocket. <laughs> you might be a librarian. Oh, I've that's heard you junk. before. That's yeah, that's me. Stuff. Yeah, that's yeah. your stuff. You, you do all the this librarian on the side? jokes. <laughs> yeah, I do the white collar comedy tour. It's a lot of fun. <laughs> it made no money, right? Yeah, it read, it yeah, made yeah we all had good money going into it, so it didn't hit as hard. But it was nice. So, was in what situation would you ask her that she was a librarian? I pickpocketed. I felt bad. I went back. Said I stole this. You should have back. She says, "Thank God, I'm a librarian. I need this to finish the library." That, how did you get the book then? Because she said, "You look." I said, "I." I'm feeling really bad. I just lost all my money on that Ferris wheel. She's like, I know I did one of the Wait, side I read this story about a librarian who killed herself. <laughs> she killed herself. Yeah, I'm still like, trying to find out how the Connie guy killed himself. <laughs> now I'm starting guy, to think, well, if this is the Northern Ohio, what this was. Uh, this is all Northern Ohio. Yeah, so this is. Was June, this the this librarian Carney double murder 2019, suicide? right? <laughs> yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah. What this, did you just say? Uh, June 21st, 2019. That's right. Yeah, because that's when there was like 11 suicides in Northern Ohio and no one yes. knew what All within them. like the same weekend. Nobody could connect them but we're doing it now <laughs> so <laughs> i don't really feel guilty about it because it wasn't like i told any of these people to kill themselves i just sort of had a, a rough day i guess mm, not as bad as mm. theirs so <laughs> where, where was i yeah so I the mean, Carney ended, guy the, their days ended okay because they're at peace now i guess in a way yeah, guess, your, yeah. your torment continues That's i think right. i have still, to put a warning I'm, on this episode <laughs> yeah <laughs> i'm still attached to the wheel of desire they are free of that that's yeah, true oh, true i like that wheel, wheel, of, de desire. wheel of desire i ha i downloaded that movie on fucking lime <laughs> Wire. <laughs> and I was in a tribute band called Wheel of Desire. <laughs> a tribute to the movie or a tribute yeah, to no. another band? <laughs> it was uh, just a regular band that played originals, but we existed in tribute to the movie Wheels of Desire. We'd say our just just musical <laughs> existence is in tribute to that film. To the 1979 now, pornographic film. Yep, and now it. here is an original. Uh, about no lyrical references to yeah. it. No references to it. It's all originals. This wait, guy, but wait, we're... Th you had three band members, right? I did. They before. all committed suicide <laughs> did, during that yeah. weekend. Well, we had a gig that night, and I canceled because I was like, I can't do it. I just lost all my money. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go work this off by watching a minor league baseball game. Oh. Okay. Meanwhile, the carnival guy felt so bad that he had fleeced me. His wife made him feel guilty. Apparently, he committed suicide wow. later. Oh that day, my which god! Is wow, wow. Oof. incredible. Oof. So I canceled the gig. The Wheels of Desire guys were like, "We got this. We had this big gig. We're gonna play the opening of Higby's at the Parmatown Mall." Oh, that's big there. Very what I read. Yeah, oh, oh, Higby's in Northern. Ohio. Like Higby's they, was open. This, this is not the Higby's that where the <laughs> regional manager killed himself in the mall. <laughs> nope. Oh, okay. Okay. Different. Right. That was Florida. This is yeah, Tampa. That was the Tampa Higby's. I remember that now. Yeah. This was just the Northern this Ohio guy. Higby's. We had a huge gig. We were gonna we were gonna headline this opening concert and um and I and I said it I was can't. an opening concert. You it were you were headlining. <laughs> We were headlining. The you were not opening a headline concert. No, no, you were headlining, were headlining an, an opening, opening concert. concert. The concert was the beginning of a series of so festivities. <laughs> I was the headline of concert. that opening phase. So it's there's a, a co-headlining <laughs> concert. A concert no, kicks off the bands. opening of Higby's, and then there's more events after yes. the concert. Okay. After the musical portion, of which we were the headline. Wait, was what other portion race. would there be? Oh, there, oh okay. Uh, then there was a finger painting contest. Oh, Ooh. this sounds like a fun day. Oh, it's great. Then, or or uh, is this in the middle of the night? <laughs> uh, this would have been starting at 8 p.m. So yeah, I guess that would have been I guess that would have Like 3 a.m. three-legged race. Yeah, you know, just like have the D. Yeah. of the town have some fun. Right, Should all just yeah. be like parents and kids coming this up this This guy November. is pretty interesting. This guy is haven't pretty... even gotten to the chair thing I, yet. Look, I gotta be honest. I don't know how interested I am in the chairs. Thing. Well, they have, some, have, some of them have fucking wheels. Some of them are padded. <laughs> some don't. Yeah, I mean, sure. That's fucking wild to well, me. Well, I sell them, I and if so. you want any chairs, I'm available. I'm, I came here looking to drum up sales. <laughs> 
you're trying it's a to smart s- move. Not a lot of people do that. <laughs> no, they got a huge platform and they never promote their There's business. No entrepreneurs. They always promote no some business. random podcast that has 800 <laughs> listeners that yeah. they know of. Chairs, they always have a seat on them, don't they? Great point. Most uh, <laughs> amateurs don't appreciate that. They don't always have backs, but they always have seats. They got to, or they're not a chair. Right. What are they instead? Is a they're stool just like, a chair? Uh, a stool is a chair because it has a seat. Oh, I love a it. A stool is a subset of chair. Okay, oh, interesting. I like yeah. this. Uh, Do they all have legs? Or they don't just, have to have legs. If really? A so a chair could just the be floor on the floor with no floor. legs. That's a chair. That's a chair. Yep. That's incredible. Wow. All you need is a bean bag. Beanbag is a chair. It's called a beanbag chair. You're right. Yeah, it doesn't have a leg, but it has a seat. But it has a seat. Exactly. Because it has a seat, it is a subset of the chair. If you turn a chair upside down, is it still a chair? Now it's four chairs. Because the seat is gone. (laughs) It's got four seats. What about about four seats seats for you? (laughs) Yes. Oh, I know you now. I remember you. (laughs) Yes, you've... you've, uh, I I did the seventh inning stretch performance at the Northern Ohio Water Dome. Yes, you did. You took a chair out in the the field, turned it upside down, sat on all four. I was like, I'm going to make each leg disappear. People said there's no way. You could do it all at once. I, practiced, said, I warmed up starting with little pizza tables, getting them up my asshole. And then you. I was able to do it with a Was this board. something that the team hired you to do? or? Well, <laughs> the guy who was supposed to do the performance had killed himself. Oh, <laughs> no. You were a last minute. Yeah, I was a last they minute. They came out the, on the field and said, can the anybody do husband? any entertainment for the seventh <laughs> inning stretch? I was alone on the first baseline. I saw uh, yeah, you. Yeah, we I, locked eyes a couple times. And I was like, should we talk? I was like, that I was. I thought you were a fucking sniper or something. I was just trying not to make eye contact. You had a real vibe. You had a ghillie suit on. It's strange. Yeah, I had a weird camouflage ghillie suit in the bleachers of a minor league stadium. But that was just so that I could feel lost. Yeah, no. And I wanted just to feel like I was disappearing. I mean, I was the one in full football equipment, so I can't really talk shit about you. I assumed you were just killing time until you went to another game. Well, that's what I was going to the uh, football hall of fame, which is in Canton, Ohio. Yeah, Have you ever been close. to the baseball hall of fame? Oh, sure. Cooperstown, New York. Yeah, yeah I, I love, love it there. <laughs> yeah. What size of fan are you? How intense? Uh, low what size. F- uh, well, I'm a medium uh, in fans. And extra, I, extra small in shirt. Uh, extra XXS in short. Excess. <laughs> Hey, in you, excess. In do you excess. guys yes. mind? High excess. Do you guys mind if I just go talk to the camera crew over here for a second? Oh, yeah, no problem. Yeah, oh, sure. Yeah, yeah, whatever hey, you need just, to do. Yeah. I'm just noticing the camera. There's, there's, there's a camera crew. Hey, hey, hey. so, hey, so, uh, so, so, Heidi, how does it end? <laughs> so, listen to me. <laughs> this, yeah. That's your question? Yeah. I'll be honest, I didn't finish it because the game interrupted. The, oh, the game interrupted it. Yeah. How far did you get? Uh, page two. Oh, okay. I love so, that movie, Game Interrupted. I'll never tell. <laughs> so her name is Heidi. You got to that. I got to her name is Heidi. She's from Switzerland. She lives in a mountain. That's about as far as I in got. In a mountain. Sounds hot. In a mountain. Yeah, like a lair. It could be. It wasn't described that way, and I think it wasn't. <laughs> but I suppose you could interpret it as a lair. What, what is a lair? So a place that you live in that has evil intentions? I feel like it's got to be underground, right? It, I don't think you could have an open air lair. It's is it a, against union regulations that Sprague's changing all these lights on the yeah, ladder? What is, he doing? what is going what? on back here? No, nothing. I'm not doing anything. You guys have fun. What is a lair? You know, I had a cave. That's kind of like a lair. Yeah, you know? yeah. What is, is a, a cave a lair? You guys keep doing that. Yeah. Huh. I think you can make anything a lair, really. It's about the vibe you put out there. Yeah, yeah. Heidi had kind of a, an optimistic vibe. She was a sunny protagonist, from what I gathered. What in the happened two to pages? her, though? Like, I mean, we, we have no idea. What I mean, what I went down have right let me look at the last page. <laughs> okay, yeah, just read the last page Because I kept this book because it was such okay, a good. meaningful day in my life. Just read the last page. It looks to be about three quarters of a page before about it ends. About three quarters of a page. Okay, yeah. it says, and so Heidi, finally in love. Oh, really? So, so it's, it starts with the beginning of a sentence. Pages usually don't do that. It usually yeah, like the, the, so it the, the back half of a previous sentence. It happens sometimes. So <laughs> Heidi, finally in love, turned to her father and said, see, I told you. <laughs> I've only seen the movie and that's how the movie ends. I Accurate. could do it. I can fall in love too, and with that, she sailed into the sky and became God. Oh, they they cut that wow. out of the movie, which wait, makes wait, sense. That's wait, are you doing the last page of Heidi? Can you do it again? Okay, I think so. Uh, so <laughs> finally, wait, and so finally, just Heidi read it. fell read in it. love. Yeah, I don't, know, I don't know why I'm trying to remember it. That's insane. That's just, just read it again. Look at it. Listen, it's right here. I know we're on like camera because Rudy's got eleven. Rudy, Rudy, Rudy. 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 Yeah, it's Sprague. It's Sprague. Sprague. Whatever. <laughs> Fuck. I can't remember. Any. Does Rudy have a cape? <laughs> oh, that's right. Cape Sprague. <laughs> yes, exactly. So where was I? Oh, yeah, reading, so I don't have to remember. Yeah. So Heidi, finally in love. You were you were remembering it the first time. Well, I'm and now you should just read it. To try to get better yeah, at like, yeah. short Now just memory. read it. It's not yeah. a bad idea. But that's why my show. Have you heard not. of the Memory Palace? Uh, yes, I have. The strip club? Oh, no. <laughs> oh, okay. Is that in Ohio? Do you know, aren't you banned from Ohio. Do you know, aren't you banned from, the, aren't you banned you know, from there? I, I'm banned from... I'm banned from all Ohio strip clubs. 
<laughs> to be te- to, uh, technically, I didn't know they were centralized. Do we want to know the story? Do we want to know how you got banned from these strip clubs, Gino? This is a tough road. To Give me the first tough, paragraph tough. of the Wikipedia page on this story. Uh, do you know how you can tape a dildo to your head? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Okay, yes. that's the starting of the sentence. I feel like you might know it how that ends. The question. I've never seen a Wikipedia. Sorry, story. <laughs> yeah. I've got the cup. Sorry, guys. Oh, I, hey, John. Hey, John. I just, oh you're right, Gino. The intern. I, I, that person out there shot me. <laughs> Are you <laughs> serious? I, I just. I oh need my to god. These tissues. He's grabbing tissues. He's <laughs> it's not the same guy, is it? As uh, before, different different guy. Uh, Mark David Chapman. Yeah. I, I didn't get his name, Scott. I, <laughs> you and he was wearing a mask. You got to ask him who to address the book to, who to address the autograph I know, to. I, then I, you I, get his I name do now. so many. Ad- I don't have to hold this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're you really <laughs> holding a tissue to you. That's, Your space. Well, I'm really shocked. <laughs> yeah, that's strange. John, John, <laughs> yeah. Oh, I know you. Oh, you're one of the most famous Andy people Andy. in the world. <laughs> oh, he's I'm alive. Who? We should say for the listener. I should do a recap. Who's this guy? My name's Andy Manders. I sell chairs. That's all you need to sell chairs. And we're all asleep again. Shit. Jeez. Hello, it's me, Morpheus the Dream Lord. This what? guy never We're, leaves. This guy started talking about chairs. And you all get so bored <laughs> you just fell asleep? Yeah, who gives you a shit? You simultaneously, instantly got so bored it's you true. fell asleep. Who gives a shit about chairs? Yeah. You're here in the dream world. Yes, yeah, so I saw you earlier. Oh, that's right. <laughs> um, I had so much going on. I, I forget I forget who I see. Oh, yeah. No I mean, we're only, you know, four of the many, many people that you're attending to right I'm now. I'm currently right? having conversations with all of the millions of people who are either asleep or It's my or time zone. Isn't it? And unless there's, na- I know you're not in charge of naps. Uh, yeah. Uh, if nap dreaming does not come here, that's a separate guy. That's a separate guy. But yeah, if you we fall talked asleep about that. at night, you're here. So, <laughs> right. Yeah. Oh my. Um, well, that's kind of. It is kind of like time zones, but uh, people can sleep with them. If you go into a full REM state in the middle of the day, you're coming yeah. here. But like you're doing the East Coast people first, so you're getting a lot Tends of like, to be. hey, get the fuck out of here. Dreaming. Yeah, I'm dreaming. And then here, suddenly whatever. it goes into Whoa, the. Wee, wee, uh, hey, Chicago. Hey, uh, oh, I'm dreaming way. in Chicago. And okay, then suddenly yeah. like you're like, hey, bro, I'm doing a dream. The world. The world starts. Starts in New York and ends in California. <laughs> well, I don't necessarily want to do the other places in the world. <laughs> Let's hear you, you no, do it. Keep going. Characters from every country. I'll do a pass. We'll get <laughs> Hawaii, pass Japan. No, no, thank you. <laughs> Laos. Um, well, I'm, uh, yeah, so I'm so glad to see you guys again. I was, I've been listening. I've been watching people dream about the podcast episode you're doing, and they say it as picked up. Oh, okay, they, really? They say they are lost. So is it, so is it June 6th where? You're from? Uh, right now, let me check. Um, <laughs> no, it's uh, it's one. Oh, it's one. Oh, yeah. Today okay. is one. June Today is one. one. I see. We have yeah. a different sort of date oh, system here. Oh, yeah. a different Dream calendar. World. Yeah, this it's is still day one. You still have an Apple Watch, but it just says day one. It on just says one. Yeah. Okay, yeah. So it's just yeah. one long continuous day. So far. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I'm sorry. Wait, well, you know, we'll this is like that movie Insomnia. Have you heard about that? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I have. What did you hear about Insomnia? And what did people think I heard about? Zsa Zsa Gabor no. starts to... Oh, different... Oh, yeah. This is Robin Williams. Oh, oh I Al Pacino. Yeah, different guy. It's one of the a, lesser known... One of the lesser known Brolin movies. Yeah. Brolin? Christopher Brolin. <laughs> right here, brother. Uh, hey, fucking do you guys, Nolan, bro. Do you guys mind if I go talk to this dream camera crew over here? Yeah, sure. No problem. You just met us. I was talking to Just walk over there. Nothing he keeps going leaving the table that we're recording at to talk to other people. John, you're not shot anymore. No, I... You know, I... Stop the bleeding with these tissues. Well, no, you're also, I'm this is your dream self. Also, you're dreaming of yourself right now. That's so why. You're okay. That's why, that why I have hog. these huge mu- yeah, hog. Okay, yeah. I said muscle. Like I was gonna. Do you like- said muscle and I said hog. Who's surprised? Not the listeners. <laughs> Yeah, you've got huge muscles and a, and you're well endowed. Good for you. Sure, good for me. Good for good for you. You, <laughs> by the way, good for me. It's fun this. to be around well endowed people. Makes you feel confident. Sure, yeah, confident people. It's fun to be around them. John, you it. you might be bleeding out. I'm I'm concerned. Oh, we, I feel we should, like maybe well, we should I'll, go I'll back let you guys to the, wake up. Good to see you guys. Yeah. I'll be here forever. Thanks, Morpheus. Uh, uh, oh, 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 oh my God, John. Well, can I, do you mind if I just uh, sit in my dog tube for a little while? <laughs> Gino, it's yours now. Do you mind? Yeah. <laughs> I got. Fu- I think you dripped blood all over the inside. Nope, never mind. I had a very different kind of dream. <laughs> oh, okay. oh should I? Maybe I should be mixing this in an open wound. Well, so, Andy, I feel like we'll never wrap everything up that I talked about. So maybe we'll just take a couple of f- follow-up questions. Yeah. Follow-up questions about yeah. chairs. Just do whatever you want. Whatever, 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 whatever is striking what's, your interest. I mean, I do ex- have chairs for sale. What's the most expensive chair? That's a good question, right? Uh, in the wor- in bad. my catalog, the I most ex- a gold chair. <laughs> okay, what's John? that? Gold. Well, yeah, it's in the world. He's right, of course. A gold chair. I don't sell gold. You don't chairs. sell. 
no gold chairs. So that's not the most expensive in my okay. catalog. I was kind of in the mood for a gold chair, but yeah. you don't sell them? Okay. This guy's off mic more I, than Sprague is. <laughs> <laughs> it's just not something that comes up a lot, so I don't need to keep gold stairs. I'll look elsewhere. Don't worry. I'll, I'll find a gold chair somewhere else. I mean, you know, I'm sure I could do something just as good as a no, gold I chair. Mean, no, I'm just, I'll what, just go what on the internet. About the gold you, want? you want something ostentatious? I got a, gold, I got a chair made of watches. <laughs> Made of Ooh. watches. That's a status symbol for you. If, if it's the status, if you want like a solid gold chair to kind of show off where you are in the world, uh, a chair Why made of watches. Why would someone make a, a chair made out of what? <laughs> Who was that? Who was that? <laughs> TikTok. Oh, I think that's another person. <laughs> yeah, I don't really remember who that is. <laughs> I don't even remember. Um, but why would someone make a chair out of out of watches? This doesn't make any sense. Uh, to somebody me. pitched it to me. They came into my store and they were. It was a craftsman, and they were like, "I can't oh. sell this on Etsy." And I was like, "You know, I like the look of it." Is this kid? The he's time, a, he's the not time alive keeper. anymore. He's oh, he's not alive. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was going somewhere else with it. Where yeah. are we going? <laughs> a friend of mine na- named uh, Maxwell Keeper, the timekeeper. Oh, that he, he was with him. Oh, he was with him. But I wait. think it was the timekeeper's idea, and this other kid was sort of the crafty but one. But he's not alive anymore. That guy's dead. What happened to that guy? Uh, he got hit by uh, two buses. Two buses going at each other. He got, yeah, meet, he he got meet Joe Blacks. <laughs> yeah, he got meet Joe Blacks. Yeah. Wait, so he, one bus and then another bus, or one two bus buses and simultaneously? Bus, and then he got hot and came back. Whoa. Yeah. Incredible. That's Holy incredible. shit, that's wild. Well, I've wow. lost track. Uh, uh, here, here, I have a question for you. Yeah. Um, do you have any chairs? Do you make any chairs with thicker legs? <laughs> I can't help you. That's I don't agree. I'm not going to win. Antimicrobial, <laughs> thicker legs would be yeah. primo. I don't make any chairs that are specifically antimicrobial. <laughs> like, I think that's something you're going to have to deal with with, like, yeah. some sort of. I can wipe you're it down. You're going to have to get yeah, some microbes down. I got dude wipes. Yeah, just throw a promo code. Just throw a big condom. You know. Dude wipes. <laughs> well, wipes look, only I, for dudes. did we cover everything with the chairs? Because I, I we're so. running out of time here. I think Great. So, yeah. All right, so we need to take a break. <laughs> Comedy Bang Bang, we're back. Uh, we have uh, Howard Kramer here of Who Charted, as well as Brett Morris of Who Charted, and uh, we need to get to our next guest. He okay. is a uh, hobbyist. We've talked about this. You guys have hobbies? Okay, you, never mind. Uh, <laughs> all right, so the media, the minute I said let's get to our next guest, you guys checked out. Good to know. All right, I'm on my own. Just following the format. Okay, here we go. Let's bring him on. He is a uh, hobbyist. Please welcome Huey Chisholm. Hey, thanks for having me. It's great to have me so great much. Great, so you can just turn to me. These guys aren't interested, I guess. <laughs> yeah, they've already checked out. I can see them zoning out. Uh, welcome to the show, Huey. Great to meet you. Hey. First of all, I just want to hey th- hey <laughs> focus up here. <laughs> Eyes on me. Yeah, I believe that you had already checked out too. So <laughs> okay, I, no, I'm I'm in now. I'm, in. I'm okay. all in. In fact, I'm pushing my chips to the center of the table you're on bet- this interview. I'm betting big on this. <laughs> this is I'm going to predict it right now. <laughs> number one episode in the countdown. You're, you're familiar with countdowns, Howard. Coming in at number one. Number one. one. Wow, that's the kind of faith I need from a from a host. Yeah, no. When, I, when I, I'm in a talk show situation, I need to believe the host is invested. You got the goods. I I know it, and I want to hear what you have to say. What are you here to talk about? You you first of all, you're a hobbyist, which uh, leads me to believe that you have a particular hobby you want to talk about. But before maybe, I talk about that, yeah, I just want to say thanks for having me on because I got brought on last minute. I've been yeah. trying for a while to get booked on the show, and it's a, it's a there's a long list and it's a high demand. I have to get a, on I, show. I have a list of people that I need to contact two weeks in advance, and I have a list of people that I can give a, a quick. Uh, <laughs> I got the shout out pretty last minute, and I ran over, and, I, and I'm and I'm glad for it. That's not a complaint, yeah. by the way. I'm, oh, I'm no. grateful for it. No, I mean it seems like a backhanded complaint, a little bit. <laughs> not at There's all. There's a little bit of negative energy I don't attached think to this. So I don't think so at all. I got it's an, not entirely positive, but go ahead. I, go I off, appreciate King. the invitation, no matter how thrown together and panicked and desperate <laughs> it was. Hmm. An invitation is an invitation. No, nothing passive aggressive about it. All right. And I and I'm glad to be on the show because I'm a hobbyist, and I'm, I'm and I want to advocate for my hobby. Okay. So great. That leads me to say what it is. Okay, that's fine. probably a yeah. pretty so good. So we're, we're circling say. back around to my question. Okay, that's great. correct. Yes, I'm finally <laughs> okay. getting back to you. Okay, let's hear it. I am into, in a major way, ships in bottles. Okay, the classic old the classic hobby. make a model ship. You collapse it. You slide it into a bottle. You uncollapse. Was oh, that it. how it's done? I assumed oh, yeah, you, you had didn't... to make it inside the bottle itself. Oh no, that or I mean, build I, a bottle I, around a ship. I suppose you could, but I think that's what you want people to think. Isn't that some of the whimsy about it? Like you see the ship yeah. in a in the in the mm-hmm. the bigger part of the bottle. Certainly not the neck. No, no, no. You see and, it in the bigger, and part. then you go, well, that couldn't have fit through the neck. Howard, do you ever see a ship in a bottle? I mean, I've seen one sail in, but it didn't stay that long. 
What does that now, mean? What does that mean? <laughs> <laughs> How much of that sentence did you listen what? to before you started answering? Do you, you saw a ship in a bottle sailing? Sail into the ship, harbor? Sail a in harbor in a bottle? I saw a ship sailing through a bottle. Didn't like it. Went back. Oh, it went back. Oh, oh, wow. I, oh, I see. Okay. Uh, it was like, this is too confining. That made more sense than what I thought. <laughs> I thought maybe when you listen to sentences, you just edit out the parts that don't make sense, and then you answer the edited version out right, loud. Right, right. Oh. I can't No, say. Howard doesn't have a brain like yeah. that. Oh, okay. <laughs> he has a normal brain. Well, Scott, you're well, absolutely right. The, yeah, the, the ship in a bottle... Uh, Transfixes people. People look at it they're like, "How did that happen? How did it happen? How did it get in?" One here? of the few hobbies that you can look at the results of which mm-hmm. and be befuddled. You have no idea where it came from. Yeah, yeah, and that's. I would, I would say that maybe oh, performing that, magic. Oh, okay, I was going to say your name on a piece of rice. Yeah, how did that happen? Or how about those when they flatten the pennies flatten and there's like penny. an impression of like the Coit Tower on it up in San Francisco or something? Well, I mean, that's just a machine that you put the penny in. Well, for I me, mean, it really sent me for a loop. When I okay. saw one of those, I was really, I was really knocked, knocked down, knocked my socks maybe off. Maybe I would say the other hobby that, and it's maybe it's more of a job, is the drawing things in the foam in cappuccinos, you know? Mm. I mean, it's like. Oh, yeah. 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 How did that happen? That's artisans. Are they paid to do that or is that a hobby while they're being paid to do their normal job? I don't know how that breaks down. First time it happened so, to me, I thought it was an accident. <laughs> really? You yeah, did, it was like what? a tree, and I was like, "This, hey, I, this guy looks like a tree." I it was like getting a, a, a Dorito that looks like Jesus Christ. Yeah, or something. I was like, like, "Look at this," and he's like, "Yeah, yeah. I did that." <laughs> <laughs> I was like, "Oh, why? <laughs> Are you paid? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> or is this <laughs> yeah a hobby for you?" But anyway, I th- I consider that to be a bit of a hobby. Foam drawing is that what they call it? That's what I call it. Okay. Yeah, foam drawing. I guess I'm asking for more of the official. Oh, really? Yeah. But. You just expect everyone on your show to have just. An <laughs> well, a, I expect everyone to a have bottomless a bottomless. I expect everyone knowledge. to have like a not bottomless certainly, but wider than than normal. You know, I'm dropping this down to number two. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I keep me updated. Okay. Well, I either want to be number one. I'm going to fight my way back up to number one, or go all the way to, all the, way the, to bottom. the bottom. Quite, I want a, could a be. band episode. <laughs> could be. It's yeah. sur- sometimes it's surprising what's down there at the bottom. Anyway. I think I've experienced both when I've listened. I've never been on the show before. Mm. So, ship in a bottle. I'm fascinated by it. I'm advocating for it. I do. It, you like ships in general? Do you like? Uh, you know, weirdly, I don't. Have you ever been on one? Yes, I was in the navy. You were in the Navy. Yes, I was in the Navy. I was a lost youth in high school, and so it was recommended to me that the military might, like, straighten me out. What was your rank? structure. Ensign. Ensign, really? Yeah. All the way up there? All the way up? Yeah, that's still... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I had to fight my way up to Ensign. I was sub-Ensign, which is mm. a new rank for, like, the interns and the unpaid Ensigns, right. and then I fought my way up to You ever have shore leave? Sure, I had shore leave. Yeah, I love it. Yeah. You wanna... you, were you on a boat or were you on like a naval base? Or I like... was on a boat. Yeah, I had a, I had a tour on a boat. You yeah, know, I, uh, I think the Top Gun people, they're in the Navy. Are they not? The, yeah, that's a Navy. Well, yeah. Weird, because you would think they'd be in the Air Force. You'd think they'd be in the Air Force, but, yeah, yeah, but those are Navy guys. Yeah. Yeah. You ever see any of those Top Gunners? Uh, like in real life? Like, uh, oh, when I, when I, I guess I, I don't mean the movies. <laughs> Although, have you seen those? I'll follow up. Have you seen those two? I movies? have seen the Top Gunners, by which you mean the movies. <laughs> and when I served in the Navy, I saw some Top Gunners, like people who worked on aircraft carriers. Yeah, yeah, I saw those guys. I don't consider them to be the Top Gunners, the guys who work on the... Here's my other question about okay. Top Gun. Okay, so yeah. you've seen this, the new one, you say. Yes, Maverick. S- yeah, so... Uh, I love it because um, I'm finally Tom, Tom Cruise doesn't lose. Yeah, good. <laughs> Finally, one where he comes out on top. <laughs> but you go, you you go uh, uh, see his uh, uh, personal enclave, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, where he has uh, sort of a uh, a shrine and a, a bunch of mementos, a bunch of pictures. Yes, and a lot of the pictures you go like, oh, I can see where that would say, oh, that's a candid photo, that's a candid photo, and then there are pictures of. The last scene of the first Top Gun. Yes. Which was a top secret mission. Yes. And everyone and 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 a plane could have crashed on this boat. Yeah. Who invited the professional still photographer to capture these moments? It's a great question. And as someone who works in the Navy, I'll tell you, they photograph all that stuff. They, they do. They, For they, posterity, they're like, if this works... And this mission ends up being a big deal. We want a record of it. And, if it. and if it, you know, goes sideways or we don't get the guy, there's photos of Osama bin Laden's assassination. You know what I mean? And they're, really? and they're waiting to release those. I wish the top. the 10-year anniversary, <laughs> Rolling Stone magazine already has the deal. They already have them. Photos of the assassination. I wish yeah. that Tom Cruise would have had one of those pictures <laughs> on, in, <laughs> next to the picture of Goose. Yeah. <laughs> there's Osama bin Laden dead. Yeah. But, um, but, but I liked how at the end, not to spoil the ending, but at the end of... Uh, 
uh, uh, top the new Top Gun. He has an updated uh, 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 shrine uh, shrine there with a picture of the last scene <laughs> the, of that. The last scene of that. Yeah, and it's and it looks perfect. It's gorgeous. It's golden hour. Yeah. The lighting. It's not a story point. That is what happens in the real Navy. So that, really, in the, so, in the real Navy, they they're big on public relations. So there's they, just someone who's a photographer. Yes. Okay. Now just, what did you do? Uh, I was a sub ensign and then an ensign. I, I, but I what, like did, a, what was your field? I was like, like a swab the deck, just kind of like. All you did was swab the decks. I volunteered. What? I was like, who's swabbing this? They're like, you want to give it a shot? I was like, I'm on it. <laughs> who's swabbing? Who's swabbing? <laughs> who's swabbing this? And they're like, uh, nobody really does that. I'm like, well, I'll, I mean, we have to. Dirty. We have I'll, to force people to do it. Is usually. I what said I'd say. be glad to. Really? Yep. And I swabbed the crap out of a bunch of uh, aircraft carriers. I swabbed a bottle, a battleship. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. You said bottleship. There. I know. I was, <laughs> my head's yeah, on my Dr. Fr- We my need to page Dr. Head. Freud again. Yeah, right. <laughs> um, so, so really, that's all you did, like eight, eight hours a day, or I don't even know how long. Six you, hours. You get you get an, uh, you do a four-hour hour break, work for an hour, another hour break. <laughs> you work for an four hour hours. break at the end of your shift? Yeah, you can do <laughs> that. You're forced to take. Well, you can pick when you do it. And I'm like, home. I'll put it at the end because I want to make my night longer. <laughs> You're allowed to do that. Two hours, so first of all, two breaks two hours, well, in the middle of six hours. For swabbing. Because oh. it's so tough on the body. If you're doing uh-huh. other stuff, if you're What's working What's so like tough about the body? Is it the, oh my the gosh, rhythmic the sh- motion? Oh, the, the, the physical, oh, you know, you got to yeah. really push. You got to get all the stains yeah. off the deck. Decks get stained. Swabbing yeah. is tough work. Yeah. It's tough on the delts, tough swabbing on the lats. Swabbing ain't swabbing. I'll tell you that. Ooh, where were you? <laughs> where, uh, <laughs> where were you? We were looking for catchphrases. <laughs> you were. All the time. You got to call me. I, I'm the guy who named Who Charted. Who, you did. Who Charted. Yeah. You named Who Charted. I did, yeah. One of the great all-time titles. Yeah, thank you so much. Well, we could have used you because me and the other swabbers because eventually there was a little gang of us um swabbing the decks like i was first the only one who would volunteer to do it but then other people kind of got turned on to it and i sort of had a little group leading me around were they were watching you and saying that sounds fun that looks looks pretty good you know enough of this like navigation guidance system enough of this (laughs) logistics planning enough of this like you know stuffing torpedoes and we had a pilot a guy gave up being a pilot what which is like one of the plum gigs on an aircraft carrier he's a full-time swabber now does everyone get paid the same there in the navy i hope they do no they don't really it's a competition it's capitalist society oh my god the best the best even our armed forces has turned into capitalism yep (laughs) boy and that there's a big bernie sanders uh voting block within the navy because really they love bernie i bet they do big time yeah you go into an aircraft carrier they're like big time bernie (laughs) Bernie Bernie (laughs) yeah they can't stop talking about him it's bernie versus elizabeth warren any aircraft carrier you go on (laughs) you know that's the big war the culture war is between those two anyway so i had a little gang of swabbers and we would have loved to catch rays swabbing ain't slobbing we would have loved it yeah i never uh, the best one I could ever pitch was swabbing is pretty good. Not, yeah, doesn't not have, great. Not, doesn't yeah, have, doesn't and have, I, and I would have admitted that. Even the sentiments behind it are, are fairly weak. Weak, yeah. weak and lucrative. Tepid was what I was yeah. told. Feckless. Feckless is pretty good. Yeah, it's feckless <laughs> Low T. Yeah, uh, low T, um, <laughs> no, low sperm count as a catchphrase. <laughs> Non-fertile. Um, no descendants. Yeah, exactly. Barren. Yeah, uh, hopeless. Yeah, uh, pessimistic, uh, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. dystopian almost. Yeah, but anyway, I swore. You should deck. be the uh, Navy's thesaurus. I would have loved it. I would have loved it. I asked. You should have volunteered that. for that. It's not as hard on the body, I would imagine. It would have been much easier. Yeah. But they didn't have any call for it. They're like, we don't care. Yeah, I can only There's imagine. No, they don't really yeah. need a lot of word usage. It's like, yeah. can you, you know, we're a military operation. We're protecting the nation's security. And are you still in active duty? I have to ask you. Huey. Not. I'm not. I got kicked out. You got kicked out. Well, I got asked to leave. This is very, this is a fine I, I, line. I basically, fine line. I basically got kicked out, but they liked me, and they're like, they said, we'll let you retire. We'll let you resign. Resign. Because yeah. we don't need to humiliate you. Okay. What yeah. happened? What? What? I was too into it. <laughs> too passionate. Too, yeah. Too, okay. I was like, I was obsessed with the culture of the Navy and following around my commanding officers. And so they were embarrassed weirded them out. They were, yeah, they were like, this is gross. <laughs> uh, you're weird and desperate and sweaty. You were too thirsty for too the Navy. Thirsty. I was too Which thirsty. is like out there on, you know, the fucking ocean a lot of times. It's water, like water anywhere to be thirsty. Times. But not a drop to drink. <laughs> a lot of times. Most of the time, I would say. 99% of the time, you out there uh, uh, in the middle of the water? I'd say most of the time, yeah. yeah. I would, more than a lot of the time, Howard. A lot. Uh, the Navy is on the water I was, oh, the whole time. <laughs> remember, remember when that, that big ship got stuck in the, uh, was it the Suez Canal? Was it the Panama Canal? I can't Suez remember. Suez Canal. It was the Suez Canal. Yeah, yeah, remember yeah, yeah. that? Uh, last year, I do remember that, yes, when yeah. all the world's trade stopped. Do you remember anything before that? <laughs> <laughs> hmm. 
Well, not specifically. I'm sure I, if I think a little bit more about it, I'm sure something What's the will earliest come to thing mind. you remember? Is it that Suez Canal thing? <laughs> I mean, I remember <laughs> going into the cockpit of a um, shipping boat and saying, what happens if I do this? I remember saying that. <laughs> Wait, you're... I remember going into oh. the... You're the guy who got that... I'm not saying that. I remember walking into a steering area and I said, what happens if I do this? And I pushed all the, as many buttons as I could. How many was that? I, I was upwards of 20 or 30. <laughs> how, how did you push so many buttons? Oh, I got my feet involved. I, I <laughs> leapt. I stood on a chair. I leapt up. <laughs> like spread, did a split kick? <laughs> David Lee Roth style, spread my hands Ow, and feet. Oh, might as well jump. Yeah, might as well jump. <laughs> and then I landed all four at the same time on a control panel. Wow. I got like maybe between 25 and 30 buttons at once. Incredible. <laughs> and this is... This is the Suez Canal boat? This was in the Suez Canal. Was it the boat? I mean, I remember I got because I got ushered out of there right after thrown in the brig. So I don't necessarily know the immediate oh, aftermath of what happened. I do guy. remember before I got dragged out, the ship turned sideways and got stuck. <laughs> That's no, this is the, exactly the exact same ship. OK, well, oh, my and so God. Yeah, they asked me to leave and they were like, you it know, seems you, like they asked you to leave for that. Like, did they ask you to leave in while you were in the brig? Well, here's how the conversation went, as I recall it. Yeah, I went down to the brig. They're like, you're going to have <laughs> to leave. went down to the brig. <laughs> they went down to the brig where I was. Did I say I went down to the brig? Uh, I thought that's what you, like, it, it just sounded very casual to me. Like, yeah, so Pretty I moseyed casual. on down to the brig <laughs> and resided there for a while. Sashayed down I mean, the they put the cuffs on me and I was like, I know where this is going. And I walked on down <laughs> to the brig because I'm a fan. I'm a team Navy. <laughs> I'm gaming this out and I see exactly the yeah, There's no need to fight. You know, yeah. my lats are tired. I'd swabbed all day at that point. Yeah. I walk into the brig. They come in. They're like, well, we're going to have to ask you to leave. And I'm like, because I'm too <laughs> into it. They're like, uh, they went, uh, yeah, that's <laughs> why. And I was like, I thought so, because I'm too obsessed with the Navy. They were like, yep, that's yeah. why. Okay. I think you have sarcasm blindness. How's that? Uh, you're, uh, uh, Let's try it. Yeah. So um, you're definitely going to be the number one episode of the year. I knew it. <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. He's got sarcasm Back blindness. Back up. Oh, All boy. right. What? Well, God, Huey, that's... Uh, so I love ships and bottles. So uh, did you did you do them before you got kicked out of the No, Navy? it's kind of after a sort of a So memory. it's a recent thing. Yeah, a couple weeks ago. Because this is 2019. Ago. Yeah. Oh, two weeks ago? Mm -hmm. <laughs> two weeks ago. I'd already been what in line you, to be on this you, show. Why, yeah, what? Been a fan of the show for a long time. So you just wanted to come on you because you're a fan, not because you have anything interesting show. to that's talk right. about? Well, I, you know, I, I, How I, many I, ships and the bottles have you made? One. But I've always updated whatever my most interesting thing is. So I was always, I think I always had interesting things to come on. What the show. were the previous ones before you start doing these shows? I was and an models. obituary proof, proofreader. Okay. What are the. That's what, pretty what are the you, major, read, you read about a lot of life stories when you're an obituary. What are, I'm actually a little more interested in that than It's the, a great uh, job. It's a great the, job. Than the ship and bottle. Because, you know, it's a, you, Pete, an obituary is an incredibly important piece of journalism. What are the major typos that occur in, a, in an obituary? Ob I don't even want to say the word. Ob because obituary, <laughs> obituary, <laughs> obituary is the they do die d y e d. Oh, they do really, and so people are out there thinking that someone just now did like a tie dye or something. Yeah. There is, of course, the classic curb your enthusiasm the uh, aunt, episode, the beloved, beloved aunt, aunt, yeah, beloved c word. Yeah, exactly. That's yeah. one of the major ones. Was that based on your life or? I wish we rarely, you know, it's one of those things where it's rarely as dramatic as the uh, as Hollywood would have you believe. Oh, really? It's a lot of numbers. You know, what's you gotta, like the most dramatic thing that's ever happened that I personally, yeah, like, you was personally. the proofreader of. Yeah, I'll even go for like what you heard about, like uh, office gossip. You know? Oh, well, I actually did a celebrity one. If I could, I oh, mean, yeah? I don't mean to name Ooh. drop, but I did Howard Cosell's obituary. R really, the old yes. Howard oh. Cosell. I don't caster. know if people remember him, but he talked like this was a, and Pitts made a Berg whole career out of it. Down goes. Cosell. Was that in it? Uh, I, I wish it was. Like, um, I wish it was. I'm Down sorry. Down goes Cosell. <laughs> into the ground. There he goes. Barry and Barry, the former You're not sports doing it right. Not good? Uh, actually, it's really good. Oh, I see. I knew it. I knew I was good. I knew I was good. Thanks. So what was Howard Cosell's obituary? Well, there was uh, apparently he had some enemies in the uh, in the um, New York Times office. I did this for the New York Times. What? The old gray lady? The old gray lady. I was an obituary proofreader. I was. Just I a, mean, that's a good. I was job. a proofreader, and then I moved my way up to the obituaries. That was the top proofreading job. Okay. Uh, there's a whole hierarchy of proofreaders. What, what do you start? Times. You start with the news? <laughs> yeah, you start with the front page. Because that's the easiest. Really. The <laughs> yeah. front page is the All easiest. All eyes are on it. And everybody just know. I mean, there's almost no mistakes by the time it gets to it. It's sure. very easy. Yeah, great. Then, uh, A1 reporters, yeah, they know what they're doing. 
you got your top guys on the front page. Yeah, exactly. Like, you know, it's who cares? You know, you're like it's like you're being a you know you're backing up John L. John Elway yeah. in the football field. Yeah, you know? exactly. He, he yeah, well, thank you help. for turning that into something that I would understand. <laughs> yeah, me reference. too. Yeah. Well, I'm a huge jock, as you can see. Yeah, I mean, you've been lifting weights this entire time. I didn't want to say, but <laughs> thank you for not calling it out. Well, since I stopped swabbing, my my awesome physique has slagged. I, you a have bit. like one percent body fat on you. You're like I'd say uh, about one percent body fat, and my shoulders, as you can see, are as wide as I am tall. Yeah, uh, incredible. Uh huh. It's a weird physique, <laughs> but strong. Yeah, your shoulders are like 5'2", and you're about a 5'2". I'm about 5'2", but square <laughs> like a gas pump. Try to knock me over. You're like a, a human chode, in a way. You want me to knock you over? <laughs> yeah, really? Because yeah, right. my center of gravity is solid. Good. As hard as you All can. Right, let me see. Oh. Yeah, pretty tough, right? I mean... Really, really get into it. Back up and really, really, okay, really... Okay, let me... Come, do like a fl- run right at you. Okay. Ow! What the I'm, ow! I'm sorry. I'm what sorry. Jesus. Jesus, so- Scott! I- you told me to. Yeah, Holy Jesus, you saw that. You broke a rib. I'm sorry. You I didn't broke mean... my rib. Hold on. What I'm... the fuck is wrong with you? I'm sorry. Can we get? I was yeah. kidding. You were kidding. I was being sarcastic. <laughs> I don't think you know what sarcasm is. <laughs> yes, look. I do. <laughs> look, I... Hit me again. No. I beg you. All right. Ow. I was kidding. <laughs> no. Jesus. What the fuck? He's giving you on the roof. Ow. <laughs> Jesus, my. You didn't even ask for that one. <laughs> my eyes. I'm gonna help you this time, Scott. Yeah. No. <laughs> you can do it. Ow! Nice. Can I get in this? Yeah, no! get it. Yeah, Stop yeah. It! Kick him. Stop Kick it. him. Ow! What's wrong with you? What's wrong with you kicking me in my feet? This is the lightest person I've ever. Ow! He's Jesus. Fi- he's five two. He's like a square, ah! but he's ah! he's lo- as light as a feather. God! It's like I'm being hazed. It's like haze week in the navy. Ugh. Whenever you Last cross the week. equator, this happens. <laughs> really? Whenever We're... you cross the equator, they get the lowest ranked people and they knock them around like a like a <laughs> hockey puck. <laughs> okay, I would love oh my to God. cross the equator with the Navy. <gasps> oh, man. Sorry about that. <laughs> it's I, right. it's a, just a little misunderstanding. I guess I could see how you misunderstood. I... I, I <laughs> I, I guess I kind of led you on to doing that. And I, yeah, and it's sorry. your fault. You led me on. Anyway, somebody <laughs> in the New York Times said that Howard Cosell was a, a beauty pageant winner, and it was in the headline. Howard Cosell, beauty pageant winner, dies. Huh. And I caught that typo. Well, well, well yeah. Because he wasn't a, a beauty pageant no, it's winner. A big, he was a it's not, I would say it's not even a typo. It's a pure mistake. <laughs> it was, it was <laughs> hard, yeah. hard to be trying to type sportscaster and it comes out beauty I, It pageant was winner. malicious. I couldn't prove, I coun't prove the that's intention. Part of, that's part of your responsibility is to prove if well, the original if writer has... Was intentional or accidental. <laughs> so if the typo was... Is there was, a jury process? Or? Yep, there's an um, the ombudsman and... Um, <laughs> And two members of the uh, Oaks family. Oh, man. Yeah. Wow, okay. So it was a whole thing. But that was rare. Most typos are just typos. Most typos are like, oh, clearly this right. is just like... So you were all, all set to talk about this until two weeks ago. That was going to be my thing. I was like an obituary proofreader uh, for a while. I mean, I've had other. I've had other. Things. Don't, uh, don't let's we not talk about it because it. We, <laughs> these are probably good premises we want to talk about later. No, I seem to be able other to come episodes. Up. <laughs> They're not that good. I mean, <laughs> uh, but we need to get to our next guest. Um, he's a shoe designer. Um, please welcome to the show Thomas Mashed Potatoes. Hello, thanks for having me. Hi, Tom, Thomas Mashed Potatoes. Yes, I'm so glad Interesting to be here. Interesting. It's hyphenated. I see. Yes, mashed hyphen potatoes, mm-hmm. Thomas. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. This is Adam Scott. Oh, hi. Hi. Nice to meet no, you. No, yeah, you too. I love your shoes. Oh, thanks. Yeah. So you're you're. A- I'm a shoe designer. Yeah. Oxfords are my specialty. Oxfords, yeah. really? Mm-hmm. Yes. I, what I, is there to design about Oxfords? Oh, because aren't they? Don't so they all much. just kind of come out the same no, way? No, because that's no. That is wh- a, what are, okay. What are what's the criteria that makes I it love, an Oxford? Love that you're asking me. It is. Um, you've got whether it's a wingtip or not. Okay. Another word for wingtip is a brogue. Okay. So a full brogue is if you have the full wingtip, like the many many dots. You and you know, a over, wingtip is yeah. It's just like the dots, basically the dots and the perforations. Braille. Decorations. Is, is that braille? I've never thought of it as braille, but let me just could, check. Let me feel this a, one. I a, believe this is braille. Could a blind man or daredevil or whatever like go down there and feel a shoe? A blind and go man like, or daredevil, either one, uh, could equally do well at feeling the bumps on a shoe and trying to interpret them perhaps. Yeah. Or a do they actually say something though? Like, hi, this is a shoe you're feeling. That is a great suggestion and I've never thought of putting messages into my wingtip designs, but you certainly could. Yeah. Is this the one, medium would allow it. The one you're you're holding now, does yes. that have a message in it or you're feeling it? Uh, I'm just checking. I, I unfortunately have inadvertently, it seems, I do happen to know Braille and I've never thought to check this. How did you learn Braille? Oh gosh, I was an overachieving Boy Scout. I just, I oh, got every... Was that, that was a merit ev- badge? Oh, yeah. Braille's a huge one. Really? Uh, all so the are, are you fluent? Or? Fluent in Braille and ASL and uh, semaphore. 
Really, really the fl- that's they, the flags. The flags, yeah. They trade every the- Boy Scout and Girl Scout because now girls are allowed in the in the Boy Scouts. What do you think about that? I you love just, it. You're frowning. I love it. I'm that. just I'm scared of change by nature, and also women uh, terrify me. Well, you, you also I, were theoretically doing a, am, you were doing a thumbs down. I, sign I have when you some said issues it. that have that have that are coming out. Yes. Okay. Um, interesting. I, I know that I should be into it. Let's put it that way. I get you it. You were doing it like you didn't think anyone was going to hear it on the show, so you it was like a safe space for you. So I'm, I'm sorry to call it out. No, no, no. I appreciate it because I'm in therapy <laughs> to try to improve my admittedly very backwards and hateful positions on okay. uh, women and most uh, social issues. Okay. But I know that I'm wrong, and I'm trying to do better. Well, that's good. Thank you. So so much. But um, yes, I fear and loathe women. And then also, um, <laughs> also, but, shoe I, but, design. I, but I, yes, but I love shoes. And um, primarily, so, which is more important to you, the the fearing and loathing women or the shoe shoes? Shoes. I mean, shoes, shoes, you're more of a shoe I'm guy. into the shoes. I, <laughs> okay. I don't love the detestable and uh, abhorrent part of my personality. So please, please. I, okay. My intention is to be a good person. Okay. Well, you know, uh, the best we can do is just uh, keep trying and keep plugging away at it. Gosh, you know I, I mean? that is soothing to me. Yeah. I, I, love, a, I love a low expectations mantra. <laughs> well, so, wonderful. So you're but here. I love shoes. Yes. Yeah, so wingtips is one way you can go. Also, the hue and color. There's a variety mm-hmm. of browns and blues and blacks okay, in your traditional well, Oxfords. You know... I, I don't think that colors are necessarily, you know, when I say like, what is an Oxford? What are yeah. the criteria of an Oxford? I, you don't think that is a part, no, of, part of what n- makes not an, Oxford necessary. an Oxford? Yeah, like the Oxfords can be well, different colors. I don't know. I, you know, I, the, a traditional Oxford tends to be from the blue, black, or brown hue. Certainly, you can have a green Oxford. Well, then no what are we talking stop. about? But the true Oxford <laughs> aficionados will know you're taking a risk. Okay. You're taking a risk if you go into the green hues. But what, what is an Oxford? It's a, a, an it's almond a har- hue is a I, classic Stop Oxford talking tone. about colors, please. Ooh. Sorry. Well, once I get going, I'm like a wind-up uh, man. What what makes uh, an Oxford is it's a hard shoe, right, with a hard sole. It's a hard shoe. It's a dress a hard shoe. Tip. It's a dress shoe. Yeah, it's a dressy but shoe. But you can say that about a lot of things. What dis- What distinguishes? Distinguishes an Oxford. Uh, usually, it's a, a narrow toe. Okay, is a traditional Oxford. If you got a wide, fat toe in an Oxford, that ain't it's an, not Oxford. an Oxford. That's okay, not an Oxford. It, maybe it's easier to describe what isn't an Oxford than it is to describe what an Oxford actually is. All right, no, uh, for rep- me, sure, not for you because you're a shoe designer. I got so it go ahead down. And I don't tell need to us know exactly this, what. But an I will Oxford educate is. you, the dummy, on what it takes okay. to be an Oxford or not an Oxford. So no representations of human faces. Okay. Okay. Some some shoes have drawings of humans on them, or like <laughs> drawings of humans. Drawings of you. What do you call the old <laughs> Michael Jordan Nike symbol? That's a drawing of a human. Oh yeah, the jump, I guess the jump I mean, man. not a face. I mean, it's a it's more of a silhouette, right? But I any representation mean, yeah. of human Michael uh, Jordan. Yeah, yeah you can't, Adam. By the I, way, is is posing in that pose right now. Yeah, just yeah. like that, Adam. That's exactly I, I, right. I literally can't think of another shoe other than Air Jordans that have, have a, a, I feel a like drawing of a human on them. I feel like I've seen it. I remember... Buster uh, Brown. Hey, I don't mean to show my age, but in the early 80s, there was a whole Happy Days line of shoes where you could get the Fonz on the back of a shoe. What? On the back of a shoe? Ralph Mouth on the back of a shoe. Ralph Who Mouth on the Ralph back Mouth of a shoe. I picked Ralph over Mouth. the font. You I did? Picked, I was a Ralph Mouth guy. I like George Harrison's my favorite Beatle, and Ralph Mouth was my favorite Happy Days. Ra- I George like, Harrison I like, is not the Ralph Mouth of no, the Beatles. George Sure Harrison he is. is Absolutely, he is the Ralph Mouth of the Beatles. Ralph Mouth insane. was constantly being told to sit on it. Yeah, so was George Harrison. No, he, he's thumbs. at least the third most favorite Beatle of everyone. Yeah, yeah and Ralph least. Mouth is the third most favorite Happy Days after Fonzie and Richie. So. No, you got Fonzie and Richie. D- that's the John and Paul. Right? We, we agree sure, on that? That's fine. But Mr. C. Oh, that's George Martin. You're out of your mind. He's well, not in the band. No, but that's. Are you crazy? That's not. You're not even mentioning Mrs. C. She's not in the band. Sure, she is. He, he's got right. a hatred of women. So <laughs> Sorry, he's... that's saying. Hang on. You're right. <laughs> You're right, Adam. And thank you. Mr. and Mrs. C are like the rhythm section of Happy Days. Yeah, that's okay. an interesting take. So that Ringo, is wrong. Ringo, and uh, and Paul is what that's you're right. trying to say. That's right. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. and Mrs. C are the Ringo and Paul. That's right. What about Joni? Just... What about Chachi? Joni, that's interesting. I'd say they're like the Jerry and the Pacemakers, like a spinoff that's inspired greatly mm-hmm. by the original ensemble. You know a lot about the Beatles. Never it's heard almost of them. like you have a podcast. I've what? never heard. I've, never gl- heard I've got to be honest. Them. I'm gleaning just from this conversation what they're about. Really? I'm guessing. <laughs> yeah. Whoa, off the dome. I heard somebody yesterday make fun of George Harrison. I was like, I got to work that in. Okay. I actually don't know anything about that. What was this person saying? This person, I was walking near a cabbie and he was like, get out of my cab. You're like the George Harrison of passengers. And I could tell it was a pejorative. (laughs) So I held on to it, and I was like, I'm going to use that as an insult because I'm trying to appear smarter. Interesting. Yeah. Cab driver. Anyway, Oxfords. So 
<laughs> Narrow toe. What an no human faces. <laughs> no human faces. That's important. Oh, this was a literate caddy. <laughs> He oh, was really? an erudite man. You oh, could see he was oh. really giving them the what for. And the, and I gotta be honest, the, the the passengers seemed like they deserved it. You can't mm. always tell when you're just We're, walking by an altercation, but this sort of seemed like two sort of uh, ne'er do well aggro alpha no good no good. Oh, okay, so they uh, two alphas coming they at just, each they other. They just they had their chest sometimes big up. dog got a bark. Sometimes big dog got Were a bark. Were they passengers with you in the cab? No, no, no I was walking by. I had nothing to do with any oh, of so these they, people. Cabby wasn't yelling this at you. No, 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 no. I was walking by. Do you, I was, do you not own a car? Why I do don't. Walk? I like to walk. I'm a shoe guy and I'm a sure. foot guy. So you, when you say you're a shoe guy, you like to put them to work. Absolutely. I'm not one. I don't like to, hey, shoes ain't made to be put on a shelf. You put them on your feet. They're not, they're not meant to uh, press gas pedals up and down and, and No, you got to get pedals. out there and it's, no. it's, to, it's for man. And woman to walk around the earth. <laughs> you Please. must you must go through a lot of shoes if all you do is walk. If that's I your absolutely mode of do, and a, and a well-made shoe will last you. Even if you're putting serious miles on it, you're going to get one to two years out of a good, well-made shoe. Really? Jeez. Now I should say I don't walk around in my Oxfords too much because that's a dress shoe for formal occasions. It's not a walking shoe. Okay. What do you walk in? I walk in trainers, as the Brits call them. Uh-huh. Or, I'm so. so sorry, sneakers. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> it's it's kind of, you know, trainers makes more sense. But, yes, but, yeah. Uh, you know, we hear you don't the sneak States, that often in your sneakers. Where are you sneaking around to in your, your Rarely tennis Rarely, if ever. But training, you're, always, you're running. Yeah. That's a form of training. You do that in your trainers. Exactly. Uh, or any kind of athletic um, Do you design activity? these types of shoes, the Never. athletic shoes? No, 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 no I, you're just special. I've done it. As a, as, really? a, as a matter of apprenticing my Oxford Wait, skills. You mentioned the Air Jordans. Did you design those? I wish. I wish. I, I went through a strict apprenticeship where you had to make a lot of Air Jordans oh, as part yeah. of your um, uh, certification. You had oh, to prove that you could theoretically, if asked, make an accurate. Oh, so this wasn't even for the Nike Corporation. They were just like, no, as no, part I want, of your training, hey, I, make an Air Jordan. I apprenticed with a distinguished cobbler. Uh, in New England, and he was great, and he would make you make every kind of sort of classic shoe. Oh, really? You know, so what had, are the classics? What do we got? Sandals. Air sandals. Air Jordans. <laughs> Birkenstocks? No. This guy didn't respect Birkenstocks because he was oh. very anti-hippie. Oh. So anything that sort of What did smacked, he have against hippies? Oh, God knows. He didn't like drug use. Was it use. the culture? Oh, it was drug use. He was use, older. You know, he just never caught up. The long hair part of it? He or? just, you know, he was a real, like, pro-government. You stand up and you salute old glory. What about the free love? Was he conservative? No, he was very conservative. I don't. Just he, a one-woman guy? or He he had one woman. Yeah, he was married uh, not happily. I mean, this guy had a lot of issues in his emotional life, which I unfortunately really? uh, What was going on in his on. marriage? Uh, I think they just weren't happy, in, but they stuck it out because they came from a generation where you just you don't give up. On right. And things. how did you? Uh, I had an affair. This. Had an affair with, with his, his wife. wife. Yes. Oh, God. Really? What we mess. became very close, and um, it ended my it ended my apprenticeship. Oh no! That. So you never completed your actual apprenticeship. Did you have to start over with another? Uh, I never. Not, I, I not felt, only a new uh, appre- uh, uh, master. What do you call uh, uh, someone? I you're think taking you do. A, are supposed to call them a master, <laughs> but nobody does that anymore. <laughs> right. But, but that not is, only a new master, but did you have to start over with a new woman? I did. I mean, I lost my relationship and friendship, and I I felt that I had learned enough, so I did not begin my woman. training anew. From the woman and the man <laughs> learning these shoes. Like, yeah. oh, I get this. This goes in here. <laughs> I, t- I mean, look, she was very sexually adventurous, and I suppose I did learn things from her, but I did not see that as an apprenticeship. I see. I just saw that as a, a as a relationship of passion that went awry, and I betrayed my my teacher, and I I felt bad about it. I, I that you was felt not bad, right. Really? It was not right to anybody. I was mm. doing nobody any good. But how she long and I, did you feel bad? A couple of days. <laughs> yeah, uh, and then I was like, eh, you know what's done is <laughs> okay, done. Sarah, Sarah. Uh, yeah, <laughs> on to more shoes. So on to wow. more shoes. So you you've designed mainly. You're an Oxford guy. Thank you. Right. Yes, now, mainly it, I'm an Oxford guy, and I have a little Etsy shop, uh, which is currently not up because it's been banned for hate speech. Uh, oh, oh, boy. Uh, oh, no. Not mine. Not mine. Oh, I, really? uh, so, other customers. I've enforced, I attract a lot of jerks. and so Really? They, why, why would you? I mean, what, what is it about your shoes that, I mean, you know what they say, like, if you're a comedian who has, like, a shitty audience. You you're know, partly they, responsible for it. Well, yeah, hey, exactly. I agree with that. I, I want to do better. To I'm attract. talking to my audience right now, by the way. <laughs> oh, you're talking about yourself? <laughs> yeah. Oh, you, you seem to be a jovial fellow. I wouldn't think of you as someone who well, attracts you a so bunch much. of jerks. Yeah. Um, but know, but what is it about your Etsy shop that's attracting these people who are leaving hate I speech? I have a lot of like aggressive and preemptively defensive shoe names. Oh, hmm. like what? 
Uh, one of them is like uh, the real side of the story, uh, wingtips. Hmm. Uh, another one is uh, what the left won't say. Hmm. <laughs> and why are you? I don't know why I do it. I like salty names of brands to try to like get people. I'm having trouble it's getting with my sales. attention. Yeah, yeah. Well, so and I don't even agree with those things. I you know. It's but so, I, I can I can understand you pander to a certain audience, and that's you, what it is. It's pandering, and so yeah. I'm not going to do that anymore. So my okay. when my Etsy shop is allowed back online, it's going to be perfunctory and unremarkable names only. Okay, so... And I'm going to try to just make it on the quality of the shoe. Okay, and and are these shoes quality? I would say yes. I mean, of course, that's subjective. Of what type of quality? Good or poor? I would say good. The high and good quality. The admirable and desirable quality. Okay. And what what makes them so so good? They're well-made. They will last you a long time. They are fashionable. You can't just say, when I say, why are these shoes good? You can't just say, they're good because they're well-made. That's like saying they're good because they're good. Would you say that's a tautology? (laughs) Perhaps. Like, how many dressy affairs would a pair of Oxfords last me? Now, that's a great question. If you you had one of my Oxfords, I would say it would work for you upwards of 50 dressy affairs wow. and you could go nuts how many are affairs. you going to a year adam uh i don't know no, you're, you're a you're a you're, a, you're an 300 actor. dressy affairs per year well what? i consider uh every day except 65 a dressy affair Good uh, for you. during a year hey wow. you know you're a dapper gentleman who wants to be well appointed then I then I would say a pair of oxers is perfect for somebody like you. Thank you. I would recommend an almond-hued wingtip or half brogue. Uh, that might that might do you nicely. You keep mentioning uh, uh, this word brogue like it's something that you... It's an alternate word for wingtip. They say it in Britain. I right. keep forgetting I'm talking to Americans. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> so I sorry. Apologize. Wingtip is what I mean, a half wingtip. But wait, you're is... American, aren't you? I'm American, but uh, my, my mentor, mentor. Me- that's, that's, that's a better word. That's not master, master. Mentor. <laughs> uh, he was British. Uh, British born and lived in New England. Really? Um, yeah. Uh, did, so, did he know other famous Brits like J.K. Rowling? He knew a lot of them. Really? It's a small club. Hmm. Yeah. yeah. He knew Sir Paul, who I don't know who that is, and uh, <laughs> J.K. Rowling, and um, who else? Was uh, he? Was he? I mean, I can only imagine J.K. Rowling. She didn't used to be famous, but. Was he the inspiration, perhaps, for, you know, one of the characters in one of her books or something? Who's the or? big hairy dude that likes animals? Uh, Hagrid. Him. He looked he a was, lot like him because he, he, had, he had the big, like, poofy, you know, beard. And he was uh, a rough and tumble, sort of salt of the earth energy kind like, of. I mean, lovable. Lo- but, oh, really? Okay. Well, not too. 12 feet tall. Um, oh, no, he wasn't that. Is that part of Hagrid? I believe sort so. Sort of, yeah. I mean, Adam has not finished the book series. <laughs> no. uh, is know. that How a reveal that he's not 12 feet end? tall? <laughs> How many books in did you get? It? Like three. <laughs> yeah, no, he shrinks down. Yeah, he does. Book four, yeah. It's he revealed does. halfway through that it's been forced perspective. <laughs> that he's, right. yeah, he's always standing in the back of the room. It's and just because Harry was things. always so small, but then when he grew up. He <laughs> he's yeah. like, oh, wait a minute, you're not 12 feet tall. You're yeah. actually just five feet. So it could be that my mentor was an inspiration for Hagrid. Um, Interesting. Yeah, um, but uh, but uh, uh, a warm fellow to his to his apprentices, unless they're was he the inspiration too wife. for for J.K. Rowling coming out and saying that uh, wizards before there were toilets would just shit on the floor and then they would make it disappear? Um, <laughs> did she say that? <laughs> yes. <laughs> I, That's incredible. I don't think so. <laughs> yeah. No, I'm trying that to think. Was, he that, had was, a, that was the beginning of her descent into madness. He had a he has a <laughs> he used a toilet from what I recall. So he maybe used a maybe okay. there was something between so them. So it wasn't or, something where she saw him shit on the floor one I day and said, I gotta use so. that or I have to admit that wasn't part of my relationship with him. Mm. We didn't explore his relationship with Was it part with, of your relationship with his wife though? I'm not going to get into the finer details of our <laughs> sexual exploits. But yes. <laughs> so a lot of like shitting on the chest and stuff so like we, that. Or? We went through a whole, we tried a lot of things that ended up not being for us, but uh, we, our motto was why not whenever it sure. came to, to trying something that it's, we, it's like that movie. Yes, man. Yeah, exactly. Only uh, it was more like, yes, ma'am. What a great film. Really uh, good. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, ma'am was sort of my attitude towards her. But again, I, I regret the relationship. It was started under false pretenses and then nothing. How did nothing it, good. What do you mean it started under false I pretenses? I lied to her. I was like, um, I am royalty. Uh, they were oh, they were God. both Angliophiles. Really? And I said that I was 25th in line for the throne. And that began our romantic relationship. As an American, you're you were 25th in line. Yes. Yeah. Well, that's what I told her. That must be hard to pull off. I mean, a lie like that. I mean, that's huge. I figured that number 25, she'd just be like, oh, I guess, you know, he's like his grandfather was an earl or something like yeah. that. And, you know, he's somewhere in line. And so. Because 25, though, I mean, like number two has been waiting for <laughs> yes, 40 that's, years. Yeah, yeah, that's right. <laughs> But if you're an Angliophile or you're someone who's into the to the royals, anybody— We just in, had someone on last week who is a royal watcher. Oh, yeah? Yeah. So I, I bet you if I lied to this person and said that I was 25th in line— He, would, I, he, he would, would have know. sex with you. 
Yeah, I would, I would imagine. I would imagine. So, and, and that would be under false pretenses. That yeah. would be, I would, if somebody wants to have sex with me, I want it to be because of who I am or the quality of my shoes, perhaps, if they're impressed with my... How many times has that ever happened where someone wants to have <laughs> sex with you because of the quality of your oh, shoes? Oh, got a question. Let me think about it. None. Oh, really? Yeah, it's never happened. I said you were doing like beautiful mind style, like math. I went deep because I've, I've met people in the, you know, other shoemakers and shoe fans, which then became romantic relationships, but it was never my ability to make so shoes shoemakers that and shoe them. fans. They <laughs> mingle. Yeah. Yeah. It's a, it's a pretty tight fraternity and shoe, and sorority. shoe, shoe fans. Yeah, fans. Yeah, of that's shoes. what I'm saying. Is, is like podcasters and podcast fans aren't always like. Oh, there's lots of shoe fans. Absolutely. Yeah. If you're a that's shoe not maker, what I'm saying. What are you saying? <laughs> I'm not saying that there aren't a lot of shoe fans. I'm uh-huh. saying that that the podcast makers and the podcast fans aren't intermingling that's, all the time. That there's might a, be your a experience. Clear right? divide of of if you, if if you're a podcast guy, you're on this side of the line. Uh-huh. If you're a podcast listener, you're on that side of the line. Unless Whenever there's the a, a convention or something. Do you sure. meet the fans at a... Yeah, you particular... have like uh, shoe cons, you know, or Oxford cons, you know, or trainer cons mm-hmm. in Britain. And you and you, you part of it is mingling. You meet and greet. Work the people. Right. Press the flesh. Uh, ask what their name is. You know, uh, make uh, a minimum of five seconds of eye contact. You know, normal things that, that mm. people do to appear normal. Yeah, you sound like you're training yourself to be a human being. I, you know, I'm a shy person, and sometimes it's difficult to to meet strangers. I don't think I'm alone in this, and I'll have little tips I have taken with me to to try and uh, and try to be what nice. Are the, yeah, what are the Tip. I minimum mean, five seconds eye contact. Minimum of five. Uh-huh. Repeat back their names to them as often as possible. Okay, what are our names? Uh, oof. One of you is Adam. <laughs> okay. And, oh, gosh, the other one is Shot. Hmm. <laughs> it's very close. It's very close. close. Okay. Yeah. And I have noticed you have not looked either of us in the eye this entire yeah. time. I'm so, it's so difficult for me. It's emotional. Let me try I, I want my five. Okay, here we go. You looked away at two. Uh, it's so tough. <laughs> It's tough. Yeah. It's not easy. That's actually kind of a long time to, to it's make It's t- almost concept. too long. If someone were to give me a tight I, five, I don't know. Yeah. If, but uh, if you were shoe fans and I met you um, at an Oxford con, I would, really, I would really try to step up and be there and make the whole five. Yeah. You know, what makes a, a shoe fan? I mean, it's, it's interesting because I wear them. Am I a shoe fan? Or? Absolutely not. That is not, <laughs> not even close to being enough. <laughs> Well, with, the, I, with the questions you've I'm asked a, me, I'm a you sock gave away. Fan. You're what? I'm a sock fan because I, really? wear, I wear those under my shoes. I don't, th- I don't think that makes one a fan. You must have an enthusiasm, uh, a hunger for I, knowledge, I, I, a I can, curiosity. I can tell you if I were to walk outside right now, especially because it's raining outside, mm-hmm. I would put shoes on. That doesn't make you a fan. Listen to yourself. You sound like a babbling idiot right now. <laughs> hey, okay, now you're giving me the eye contact <laughs> and you're not looking away. <laughs> so how many pairs of shoes does one have to have to be a shoe fan? I think it's more the, the emotion you have towards the shoes and not the quantity. Uh-huh. Quantity could be a symptom of How it, many I, shoes do you own? Oh, gosh. Because I've made so many. Yeah. Six? Six pairs of shoes? Six pairs. Six so 12 pairs? shoes in total? 12 shoes. And I love them. They are, they are family to me, and I rotate them in and out very carefully. And that includes like the Like, I ones, replace them. Sorry, that includes the ones you've made? Yeah. So well, I've sold a lot of them, you know what I mean? Or I've sure. given them away. So the ones that I have kept, where I make a pair, and I'm like, I, I, yeah, can't, I can't give you away. This. This, these are too perfect. I'm, I can only imagine, Adam, it's like you, of like, you do a take, and you're like, Guys, That's that for one's me. for me. I'm oh, gonna, yeah, I'm gonna yeah, keep yeah, this. Yeah. I'm gonna keep the film. That's right. This, I'm taking that home with me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna I've, wear it. <laughs> I've watched television shows where a particular scene seems lacking, and I'm like, I bet the actor kept, yeah, kept, kept the good, good take. take. And yeah. so, That's right. And I respect it happens that. all the time. I respect <laughs> that. Uh, um, so yeah, uh, you know, a shoe fan is the emotion and the passion that you have. If, if yeah. you if you had more knowledge or curiosity about a shoe, I'd say you're a shoe. Who fan, owns the most pairs of shoes in the world? Would I you think say? Imelda Marcos was famous for owning lots of shoes, right? The, um, but she's dead now. Are you dead. are you worried that if you were to own a lot of shoes, you would be dead too? It only stands <laughs> to reason. Let me follow this. So you think <laughs> that the reason Imelda Marcos is dead is because she had a lot of shoes? I'm saying that it's possible. So let's do a uh, Socrates thing. Okay. Uh, Imelda Marcos had a lot of shoes. Yes. Imelda Marcos is, is dead. dead. Therefore, having a, a lot, lot of, of shoes, shoes makes, makes you, you dead. dead. Yes. Okay. Yeah, I guess that does yeah, follow. It does stand to reason. I've never <laughs> before been scared of it, but now I am. Yeah. So I think six, six is pushing it. No, no, no. That, I've kept it. I'm a man of simple means. I don't like to have a lot of possessions. I feel like that's not nearly enough for a shoe fan. I've had more in the past. I once had like hundreds of pairs really? of oh. shoes. Yes. And I just, it felt excessive. 
Uh, and so I deli- part of my sort of becoming a better person when I realized I had a fear and loathing towards women and really just everybody. Um, I, and I was like, I want to be better. I want to improve. And I went into therapy and I read lots of um, sort of books on improving yourself. Part of it was like, I'm too attached to material possessions. Mm. Okay. So, so you... I got rid of, I was like, the hardest thing for me to get rid of will be the shoes. Yeah. I, w- did you save them for last or? Yes. That was the last so thing. So you got rid go. of everything else. All my silks. Uh, my spices, uh, spices, bonds, and investments. Are you, are you on the Nina, the Pinta, and the Santa Maria? I wish. <laughs> yeah. What a life. Oh, man. What a life. When you think about it, those guys had it all. I mean, one reason why you'd leave Europe to go over an ocean that maybe doesn't go anywhere because your life is great. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that's, that's a sure sign of the people on those boats is yeah. everything was going right for them. Wow. But yeah, so I, I gave a lot up, and the last thing was the shoes because it was it was emotionally very difficult for me. But I, I can only but I, when I finally did it, I did feel unburdened, and I felt like this is you know I am really I'm really trying to become yeah. a better better person. And, so the and, six yeah. you kept must really mean something then. Yes, they all are. They're they're sh- five of the pairs are uh, that ones that I made, mm-hmm. and, and there's the sixth. And the sixth one, I uh, it's my Ralph Mouth sneakers from when well, you can't oh, you still have those. Okay, sentimental. They were a gift from my uh, from my parents. Oh really? So, Are your parents still with us? No, they're not. They've they've how did how do they you say, uh, died? Pa- yeah. How, <laughs> how did they pass away? If you don't mind me asking. Oh, uh, they they pleasure. they lived a, a long life. They, uh, Until my, what? Uh, <laughs> like, see, they, <laughs> no. See, I was asking the opposite. When? How did they die? How do they die? Um, <laughs> not, not did they live a long life? Oh, until what? Not until like how long? To, no, yeah. To make it, a well, long... How did they die is what I mean. Uh, my father died of a uh, heart failure and my mother was unfortunately vaporized. <laughs> vaporized? Yeah. What happened? Well, I don't totally know. I think she might have been a spy. Uh, she got into some sort of altercation with a strange man who came to the door and vaporized her. Va- how does Jesus. that how pointed does... some sort of futuristic looking blaster and she, she just Holy disseminated shit. into atoms really but she was already an old lady who had a great life and i was like hey it had to happen was somehow. there like a pile of yeah like pile of yeah of i tried to reconstitute or... the ash i tried to rehydrate the ash what, by what pouring, pouring water, water onto it i was <laughs> distraught i was distraught that I was must like, have just made a mess it did it was, a, it was like what did i why did i think this would work and did you speak to the man before he I couldn't. Left? He ran off. Oh. He was like, she deserved it and left. And I don't know what <laughs> happened. She deserved I it. I don't know what happened. She was a mysterious lady with a lot of with a lot of. But uh, that's that mind. was his last parting words to you. Was she deserved it? Yeah, he was like, don't come for me. She deserves it, and, oh, she, and he ran off. And, and you have, said, okay. I, I said, I believe it. He had a real conviction about his voice. Yeah. Wow. And like, she was uh, seventy six. You know, and that's I was not just, a that old to be like, yeah, hey, it's fine. She was vaporized. Yeah. But it's you know, you would. It's uh, it was sad, you know, and I miss her, but I wouldn't call. How long were you sad? Today. Couple days. Couple, uh, yeah, you, you're you, a couple days guy. You have to move on. There's, you can't change the past. So what do you got I, in the what do you got in the hopper? What are you uh, what are you designing? Right well, now? once that Etsy shop gets back online, I'm going yeah. to do a beach hued half wingtip uh, Oxford. Um, okay. That uh that is for spring only, and uh it's going to be an Oxford's for spring. And I got okay. three sizes: um, weak, normal, and whoa. <laughs> <laughs> weak is seven men or smaller. That's weak sized. And then normal is like eight, nine or 10. And then height bigger than that is, I, whoa. I got to say, if I were an eight <laughs> and I'm wearing something that's that, weak. that a 10 could wear, I, that's not going to be comfortable. <laughs> no, eight is weak. Eight and lower is weak. Nine, 10 and 11 is normal. And then okay, but, 12 yeah, but and nine, is, 10 and 11 all have the same they size. They all have the same size. Make yeah. it work is what I say. Make it work. Put some tissue in there. That's what they did in the old Put days of tissue England. tissue in there. Yeah. Just, you know, stuff it. You know, you could, you know, or, squ- you know, whatever you got to do. So, you, so <laughs> weak, normal, or whoa. Those are the three. Weak, sizes normal, or whoa. Mm-hmm. But what is the actual shoe that you're, that you're designing? What do you mean? I mean, what are the features on it? What are, I mean, is there oh, um, a drawing of a, a, a human face? Never. I only do Oxfords. Okay. You do Oxfords. Yeah. So, so beach hued. Beach hued half wingtip uh, spring uh, dress shoe. Okay. What the makes Oxford it style. spring? It's, is it the color? Is it uh, the does scent? It have, the scent. Pine scented. Spring is pine scented. I think huh. of it. I think of it as pine scented. Anything just trees. What does beach hued mean? Beach hued is like a it's like a light brown sort of okay. butter butterscotch. Like a sand color. Uh yeah, a little little darker, but you're in the right. You're butter, in the ballpark. So a butterscotch shoe that smells like <laughs> pine trees. Well, I wouldn't call it butterscotch, it's beach hued. <laughs> oh, it smells hey, like but pine you said trees. It's like a butterscotch. <laughs> pine scented, beach hued, half wingtip spring dress. Half, that, Ten bucks. Yeah. That Three might sizes. be way too small or big for you. <laughs> or too big. Yeah. Or right. not necessarily. 
really? sounds great. So if you can get through the hate speech on your Etsy shop. <laughs> just for my customers, not for me. Not for and, and that's been taken down, and I, which I endorse. Okay. That being taken down. <laughs> great. And how, and how do people get to this? I have no idea. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, <laughs> fantastic. Well, uh, uh, Thomas, it, it's great to have you on the oh, show. Can so you much, stick around? Uh, yeah, I yeah. got nothing going on. Um, we're going to take a break. Uh, we'll be right back with more Comedy Bang Bang after this. <laughs> Comedy Bang Bang. We're back with Jason Walliner, uh, director extraordinaire. Good. Uh, uh, good. <laughs> we also have Chippy Dippy. You've been Chippy on the. Chippy Dips. Sorry, Chippy Dips. <laughs> You've been on the phone uh, trying to contact the ship, I've noticed. Yeah, I'm talking to the captain right now. Uh, and and you're trying to hold up the ship? Try, what's going I'm on? I'm just saying, you know, guess what? I uh, can't believe it. I'm stuck at Scott Ackerman's house again. Uh, well, good luck to you. I hope that you get back on the ship. Thank but uh, you. We have to get to our next guest, if that's all right. Uh, he's a coffee <laughs> impresario, uh, which I don't exactly know what that means, but I would imagine he makes coffee or sells coffee or something like that. Please welcome Bill Smither. Hey, Scott, thanks so hey. much for having me. Yeah, my pleasure. How are you? Uh, um, very good, thank you. Uh, let, me, let me answer that question that you asked uh, right before I um, was allowed to speak. <laughs> and that's uh, an impresario. I'm a coffee sort of a curator. We, we should just mention to the audience, mm. I'm not disallowing or allowing. I mean, it's a free country. You can do whatever you want. You don't explicitly ban somebody but from it, speaking or hold them back. But it's impolite to do that. It is impolite, and you give a, I would say, a pronounced glower. A withering look. Yes, a sort of... <laughs> because you approach the mic, and you almost answer I that question. I was I shot go. you a look. You shot me a look. I felt cowed. Mm -hmm. um, I good. felt uh, shamed. Good, good. But truly not explicitly banned. Right. I was okay. within my legal rights to speak anyway, and okay, I do good. recognize I just wanted that. to make sure that was clear to if the If there audience. are any lawyers Sorry. listening, I do not think you have crossed any boundaries. Okay. Beyond your rights. And you would sign an affidavit? I would sign an affidavit. As okay. long as I could add to the affidavit hmm. that there was a glower and I did feel shame. Okay. But I would admit well, that we'll I was... try to try to put that in the language in there, so. Okay, that'd be fine. Well, I'll have it, I'll run it by my lawyer and we'll run it by okay. your lawyer. And I'm sure Great, yeah, like we can work something page. out. Yeah. I think we're, we got to do it before this episode comes out, though, I think, because otherwise. Um, yes, we would have to. So we're going to have to need for them to, to do this a ASAP because lawyers can be very slow. My lawyer is quick. Is he quick? Really? He's very fast. That's why okay. that's, mine's very slow. So it sounds like we'll okay. get a, well, at we'll get around a, a normal amount of time. Then it'll average out to about a normal lawyer. Time. Okay, great. I feel optimistic because I think we're, uh, we're in the ballpark of agreement here. Okay, great. Yeah, might well, have to work on dotting some eyes, crossing some T's. Sure, yeah. <laughs> or dotting the T's and crossing the eyes. Yeah, I don't know if you've ever done that. Oh, you want to get wild? That's I'm not a... stand-up routine. That bit right there. We're gonna, yeah, we're gonna work that out. But um, <laughs> welcome to the show. Good hey, to see thanks you. Thanks so much. Um, you, you were saying coffee about coffee, yes. Yes, so I'm a coffee... Well, first of all, I'm this a coffee... This is Jason, by the way. Oh, hello. Uh, Hi, nice to meet you. You're a director, I understand. This is Pippi yes. Chippy. Chippy Dip. Oh, Chippy <laughs> Dips? Dips. Dips. Uh -huh. Okay, like a plural of dip. Exactly. But not with a Z. Chippy gets it. Yeah, it is with a Z. Oh, it is with a Z. Okay. Oh, did that's... you spell it with an S? Uh, I In did. my head, I was. Chippy, Chippy Dips. Chippy Dips. <laughs> Chippy dibs. 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 My 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 pleasure to meet you. I've never been on a cruise, but I, I look forward to it. Uh, it's a sort of oh, you think list. you will be on? I I imagine it's one of those things where I imagine someday I will be on a cruise. I I feel like you got to do it before you die, but that I, that well, could be any day. I know, but I I just I think a cruise is something you need to organically arrive at and not force. Not plan really. I it seems like so. most people plan their cruises. I don't think that's the way. You it's You think you'll work just like arrive me. at uh, yeah, harbor one day and like, just like chance getting on a boat and then it sails away and you're I on think a cruise? So. Yeah, I think like I think I'll just be going about my business running an errand i'll look up i'm on a boat and i'm like hey doing this for a while okay also, i would like to say lots of people die on the ship so. oh do they how oh. many per per cruise would you oh, say oh 10 12 10 12 what, did, what do they do with them oh they just you throw the body overboard you never existed you know it's, yeah it sweet. sounds like a nice way to go yeah it's a beautiful way to go you're staring at the water you're staring at the <laughs> sky and your eyes slowly die <laughs> Wait, wow. so you just die of natural causes <laughs> Oh, yeah, no. Nothing okay. got, nothing's killing you except okay. for just being there. Time to pass away. I would love for you to come on and pass away. It does, that doesn't deter me. I think that would be a great, you know, because I'm um, staring at the water. Staring at the water, staring at the sea. Close your eyes, you're dead. <laughs> I mean, I've certainly had visions of death that are a lot more traumatic than that. Your you know? own or someone else? Uh, my own. My oh, own. Yeah. Okay. I guess somebody else's too. Yeah. Look, you know, I've, you, I've you envision other people's... other people dying horrifically. Yes. Yeah, well, what I'll do sometimes for sport, 
I don't know if you guys do this. You're walking down the street, you see strangers, and you wonder, I wonder what kind of person this is. I wonder, like, what's going on in their life, you know? Uh, what are they thinking about? I wonder what they were like when they were much younger or much older. Mm -hmm. Just sort of, you're not thinking too hard about it, but just sort of a fleeting wondering. Sometimes when I'm in that type of reverie, I'll be like, what if they die by getting caught in a safe? Caught oh, in wow. a safe. Caught in a safe, like an old school Warner Brothers cast iron. And so what, what is happening? Someone opens the safe to get some Maybe money out of it. Maybe they some money. They're putting some and they, important And they're things. not looking behind them. Like uh, when I close my refrigerator door, I always have to look behind me to see if my dog's head is in there. That's what I'm thinking. It's a oh dog. Oh, my God. They're, they're oh, leaning Jesus over Christ. into a German shepherd, just knocks into their keister, boom, in the safe, shuts, slam. Eight to nine hours later, they bisected. Die yeah. Oh, oh, wait. So they're inside this? I oh, think I wholly inside the safe. Oh, they're inside. Okay. A deep, long safe. Because it's or, a little more grisly if they're bisected by the door. Could be bisected by the door, like half like half the torso just clipped. Yeah, half the torso. Ha so what I'm, yeah. Half, half the torso clipped like, vertically. So like up to the rib cage? yeah. So half your head, oh. half your So arm, just half the entire body? Like the way you cut a hot dog. Exactly, straight down the middle. Mm -hmm. I was thinking straight down the middle, but it could be just up to the rib cage. I was thinking like a club sandwich where it's diagonal. I think that like an open face. Yeah. Yeah. Open maybe that. Face. Anyway, some kind of horrific death. And, uh, you know, I'll be, I will, and I'll be like, well, I'll never know. You know, you keep walking down the street yeah. and you're like, I don't know what's going to happen to that person. Yeah. Have you ever like, caught up with a person and found out if that's ever happened to them? And I've never, I've never like turned around and raced after them, but I have run into people by coincidence later. And I'd be like, you're going to think this is crazy, <laughs> but I saw you earlier on the street and I don't know how this happened. I was thinking about you getting bisected long ways by a safe. And do you ever see them again after that? The one time I did this, that was the only conversation the I did hmm, have. Interesting. Yeah, yeah. yeah they were a, a friend's wife. Friend, a friend's wife. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh. Yeah. And so you you saw a woman. You didn't know it was your friend's wife. You saw no. you saw her walking down saw the street. A woman in this, uh, what saw, caught your eye about her? Well, uh, so I, I'll just be honest here. I'm about fifty years old. Okay. And okay. this woman appeared to be. Uh, but when you say about fifty, what are you? What are you? Fifty eight? Fifty? You know, I don't know. <laughs> I'm you in don't the know. realm of fifty. I was adopted, and uh, my birth mm. certificate was in dispute. Oh, it, in dispute? Why, who was disputing it? Uh, my biological parents and adopted parents didn't get along, and they had a debate about it, and they never really let me know how it worked never out. Never settled. But okay. I know that I'm in the realm of like – You're 50. in the realm. So you could be under. It could be over. Yeah, hey, here's hoping. Hoping for <laughs> – Could a, be your birthday today. Happy hey, birthday in case. It just, yeah, every day. Do you could celebrate be. your birthday? Or? I do. I have an uh, observed birthday. What, uh, which day did you pick? I picked what I think is the most fun date. Oh, what's that? Uh, I want you to guess. December 25th. January oh, that's 6th. That's what I should have done. December 25th. What'd you say? January 6th. Oh, <laughs> yeah. That would have been fun. No, I picked uh, I picked um, April 15th, tax day. Tax day. Oh, oh that's fun. Oh. You know why? Because everyone's so miserable that if you can bring, you know, hey, don't worry about joy. it. It's my birthday. So, you know. I don't know that that would give me any sort of solace or comfort. It's true. I don't it, care, really. Yeah. <laughs> it hasn't worked, but that was okay. my plan. Interesting. All right. Anyway, I love coffee. <laughs> I love coffee, and I'm an impresario. So wait, what attracted you to the woman? Oh, never... right. So she she appeared to be around my age, uh, sort of late okay. 40s, early 50s. Right. Uh, and and so well, you were, what, did you think you had a shot with her or something? No, it Is wasn't that... that. It was just sort of like I was relating to, oh, look, someone my age. Sort of, I was going through some. It's like when you see someone with the exact same model or make of car, and you're like. Yeah, you do sort of like, well, hey, how Jeep's else do you like? It's a community. It's a community. Yeah. I was just sort of, I would be honest, in that particular day, I was insecure about my life and where I was at and how I things were why. going. Yeah, I wonder why. There's no reason. Cause things, I mean, I don't know anything about you yet. Well, things than... are, I would say are going solidly uh, par. <laughs> par. You're at par. Hey, that's where you want to be if you're uh, golfing, par, right? Par ain't bad. <laughs> it's uh, kind of uh, an achievement to get that. Think about it. Things. If God however you understand it to be, came to you and gave two doors. Through this door is a random state of life you don't know, good or bad. And this other door is par. Like average? Like an average life, guaranteed through this door. And the other door is a crapshoot. Could be the best ever, could be the worst ever. Mm -hmm. I, would, I would take par. You take par every time because mm -hmm. you, it's certain. Is it the only life you're going to live? Because yeah. I would say – yeah. The highs and lows would be interesting if you're living like 10, you get 20. Like multiple shots. If you get multiple shots. If you're just going to live one, comfort. I might think be good. in this hypothetical scenario, it's one and done. You yeah. go through the door and that's it. So, like, just an average size penis. <laughs> yeah, I guess it would apply to everything. Yeah. I, oh, no. That was not the first thing I thought about, but yes, sort of an average hog. Just so, what are we talking Like there? four? 
What size is the average <laughs> one? A little higher. What do, y'all, what do y'all think the average Wait, size is? Average is four? three, two inches? I, well, I, I believe it's a little I believe it's a little more. <laughs> Interesting. I, but I guess we're talking average. It's more what your performance and use of it is. And your, if you're thinking about No, it's about the size. Oh, you're right. a size queen. You chips, chips. I'm a size queen for sure. When <laughs> Sounds I'm, like my mattress. <laughs> It's just a queen. It does literally sound like the size it's very of very uncomfortable. <laughs> I thought um, you were doing well, and then I hear you have a queen. Oh, God. I, I don't mean to be overly grisly about sexual details, but you're a tall lady, six foot two. Is yeah. that part of the reason why you're a size queen? I mean, that might is it more yeah, important it, to you? Because... Yeah. Um, well, first of all, I think all women say, oh, no, the size doesn't matter, just to make y'all feel better. Oh, thank you does. so much. Because <laughs> y'all are fragile. That's, I am. I am fragile. But and yeah, I appreciate it. If people are lying to me, I'm glad. <laughs> When I'm getting railed in the uh, tiny little cabin. Mm-hmm. By, when someone physically turns you over. If I can't feel it, I'm going to yell, uh, a code alpha. You know. <laughs> code <laughs> alpha? Code what? delta. That's going to bring the security team into the room? Oh, yeah, yeah. This guy's got a small dick. We need to throw him over. What a terrible way to find out that you're not pleasing somebody sexually. <laughs> code alpha. Yeah. So a bunch of guys that's, in like white coats. Wait, those, and I didn't even say code beta. When I say code beta, <laughs> yeah, that's, I mean, that literally. Are those the 10 to 12 casualties on the each cruise you're on? Absolutely. I'm throwing them over. <laughs> hey, aren't we having a nice time? Uh, yeah. We're having I guess, a, okay I guess so. time. Yeah. I don't know. So, I don't know. Having a great time. I can't tell time. how. I don't know what the vibe is. I'm trying I'm to figure out good. y'all's vibe. Who, whose vibe? Uh, the vibe between us and. Uh, let me look down at my notes. Bill <laughs> Smither. <laughs> <laughs> You don't yeah. remember someone's name when you meet them? Well, we just met. You know, it's pretty... Uh, That's a pretty uh, anodyne. It's, pretty gen- it's an easy uh, it's to forget. Generic, it's like you seem par, very average in a lot name. of ways. I feel it. I, I am proud of being average. Yeah, I don't see yeah. why that's something to be ashamed of. You know, yeah. you, in school, you get a C plus. I feel like that's seen as a bad grade, but it's like it's you're like, above hey, average. Doing pretty good. You're yeah, right exactly. above average. Yeah. Comfortably invisibly above average. Tell us about the coffee. What do, what do you... <laughs> you want to hear about the woman? <laughs> Yeah, tell us about the woman. I can wrap it up quick. Yeah. So I was insecure about my life, and I was like, I wonder how she's feeling about her life. Mm. She's a stranger. I didn't feel that like I could ask her, but that made me think about, I wonder where she's at, mm-hmm. how she's happy with her life. Maybe we were born around the same time. I wonder if she remembers the same TV shows. Mm, like what? MASH. Moonlighting. Yeah. 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 You know, uh, the, the original M's. V. Hmm? Hmm? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't uh, you say something about Moonlighting, MASH. What'd you, what'd you, I, Matt, said, Matt, I said the Matt Lock. Matt Lock. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Matt I was Lock. on an episode of Matt Lock. You were you were as a as a background artist, yes. Oh wow, background artist. <laughs> Is that a term that <laughs> only you used to describe your function at the time? on that show? No, we were called extras at the time, and then uh, <laughs> and suddenly I'm in charge, and they say you got to call them background artists, <laughs> <laughs> and not allowed yes. to talk to them. You um, know, Matlock had great had great extras. I remember a lot of they that. had a lot of color and character. A lot of shows they got a lot of good looking people back there, but Matlock wasn't afraid to mix in a lot of normies. Andy Griffith very red. His his complexion. He, he was red at that time. He was very red. He was like a beat. It's funny because I normally know him for black and white television shows. So That's true. Andy did, Griffith. And so you wouldn't know that. Then on Matlock, it is exposed to the world. That guy is red. Yeah, suddenly uh, color TV is invented. And it's yeah. like, why did we like this guy? He never would have made it. He's as red as a dang tomato. He never would have made it in the CinemaScope era. Exactly. So tell us about the coffee. Or so you, I love it. I love up the, no, I uh, the woman. Uh, I didn't wrap up the woman, but uh, she was on my mind because of where she was at. Later, you met a friend. Then I met, and then I met a friend, friend of mine. Said, hey, hey, this is my married. wife. This is my wife. I was like, God, I saw you in the street today, and I imagined the end of your life. Yeah, and then have you ever spoken to that friend either? Ever I have again? only spoken to him over Facebook Messenger. Oh, hmm. which is the least intimate of social media. Well, I mean, channels. not according to Pippi Poppy over here. <laughs> Chippy. Chippy yeah. dip. I feel that Facebook Messenger is the most emotionally distant of the things. I think it's the most erotic, for sure. F- the most erotic of the... <laughs> That's the only way she com- communicates with I her husband. I think Instagram is Planet. a way more flirtatious and intimate like connection what, what, channel. What are the Something difference? about being on the same platform with your mom and your dad. That's what makes your it not erotic. Anyone can watch. Yes, Anyone can see what you're posting. Like, <laughs> my great uncle contacts me on Facebook. It's, it feels like a very like sanitized, Familial, sort of yeah. desexualized But that's why, that's why you like it. If you want to get caught. You want to get caught on there posting so. on your son's wall. I would say that it's the most <laughs> sterile and emotionless of these social media channels. Okay, well. Instagram's flirtier. Twitter, I would put in between those two. Twitter yeah. is for demented people. What about, the world's ending. What about yes. words with friends messenger? 
Oh, that's uh, you know what? I think that's pretty intimate because you got to be friends. You have to you be have engaged to be in a task. A game. You have to successfully play an activity. There's together. a winner and a loser. You're already pretty close, <laughs> and then they start putting some moves. Yeah, interesting. That's pretty hot. I that might be that might be the hottest. Tell us about your coffee. So I love coffee. <laughs> Great. What makes you an impresario? So an impresario is sort of a, an arranger, uh, you know, like almost a producer. Like some You're a go-between? Like are you the, the man in the middle between coffee and the people who buy it? Or I like to organize coffee-themed events. Okay, oh. so maybe like a coffee mm. tasting party. Or if I think that somebody is a particularly talented roaster, I will try to connect them with a good coffee shop. Someone called Jeffrey Ross. <laughs> <laughs> yep. I, yeah, I do enjoy his comedy. Uh, oh, you, do. you know, uh, he's not afraid to. Um, he goes there. Yeah, he goes there. So you, 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 when you say you enjoy doing this, do you get paid to do this? I have sometimes gotten a little money for it, but that's not what it's about for me. It's a, I it's wouldn't a call yourself project. an impresario. That's such a, a, a <laughs> that's dominant how I see term it. That's how for I see someone it. who does this as a hobby. I connect people that need connecting. Hmm. Um, yeah, I think I'm impresario. Look, I've tried other, I've tried other terms that don't feel right. And they right. just don't I, seem to fit. I've tried organizer. Uh, I tried coffee organizer, and it's like you organize coffee. It's like no, yeah, they, because that, that, yes, yeah. I agree. That I'm, implies like you're alphabetizing the roast. Yeah, I'm dealing with like the that. people. I'm dealing with like the baristas, the, the relationships. Yes, I'm trying to get the the human. Really, producer is the best term, but in this town, but that sounds like Los you're Angeles. making the coffee. Yeah. It sounds well. like you're making movies about right, coffee, exactly. yeah. which would be so work. crazy. A movie about coffee. I mean, would you ever make that? Jason, commit now. Uh, it doesn't. I, I have to kind of hear more about what the idea. <laughs> what about, making, what about making a show about it? Like, oh, forget about a sequel to Paul T. Goldman because mm-hmm. he's he's done. He's tapped out. <laughs> okay, but this guy over here, Bill Smithers, Smithers. Mm-hmm. look down <laughs> right there. He, he uh, like listen to his life. You know, yeah, he seems like, like a very interesting guy. Make the sequel about different people, and then suddenly, like, you yeah, got that's, something. That's Jason, I can, go, yeah, I could tell you'd be nice and polite to me, and I appreciate it. I take pride in not being an interesting guy. Okay, is that really what you are most proud of? That's one of the things I'm proud of. Because I look, I don't mean to talk about the young people, but they sure do love to make it about them. Okay, and I like to blend in. You know, I don't mind. I don't oh, I mind, like coffee. Like coffee. I was, yeah, yeah, that's admirable. I think yeah, everyone's trying to kind of uh, make a name for themselves, and you seem to be doing the opposite. Happy to be in the background. I don't a background artist of life. I might say you're not the Matlock of life. Not at all. I don't need to be bright red, front and center, solving <laughs> crimes, bursting blood vessels while you know, I do my speeches that I barely want to memorize. I don't mean to be <laughs> partly... talking to the director and asking him to change the blocking. The <laughs> yeah, director get... not understanding why. <laughs> Bringing up that I was in face of the crowd, him. a movie critically regarded and <laughs> not <laughs> thought of a lot these days. Uh, yeah, you don't want to be that. You want to be the like me in the background, just doing Back my job. To the camera, and happy to do it. <laughs> Still as a prop. Mm-hmm. So uh, why are you on the show then? I mean, yeah, so I am about? getting a new project. Great oh. question. Uh, I am a fan. But you want to get the word out even though you don't want to make I it I want the project to, be, oh, okay. to, to get attention. I don't necessarily need to be known as the guy who's doing it. Right, even though you're an impresario. Go ahead. Even though I'm an impresario, but I'm a behind-the-scenes impresario. I'm uh, 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 pulling the strings. You know, mm-hmm. I'm like a... Um, Geppetto. <laughs> yeah, I'm like a Geppetto. Of I don't think he pulled any coffee straight. actors. Well, I mean, he d- didn't he for a while until uh, the Blue Fairy. No, came down? Pinocchio yeah. was yeah. off Pinocchio. on his own, yeah. no strings. But but pre Blue Fairy. <laughs> no, he had no strings. You don't he never had any. Strength. A little, I think, a, at least once or twice, he did some play acting with Pinocchio. He's a but the... he's a puppet. We can agree, Pinocchio is a puppet. Pinocchio. Pinocchio. Oh, yeah, there are yeah. two things you can do with a puppet. You can pull their strings or you can shove your hand up their and ass. And his dad used to shove his hand up his ass. What? <laughs> no, that's a string guy. Pinocchio is a string guy. There's no hand up that ass. Why are you here? So, <laughs> have you heard of Starbucks Reserve? Oh, yes. yeah. Yes. The, the nicer Starbucks. Exactly. So there's like, you know, better, Starbucks. Is it course. better coffee or just a better environment? It's better coffee. It's more select grounds. Why don't they make every Starbucks a Starbucks reserve? Hey, I agree. You're, because some which, Starbucks are just there for you to use the bathroom. That's it. Okay. <laughs> they, you don't care what the coffee tastes <laughs> okay. like. You're it's a little pricier, there, first of all. It's just a bathroom with a coffee thing attached you to go, it. You go, you destroy that thing, and then you leave. Right. Okay. So these, but these are, these are Starbucks reserves. Starbucks reserve are a little pricier. Uh, a little more uh, 
better quality coffee or at least more um, exotic, rare coffee blends. Okay. The Starbucks Reserves locations themselves tend to be a little bit more kind of fancy, sort of like slightly better sort of like furniture. The, the lighting is a bit lower and rich more Rich neighborhood. It's supposed to be rich. It's like a fancier Starbucks. Okay. And, the, and it's more expensive to boot. So okay. probably the reason why they don't make them all like that is not everyone's interested in paying the extra but this guy loves it so well, also I, it's it's the the theory i used to ha- hear about coke and pepsi was that they were owned by the same company that they they just <gasps> uh, had the competition there of like what's better so that no one would ever talk about rc or anything uh, else it's a like distraction if, if we're just talking about two things of like what's better well i like coke i like pepsi no one's ever talking about the other but that's and, not true right that is not i don't true. think it's true no <laughs> no no it's not true like Fanta and sell <laughs> it's it to an the interesting Nazis. but useless example <laughs> yeah <laughs> No, not true at all. How would that work? This doesn't apply and then never happened. But yeah, that's an interesting be, fact. Uh, yeah, it's an interesting wrong fact. <laughs> <laughs> uh, didn't we say one earlier, an interesting wrong fact about slicing one's brain open to find out that you have rabies? You think that's oh, wrong? No, I think that's right. That's got to be wrong. I would no, like no, to no, say There's got to be another no, way to tell. There's got to be, a test. Gotta to be another way to There's tell. There's also only one God. person who's ever survived rabies. Who's that? I don't know if I believe that either. Tim Ball. <laughs> I'm he, had it? he had it no there is one woman she survived i i don't know who so wait you, even if you get rabies like some a dog with rabies bites you can't you get it treated in the you, if you develop or whatever? symptoms You're done. you will die yeah. you will die period end of story except but, but they have to be able to Unless treat it before you develop the symptoms, only way right? to stop it is to cut your brain in half <laughs> you got to cut yourself and open then, like and a hot dog you have to do it yeah. You have to you get have to yourself, yourself straight down the center. Unfortunately, that <laughs> kills you, but the, but you don't die of the rabies. But you don't die of the rabies. Well, Which good. is cool because you die under your own way. <laughs> <laughs> On your own terms. So, uh, yes, I've heard of these Starbucks reserves so, now that you've explained them exhaustively. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so I am starting an informal organization called Starbucks Reserve Reserve, which means you are already attending a Starbucks Reserve. Okay. And I have scouted you, and I believe that you deserve – an even higher, more premium experience than you're getting at Starbucks Reserve. Deserve to pay for one, or you just you just, deserve that no co- no extra cost at no extra cost. Oh wow! You enter a special club called the Starbucks Reserve Reserve, of which I am the. Is it attached, or do you have to take a like a, a bus to it? It's right there. It's I right bring there. the experience you're to you. You're building I, it in a Starbucks Reserve. Yes, I because it, it it's not a physical location. It is a club. It is a a cat. That sounds a club like a physical, is location. physical location. Yeah. yeah. Okay, it's true. It's an existing physical location. It's not a new physical location. Well, I'll most you- buildings exist already. I would say, like, they mm-hmm. just renovate them. Is, okay, that's true. Is Starbucks <laughs> uh, aware that's of a- what you're doing? No. <laughs> so, so you go into a Starbucks reserve. I go into a Starbucks reserve. I, you tap people on the shoulder? How I do you set do up this? camp. I get my laptop. I'm Have you wearing- been doing this? Yes. They can't kick you out of a Starbucks, by the way. Legally? Legally, no, no you're one not be, disturbing, you're, you're not yeah. causing No matter a what you did to that bathroom, they still can't <laughs> kick you out. So I'll go in there. I'll set up camp. I'm in the corner. I'm scouting everybody. I'll spend hours. I'll watch for the regulars. Now, most people aren't there for hours, so... But I'm there for hours. <laughs> so the, the people that you sometimes you'll scout someone and go, oh, that looks like a good one. They'll leave before <laughs> your three hours are up. I'm, I lose a lot of people. <laughs> okay. But, but if they're really worth it, they'll be back. Mm-hmm. And they come back and I'll walk up to them and I'll tap them on the shoulder and say, hey, do you want a special experience? I, I mean, well, you say I, how do like people that? respond you say to like that? that? Uh, it's, a, it's a very polarizing question. When you just say, question. do you want a special experience? That's what I say. At low. I go walk up to my tap and show, hey, do you, want, <laughs> do you want a special experience? What percentage of people say yes to that? 80%. The conversation's over pretty quickly after this, <laughs> and there's a polite and sort of Have firm you thought about changing it. what you say or the I don't way think you so, because I think this is part of the selection process. <laughs> okay, so what happens to the 20%? The 20% that who are intrigued, yeah. I'm like, all right. Out of that 20, how many people just ask for clarification? <laughs> Most of them do. <laughs> okay. I put a finger up. <laughs> okay, that's to not. silence them. <laughs> you put it against their lip. <laughs> Sometimes I'll, well, I won't touch them, but I do move it close to the lips. Mm-hmm. Now, if their lips touch your that's finger. not my problem that's not you okay and i'll have an affidavit written to mm-hmm. excuse myself from that and i'll just say do you want a special experience well their mm-hmm. lips were asking for it <laughs> put my finger up i'll be like come with me they go over in the corner they sit down i set up a little tv table i put a nice little tablecloth over it and i set up a special roast that i have had friends of mine prepare who are expert coffee roasters and preparers this is not a starbucks roast it is not a Starbucks roast. This is your friend's roast. It is a Bill roast. You'll set this up. Set this up, and I'll give them a mug, and I'll be like, try it. 
This is the Starbucks Reserve Reserve. Interesting. I didn't know you were allowed to bring your own. That's the one thing I think you, you are can't do is uh, to not technically Starbucks. allowed. You're allowed to sell and your own like, coffee in a Starbucks. I, I, I think it. they they say you can bring anything you want in here, just not your own coffee. They right? really do frown on it. Yeah, but I don't sell it. That's how. That's how you I serve it. I you do give serve it, away. it to strangers. Are you, have you been asked to leave ever? Sometimes I'm asked to leave. Uh, by the, the the people who work at Starbucks, by or Starbucks by Starbucks other people themselves. No, once I get them into the corner and I'm pouring them, this is I've had a hundred percent success rate. Really? Six, what do you, you define as success? Uh, that they like it. That they like it and they say thanks for doing this. I appreciate it. So two things: they have to like it and they have to thank you, mm -hmm. and that's success. And, and that's hundred percent. Hundred percent people. Have, wow. And yep. then what happens? Uh, then I let them go on their day, and I'm like, next time you're in here, if you want another one, give me the old high sign. What's the high sign? High sign is sticking your arm fully above your head and waving and like and like waving. Flapping. I'm out at that point. <laughs> well, yeah, you don't have to, you, you don't have to. That's be. a one and done for me. I haven't had any high signs, but uh, I'm mm. waiting for them. I have seen All some right. of those regulars again. When the Starbucks people tried to kick me out, uh, I have an interesting technique which I once saw a woman do in a Starbucks. I just look at them, so they'll be like, "Sir, can you please leave? Can you not do this?" And I'll just say, "No worries." No, that, and then that's you say, so, yeah. Just look them dead in the eyes and go, no, no worries. worries. It's, it's so nonspecific. It would it confuse doesn't me. Answer, it confuses yeah. them and they just give up. And I go no back worries. to my corner. No worries. No worries. <laughs> no worries. <laughs> no worries. <laughs> no, I say it in normal. You say bland. it in normal, bland English. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And uh, so, and Starbucks Reserve Reserve, and you know, technically, I don't do have they rights. stand there for a little bit for a while and then go, okay. They just, and they, yeah, just, they, just, uh, like, they okay, give up and yeah, go, whatever. This guy's not going to, it's not worth it. Wow. I've heard I that know. phrase. So, so I'm here to promote Starbucks Reserve Reserve. If you're in a Starbucks Reserve. Just any Starbucks Reserve? Any in the country. I, I move around. <laughs> um, so how are supposed to people, people supposed to come back and find you and give you this high sign you, if suddenly you moved on to Cleveland? It's got to be the gods have to have ordained it. It's, mm. you don't force things. You it's believe like in God? Cruz. I believe in several gods. Which ones? Let's see. I believe uh, most of the fun ones. Mm, God. Like the hyper-specific ones. I don't like God. He's too general. I said Gog. Oh, Gog. <laughs> yeah, Gog is fun. Okay. Gog would be a fun one. Yeah, I like guys like, you know, Vulcan. Mm. Dumbledore. You know, they're like, they're, they're, oh, Dumbledore. Dumbledore? Dumbledore. <laughs> yeah. I don't think Dumbledore was a god. In he he okay, now that I'm, I'm really re-examining the Harry Potter books. Santa Claus. Maybe he was a god? I mean, Gandalf could have been a god. What were his powers? That's true. He's dressed in white. He's got, he certainly would be a fun god. I like costumes. I like names. I like powers. So you do believe in a god with a long white beard? Gandalf. Though. Gandalf, yeah, that's right. Yeah, like wizard okay. gods. Who I, else? Booster know, Gold. I feel like for me, it's a spiritual thing. I believe in the sea. And when you go out and you look at the land, the sea, the ocean. All right, shut up. And the sky. Um, all right. We, we need, are you we upset need to... that we had what mostly was a real conversation? <laughs> Not at all. I, don't, I think you're, I think I, you're I don't mind. I love very it. interesting guy. I think, Jason, I, I, you should be making a show about this guy. Yeah, I, I hope not. I hope I Did you think that I was interesting, Smither. too? Y'all liked what I said and everything? Yes. Yes, mm. I loved it. Yeah, y'all liked me. Yeah. It's a lot of diminishing returns with you. I mean, it's what a little sad to Last time you were on, you were talking about rats running around the ship. What's now... wrong with that? <laughs> I well, guess nothing was wrong. It was more interesting is what I'm saying. I mean, this I guess... time was very interesting. <laughs> I'm glad that when I've had sex with women, none of them have said code alpha. <laughs> I guess I'm, you know, retroactively appreciative of or that. Or code beta would be I've had so code beta. much worse. I've had code yeah. beta. So. <laughs> All right, well, we need to take a break. <laughs> Matt Bronger is here, and uh, you can stick around the entire show. I I'm hope. here, man. Yeah, okay, great. We have other guests to get to, if that's I'm, okay. I'm excited to see them. Yeah, I'm, you're saying you're excited. I'm excited. Okay. I don't know if you've ever read one of these things, but uh, uh, this guy sells them. They're books. Oh. Yeah. This is incredible. And people say the printed word is going away. <laughs> it's not what I've seen. Not nah, same here. No. I Everywhere you look, there's a bookstore. Yep. And he is, uh, I don't know whether he has a store, a brick and mortar, or uh, or anything uh, of that. Uh, I'm sure he'll explain it to us if I would just cut down this introduction by a few seconds. I think we could actually hear this. You think it's helping? Absolutely. So it's setting the table. It's good buildup. Well, we'll talk to him uh, uh, and uh, find out exactly what he does. We'll, we'll, I'm sure we'll talk about his relationship status. Mm. Um, I mean, this is, I've always said that Comedy Bang Bang is sort of the Facebook of shows where That's, we'd always talk about relationship I'm, status. I'm glad you admitted it finally. Yeah, finally. Yeah. The Facebook of shows yeah. uh, 
let's bring him on right now. His, he is a bookseller, of course, and his name is Lester Brads. Welcome, hey, Lester. Hey, what's happening? Books, baby. Books, Books baby. That's yes. what I'm all about. Hey. I love that. Uh, this, yeah. is, this is Matt Bronger hey, over here. Hey, how you comedian. doing, Matt? How are you? Nice to meet Lester. you, sir. I'm Lester. And I am Scott Ackerman. I'm oh, your host. Hey, thanks for having me on the show. You seem so much more excited to talk to Matt Bronger. <laughs> yeah, you know what? I guess I was. I'm sorry about <laughs> you, that. There was a palpable let's level of let's, you're discontentment. Right. I to it. Yeah. Well, you know, <laughs> Matt's here. He's got an air of uh, friendly and accessibility. Scott, you got a Hollywood veneer of sure. uh, icy veneer. <laughs> well, Matt has that gregarious. Are that's you right. from Chicago? Where are you from exactly? Uh, Portland, Oregon, originally, but oh, I lived in Chicago. That's what it is. Yeah, Those he's got Portland that, people. He's it's an open, they're the woods. gregarious yeah. nature. <laughs> Talk to people. I'm a little Let's, more reserved. I'm a little more icy. <laughs> shut down. <laughs> we, yeah, I know that shut down. Yeah. Yeah, the, and we love books in Oregon. So That's right. Uh, Powell's oh. Books, one of the all-time great bookstores. You said it, man. Do, yeah. you, have, do you have a bookstore, Lester? Is that uh, I am what you, you call a books? mobile bookseller. I am in a book mobile situation. You remember the old bookmobiles yeah. back in the day? They would have those. I got a little what, bookmobile What were those? Myself. You say remember those. Uh, explain them for those. Like of- vans would drive around. They would say it was a part of the literacy sort of push. Was you it could, like an ice cream van that would a song like an would ice cream play? Van, but they would sell books. Would a song play? Well, I, I don't books, remember books, a song. Here they come. I don't, that's one of the flaws. Here are books for everyone. Something should, like that. Somebody record that and send it out. That's We're what recording this shit it. is. Oh, well, this is recorded? <laughs> yeah, this, oh, oh, you I, came on the show without knowing I it was going to be recorded? I heard there was nice people to talk to. <laughs> uh, even better. Wonderful. Do you, do you play music like an ice cream truck? I sing out loud through the window. I love it. Books, baby. Come and get them. <laughs> that's not really singing, I would say. That sounds like, like more like singing. shouting. I'm a Rex You're Harrison, like a Rex my Harrison, fair yeah. lady fan. Books, baby. Kind of the, the hold steady. I dig it. Mm. Uh, I don't know your reference, young man, okay. but I appreciate your young relevance. Man. <laughs> <laughs> the hold steady is not a young man reference. They're not? No, not really. A 40, uh, 40-ish guy. Give me an How example old are you, of Matt, the young... by the way? I'm 45. You're 45? Whoa, yeah. I misread you. Mm-hmm. Oh, appreciate well, you've that. Got, you've got the youth and vigor of a much younger man. Thank you, buddy. The, the vitality Scott, and exuberance. you look exactly your age. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think that is? Uh, let me see. Um... I'm going to get, hang on. I'm, I'm, I'm turning a, 29 this year. You're turning 29? Yeah. That's okay. what I thought. Yeah. That's what I thought. You look exactly that. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> so you have a, uh, you, I, 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 a I now remember the old bookmobiles. Bookmobiles are like, they're a van sort of, yeah, ice cream truck-ish type and they, of shape Wait, wait would they loan out books or they would sell books? They would, they would, they would give out books. They would just give them out? This does Actually, not sound I, like. I don't remember interacting with them. <laughs> I saw a snippet of them on public television when I was a young man and said, someday that will be my life. Okay, so you had no idea what their business model was. I'm not familiar with it. Or whether I think they, it was some sort of public service that they were. It was more public service than mercenary, as I recall. It was either give them away or loan them. They're trying to promote literacy. Ah, is that what you're trying to do with you? You have no, a bookmobile? I'm out to make money, baby. Oh, I'm making nice. big yes. cash. Yeah, I don't know if you it. can hear, but I'm rubbing. Here, everyone shut up. Hey, you yeah, know, rubbing my hands yeah. together. Yeah, books, books are gold to me. Nice, Hot, top sellers is what I like. Oh, okay. things okay. that move. So things that, that are move. on the New York Times uh, top ten list. Uh, you know what? That th- that list is a miss. Nomer. Hmm. They are not, I think that's the right term. They do not sell well. Things okay. in the New York Times bestseller list, I'm not interested. Wait, they don't sell well? I thought that they were the top 10 selling things. I don't know who puts that list together, but that's not the New York my Times experience. Does. I like this. The New York this Times is, does? <laughs> yes. This oh, is word I'm, on the street. This I'm is glad word so on this the is street. good intel. Okay. For example, for example, this is some time ago, but Eat, Pray, Love was once a New York Times bestseller. I was like, great. I'd like to make some money. I got some copies of Eat, Pray, Love. How many How many you get? I get like five or six. Hmm. I'm a real, I'm a real, uh, close to the ground operation. I steal Ooh, books. That, that Let's just what? say, I'll just, I steal books. Fair. I steal books from libraries. I steal books from brick and mortar stores. I steal books from my friend's shelves. So you're, wait, you're shoplifting <laughs> in stores. Shoplifting from stores. You're r- r- borrowing books and not returning them, or are you, I or, guess technically that's or are what you I'm not doing. even borrowing them? Are you I don't shoplifting even have a membership the library? at these libraries. So you're shoplifting I, at libraries. I guess I'm shoplifting from libraries, yeah. And then at, you're home lifting from your friends. Home lifting from friends, and I'll end up with a, with a good array of, you get a Sounds very, like five or six. I'll get like five or six books. <laughs> you get eclectic selection that way. Mm. Okay. You know, you don't get your Typical. I'm not your typical Barnes and Noble. What's on the front of the table? I'll get a wide, and that's how I. And so I know what sells. Mm. So I had eat, pray, love. Okay, five or six copies. Hey, not many, but if it's a bestseller, I should be able to move these titles. Sure, right? everyone read Eat, Pray, Love. I read. I it. could not sell Eat, Pray, Love. Really? Wow. Yeah. What? What? How, why were were your customers giving you feedback at all? Or yes, what? they'd be like, "This is garbage." They would throw that this is trash. 
boring. I couldn't get past the fifth page. Wait, so they had already tried to read it? They would try it. They'd come well, back no to me. Well, no wonder they're not buying it. Yeah. Oh, I have a, I have a loan out. Pro- I say, give it a shot. <laughs> oh, okay, so you loan it out first. Yes. And then if you want to buy it. And if it hooks it, them. Wow. Or you, like, give a chapter and, and Yeah, I rip out the take. first chapter. I'm like, take this with you. <laughs> And if you want the rest of it, come on back. And they and they often, if they like it, if it moves, they come back. If I, it, is there a rhyme that you have? Like, if it moves, it grooves yeah. or anything like that? Yeah, if it moves. Um, it proves no, that the book is good. I should do that. I say, if it moves, it's got hooves. Nice. And then I have to keep going because books are like horses, of course. And then it's okay, finished. Okay, and then you, oh, and there then it's finished. Yeah, I okay. think, well, then it's wrapped up. <laughs> If it moves, it's got hooves, because books are like horses, of course. So it, what, what was the deal with E. Pray Love? People didn't like it? People I, didn't like it. I, I thought it, everyone it, loved that book. I thought everyone loved it, too, but they didn't. there was no plot. I feel like you have go-getters. Your, your customers yeah, are go-getters. Exactly. You're people that run up to a bus and go, I want a book from you. I, don't I yell out the window, books, baby, and there I attract go. like-minded people. And, and they're, they're like, that's what's up. They're not going to listen or read you know, Eat, Play, Eat, Pray, Love like Sometimes I yell, sometimes I sing. It. Yeah, that's right. So I track like-minded Wait, people. How does anyone distinguish if you're yelling or if you're singing? I'll show you the difference. Okay. Usually, it's, it's at the end. It's the second half. They start the same. <laughs> okay, so you so started like, with books, books baby. baby. That's singing. That's nice. talk singing. And then okay. regular yelling is like, books, baby. Okay. I like a little it down. You can tell the difference by the yeah, end. I can tell the difference. Yeah, yeah. I like it a books, lot. Books, baby. Books, baby. Kind of depends on my mood. Mm-hmm. He's singing. He's singing. If I've had my morning sugar, then it's talk singing. Uh, oh, I see. But uh, non-caffeinated, if you're just shouting? If it's non-caffeinated and no sugar, then I keep it just for shouting. A little grouchy. Yeah, a little grouchy. Yeah, it takes me a little to warm up. So, you're stealing books. That's right. You're ripping out the chapters. If Yeah, as a sample. And... Uh, what happens if someone doesn't return the chapter to you? Then they go on my list and I hunt them. <laughs> now, now, not aggressively. Now I'm not going to like change my life. I'm not going to change my life to go hunting them. So you, th- but I have a list, and if I see them, I jump out of the van and I chase them down the street and I give them a give them an old one two. <laughs> Wait, why jump out of the van? Why not stay in the van and chase? them? I jump out of the until van. you catch them and if then I, jump out of the if van. If I see them, because the, the drama of a foot race. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I love it because then my Wait. adrenaline is worked up by the time I get to them. And I give them an old one, two. I give them an old punchy punch. <laughs> so, what, to the what, next. What so, actually, you, you hit them? Huh? You, you tune them my up? Accent, I was raised by two people one, somebody with a deep New York accent, and one, an indiscriminate Canadian. <laughs> so, so, my accent is a little it's a little muddled because I grew up in a bit of a hodgepodge. Sure. So, it, it, the New York part of it seems to have only come out when you said the old one, two. <laughs> give them the old one, two. Well, you know, that was my mom. My mom was, uh, she was a rough lady. Sweetheart, really? so heart of gold, heart of gold. But uh, you know, she, she wasn't. She was. She was a fan of the old uh, the belt on the kid. Yeah. Which which kid? You or me? That's right. That's Whoa, right. No, you know really? what? It wasn't bad because it was always what I did. So, uh, it, what did she you was do consistent. to deserve it? Uh, I would start corporations. What? And I would start corporations Ooh. in the home. Okay. What does that mean? Well, my mother was a businesswoman, and I would start corporations and try to buy shares and take over. And she would give me the old. She would hey. Get over here. Get a belt out. Whoop, whoop. Wait, she was a businesswoman. She was a businesswoman. You would start corporate. I would incorporate corporate. myself. You would incorporate and then buy shares of her business and try I would to fundraise. Like a hostile and I would takeover? Get, yes, I would try to assume power for corporations. <laughs> And Behind her back through a shell corporation. Through a shell corporation. She, she didn't she know it was the last So minute. she just hears some corporation. She'd be like, there's an offer for shares. She'd be like, let me meet them. She'd come into a conference room and then it'd be me, baby, <laughs> me, ma. Or me, baby. Me, baby. Gotcha, baby. And, and then she'd get over here, spank me once or twice. I would you. drop the offer. So, to keep her company. <laughs> if only in real businesses we could spank the uh, hostile takeover Well, what people. she did, I was like, she's right. This is crazy of me. This is not cool. So, and I, you know, so I, I'll give people the old one, too. If they steal a book, I'm like, hey, you're not getting away with that. I hit the streets. I go running after them, whip off my belt, whoop, 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 teach them a little thing or two. And you know what? Then they can keep the book. Oh, you just kind of spank if them. If they admit they're wrong, then I feel like it's, then our, Then our they code, get to keep the whole book? That's right. So you, so you, when you, I bring the see book them. with me. I grab yeah. the rest of you the book. You see them. You park the the I van. Park the van, or don't. I'll just jump out in the middle of the street. Jump Let out in the middle, but you find the book that is, yeah, is that like, always at the, the ready? Or do you have to- Carl Sagan's Cosmos? I'll grab the rest of Cosmos. I'll jump out on the mm-hmm. sidewalk. That's a heavy book. It's huge. It's like a coffee table yeah. situation. Go hustling down the street. I'm in shape. Part of living. I didn't want to say, but you are. I mean, uh, yeah. the handsome man. Yeah, you got obviously thing. a lot of core strength. I appreciate yeah. that. Yeah. Well, it's from uh, you know, I live. Uh, I'm a man of the earth. Hmm. You, well, I don't you, know what that means. Well, it means I uh, live in my car and I um, <laughs> and I forage and I um, 
You, you live tough. Yeah, I'm not a. I don't. I don't go for creature comforts. What's going on with you? Wait, you, you seem to be stealing books. You're living stealing in your books. car. What is car. what is your deal? I mean, why? I'm what you call a homeless man. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Do we call them homeless men? Uh, well, men these and, days? and there was an era when that was called that. I think it's past. I think it's now been. Well, seen we used as, to call them bums. That's which true. Is, yeah, which is really and bad. a long time ago, I think they were called hobos, which hobos. sounds yes, like hobos. a blast. <laughs> sure, that does sound fun. I it's, would love to be. a It almost seems like what we've described them on. It's gotten less fun over the. Years. We're getting more like clinical. Yeah, this political correctness. I don't go for it. It's less fun. For a little while in country music, they were known as Ramblin' Man. Sure. Oh, that's so even I, the I, most I, fun. Yeah, from Ramblin' man, man to Hobo to Homeless Man to what is it now? It's like temporarily without residence or something? Something like that. It's yeah. just got In less a state of, of not own... I don't know, that, are we doing them favors by, by characterizing them in such harsh terms? I think they should be called rambling men and women. Yeah. You, you should be called that. I am that. And I think that anybody who is in a... You know, these, these people down in the, in the... You know, Los Angeles has a, has a problem with people who do not have homes, whatever the correct term is. Sure. Yeah. Call you. them rambling. Yep. But you're talking about yourself I'm right talking now. about myself, but how I take you, care of myself. How did you get to this situation? What, what were you doing before you became... Uh, I was a major investor and corporate holder in IBM. <laughs> <laughs> Temporarily, not wow. for long. Through a series of machinations with my mother. We so teamed she, up for a you while. You teamed up. She was a hedge fund uh, investor down in down at Old Wall Street, baby. <laughs> I just hear the accent again. Yeah. So you guys teamed up. She was up. a heck of a mover and a shaker. Real head for numbers, my ma. Mm. Real, you know, she could like look look and, at the stock market, know what was going up, what was going down. And she what had, was your part of the partnership? Uh, I was more aggressive, hostile negotiation tactics. Oh, so you're a negotiator. I was the muscle. Ah. I would rough people up until they thought maybe it was a good idea to give us their shares. Interesting. Huh. What an interesting life. And then that all fell apart. Yeah, I eventually realized that uh, it was bad character. It was a bad way to live. It was, it was, oh, uh, so you had moral. I had a moral. Yeah, I was beating people up for money and it felt wrong. You were beating people. So this is a but, real I mean, hostile I was beating takeover. people up for shares and stocks. I'd run down the street. I'd be like, hey, 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 hey pal, give us those shares. Uh. Huge, these are huge guys, like VPs of uh, Goldman Sachs and whatnot. Mm. So you've spent your life running down the street trying running to chase street people. is is a it works yeah i mean you Look, are in shape i think all you've done is good it sounds like you've been tuning up <laughs> really? people that needed a tune up the Goldman Sachs hey, guys. i don't feel these, those guys need a smack in the face these financial guys they're not good guys and now people that are you know running off with half a book that, well i feel better they about this because the they know they did wrong that's right because the I Goldman Sachs it, people don't know that they did wrong i feel like they live in a they live in a um, moral ambiguity in a world where it's sort of They've been told it's good. They've been rewarded. Okay. If you're a fish swimming through sociopathic waters, you're going to drink that water sometimes. It's like if done, a mafia yes. guy does a hit, he thinks it's good because there was a pre-agreement. They've somebody's broken an agreement. Right. Did you ever work in the mafia? How yes. do you know so much? Temporarily, I was in the mafia. I was. I did not do well. I did not do well. In the Which mafia, mafia it's cool were you let you out? In. Yeah, I, mean, I was never a made guy. Okay. I was never. I did favors for some people. Okay. Yeah. Okay. What kind of favors are we talking? Books, I mean, I would recommend books. Oh, I would go to meetings and cure. This was when I started making the transition. Curate their like book clubs. They'd be like, go down to this place. Some guy owes us money. I'd be like, you got it. I go down there. I start talking to the guy. I'd be like, hey, you ever read Herman Melville? We'd start talking, and they'd be like, no. But like, you got to read Herman Melville. Mm. He's an American. He's an American institution. He's yeah. an icon. You never read Moby Dick? We start talking. I say, forget the money. You're good. Your money's good. I'll bring you a book. So you would forgive the debts I'd, as well. I would speak on behalf of my temporary employers and forgive debts left and right, baby. So left that, and right. They must have been. Why they yeah. Let you go. They actually were pretty nice about it. All things oh, considered. Really? Yeah. They found me adorable. That's great. <laughs> you are adorable. I mean, hey. for, for a chiseled cut guy <laughs> like yourself, yeah. who seems to be constantly doing hey, a lot of calisthenics, coming from an icy cold, young looking guy like you, that's a real compliment. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, we we know each other. We really have each other pegged. Look, we have to take a break if that's oh, okay. Why? All right. <laughs> Comedy. Bang Bang, we're back. McGruff, the crime dog. How here. you doing, Scott? We also have Charles Barkley is here. Scott, do you remember that one time? No, I do not. <laughs> Francesca's still here. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> Harry Styles. Hello. <laughs> All right. Well, Harry, it's great to have you here. Can you stick around? Of course, Scott. We need to get to our next guest. He he's an artist. Oh, a lot beautiful, like you. lovely. Oh, yeah. This I can I can see it right now. Yeah, he's a young adult novelist. Oh, he's never been on the show the before. A lot word. like Charles here. New friend. 
Yeah. We've known each other for 50 years. <laughs> it'll be 50 so. years. Uh, please welcome to the show for the first time, Henry. Hey, say, uh, let me just apologize uh, right off the bat, Scott. Um, uh, for what? Just Henry? for rolling in here with my scarf and my sunglasses and my hat and my big old coat. Don't worry about it. I'm just a little chilly. You look a little like McGruff over here with the big old... I kinda, yeah, I kind of yeah. do, yeah. So uh, just, I just want to apologize for rolling in no here looking, to, a, I don't, looking a little weird, so I'm sorry. You're not looking weird. I mean, well, I just don't want to seem closed off because I am open as I'll get out. Okay. I am an open oh, book. Yeah. No secrets. Yeah, beautiful. No secrets. I'm a young adult novelist. I'm just here to promote my holiday-themed work that's coming out and then let you guys get back to your business. Okay, well, it's your segment. <laughs> you, I'm almost done. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Uh, well, but you're a young adult young novelist. Young adult that, novelist. That means, I mean, I'm not a young adult. I'm a full I was wondering, man. because when yes. you, I, that's what I expected, and when you walked in here, I was like, oh, oh wow, yeah. this guy's like 50, oh, yeah. well, between 50 and 60. <laughs> well, okay, yeah. <laughs> Unfortunately, you're dead right, but... Um, <laughs> Yeah, I write novels meant for the young adult market, the YA right. market. It's How does as. an older gentleman get interested in writing things for kids? You know, I mean. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I, th- I think that the genre has evolved, even though it's called the young adult market. A lot of adults actually enjoy YA novels, and it's just sort of shorthand for genre fiction. Okay. Short sort of action oriented, not a lot of internal landscape stuff. Just let's get to the fun stuff. So, okay. and, I, and actually a lot of the characters in my books are full grown adults, so I, I'm not even sure if what I'm writing is technically YA. Okay, well tell us about your. Thank you so much. Uh, sure. My book that is uh, coming out, it's uh, called Santa Runs a Maze. It's a maze Santa runner. Santa Runs a Maze. Santa Runs a Maze. Santa Claus is in a dystopian future where in order to survive, he must successfully run a maze faster than a lot of uh, other full-grown adults. And he fails Fast, to. Faster and, than and they're all competing they're separately? All competing or, or there's a team that's competing together well, there's like a, team, a relay and there's, he, against Santa? No, there's a team and Santa's on the relay and he's the runt of the team and they hate him. Oh, okay. <laughs> Because they're like, you're a fat old man. There's no way you're going to be Doesn't good on this. Doesn't he have magic relay. powers, though? Can't he? Couldn't. I mean, he gets around the world. Yeah, but he's hiding in one night. because the government executes anybody with magic. Oh. So he can't reveal. How do, why did they arrest him then? If, if Jaywalking. Oh. Yeah, and, and, and frankly, he wanted de- offense. He wanted, thank you. Uh, they decriminalized it in California. My name's McGruff the Crime Dog. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> I don't know why that's hard for you to... What? What's just, wrong with that? I don't know. Just the the crime dog. It's just fun to walk around saying what you are. You oh, know? no. Be like, I'm Henry the YA novel. That's how you. I introduced you. That's what you wanted me to say. Sure, on a talk show it makes sense, but just in conversation... <laughs> yeah, but I'm on other, a talk show right now. Hey, yeah. well, hey mate, whatever. Don't worry about mate, it. Mate, Harry Styles. Harry Styles. Harry Styles, I, yeah. Roz, Harry Styles. and Baby Deer. Um, <laughs> I wanted to know what happened to all the presents. Sorry. What happens to all the presents, yeah, mate? Santa, Santa, if Santa basically. is running a maze, what happens to all There's, the presents? They stop, and nobody oh, knows no, why. That's terrible. Because he'd been doing it in secret. Nobody knew that it was Santa. There's no presents on Christmas Day. I see. No, no presents are delivered on no Christmas No presents Day. are delivered because Santa's not there to oh, do it. No. He's busy trapped in the... How what, day, what day of the year does this occur on? Uh, weirdly, March 1st. March oh, okay, so there's uh, time. Such a good day. Well, it's in the future. Christmas has been shifted. Like, it's an alternate world. Oh, you know? okay. Science fiction. So the main character of this young adult novel <laughs> is Santa Claus. One of the oldest. No. no. Oh. Side okay, character. Okay, okay, okay. Side character. called Santa Runs a Maze. You don't meet him until about 200 or 300 pages oh, in. okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It seems like <laughs> if I were buying a book called Santa Runs a Maze, I want him running that maze on page 10. <laughs> that's why you're an amateur and I'm a professional. Okay, you're right. You're you right. got a, you got, that's bait. I'm luring the reader in. So when who's the main? Character. The main character is a young girl named Sally. She's a 12 year old. She builds the maze. She's, She's a genius architect. She, does she build the maze in order to torture the people who are running the She's maze? She's employed or? by the government, kind of against her wishes, to build mazes to torture people. I see. So, does but she, she doesn't know like it's it. real? Does she know it's real? Or is it like, um, what's that other one? You know. <laughs> what's that other one? The, the, Matrix? the Matrix? No, 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 no. Um, Enders, Truman Show? Uh, Ender's Game? Divergent? Ender's Game. Uh, no, it's that's where the kid is doing what he thinks is a game, but he's actually... Doing war. Doing military stuff. He's doing stuff. war. No, she's... <laughs> she, yeah, that's what they say. Yeah. <laughs> Have you seen Goodfellas? <laughs> that's kind of what you're talking about, right? You're, yeah. Char- you're Charles Barkley, right? The basketball I, uh, player? Yeah, that's right. Who are you? <laughs> Henry the YA novelist. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm an author. And don't worry about my sunglasses, my scarf, my hat. Everything's great. Nobody's worried. No one. I, just why, are, why are you wearing those if you feel you need to apologize? I don't need to apologize for it, and I just wanted to make sure you guys are all right with it. I, we're, we're okay with it, but why I'm put it on? I'm very uncomfortable by it, actually. Yeah. Do you mind taking him off? Okay. I'm an amoeba. <laughs> 
All right. What the fuck? Like the I am a single-celled <laughs> organism. Oh shit. Okay, and I'm and I have willpowered myself into huge size and into an authorship. <laughs> All right, you got it out of me. That I'm in me, but I'm one cell. All right, look here. I'll take off my sunglasses. I'll take oh, off my hat. Geez. I'm just a blob. Christ. I got no eyes. Wow. All right, relax. No, I still think you're beautiful. Okay. <laughs> Thank right. you. Do you, want, right. do you want to touch noses? I'm so sorry. You you know, I don't have, have a nose, but do you, you want can to touch your nose to my mitochondria. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Three, two, one. Boop. Ooh. Have you ever seen Hollow Man? <laughs> With, no. With Kevin Bacon? Yeah. This is what a guy gets. Is that the Invisible Man one? Yeah, that's yeah. what it reminds me of. You well, know? but because oh, yeah, he see takes him. all the bandages off and stuff. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, just anybody with bandages. Why, to what end did this happen? Why you were an amoeba? Well, you... Thank you for asking. I was an amoeba, and I was bored, frankly, Scott. Yeah, Amoeba's life boring. is pretty limiting. Right. And I uh, and I was like, you know what? I'm gonna pull myself up by my bootstraps. I'm gonna I'm gonna work hard and become a more complicated being. And you know what? It worked. That's I what everybody believed do in, in myself. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm a huge fan of America. I don't think my story could happen in another country. Good nod. I agree. And uh, I will part myself into into what I am now, which is a fully functional, large amoeba who can write books. Great this, books. This is what you wanted to do. You, this you, is what I wanted. You've grown up wanting to be a novelist or? I wanted just to be a, just a, a, a a more capable creature. More Someone, evolved creature. More evolved creature, yeah. Right. Somebody who could move around in the world and interact and do more things than what amoeba normally does. Now, okay. I, I got to be honest. This sounds like a better premise to a book than the whole Santa thing. No, I'm sticking the with Santa my... Santa thing s- sucks. No, it's my fourth... I don't know. I like the Santa thing better no, than no, this I, premise. No, think about this. Think about this. You think we've gone backwards with this yeah. reveal? No. <laughs> now I don't quite know what I to wasn't talk sure. to you about. I, I'll be honest. I wasn't sure whether to bring it up. I, I, <laughs> I, I think everybody's wrong. I think everybody's wrong. I'm equally interested in how a big amoeba with a, with a coat and scarf... Oh, star. my God, Harry. I you know what? I, I was could, have, yeah. could have a butthole and a mouth that are maybe the same thing they and the also thing. I need to know does Sally become friends with Santa or can you not yeah. give it away yes. help. Sally be- Santa awakens we're f- in Sally we're interested in the plot of this book that's fine with me you don't want to talk about I still got some right amoeba questions but I'll save them <laughs> <laughs> well, let's right do one for, I you, one for you okay we'll do uh, alright so <laughs> Sally becomes friends with Santa Sally be- well yes yeah, S- Santa can sense that Sally has a heroic nature inside of her well, and he appeals knows, to her because he knows that she's good yeah yeah okay he's got the list amoeba question Naughty and nice. Knows I think she's nice. It was a really bad idea. Name the little girl Sally, and then you also have a Santa. It's yeah. a two S name. That's a great yeah. note. So yeah. confused. If you were writing it in final draft, especially, you'd be, it'd be really. Yeah. I did. Yeah, I tried to adapt it to a screenplay. One of the main notes was no characters have the same yeah. first initial, and I was That's, like, shut up. Yeah, yeah. You just know, that's reading a great it, note. It's like, Oh, yeah, it's be, like I yeah. must be talking about Santa and I then think, Lee. Oh, I don't know. Twist. If me and Amoeba can keep track of it, I think uh, you can keep track of it. All right, it. So Amoeba told, question. All right, Amoeba question. Now, you, you've you become this sort of fake man. Mm-hmm. You're going on dates. <laughs> I have been going on dates. Yeah. yeah. I've been going on for, uh, I had two dates where I'm bundled up and then thir- third date where I reveal that I'm an Amoeba. How did that go? They're never interested. They go right back to whatever we were talking about mm. before. All right, all right, back to the book. Okay. okay. Um, <laughs> is Rudolph involved? Rudolph is a character at all? I normally or? don't like to give spoilers out when I'm doing press for my book, but there is a late appearance from Rudolph. Wow. Well, like a Han friend. Solo. Charles. Like a Han Solo. <laughs> now I'm interested. <laughs> so yeah. you're a Rudolph fan, Charles? I'm a big Rudolph guy. <laughs> Rudolph's not even mentioned for the first 500 pages, and then it's revealed that he's been a political prisoner, and oh. Sally and Sam to break him out and save the world. This All is right. rich. Henry, I have a, qu- I have a question <laughs> you, about... You frighten me. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. You, the closer you get... Are you going to kill me or no, kiss no, me? No, <laughs> uh, no, no. Only kiss you and only, only, only if you want it. Hello. How come your body Moves, swerves around so much but your eyes remain frozen I'm in place? I'm a vase. I'm a vase. What does that mean? <laughs> you can put anything in me. God, would you Actually, look? if you need to be in me, you're, you're welcome to. You know, I could hold you. Is that a sexual what the hell composition? Is going on <laughs> <laughs> I just want to know if there's other I can't have sex because then I'll split into two. Ooh, that oh, that was an yeah. amoeba question. Yeah, okay. yeah. Go ahead. Beautiful. Okay, good. I was just offering my services to be sort of a male form for you if you'd like it. Wait, are you trying to say you want to act in the movie version of this? Uh, I don't think I don't think anyone wants that. I could walk on, I could walk on no, through another movie. No, no. Strutting around. I could walk on through no, another movie. I don't You're think cast. so. You'd, I'd love to have you as Santa Claus in this yeah, movie. Yeah, I knew it. Yo, Santa will get out of the maze. 
How's that? Terrible. It's pretty good. Terrible. Yeah. He um, was very sexy. Yeah, I knew. I knew wow. it. Hello. All right, amiibo question. <laughs> All right. So you're pretty fucking smart for a single cell. Oh, thank you so much. How, have you checked to see if you're not more cells at this point? Because yep. I feel like you have. Yep. I go twice a year to the doctor because I'm hoping. I'd love mm. to have more than one cell. That's a goal for me is to mm. become a multicellular organism. But mm. nope. Mm. Still one cell. Second part of the question, can you jizz? Oh, second part. <laughs> <laughs> this is a separate question. Yeah, I know. It's the same question. Can you? You jizz. So, if you tell me how that's the second part of the question of how many cells <laughs> I have, I will answer it. it. All right, I have a question that's both amoeba. Otherwise, you got to wait a turn. Okay, okay. I, have a, I have a book and amoeba As question. long as it's book, you're allowed to go. All right. Go. Are there amoeba characters in this book? Ooh, yes. <laughs> There's a yeah, I thought so. There's a there's a cup. There's a little seventy five page digression where we zoom <laughs> a in little seventy five <laughs> zoom into the mind of an amoeba that is resting on the skin of Sally, mm. and uh, been a, and and because the amoeba's on her skin can tell that she's getting tense and uncertain in her role working for the government, and that's how we know that she's about to turn rebellious. Mm. This sounds a little creepy. Like you want to be on the twelve year old skin? <laughs> <laughs> is everybody who speaks in this room get accused of pedophilia at one point in their interview? It's pretty hard to avoid, I gotta say. <laughs> is, it, is pedophilia in the eye of the beholder or in the creepiness of what's being Welcome said? Welcome to the holiday episode. If you smelt it, you dealt it. <laughs> yeah, if you smelt it, you dealt it, but pedophilia style. So if no, it, I don't think that it's creepy for I Amoeba a, to like being on a... Can I ask a book question? Yeah, sure. Okay, so the government doesn't like anything with powers, but Santa has powers. Are there... Does, is it like the Tooth Fairy is also there? The Tooth Fairy's been executed. The Easter oh. Bunny's been executed. Holy shit. Most of the other holiday masks Cuts. This is a lot like the killed. Garbage Pail Kids <laughs> movie, isn't it? <laughs> Where they're all like, but you know Garbage what? Pail Kids is the only movie I've seen. What about Grimace? Like- yeah. what, what about, about Grimace? Grimace? Charles is wondering Grimace. about. What about, is this a book question or an amoeba question? <laughs> <laughs> I love Grimace. <laughs> I do Can you Grimace? Well, his mouth is full of shit. He was, he's yeah, eating his little baby. Charles baggies. just wolfed <laughs> out <laughs> some food. Stop eating and in the middle of your question. Everyone else. Scott's you literally. Cheaty, baby. I didn't want all that shit to go to waste at the Postmates guy. Bro, it's not that bad, Scott. I see what you're doing. I like eating shit too. I'm a dog. <laughs> don't let this dog in here. <laughs> Did you forget your question? I don't no. mind moving on. Grimace. Grimace. Is he in the book? Yes. Also, as an amoeba, are you sexually attracted to Grimace? Mm, Grimace. Yes, because Grimace looks amoeba ish. Grimace sort of oh, looks like one does. big cell. Adam Grimace Vinegar? looks like the women of San Antonio. Okay, oh, Charles. All right. <laughs> Right. You read his script. He almost, almost well, it the almost jokes. <laughs> well, uh, I have to say, Henry, this is uh, fascinating stuff. The book. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I think the book sucks. I want to know more about you. <laughs> no, this is more time than I thought I'd have. I appreciate we, it. We do need to move on to our that's next right, guest. That's if totally that's all right. right. Um, but uh, s- uh, stick around if you can and put put the, the clothes back on and the scarf. Sure, sure. I, I look a little better. Yeah, I don't yeah. mind. Here we okay, go. Scarf, sunglasses, that. hat. Hang on. Coat. I'm ready. Um... <laughs> Comedy Bang Bang, we're back here with Ben Schwartz. And speaking of Schwartz, we have uh, someone whose last name rhymes with Schwartz. Oh, who do you have? Phil Schwartz will be here. Oh, my goodness. Phil Schwartz. Mm -hmm. Name sounds familiar. Sounds a little familiar. I don't know if I know the person. Uh, We are going to interview them uh, at exactly the same time. Why? That's so mean to the guests. Why? I think they'll they'll enjoy it. And then one isn't just sitting around waiting to to be on. I saw the, there was the, 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 was a Puzzle Master? Puzzle Master, yes. The puzzle Phil Master Shorts. was just doing, I think, a Rubik's Cube in the back. <laughs> Is that a puzzle? A Rubik's Cube. You said it so, uh, like, it, it sounded so mysterious. Oh, my mysterious. God, I just a great and, idea. Oh, go. Rubik's, Rubik's Goldberg Cube. Rube Goldberg device, but it's a Rubik's Cube. So at the end of, like, so like a long, I, uh, like a, a... Yes, I pour a glass of water, it hits a top hat that hits a rabbit. An egg that, breaks. Yes, an egg breaks. Makes an omelet, sets right. off a fire alarm. Correct. which the fire, makes, the fire, fire alarm, alarm like, burns. The rabbit uh, dies. They have to bring the rabbit to the veteran. The, yes. the, the bow there. and arrow, and yes. then suddenly it solves a Rubik's Cube? And then, yes, and then the rabbit, the dead rabbit solves a Rubik's Cube. Okay, yeah, I'm into this. Mm. Can we film it upside down? Yeah, can you poop? I guess we turned into, like, terrible radio DJs. <laughs> I think we did. <laughs> Meaning, not very good at it. No, 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 no. We're, like, not great at it. Uh, let's get to our next guests. Uh, they are, well, I mean, you know, in a way they have 
certain things in common because they're both trying to trick the audience uh, mm-hmm. in certain ways. Uh, let's uh, welcome to the show Phil Shorts, the puzzle master. Oh, hey. And Hypnoto the Mesmerist. Greetings. Oh, wow. Two totally different Hello. people. Oh, hi. It's so good to be here. Thanks for having me. Lovely so, to be here. I am also pleased. Oh, good. Wonderful to see you both. Thank you. Very exciting. So we're going to try to figure out your both of you guys' deals Lovely. alternating. Oh, How's what that? an like inefficient way to do it. <laughs> Why wouldn't oh. you just ask them? Ask them what their deals are? Yeah. Okay, what's your deal? Uh, <laughs> are you not allowed to talk to us directly? Must you no, go, I refuse through? To go through an interview? Can I tell you why? Because hip, hypno, hypnotist? Mesmerist. Mesmerist. Quite different than hypnosis, my friend. But your name is Hypnoto, so why? Well, that's my given name. It has nothing to so do with my occupation. So why would you change occupation. it? Hypnotist is your... Hypno- yeah, change it to Mesmero, the Mesmerist. Because I love my family, and I was named after my father, <laughs> Hypnoto Senior. Oh, good. What is his last name and your last name? My last name is uh, Franklin... <laughs> <laughs> and so is his. So okay. the name has nothing to do with my occupation, my friends. Why don't you call yourself Franklin the Mesmerist? No, I am Hypnoto the Mesmerist. I get why you don't ask people what their deal is. All right, now what is your deal, Phil? <laughs> oh, um, well, my name's Phil, and I design uh, word searches. Word searches. What, what does that mean? What do you mean? Like in Jack and Jill magazine? Or? Uh, well, sure. You can see my work there. Highlights. Uh, that's right. Also, just sort of downloadable PDFs for teachers. Um, you know, seasonal things. A lot of teachers like to end you know a fr- the friday before maybe halloween sure. with a fun sure. seasonal so say halloween search. is on a, a thursday of next week okay the sure friday before yeah or the, you'll you download know, a seasonal word search. a know, week before i don't tell the teachers how or when i just try to uh, anticipate their needs and provide them sometimes i make word searches that uh could end a unit you know like a book they read like oh mm. we read where the red fern grows here's a word search to remember key thematic elements what are some of those words in uh, the where the red fern oh, yeah. Yeah. Calico, dogs, river, okay. intestines, oh, death, wow. morning, <laughs> wow, wow, mountain. Wow, 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 wow. That's oh, a huge wow. word, mountain. Yeah. So that's a, it's a bigger word search. Mountain and morning, by the way, uh, both of those things in one word search, that's a lot of M-O-U. Isn't that tricky? Aren't Phil, I a tricky man? I respect your craft. <laughs> oh, but I do fear word searches, and I will oh, I not participate in them. Let's talk you to you, Hypnoto, for a second. Why do you fear word searches? Word searches play tricks on the mind. How so? I practice the dark arts to lull people into a state of mesmerization. And the dark arts are Memorization? Mesmeriz- mesmerization. <laughs> and also maybe a state of memorization to help people with their, with their, with their memories. Can you help me memorize so I have trouble memorizing You're really states. already yeah. off topic of my main thing, but sure, I'll help you <laughs> memorize. Uh, I'm it's not states. my specialty. I specialize in... You said in... mesmerizing and sometimes memorizing. So. But yeah. just as... In, we've all helped each other remember So help me with states. Help okay, me with states. It's not my expertise, but I'll do my best. Do you, I'm not, good know, at, do you good not know at, the song? No, it's oh, what the, is the song? The oh. Animaniac song? Oh, no, that's for capitals. Um, Alabama, Alaska, Arizona, Arkansas, whoa. California, Colorado, oh, be Connecticut. Be ca- you might, Delaware, Florida, might be a spell. Georgia, Hawaii, oh, Idaho, Illinois, Indiana. Iowa, Kansas, Kentucky, Louisiana, Maine, Maryland, Massachusetts, Michigan, Minnesota, Mississippi, Missouri, Montana, Nebraska, Nevada, New Hampshire, New Jersey, New Mexico, New York, North Carolina, North Dakota, Ohio, Oklahoma, Oregon, Pennsylvania, Rhode Island, South Carolina, South Dakota, Tennessee, Texas, Utah, Vermont, Virginia, Washington, West Virginia, Wisconsin, Wyoming. You don't know that song. Don't know that song. No no one jumped in. Never heard no any of those What's that a spell? Check everyone. Check your own mental state. Where, did a spell get cast on you? I don't believe so. Do I you think feel I'm, that you're not who you are? Okay, I feel we're I, safe. We're I safe. I think okay. we're safe. You know that uh, the melody in that is beautiful. Oh, thank you. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's, it's, it's no ABC song. No, no. no. It really sticks. Uh, like well, if you had to do the melody without it's doing the words, what would that sound too. like? La 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 yeah, I not know, it's so forth. It's kind of all over the forward place. in the yeah. podcast just to that part. It was like, I'm not downloading this one. <laughs> That's happened before. Mesmeraldo. Will happen again. Yeah. My name is Hypnoto, young man. Right. But you were close. So, Hypnoto, what is your deal? I mesmerize people. <laughs> I summon the dark arts. What does that mean? Mesmerize means I render you under my control. It still sounds like hypnotist. No! 
very different hypnotists. The person who's being hypnotized is complicit and agrees. Mesmerizing is... What? I, I would think that some people are being hypnotized against their will. Absolutely. And then they are being mesmerized. Then they're being mesmerized. Mesmer- so you, yes. you do it forcibly. Correct. Without consent. That's why wow. you need the dark arts. Oh, wow. It is an evil act. You I must. I don't know. I don't know. In this environment. I don't know about this. I'm this is just making... not sure. I'm much okay. more comfortable with this. Complicit's become. A, maybe I shouldn't have used the word complicit. <laughs> no, it sounds like you're taking advantage of It's really of people. I mean, tainting I am, your whole it is deal. It's an evil thing it's that I'm careful about. It's kind of now I think it. about. I don't do it. Cav- Look, you're all safe. Okay? All right, so if we were to say like okay go ahead and mesmerize us well, well you can't then because... i can't because that would you would you would, be, would be you would give permission you i would be hypnotizing you which i won't so the, the one way you can ward off being mem- mesmerized yes is to, is say, to please say please, hypnotize please do me. it <laughs> then i'm out of the game i'm not going to do it because i only use the dark arts and i can help people memorize things tell me that's just as a person i mean i don't have <laughs> right. special training what about, uh, yeah I have some you know you try a mnemonic or a visual device or Great, something tell, like help it. me with anything help me memorize anything look i like to use a mind palace what will you pick Sure, okay, this is really nothing to do with what my. Okay, this is not, not your thing. nothing to do it's with your thing. But I read an article and I, this does work. I, have you? It's a memory pass. Humans are good at knowing how to get places. Okay, like you can easily remember how to get to and a store. And this is not your thing. This I've just read it. I read it in a Wikipedia this is just article. A, once. Totally. Okay. Yeah. All right. I have. Zi- I could be way wrong on this, okay. but like. We're good at memorizing places. Like picture like, you know, your, 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 your home where Great. you live. You probably know it. it very well. Yes. Mm. So you picture like your bedroom, for example. Sure. Oh, and if you yes. need to memorize a list of things or, Ben, perhaps dialogue from one of your many films. Oh, thanks, Mesmeraldo. If you're having – it's Hypnoto, a mesmerist is <laughs> okay. my occupation. Right. But I – This is your side job. This is, I, your side This gig. is not even – no one has asked me to do I, this before. I pay you to do this. This is your Phil, sort of like a life consultant, Sometimes you know? I need money and I'd help you out, but I, I got to be honest that Do you that come to our place and like tighten up and like clean up and stuff? Yeah, is that just your like thing? sweep up. Is I that could, your thing? I We're could. Ima- I'm imagining my bedroom and it's a little cluttered. It's dirty. Yeah. I can see Would you mind bedroom. coming, coming no. around? Up I mean, a bit. I could do it and, you know, maybe I, uh, sometimes I need cash, but it's not my expertise. I'm not a cleaner by, by occupation okay, or training. Okay, so I'm in my bedroom. You're picturing your bedroom and okay. you... And you use visual mnemonics. You pick, you like, if you had to memorize, uh, what's a, a, what's a line of dialogue you might have to memorize? Hey, look at my bed. Okay. So, <laughs> that's going to really work out because you're I picturing your one bedroom. that's not bedroom specific. Okay. I'm real tired. I wish I could sleep. Nope. That's all. I mean, you could do this, but it's going to be very easy. Okay. Uh, how about, oh, wait, is my book on my nightstand? Okay. These oh, lines good. are so convenient right, for one, what I'm one, trying to one. do. I am outside the bedroom. Good. And good. I need to get back. Is this it? Uh. Okay, I mean, we could use this technique for these lines, but it won't demonstrate the power of the Mind Palace. Right. The power of the Mind Palace. The power of the Mind Palace, of which I know very little. This is not your thing. You've made it very clear. Not my thing at all. I am a mesmerist (laughs) who summons the dark arts. Who has read one article. Do you advertise yourself as such? As a guy who reads one article, <laughs> yes. sometimes it comes into play. I mean, if I'm going to put on a mesmerizing display and people are like, is he smart? I'll slip in that I, you know, I, I, tr- I click around Wikipedia sometimes. Sure, sure, sure. Click sure. around. Do you ever uh, edit that bad boy? I've edited a thing or two. No, so you have not. I have indeed. You know what I'm fascinated with <laughs> on Wikipedia are the people who, like, uh, put in people's death days and they try to race to get there. Oh, they like, can't wait what? to be the that? guy who did like, it. I, I, I was watching live, I think I was watching some race uh, on on the T or I had the TV on in a race and some guy died in a race or something like, like that. Like a car race or a like foot a race? Car. It, oh, good. <laughs> it would be very weird if, if it somebody died just a foot. exploded well, during it, a foot race. It was a foot race that went through a car race and that's oh, why that's, it died. Ah. That's bad planning. That's right. But the minute it happened, I was like, oh, I wonder if it's on Wikipedia yet. Went, right away. And I was like right there and already it was on now, there. Now, Scott, if yeah. I may, I Who think. Who are these ghouls is I what think, I'm trying to say. I think that, uh, that perhaps demonstrates a little detachment on your part that that was well, also was, your first thought. Well, it was a person that I, I do agree. not care about racing. I do not care about uh, people. Oh, wow. sure. Okay. So, <laughs> Good yeah. defense. You know, <laughs> you're uh, not a ghoul. <laughs> you're not a ghoul. You didn't update the date you uh, merely well, had. I didn't do it. it. I just wondered Would if someone have? already had. Would you have Would you? updated no, the date? I don't, no, I've never updated anything Is that because you didn't know what the day was? Do you not have a well calendar? May I ask questions in this format? I'm confused. Or am I only allowed to give information? You may. Well, what's your deal? Question Tell for us Phil. what's your deal. I've told you my deal so early. Phil? Phil, question for you. Oh, yeah, sure. The word searches you construct. That's right. Are they often or ever evil? Oh, that's interesting. Oh, well, uh, personally, I would say, of course not. Um, mm-hmm. Although I do think they can be tricky. You know, I do, I do vertical, I do horizontal, I do diagonal, but I also do 
backwards diagonal, oh. backwards horizontal, oh, okay. backwards vertical. Like, do you do like uh, from you know seven o'clock to one o'clock? Absolutely. You know, common Ooh. misconception about the word search is that oh, and this is something that children deal with when they're looking at a page is oh no, that big word I'm intimidated. But actually, it's more likely to stand out in the jumble. Big words are so much easier wow. because you're connecting more letters. What's tricky are the small, like the small, of. The, oh, that would be a killer. Because yeah, you're sure. looking for an O and an F right next to each other in it, that like nine letter grid. Have you ever accidentally nine created an incantation? Isn't it? A oh, nine so letter I, grid? I'm, I'm going. I'm going fifteen by fifteen. That's no, I'm just saying. I'm just saying in oh, a two yeah, letter yeah. word. Yeah, you, that you, is you, a you, common strategy. You would never nine. do a two yeah. letter word though. That's illegal in those, right? Uh, no, not two. I've never ventured to two. But You've I never tried to. No, no. That's might I suggest you try to break the two letter barrier? What are you doing, Mesmeroldo? It's hypnoto. Give him consent. Give him consent. Uh, oh, I'm going yeah, to mesmerize the, oh, I you. Oh, want, I want this. Shoot. All right. You're safe for now. So you're never going to be able to do your powers. I do it a lot, okay? I'll have you know that I'm great at it, have and you it happens done it, a lot. Have you done it already? Here? Yes. No, because you all agreed to do it so early. At do it to me. Do it to me. I can't now. That's uh, by the, just by you saying that, I can't do it. At a certain it. point, we're... I could hypnotize you, but I have no interest. Excuse me. I was just passing by because my oh, giraffe... you're a different person than Phil? Uh, who's this Phil? Is a, I'm this is passing a woman. by. Oh, yes. And I know nothing of what's happening. I was just wondering ah. if anyone had a snack for my giraffe. Do you prepare. want to be hypnotized? No, prepare to be mesmerized. I'm do you going want to be mesmerized, mesmerized You told her. It's oh. too no, much. No, no. It's too much. as consent. I'm going to do it. I would love to be hypnotized. Oh, God. Ben, See, Will. Ben, you blew it. I'll do it right now. No, okay? I can't. But you say that. I can't do it. You I understand? Think about something At a certain else. point, we're going to rescind our consent. Yeah, what a certain point. Yeah, well, 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 and, and we're going to say, go ahead and do it. No, 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 but that will give it right back. At a certain point, if you haven't, like, if you're not thinking about it, I would say it's not, you haven't okay, given consent. I'm raising my hand. I'm not Wait, saying so anything. That is what? so explicit. Isn't this like a vampire when we say, like, you can come in? It, it's, it's the opposite a of a vampire. Be like a vampire who can only come in when you said, no way. Okay, so no way. Uh huh. Oh, I love this. Yes. Okay. Now I shall mesmerize you. Okay. Using the dark. No, no, oh, no. I what like are you it. No, don't die. Ah, forget I'm it. I'm sorry. Forget ruined it. it for you. You're ruined just it. walking me through this step. I, I just. I, you I just got to do it. You got to do, do it, man. It. I'm sorry, bystander. Look, the dark arts must only be practiced carefully, Ben. I'm also not cavalier about it. How did you get involved in the dark arts? Well, yeah. How did you get your, are your parents in involved with it? No, no, no. Or? My dad's a garage mechanic and my mom uh, teaches garage Hypnado mechanic. Hypnado Senior is a garage mechanic. Hypnado Senior is a garage mechanic. Hagnado Franklin is a garage mechanic and a, and a darn good one. He's fair. What's the difference between a mechanic and a garage mechanic? He only works one in a garage. Uh, I've inherited his sense of OCD. We both have very strict and arbitrary honor codes. Yes, that makes and he sense. will only practice doing mechanics in a garage. Oh, that's a shame. Sometimes it's great when they come to your house. I, spo I suppose. Phil, so what does your one. dad do? Oh well, my uh, my dad is uh, well. He's a he's an Eagle Scout. He likes to open with Still? that. Still, well, once an Eagle Scout, always an Does Eagle Scout. Does he get paid for that though? No, I thought no, that no. Was a that's volunteer just how position. he likes to be introduced. No, no, okay. no. Yeah. Eagle Scout. Uh, what's his name? Uh, his name is Bill Shorts. Bill Shorts. Bill Shorts. Yeah. Okay. yeah. By the way, are you related to the uh, who, who's that oh, person? Oh yeah, who does Will, Shorts. Will Shorts. Will Shorts. I love Will Shorts. He's amazing. Yeah, yeah Will Shorts is my is my older brother. Uh -oh. uh, I guess technically wow. a junior. He's um, huge. I mean, he's incredibly famous. Well, you know, it's you know. Here's the thing. You asked me about the dark arts. Yes. Is there nothing darker than a crossword puzzle? You're it's, sweating a ton well, right now. Well, it's just you know, it's hard. I mean, when... I crossword puzzles the mirror. Delight. I do them every morning. Will Shorts is one of my heroes. I love Will Shorts because when I do them, I feel uh -huh. challenged. Have you seen the right. uh, word uh, Spellbound documentary? With, oh, uh, I love that. Oh, no, am yeah. I thinking of the right one? Is Did that he the... direct? No, that? Spellbound. I believe is about. It's a spelling, spelling bee. Right? bee. Wordplay yeah. maybe is a, the one with Shorts is in it. He is a ray of sunshine. Will Shorts is you would say a champion. He's like a veteran. Yeah. You know, He's a and Captain when you America. get to be named after your dad, and you know you you get your own bedroom, but uh, you have to share with your grandmother, which is a uh, that's a weird bedroom you situation. Shared, you shared I shared, shared bed my bedroom grandma? with my grandmother. That's a weird. That's hard. So when you're in your mind boy, palace of your bedroom, I'm like, okay, your grandmother is there. Would that I, help? Well, it depends. Yes, it would always help. Any, give okay, me a line of dialogue like that to, you might have to remember in a where bedroom. Are my Excuse slippers? me, grandma. <laughs> no, you listen. I tell you, Wait my palace works for lines. Nothing to do with okay, the location. Okay, I got it. I got okay. it. Do I it, can't Phil. tell the difference between this quilt and my grandma's moo moo. That's so on the nose. Really? It's yes. And the mind palace theory from my one time reading this? of the article will I'm work. I'm in the bathroom. Okay. I'm in the bathroom. Yes. I need to use the toilet. Oh, okay. Oh, the door's open. I can see the bedroom. It's oh, right there. Okay, right at the end. 
it's gonna get it's gonna dovetail too much, I think, okay, with the I location. Got it. I got go, it. Phil, go, Phil. Oh, you know what? I'm just making a panini on my panini press That's great. in my great. kitchen. Yes. Wait, I live in a studio, there's my bed. Oh I mean, look, we could do it, but I'm telling you, I don't think it'll be a good demonstration okay. of the power. And again, I don't even know. Why don't you think it's of a sentence? My thing. What's the sentence? Okay, good. So let's say that you're you're in a movie and you have to say, Stick 'em up, bad guy, I've come for you. Where am I saying this? Stick huh? what, what room am I in? You're in a bank. Stick him up, bad what guy. What part of the bank? The sleeping the, quarters? No, no, no. There's no sleeping quarters in a <laughs> the bank. You're in the, lobby. the manager of the bank. He doesn't <laughs> have an yeah. apartment. Right. He finds right. it a lot more. It's All like right. union rules. You have to have a cot. Yeah. What union would insist on sleeping quarters the in a bank? The cot union. Of course. Yeah. The cot The cot lobbyists. Union. Look. I know how to mesmerize. Cot you're way beyond. You're way out of my well, field of expertise. Well, go ahead and mesmerize us. Here's, no, I can't. What you say? This is insane. Yeah, we it. want you to do it because I, I cannot. I'm Mesmerization ready. is only against. This, this is, is, this is you are look, a bad talk show guest. I don't think so. I think I figured it out. I'm going to look the other way, and okay. I'm just going to hang out. Okay, okay I'm great, looking great. the other way. Wow. Oh, but um, unfortunately, I do need eye contact for the mesmerizing <laughs> door. I'm sorry. How I is... forgot about this. No, no, no. Uh, you have to just, I mean, it's so easy. Okay, go. You look at me now. I'm ready. Ben Schwartz, against your will. I don't know. I'm he going said, go, I'm me- ready. What did he say? He said, go, go I'm you're good, ready. Forget it. I'm Pretend. out of this. I'm no! out of this. No, is it I... consent if you don't hear it? What what is your uh, position, uh, your official position on consent? As the, the barest bit of consent equals consent. Like, what about a look in someone's eye? Is that consent? Yeah, they're asking for it. <laughs> okay, that's I don't terrible. Know. I don't know about this. They're asking Hypnoto. to be mesmerized, and oh. which means you can't do it because then it's by yeah, definition right. not mesmerizing. Phil, do you? So y- your your brother does a New York Times, right? Uh, yeah, that's What's right. What's your most famous publication or newspaper or anything like that? Oh well, um, periodical, if you will. Sure. Well, I got a great gig that I'm really proud oh, of. Congrats. Good for you. Um, um, I I published and I was self publishing these for years and selling them online. Eventually, I had an Etsy store and then I got picked up by a, a small book company. At which point in here do we hear about a periodical that you're in? <laughs> yeah, okay, it's not a, a periodical. <laughs> it's a long walk. You know, I've been in a. <laughs> you are so impatient. <laughs> well, <laughs> if not, a... <laughs> I feel like I got shut down. I mean, I got introduced as a mesmerist and then Schwartz is mesmerizing a snake in the intro. He <laughs> really like took. He really stole my thunder. That's all right. <laughs> all right anyway, I sorry. Didn't mesmerize right, anything. I know. Have but you have you exp- have you listened to this show before? No, no, no. I, I've never had. Try to get to the, the My, subject of your. Wait, so you I have, have a, a one a day calendar. I'm very proud of. And you self publish? No, I self publish them originally, and now they're being they're being made for me by a. Do you by, publish these every day? You so, give someone a new calendar. So I I made this product for 2018. I made it. Okay. You know, I had this deal in early 2017 very because cool. a, a book company saw that I was making them online, mm. and every day is a new topic. So three. You're talking really fast, like well, you're trying I, to get the information. Well, I think there has been. He made a good point about maybe there being an aggressive uh, in- sorry, environment here where if I me. don't get it out as soon as possible. I apologize. 365 days of different topics. So, you know, and. Different and topics. That's right. Di- so, this is a word search, though. That's right. So, okay. I make a suggestion, and it's not my ex- not my field of expertise. Have you well, ever read one article yeah, about this subject? Have you read one Wikipedia about I've, word searches? I, I've, done, I've done a word search once, and oh, I've read wow. a, lot, a lot of Wikipedia Did articles about Did you not about- go to elementary school? I felt like I was doing them left and right. I loved them. That's when people do them when they're little kids that don't know anything. Okay. Or to remember vocab words, or, you know, later mm-hmm. to learn fun facts when they do a daily word search calendar. Uh, I used to do them on road trips with my family because we were boring. Is isn't that great to bond? Not really. Hypnoto Senior was boring, really? Yeah, well, it's I thought a, he had a strict I, honor code, and your mother taught math. And a piece of OCD. Everything seems pretty good. Yeah. It, was, it was a warm family, but I'd say it was austere and non-interactive. <laughs> I think those are antonyms. Warm and austere are straight-up antonyms. antonyms. I've done is, an antonym word search. It's a great way to teach kids did. about I'll, antonyms. You're an expert in it, and I accept your proclamation. Can I ask, can I say, and I'm interested, if there is, because you say you do all different themes. That's right. Thank you for specifying there, that for this question you're interested, yes, which implies. Well, for the others, you weren't. <laughs> well, hypnotize me, mesmerize me. Here we go. Oh, go. what'd you say? <laughs> Never mind, I can't. So this is my question to you. Uh-huh. You do different themes. That's Have right. you ever done a theme of, on family? Oh, sure. And has oh, Will okay. done that one? Because I'd be super interested. Did Who's he Will? Will Shorts is his, bro- her, oh, his right, brother. Oh, yes. right, yes. Right. So as Will, did Will Shorts do that word search or no? Well, you know, I sent him my, my one-a-day calendar. He was what right. does he think? He thought he, he was think? wrong, but he was right. I don't think he's done it. When I was at his home for a 4th of July, I noticed that it was still... Only on January 18th, which oh, no. means he only tried it for 18 days. Yeah, that's before. Is, he, is he snooty about the search? Well, you know, I don't, I'm not here to, yeah. He wow. is. He looks down on you I've, and your profession? I have felt that way throughout my life oh, that he no. sees it as less than. Has he done a word a day calendar as well? No. 
He's never done. Uh, He's never uh, come up with 365 different themes for different word puzzles. searches. Oh wow, Scott. Jesus, you're into it. You're, you're I guess a I'm in a crossword upset. crossword puzzle a day. Well, well I did. I no. bought. I bought a. I, don't, I have the uh, crossword puzzle app, and I he has th- packs of puzzles. Sure, but and some of those are some of those are archived. You know, he's mm. not thinking. He's not giving you a year of. Neat yeah, pleasure. he is. I think he is right. Yeah, it's every day, every single day. Does he for have years? Writers? Does he employ writers? I think uh, he does it all himself. I saw the doc. He does it all he does himself. It all he's himself. a genius. Wow. Yeah. Himself. Yeah, 100% yeah. himself. Yeah, hundred percent himself. He is a polymath. Yeah. yeah. Well, sure. Now you know, a guys. Sure. You know, maybe if you don't have to grow up living with your grandma, you might have more room to not have so many, uh, so many anxieties or worries because your grandma snores and you live every night thinking she's rattling towards death. Wait a second. Death. Was your grandma's name Martha? Yeah. She did the jumble, right? Oh, yes. She was incredible. Love the jumble. Right, Martha, now, Sh- I mean, Martha Shorts. Unbelievable. Martha Shorts did, did do jumbles, but got, you know. I love the jumble. <laughs> love the jumble. What really, a family. We really elevate and, and the then jumble you. above the words. I, you know, you know, I think of 360. You're crying. Well, You're crying. Word searches are, are, I mean, when you think about it compared to a jumble. Or oh, my goodness. Word, I, mean, I love a jumble. Word searches a are pretty oh rudimentary, aren't they? I mean, I don't even think you could fit rudimentary in a word search. Of course you could. Wow, what a dare. I, you could fit rudimentary in a do word Do it right search. now. Go. Well, yeah, it just requires that the grid is big enough to fit those amount of letters. How many letters? How big by big? <laughs> you do I like that you're being Phil's accurate. Doing sing, sing it as you count. <laughs> okay, so R-U-D-I-M-E-N-T-A-R-Y. <laughs> Let's do it one more time. <laughs> I lost R-U-D- track myself. R-U-D- I I M E N T A R Y like twelve. It's eleven. 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 Okay. Oh, I wouldn't do. I would do a twelve by twelve, and there'd be an uh, there'd be an extra letter. There'd be an extra one. And probably what? actually, I'd put it on a diagonal. Put it on a diagonal. Yeah. Mm, right. Probably a backwards diagonal, and I would probably put some a similar word in the list so that when you are you found R U D, you'd get excited, but no, you'd be wrong. So something so, like rude. rude. Yeah, yes. just rude. If the theme was comedy bang bang, what would the top three words be? Okay, uh, probably plugs, plugs. Uh, bing bong, <laughs> bing and bong. Uh, interrupting butthole. <laughs> butthole. butthole. Those are the top three search words. That would be the third word. I have a suggestion for you, Phil. If you could Go construct ahead. a I'm ready. spell. <laughs> Thank you. I'm not. I, I'm, just okay. A suggestion. I'm okay with. Are you suggesting this as a guy or as a mentalist? I'm suggesting it as a person. Okay. So the consent doesn't stop me from talking. Okay. Like, I'm okay with just having conversations with people, but I'll okay. That's not what you're here to do on the show, though. I'm ready. I'm, all right, Scott. I'm going to mesmerize deal. you all right, right now. Don't, right. 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 don't, don't Please oh, do. I blew it. You blew it when you said you were ready. All right. So suggest something. Put it. Evil spell in a word search and give it to Will and ruin him. Now, ruin why would him. take revenge for his smug <laughs> condescension towards your life ch- style? Now, that's not. Do you know what <laughs> lifestyle? Do you know what made me fall in love More with the profession. word search? No, I don't. I like looking at a seemingly unrelated jumble of letters and finding meaning. Oh, wow. Rather than having someone provide vague cryptic clues for me to find their meaning, you know? And hmm. and that's what I think is the difference between my brother and I. But that doesn't mean I need to, I need to tear him down for me to succeed. I've made children happy i've i've put a a word search in in the belly of a of a turkey that they can color in and they get to search for pilgrim right, i'm mesmerizing you now oh my god oh, 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 oh my god. god yes and you got, i you will got destroy my brother yes. yes and no more will shorts's puzzles will grace the gray lady yes. ever again i command you to do this this is fun i like no, this no 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 don't oh it's over oh, oh man by the way you got it. her for a little bit. Yeah, yeah. Her. wow. Forget about it. Yeah, whatever. That felt, uh, can I say that felt like um, when your foot is asleep, but for my brain. Oh, You're welcome. Wow. Yes, that's right. That's wow. what it does. Isn't that yeah. true, It's Phil? like I know my foot is still there, but you and sure if I needed it. to, I could stand on it, but boy, does it feel disconnected. That's amazing. I know somebody who broke their foot by standing on it when, uh, no way. when he was asleep. Tell us yeah. who it is. Tell, Tell us who it is. is. Tell, Tell us who, who it is. is. Isn't, it, isn't it true, Phil, that uh, when you're dyslexic, every book is a word search? That's funny. I... <laughs> It's just a funny joke. He just threw a joke at you. It was and very you know funny. what? That was funny. It was funny. I concur. I thought that was good. I think that's under 140. Oh, no. We got 280 now. I, I can do that. For yeah. Twitter, you should. It's great. Get it out there, but please wait till this app drops. Okay, no problem. I don't want to be mesmerized. I do not want to okay, be mesmerized. you are not mesmerized. I, I have mesmerized you, Ben Schwartz. You are under my control. Oh, my God. Look at him. Yes. He's slack-jawed and yes. drooling. Now, Ben, I command you. 
to have a sip of tea. Good. He's doing it. Now, He's doing it. I command you to look whimsically about with an expression that could be interpreted as self-satisfaction or pure childlike joy. I don't joy. get why. Why? I don't like. I like. I'm doing this. I know I'm doing this. Yeah. <laughs> You're I just mesmerizing him to do what he always does. That's part of the code of honor of a mesmerist. Okay. To not use the dark arts in a cavalier fashion. Now I command you to sit comfortably and have a pleasant narrative like of your own this. life. I like getting this done nope. to me. Well, it's I over. Forget it. It's, it's over now. Can I be honest? I just did what I normally did. What you normally did. do. I just felt my, like, my whole body was asleep. Do you feel more asleep. relaxed, though? As like, was it like a mas- kind massage? Of, kind of. Like a well, brain massage. As a true mesmerist, I don't like to force people to do things that are unpleasant well, for them. Well, that's crazy because that you the... made me plot an evil plan against my brother <laughs> that I vehemently said I was against. I think that's something that you actually you yeah, wanted I, I deep said, down, no, that's what you no. wanted. I mean, it's Phil. Not, but it's not, but it would make me uncomfortable because I hate conflict. <laughs> oh, you but hate conflict. Is that something to do with your grandmother or? Yeah, she was a, she was a tough woman, you know, it really? takes a tough lady to come up with the jumble. Yeah. And um, she was hard as nails and it was. How a, did she R.I.P.? Uh, how did she R.I.P.? She, she choked on a she choked on a boggle cube. Are you what? serious? I know. It's Trying not to get even, ideas? Yeah, it's not even That's funny. That's cheating. It's, I know. Well, she was. She was running out of ideas, and cheating, I said, "Cheating death or cheating boggle <laughs> to chew a cube." Every day, I'll make we this cheat game death. simpler. One less cube, and I'll have my way with this puzzle. Yeah, I think he's implying that he was using the boggle board for jumble ideas. Got it. Oh. Yeah. And she didn't end up cheating death. She ended up acquiescing. That's right. Oh, that's true. Mm-hmm. She ended up becoming in its in its warm embrace. You ever fit acquiesce into a, a word search? Spell it. Spell it. A C Q U I E S C E. Scott, you could be in that documentary spellbound. I'm out early. Mesmeraldo I got goes by. And I was like, no way. That made it's me so nervous as well. That was a hedge I, maze of if, pronunciation. If has, I had to sing that alone, I would have lost. <laughs> yeah. Really, it would have been dicey. What's well, a tough word. But let's say you had word. to remember it in a line of dialogue. Let's say, you're, Ben, in one of your films, you had to say, I will acquiesce. Great, I will but, acquiesce. And for some reason, you couldn't remember those three words. Great, I will acquiesce to this bed and fall asleep. Okay. What? I will acquiesce to this bed and fall asleep. No, no. You can't acquiesce to a bed. strange piece no. of dialogue. I mean, that's <laughs> I a... I didn't write it. <laughs> yeah, he's just... <laughs> okay, I will acquiesce. Tell me okay. what to do. I, yes. Now, let's say you're going to use the mind palace, and we're mm. going to, you know, you'll use your bedroom, uh, or a location you know well, like your bedroom. Sure. So you could put the, wor- the, the word I, you think of an image of an I, and you place that near the foot of your bed. And then Will, you think of, I don't know, like Goodwill Hunting, like Matt Damon or something, or, you know. Or like, like Will. This is so much Or like work. Will Shorts. Yeah, you Will Shorts. Will Shorts. Yeah, you can yeah. think, think of my of brother, Will Shorts. Will Shorts. Think okay. of a great a crossword Will. puzzle. That'll be easy. I already know Will off the bat. Now I know that one. Yeah, and then for acquiesce, you know, you ha- you, you'd you picture somebody like perhaps bowing in submission, you know, uh, some mm-hmm. sort of okay. active acquiescence. You've made it so hard. This is easier. This works easier. How? Now you, you change... just picture your bedroom and you remember the eye so you... and Will Shorts and somebody so bowing. So Will Shorts is bowing, winking his eye. <laughs> okay, yeah, you can combine them all into one like that. This it's got to be in the bedroom. He... Now the I bedroom. think the line is, I'm a short winker. No, 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 no. I'm a short winker is not what you're I trying to mention. Was that the winker? line, I'm the short, I, I have a short I think that's what it was. I think no, no, that's no, what no, it was. The line was, I will acquiesce. It's not, I have a short winker. I see Will and he's got a short winker, so we know right off the bat. I don't know why. naked for some reason. Why is he naked? him with Why is he on my goddamn bed? Necessary. Does Will have a short winker? He does. Whoops. <laughs> oh, Phil, that was Ooh. evil of you. Me, yeah. It is evil Wait, of you. Wait, did you mesmerize me? Yes. Oh, but now I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> so you also have to not know it's happening? Well, you just I think sometimes asking is a form of permission. Oh, what are you doing, Scott? I need to kiss you. No, I'm Stop. not doing anything. Oh. Yeah, I'm not doing anything. Oh. I am not even ben. looking Whoa. at you. Just back up. I'm not mesmerizing. Oh. Enough with this, Ben. Constantly. God. It's cute. What kind of what kind of mesmerist are you? What I do, Scott. No, you, what you do is you oh, make people do what coming. they're already doing. Yes. Uh, but only against their will, but Correct. they want to be doing it. Against their nah. real shorts. Nice. I get... <laughs> the reviews are in. <laughs> I give that joke a nice. <laughs> I'll take it. Nice is positive. It's three and a half stars out of five. Do you do, you do this for money? Yes. Mm. I stand in front of a room full of people. A room full of two or three hundred people. But they're people. giving you money. That means they know what you're about to do and yes. you can't yes. do it. I don't mesmerize anybody in the audience. I see. I so open you have an the fire door, participant. wait for people to walk by, oh. and mesmerize them the moment they glance in. Okay, well, in. sometimes we have people walking by here. Well, if so. that happens, then I'll mesmerize somebody. Here I come. I'm walking by. You are now mesmerized. I love it. Forget it. <laughs> that, like that. That's the show. Especially in the summer. <laughs>
Um, hey, excuse me, my husband was in here. Hey, ma'am, you are mesmerized. Well, I'm what? You, you're mesmerized. I just mesmerized you. All right, now what? Hang out. Okay. Look for your husband. Okay, I will. Take care. Bye-bye. <laughs> oh, I didn't get a chance to break the spell. She left already mesmerized. She what shall happens? be mesmerized for the rest of her days. Oh, my God. I killed Will Shorts. What? I don't what? know what happened. I just came back the and woman I killed who Will Shorts. Your husband? Yes, you mesmerized me, I think. Oh, uh, that is built into most mesmerization spells oh, is to no. murder Will Shorts. So you killed the crossword puzzleist. He was outside. He said that his brother was doing something and he was really proud of him and he never was able to tell him how he felt. Oh, he got no. all that out in that short period of time. Yes. And was, did, wait, well, did, no, did, he didn't get it out. It was did in he a do crossword. The one a, did he do the one a day calendar? Yes. He completed it all the way through August? He had. He said he had to stop on January 18th because he wanted to make photocopies of all the other ones while oh. they were blank. Man, yeah, although can't... you have committed murder, you have also committed a great act of kindness today. Really? And for that, I free you from your mesmerization oh. spell. Oh, hey, guys. Where's my husband? You're a murderer. Huh? You're you've, a murderer. You've yeah, murdered... right. I've you... never murdered anything except for a sandwich. Anyway, where's my brother? Husband? You like a sandwich? <laughs> I love a sandwich. Get some teriyaki chicken on there. A little teriyaki bit of chicken blue sandwich. Blue cheese. Oh, my. And blue Wait, cheese. At the That's same a terrible time? sandwich. Do you not By the way, know I do what eat that. Is? No, I love that. Teriyaki chicken, blue cheese. Oh, my God. What goodness. about carrots? Ew, what the fuck are you talking about? I guess about? if you break it down, that'd be like getting a teriyaki chicken glaze on wings if you aren't into spicy. Thank you. I guess when you really think about it, a sandwich There's is a just man anything here. you would... There's you a dead killed man here. It. He's my brother. Yeah, right. Anyway, I gotta head out. No, you, you murdered you that going man. to get a sandwich? You guys ever play Octopath Traveler on the Nintendo Switch? All right, get out of here. Bye, guys. What hey, honey. So your well, brother. Look, she found her husband. That was nice. <laughs> yeah, right yeah, at the end was, there. I like that. Nice storyline wrapped itself up within <laughs> within you know proximity what? of the microphone. It's me, Ben. As a screenwriter, I really like that that happened. Thank you for introducing yourself. Before yeah, yeah, you yeah, 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 yeah. So you, but, but we have to get back Schwartz. to your brother. Your brother. I can't believe my brother is dead. Is dead. I can't believe it's Sad. not butter. Spread. <laughs> Oh, nice. That gets a nice, nice for me. I can't believe I can fly. I'm just trying to think of a third. Um, so, but your brother. He's dead. He's dead. Oh my God! Is oh that my. Will Shorts? He, that woman killed, and it's your fault. What? You mesmerized her, and she killed my brother. Yes. Who, even though I had complicated feelings, I obviously didn't want him dead. You monster. No, no. Phil. no. No, I refuse to feel guilty about this, Phil. This is good for you. You needed to be freed. It's not good for me that he's dead. Well, I'm it's not good for the world that he's dead. Wait a second, Phil. There's nobody to do the crosswords. Do you, have you ever done have a you crossword ever before? I don't know. If I showed you one, do you guys promise not to laugh at me? Yeah, sure. Yeah, I mean, what is a totally crossword fine. other than just a word search with, you know, letters blocked You out. seem way better than you were one second ago. Yeah, you're I know. fine? Well, no, I'm not. I mean... Grief is a complicated roller coaster. And you're in denial at I'm, this point, yeah. Deni- I, what are the stages? I, I Can you ang- sing them? Uh, <laughs> denial, <laughs> anger, anger, bargaining. bargaining. <laughs> acceptance. Depression. <laughs> I, I don't think I'm going to get to acceptance today. You may. Uh, you may. Things move quickly I mean, on this show. you're almost there. Life happens. I'm fine. Oh, wow, it happened. <laughs> <laughs> wow. So Here you guys go. Show us, show us this crossword. Puzzle. Here it is. Here okay. Whoa. Let's see. Cassius yeah. Clay. That's Ali. That's easy. Uh, A-L-I. Uh, yep. Okay. What else we have here? Uh, uh, let's see. U2 producer. That's Eno, obviously. Right. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Yes. So it's all These three are all words. three-letter words. Okay. The trickiest of words. <laughs> the trickiest three-letter uh, word. Okay. Pitcher stat. Uh, E-R-A. Okay. <laughs> that's pretty <laughs> That's pretty good. Uh, okay. Uh, acting teacher Hagen. That's U-T-A, obviously. Yeah, good. <laughs> all right. <laughs> great. AFL blank. A union. That's CIO, all right. Very that's pretty good. good. Oh, football. Yeah. Period, period, period. I guess that's NFL. <laughs> all right. Mm-hmm. Well, you know, this is, I am enjoying Slang this. for policeman, cop. All right. All right. Yeah, that's good. Great. A hot blank. Okay, I'm going to guess dog. <laughs> okay. Hardy, but not the boys. I'm going to assume that's Tom. T-O-M. Uh-huh. Tom. Tom. Yes. Hardy, but not the boys. <laughs> not Hardy boys. That's good. Yeah, but what an yeah. interesting clue. Uh, uh, now, none of these words link with the other. Yeah, they're just the, uh, separate. They're just it's basically separate like lines. a word There's search. No, We're nothing searching for the words. Well, yeah, I thought. I could reinvent the form. It's just a word it's, search. But wait a minute. These all spell, th- these are all in sentence. If you put them all together, they're a sentence. What does this spell? Oh, my God. It spells E-R-A, E-R-A N-F-O, E-R-A-N-F-O, E-R-A-N-F-O, Tom. <laughs> Tom. <laughs> this sentence we, doesn't make sense. We set ourselves up for quite but, a memory. But trick. it does. Now, if you'd been using the memory palace, <laughs> yeah, you could have remembered all those Let's try to get these in the memory palace. So okay. picture your bedroom. So I'm, right. working, I'm thinking of a guy with his put, dick out on the bed. No, no. That's not necessary. That's, that's a different. That's going that's to make it difficult. Okay, difficult. okay you Matt Damon to, is there from Goodwill Hunting. There you don't need to use it. Muhammad Ali was the first one. So you just picture Muhammad Ali as the first person. Muhammad Ali's in my bedroom. Brian Eno is the next one. So you picture Brian Eno. Okay, all right. 
Ali okay. Eno. So Muhammad Ali's like sitting on your bed, Ben Schwartz. Then Brian Eno's over by the Brian night Eno table. Brian Eno walks in and is like, what are you doing and here? Now why you don't have Judge to make a scene. Here. You just what have is to picture Judge images. Eno? Hey, I'll play you Judge Eno. I'll play Judge Eno. There's hey, no guys, need to have a scene. What's going on? How are you? I am Eno's, the greatest. Oh, was not one Muhammad Ali, Cassius Clay. Anyway, I got to get back to being a I big old judge. I changed my name to Ali. Oh, and then good Uta to see Hagen, you. Uta Hagen, the acting teacher, is also there. Oh, pretty flat for a white guy. I guess I can understand that. A cop comes in. A cop comes in. There's a labor union and a football league. Sally Field. And a uh, pitcher stat. A pi- so, yeah, baseball pitcher. You might want to picture Cy Young, you know, or Christy Matheson. If you're oh, wow. A I don't know any early of these 90s. This is getting very pitchers. crowded. This no, is like the Sergeant This will be easy. Uh, this will be easy. Super Smash Brothers. See, so picture Muhammad Ali and Brian Eno and Uda, Uda Hagen, Hagen and, and Brian. A cop. Uh, Captain and a cop. EO is there? I, I, Captain EO. I love Captain EO. I love him. Okay, let me play Captain EO. Okay. What's up, guys? It's me, Captain EO. Hi, Captain EO. Who are you? I am the greatest. You are the greatest. I love this. This so is this, cool. Okay, so we got it. Yes, you're using the Mind Palace from my one time reading it correctly. <laughs> okay. And now we go to bed. Yes, now we go to sleep in the Mind so Palace. <laughs> Denial, <laughs> anger, acceptance. Ooh, Phil. It's me and your dream, Will Shorts. Will. What happened? I died. A woman killed you, but she said beautiful things. I wanted to tell you something. What is it? What is it, Will? I knew you were recording comedy, bang, bang. I, your word searches. Your word searches. Yes. They're so stupid. What? They're so stupid. What? <laughs> That's not what the lady said. I came to throw them in your face and tell you you're less than. Ow! Oh, you're Ow. a little idiot! Ow! Wake up, wake up, Phil, oh. wake up! Oh. Wake up! He was sweating. He was sweating. I had a terrible screaming. dream. My brother haunted me and he said that what I did was stupid. And then even though he was a ghost, the word searches, they were they were there. They were tangible and I got cut a thousand times by their corners. You know what? This Whoa. isn't the first time that we've fallen asleep on this show. I think this might be the work of Morpheus, <laughs> the dream lord. Sorry, the... tis I, Morpheus. Oh my God. Morpheus. Pretty similar voice now that I think about it to Hypnoto. <laughs> That's all right. We, not all of us can do voices. <laughs> Morpheus, were you on a Morpheus. solo bolo and just the Ben part? If not, I haven't heard of you. Uh, I was not on a solo bolo. No, Morpheus has been part. on the show. Has this been I'm all a of dream your... lord, and I can o- if you speaking to me, that means you're asleep. Have we been asleep this whole show? This episode has never existed. So, what? Phil, your brother isn't dead. This is oh. just a nightmare. And is Blue Iguana Real coming out on no, August 24th? No, of course not. I still can't get you, movies? You wouldn't be in a movie of with Sam Rockwell not. above of the title. Of course not. This yeah. is a ridiculous. What are you doing, Morpheus? Just, I was lonely and wanted to hang out. Okay. Uh, sorry. Also, a lot of people are dreaming of movies, and since I can't watch the real movie. You know, I only you see want it to hear people. about okay. what, what's really going on in certain films. Oh, okay. What do you want to know about? Okay, Tom Cruise is there and he's scaling a cliff. This oh, is the new Mission, Mission Impossible. Impossible. Okay. It's so good if you haven't seen it yet. Uh, but then what are people dreaming about this film? Well, he's uh, it's Tom Cruise scaling a cliff and he gets to the top and immediately is taking a high school SAT naked. Oh. Oh. So is that what happens in the movie? That's what people are dreaming mm-hmm. about happening. No, really. it's, but he does no, I think stunts. Tom Cruise took the ACT. He, oh, yeah. probably. He's oh, a that's a great dude. crossword. Clue. Yeah. ACT. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, well, that's really my only question. Okay, so can you thank- wake us up? Yes. Because uh, we got to get back to plugs. Okay, g- uh, uh, say goodbye to the dreaming, everyone. You're leaving the dream world. Goodbye. Bye. Bye. Oh, 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 get oh. off of me, Scott. What's God. wrong with you? Sorry. I God, I'm sweating. I'm sweating, too. Hi, guys. Uh, welcome to the show. I, I probably haven't introduced you on this show yet. Oh, no. We've been sitting here for ages. Yeah, this Asleep. is, a, this is uh, Puzzle Master Phil Shorts, and we have Hypnoto the Mesmer. I'm not sure if I'm actually here in this continuity. Let's <laughs> I, say I am. I think you are. Okay, great. I'm ready to demonstrate stuff. And oh, then cool. I believe we fell asleep in the middle of your interview. Yeah, so I, so I, it's Blue Iguana comes out August 24th. August and 24th. Me, it's me and Sam Rockwell. And All right, Phoebe. we're not to plugs yet. So Okay, but well, we, we, I, I hope you'll watch it. We do have to get there. Apparently, I'm looking at my clock here. We have run out of time. Wow. So I'm so oh. sorry. We, can't, we didn't even do anything. I can't ask you what your deal is. Oh, what is your deal? I trust, you that it, trust me that it makes sense. Yeah. Do, Wait, okay. can I ask a question? Are you, is your brother Will? Shorts? Oh, yeah. <laughs> How do you what's feel your about deal? It? Complicated? I'll have to worry about uh, it. My okay. deal? I'm really good at mind palaces. <laughs> okay. What? Well, we, we don't have, have time to, to, yeah, we don't have time to talk about that. What? <laughs> uh, we do need to get to uh, our next guest. Uh, he, uh, and hopefully someone will make room for him, but uh, he is, uh, uh, he's a demon. Please welcome a demon. Hello. Hey, hello, and welcome. Would anyone like some wine? Glissando sound effect? 
Uh, do we put that in? I would we, like, yes. I don't think we have. Do we that, have a sound that's board? That's an expensive sound effect. I'm well, it's got to be a glissando. I'm looking at the prices. It's okay. $2.95. No problem. No problem. Uh, is that part of your whole thing? I don't want to pay I mean, effect? it's not essential. I was sort of hoping. Would anybody like some a modicum of fine cheese? A hi hat brushes oh, no, sound that's, effect. That's a cheaper sound effect. Okay, okay. Can you do it? Can you can you get? Uh, I, mean, I want to help the guy out. Is Would somebody like to just affect the simulated sound of brushes on a hi hat? Yeah, sure. I, Jason used to be a drummer, so thank you, Mister Menzukis. A modicum of cheese. Would anybody like it? Um, but I, I must warn you. I am here on. Uh, You're a demon. I'm what are you? A demon, and I'm here yeah. not. With good intentions. Uh-oh. Oh, okay. Are there good intended, de- well-intended yeah. demons? That's a great question. I suppose most of them do have evil intentions. Yeah. But so it some... almost goes unsaid. You could, you don't have to yeah. say that part of it. But evil is subjective, of course. So That's somebody's true. evil intentions may do good in some other way. Oh, true, you know, true. It's Absolutely. hard to say. Yeah. But my intentions are without a doubt evil. I'm here to kill you all. Okay. Oh, right. oh, interesting. No. Uh, my brother has a difficult time getting killed. Please yeah, take me out. He's invulnerable. <laughs> take me out, please. I will find a way to end your existence, pig shit boy. <laughs> but we the pig shit twins. We could serve you, master, please. Oh, what the hell? You're ready to plead? Already they to have just uh, pled fealty yeah, to me? Yeah, we so, love Satan. So all quick. aboard. Choo well, choo. I'm not Satan. Okay, let's not go crazy. I am anniversary man. What? Anniversary, anniversary man. man. You've heard of Candyman. <laughs> yeah. Okay, he is he a, a demon. demon? Oh, a, yes. Candyman's a demon. Okay. He's is like he, Hot Dog, where if you say his name... Ooh, too that's correct, yeah, that's yeah. correct. So, <laughs> Right. Be careful on saying what I just said. But right. if you say my name three times, then I do appear. Well, you well, appear... I, we, you never said, we never said your name. <laughs> no, you, yes, you did. No, I didn't. No. Well, not altogether, but you said the words anniversary. Anniversary man. And you said man. And I sort of just waited. I mean, I've oh, said this is our 14th been... anniversary show. That's so. it, right? That's another said, one. Congratulations, man. <laughs> right. <laughs> you got us on a technicality, but uh, what are you here for? You're to, here to kill, kill you us? all, to kill you all. Right. And in a moment, in a moment. First, I uh, in a look. Moment. Well, I. I'm you a... look good. Have you oh. been on vacation? I have been on vacation. Oh, this, some, of this, some of this is bronzer. Some of this is bronzer. <laughs> you look I must... dynamite. You, Thank wait, you, you put so on much. a spray tan for this? <laughs> I, uh, it's, it's an audio media. I supplemented a little bit. Look, it's for me to feel. You're it's... insecure. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah. I don't, I don't know if I accept. I don't know if I accept that. You're insecure. That. No, no, no. You're, no. A, you're a big this, move. This guy's you're a coming total to cop. kill us all well, on the yeah, anniversary no. of the podcast. And he puts on bronzer and you to get do it. A, you get I a tan and then you put on makeup? I put on a little bronzer. Insecure. Okay. You're a yeah, yeah, yeah. If you tan, you ain't shit. <laughs> you ain't not shit. <laughs> I, have not, I was in Belize. I got a nice tan. Oh, oh, oh God. God. Uh, the guy bragging about Just go to the Bahamas. No, right. Obvious insecure we'll move. Ask. How, how was, was Belize? It was great, but I wasn't bragging. You asked how I got the tan. Yeah. Like, I'm not insecure. <laughs> I've done a lot of work on myself. Oh, oh God. And I'm not. <laughs> That's what insecure people say. I've I done am, a lot of work on myself. I am going to kill you all. All right? <laughs> I, I all do, right. I, are you telling us that for real? Yeah, because yes. I keep saying Sounds I'm like going to try to talk yourself into it. Yeah. Don't go to a demon. Does it feel like you can't? I, this is rude. I was going to offer you all wine. I was going to offer you all a modicum of cheese. I was going to offer you some Why fi- just a modicum? Yeah. Well, I don't have a ton of cheese to go around. You were just in Belize. It rhymes with cheese. Yeah. <laughs> is this Belize cheese? Do you like this, Clam? I love this. <laughs> Somebody said cheese was the sexiest cheese earlier. Swiss cheese. Yeah. That it's- was good. <laughs> This is not Belize cheese. I got this at the airport. Do you Belize in like airport after cheese? cheese? Yeah. Airport cheese. Woo. Yes, I Belize in cheese. <laughs> Do you Belize in life after cheese? I Belize in life after cheese. Okay, look, yes. you kill us or what? Because I don't want to hear this anymore. Oh, look, I know I'm you're bored. tired. I'm I know bored. this is late in the show. We've I know been you're here weary. Hours. I know your plans don't include me. You're getting killed. You're all going to get killed. <laughs> well, <laughs> anniversary, man. We're running out of time. Already? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's a, yeah, that's actually just fine. So okay, fine. If I must kill you all, but I insist we have a toast. Everyone take some of this wine. Take some, just swine. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you are infuriating. <laughs> some of this swine, huh? Look, hang on a second. Let me get my jacket back on. Jesus, Let me fix my tie. 
Just, are you happy? Just, what yeah. is this? Do you is like this? what you this? wanted to do let with me, your life? Would you imagine doing like with your anniversary life? man? <laughs> yeah, that what you wanted to be like. Was your dad anniversary man? Did you take over? Yes, yes. My dad was anniversary. But I, I enjoy it. I can't imagine. I feel like I can't I imagine this is something that you would choose to do. Well, I also <laughs> used to hear about anniversary man and how terrifying he was like 30, 40 yeah. years ago. Okay, right? and he still is. All right, he's well, right I here. I think that might have been your yeah. dad. That was my dad, but I yeah. also t- look. You're gonna die. Let's not even. Besides, Are we though? We're still yeah. here. We're so you're you're, to- we're drinking with you now. It seems like you just you showed just up. Just hang out. You wanted to hang out. You're with lonely. I, you're a lonely. That has man. nothing to do with it. I like just a fine glass of wine. You're just Let a lonely, guess. feckless cuck. <laughs> Feckless. Yep. I L- may be a cuck. LFC cut. if I've ever seen one. Let I guess. may be a cuck. Do you cut, live but alone I, with your cat? I live alone, not with a cat. Uh huh. Two cats. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, well. <laughs> and I have a very fine place. I have a bachelor efficiency in K-Town. Oh, God. In K-Town? <laughs> yes. Well, I'm not there a lot. I'm the, on the road. The Isle of K-Town, huh? <laughs> yes. Now, listen. I may be a cuck, but I'm not feckless. I'm as feckful as they come. All right? I'm full, full of effect. effect. Yes. Full effect. I'm, I'm, in full effect. Yeah, I'm full, in full effect, and I'm going to Rex kill you all. effect. Woo! Okay. <laughs> you like We're you running look, out of gas. He, he was glee. So much excitement. <laughs> Picture twins. Yes. Take a glass of wine. Okay. And You're giving boop, wine boop, to 14 year old Why not? You know, yeah, in, in France, this in would be no years, big deal. Yeah. We 68 in pig years. <laughs> Thank okay. you. Thank you, pig shit girl. <laughs> it's pig shit. Jason <laughs> or... <laughs> George, thank, thank you. <laughs> Mr. Ackerman. Uh, yeah, thanks. All right, sure, I'll, I'll, I'll drink with you. We'll hang. We'll, but we can lose the pretense of you're going to kill us. I'm going right. to kill you as what kind, what brutally kind of, as my father did. What kind did. of wine is this? Uh, I got it at Trader Joe's on the way over. I didn't uh, really Trader look. Joe's wine and airport cheese. Come well, on, I was in a hurry. You are a bummer. <laughs> what what, the, uh, do what do we is What plug man is here? You us. Let me just say something. You got some real stones, Manzuka. A demon comes to <laughs> yeah, you. Moody stones. <laughs> what? <laughs> Never mind. You weren't here. I think he might have been. Oh, <laughs> yeah, I mean, so, you, so long I, ago. He's when been, you bumped a number of times. <laughs> yeah, true. When you said you said anniversary man, not in a row, but earlier in this <laughs> podcast, I appeared and I was, you know, I came into the door. I sat obtrusively in the corner waiting. Obtrusively. <laughs> obtrusively. <laughs> oh, oh, you know, I really you were tried trying to stand that. Yes, <laughs> waving my arms, and, and distracting. You never Nobody. This noticed. is how much of a bummer you are. We didn't care you were here. <laughs> you got some real stones, you guys. You All got right. some real stones. Down I will say, you were very interested in talking about Google reader earlier. <laughs> yeah. No, I that's the one up. time. You seemed that... very upset you weren't on mic at that point. I pricked up about Google Reader. I feel that people don't talk about it enough. All right, we'll have a question. Picture of wi- boy, you got an opinion on Google Reader? <laughs> I don't know what that is, but this wine is nasty. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm a, like I'm, I'm a rotten clam slash yeah. pig. This wine we- tastes like cheese and the cheese tastes like wine. That's not yeah, my fault. Yeah, it's opposite. Uh, uh, pee you. I like it. It tastes like what pigs eat, cream of wheat and other pigs. <laughs> All right, prepare to die. I'm going to kill I, you I'm, all right. I'm, I'm more than prepared, but I just don't think you're going to kill me. Honestly, gonna do- I wish you'd killed me already. This is insufferable. <laughs> this is I, I do. You, are, you just want people to hang out with. You are, no. you're are. you dragging it out so that we'll no. spend more time with you. I, that is absolutely not true. Not Look, before. do you mind if we get to other guests while we wait for you to kill us? Or I don't mind at all. Exactly. All right. <laughs> well, we have a couple of guys coming on here. Right, or no, fine. sorry, one guy and one uh, uh, woman, I believe. <laughs> uh, they've been on the show before. Please welcome back to the show Bill Walton in Chief. Greetings, Gumshoe. Hey. Whenever there's crime, I'm right on time. <laughs> Rockapella! <laughs> you know what I'm saying. That's right. Hello, everybody. Hey, hey, Bill Walton. Happy to be here. Yeah, great to have you. Happy to be here. Yeah, Bill Walton in chief. Uh, this is uh, the Picture Twins. What's uh, up? Hello. Jason Hello. Davis. You've, you've known Jason, obviously. Yeah, great this to is see the you first both. time Jason's made it to the end of one of these uh, to see me. <laughs> Happy to see you, Jason. Thrilled. Yeah. Bill thrilled to be here. And then this is anniversary man who Hello. is a Scott, who says, I have to go. I'm good. No, no, don't leave. Don't leave. <laughs> oh, fuck it all. I'm kidding. I'm going to stay. Jason and I went to high school together. What? We did. Really? I we went to high school that. with Chief. Oh, I had no idea. Where was that? On the Isle of what? You no, know, Swamp Scott, Swamp Scott High School in Swamp Scott, Massachusetts. Oh, wow. Swamp, Swamp Scott. Scott. 
<laughs> yes! Swamp. Your name is Scott, and you're a swamp. And you have swamp ass. Yeah. yeah. I, I, I do. Woo! Your ass cheeks are as wet as the Pacific Ocean. They stink. They're as slick and wet as the pig shit twins after a couple of slaps. Hey, mm-hmm. well, let's team up mm-hmm. on this guy. Remember when we were making fun of him? I just want him? to say the Pacific Ocean, that's the wettest ocean. <laughs> the absolute wettest. Yeah. Uh, Bill and Bill. Chief, you're going to be killed. Just FYI. Oh, I yeah, sorry to invite you, you in, but uh, he says he's going to kill you. I'm a demon. Oh, you're that anniversary man. <laughs> Which other anniversary man is that? Well, no, it's just, you, you look, uh, you're so tan, you one. almost look African-American, <laughs> and I had your anniversary man to be a white man. I'm bronzed up a little bit, okay? <laughs> Wait, is that why you put the bronzer on? No, I just want to look African look African American. <laughs> no, I'm not, I'm not soul manning this place. You're not African-American? <laughs> no, I'm not trying to... Wait, did people say soul man three times? Is that what's happening? <laughs> <laughs> I, I, look, I'm not taking that one. <laughs> I am quite offended. <laughs> look, yeah, I'm, is, I'm a little bronzer to eat an Anniversary, man. This is crazy. You look like the man on the cover of the Cream of Wheat Box. <laughs> yeah, I feel, I'm a little afraid we're going to have to take this episode down because yeah, it's no. the blackface episode. I got it. <laughs> not what's happening. I, I got to have this character known as the blackface character. I don't think that's necessary. Well, yeah, your whole Let's body. not give the Reddit guys any ideas. I have a little bronzer. They're going someone, to love it. If someone is maintaining the show wiki of character, that is this is the blackface. That's your not first characteristic, the thing that will come up in the first I don't think that's necessary. I'm a I think I, I gotta distance myself from this. <laughs> I've, I've given several characteristics that would dominate an accidental application of yeah, but I'm black a demon. demon is what everybody's gonna not, remember. That is not what I am. I'm gonna get in trouble with the four black people that listen to this show <laughs> for not stopping this. <laughs> I'm really gonna kill everybody here. <laughs> I can't help but notice, Scott. Yeah. Every single person here <laughs> yeah. still alive. No, there, you will be dead. I'm still still get, No, no, alive. I'm enjoying my... you want to yeah. hang out. I am a gentleman killer, and I'm oh. simply in no hurry. You oh, are a you, stereotype. You, not all black people kill. I'm not black. <laughs> Jason Man Zoofus is the second one to be canceled for the assumption. <laughs> I am a white man. Not that it matters. And I have a little wow. bronzer. Oh, you're bragging about being a white man. Now wow. I am stating a fact. The Reddit is going to love this. <laughs> Demon identifies as white man. <laughs> don't write. Don't let Menzukas write the headlines. I offered everybody a modicum of cheese, and I threatened to kill, and the bit bombed. But I did not wear blackface, and let's just be cool about it. Uh, I almost said ambassador man. No anniversary man. That's you. Yes, a longtime friend of the show. <laughs> look, we're going to the library now. Okay, and after that, you're all going to die. Okay. I don't look unless you're having dinner. And then we'll all go out oh. for dinner and then maybe catch up on succession and That's, then you're all going to oh, die. Oh, wow. This is sad. Oh, I just, you're not you caught up on succession? On succession? <laughs> I'm, only got two, I'm only two seasons behind. If Why you guys do you don't already have behind? open table open? Are you making us a reservation? <laughs> I'm just thinking maybe you guys want to go to Jitlada. Hang on, let me look here. You, you want to get Thai food? <laughs> I love Thai food. Good idea. They don't take reservations. <laughs> <laughs> Chief, Chief's already investigated that. <laughs> Chief's picking. Yeah. <laughs> Comedy Bang Bang, Hayes and Sean are here of Hollywood Handbook, 500th episode. Uh, ben Stiller is the huge guest. Uh, something about Mary. Did he still have the uh, jizz in his hair from Something About Mary? Uh, I didn't touch his. Was that yeah. in his hair or that was in someone else's hair? Was in, I, I think it, it was hanging off of his ear. Right? And then mm-hmm. she puts it in her hair. Because right. Adam Scott, who works on Severance with him, mm. has been looking for that. Jizz. Looking for that piece. He's, he hasn't ser- seen he's it. He's searching yeah. for yeah. Jizzerman. <laughs> yeah. He hasn't seen it, but uh, I was wondering if you guys were able to track it down. And it sounds like no. No, he, I didn't even know he, it was on the loose. I think he's used to that question. So as soon as he came up on the Zoom screen, he was like, so just to get out of the way, it fell off. The jizz fell off in my ear. Yeah. Oh, okay. The Got jizz it. was in her hair. It wasn't in my hair. Yeah. Don't That's touch my hair. It's gotta be the number one question he gets asked about in interviews, yeah. right? It was like, Is the jizz kind of still on your ear? Pissed off. It was like, I, and I was gonna ask for sure. Like, yeah. No, I felt um, it was creepy almost. Yeah. Then I was like, can he see my notes or something? Because I had this big notepad with like just a just a gang of questions of- about the jizz. <laughs> right. And I was so like, so that oh. doesn't come up after he dissuades you immediately. 
Okay. Yeah, no, we ended up not really talking about that much. Mm, okay. Well, the 500th episode out tomorrow. Uh, and congrats, guys, because it's quite an accomplishment. You think you'll do 500 more or uh, we run it out of steam? Um, I, I, what I'll say is I don't think it'll be up to me. <laughs> oh, so this is more of a Hayes decision because you're on board for whatever. I'm just there. Right. But Hayes is the... You're you're uh, the guy steering the ship. You're the yeah, captain. Yeah, oh, my captain. Yeah. And I I'm I'm sort of crunching the numbers now. How mm. many more we have? And we've got them all planned. Mm. What are these numbers? Because you got 501, 502, yeah, yeah, sure, 504, yes, 500, six. Did I skip one? 505, um, 505, 506. We'll do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Looking at it now, we're not going to do 508. Oh, okay. But are you skipping to 509? We are also not going to do five oh nine. Yeah, oh, okay. we're going to go straight to we're going to go straight to five forty. Oh, okay. So mm-hmm. five other sort of like miles. We're going to try and just do like round number episodes now. So five hundred and forty is, is like the only one we've ever gotten any attention for is five hundred. Right. So now it's like we're the zero. Like, well, now it's going to yeah. take so long to get to like yeah. Yeah, six hundred or seven hundred, like these bigger numbers. It's tough. Yeah, so it's just, really tough. So we are going right to do. Skip it, we are going to do a thousand in like July. Yeah. Oh great. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Which we're really very excited about, and okay. we're hoping that Ben will come back. <laughs> and then you can ask him about it. that jizzing here. Well, then at that point it'll be like, come on, man. We did one for you. Now you do one for us. Let's <laughs> fucking talk about jizz, brother. <laughs> <laughs> the entire app. Yeah. Oh man, that'll be a great episode. Uh, Hollywood Handbook. 1,000 this July, but uh, before that, yeah, 500 uh, coming out this week. Let's get to our next guest. He's a sober man. Uh, please welcome to the show for the first time, Kenny Kicks. Oh, hey, Scott. Thanks for having me. Hey, my pleasure. Uh, uh, this is Hayes. This is Sean. Oh, hi, hey, Kenny. Big fan. Hey, Big Kenny. fan. What's up? Big fan oh, of the wow. uh, Hollywood awesome. Handbook. Wow. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, really? Thank, uh, thank you. Fan. Yeah. Yeah. It's not off-putting or anything? It is, and I like it. I like enjoy like being that. alienated. I like feeling left out of references. I like hmm. looking up the stuff they refer to and figuring it out. It's fun. Yeah, I enjoy it. I enjoy it. Yeah. It's like doing right. a crossword puzzle. If you don't know one of the answers, you like look it up and go, yeah, you learn oh, something. Wow, I you learn something. Yeah, yeah, I didn't know that. It's like, yeah, oh. I don't know why this crossword puzzle doing it made me feel so bad, but. But at the end, I learned something, and yeah. so it's worth it. Okay. Yeah, that, that's what it's like. So, well, yeah, welcome to the show, Kenny Kicks. So You're a Thanks sober so man. A sober man. Does Not that... by choice. Oh. Not by choice. I wish I was drunk right now. Oh. oh. Uh, whose choice uh, well, was I, it I for you? To- look, I don't, I don't want to grouse, okay? I'm excited to be on this big show, and it's fun, but I just I can't get a hold of my hooch. I can't get a hold of my sweet, my sweet fire water. Yeah, uh, are, are you a formerly not sober man? <laughs> yes. Okay. Yes. And you... When you say you can't get a hold, you have a special supply? Look, I'll or? just cut to the chase. Uh, please. I am from... This is the earliest that the chase has ever been cut to on this show. Let's cut to the chase immediately. I okay. know that you're usually you like to cut to the chase when? I, I'm usually... Yeah, I'm usually in the third segment. I like to... Yeah, C block. C block chase cutter? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Let's cut to the chase right now, okay? In B block. You, this you is unprecededented. Know, we'll see if it's a mistake. Certainly it's happened before. I live in Metropolis. Okay. okay, which is most famously the home of a certain superhero named Superman. Right. All right. Got a big S on his chest. Oh, yeah, you know, right? I've heard. Yeah. Trademark curl. We know, had Bizarro drunk. on the show a few a few months ago. Him I love. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Bizarro. Okay. Great. Don't say that to him. To Superman? To Bizarro, mm-hmm. because that, yeah, he'll that, like, that, that, that would be very upset. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Although, when he was on this show, I don't think he quite understood the opposite <laughs> part of it. He only knew okay. the me am part of it. <laughs> well, that's what I like about him. He, he doesn't get caught up in internal logic. You know what I mean? He doesn't worry about his own internal character yeah. continuity. He can hang out with Bizarro and not feel like an idiot. <laughs> right. Superman's, oh, get, don't get me. Look, so you live in Metropolis, which is out there on the, it's on the uh, like the East more Coast, East, Coast Coast. East Coast. Yeah. East Coast place. Okay. It's not New York, but, it, you know, it's around. Yeah. And so there I am. I am what you would call a character of the streets, a man of the alleys. I don't know what that means. I live in the streets. Oh, you're unhoused. I'm unhoused. Okay. By choice. By quite choice. Happily. So wait, you're unhoused by choice, but mm-hmm. sober not by not choice. Not by choice. Okay. Interesting. I prefer to spend my days imbibing the hooch, mm-hmm. the fire water, okay? But what happens is... We, alcohol, we should mention. Sure. Alcohol, yeah. Because I'm an alcoholic. If yeah. I, 
Right. Not we, I don't know as we, active as I wish I could be. I don't know that we should be calling it fire water necessarily, which I believe is it's an offensive term. I was uncomfortable with it. Yeah, uh, okay. I, I, I thought I thought once and I'll let it slide. Twice as a spank. You like that, you're like it. this guy's going to keep saying it. <laughs> let's put let's nip. Okay, let's I, put, I a, let's put a about, pin in saying that word. In how about instead, this? That's yeah. early as a spank example about this show. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's, true. Well, that's usually a, for usually the third time. Yeah, <laughs> when do you usually issue your spankings? Usually, usually after plugs. Morally, after plugs, you go around yeah. and just morally just spank chase every spank. every single hey, guest. So I was coming for Hayes and Chalk. Mm-hmm. Just like I love to learn from Hollywood Handbook, I'm happy to learn here too and be educated. That's okay. good. How about uh, what do you think about bathtub gin? Uh, sure. Yeah, you can say. Or how that. about just gin? <laughs> okay, sure. Well, are you talking about gin? Yeah, yeah. No, nope. gin. That's specific. No. Okay, what is your drink of choice? <laughs> Homemade alcohol. Homemade moonshine. Of what type? Moonshine, Just yeah. moonshine. Moonshine. Oh, okay. Yeah. Does it, and that doesn't have a type like vodka or gin or or whiskey or whatever. Or it's just like it's alcohol. It's a it's a gin or a vodka. It is. Yeah, that's right. And and yours is gin. Mine's gin. Okay, so it is gin. So it is gin. And do you have I a bathtub? <laughs> yep. I got a bathtub, yeah. Where? Okay. Your own house. In my alley. Claw feet. Somebody threw it out and I dragged Clawfoot it in. Clawfoot tub. There. A clawfoot tub, yeah. Okay. Looks great. Anyway. Beautiful. And there empty. I am wanting to drink my hooch, okay? How Is much could right? you sell this clawfoot tub for? What's that? How much could you sell? The, I mean, it sounds like an antique. I never thought about it. I probably, yeah, I could probably you get a pretty penny for that. Yeah, get a down payment on a house. Think I get a down well, payment on a house choice. and sell like a clawfoot tub? <laughs> Think I an antique, yeah. Think I could change my station in life from selling a clawfoot tub? What's sure. up? How much do you think I could get for a cl- I think maximum $1,000. I don't know what the market is in Metropolis right now. Yeah. Pretty good. There's a lot of claw. There's a, it's a very well art directed city. Mm-hmm. Right. And how much so, are down payments on houses these days? $10, $15. Oh, yeah. You Prices got this. frozen some time ago in my universe. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. I could get a down payment. I should do it. I'll look in. I, I, look, I'm not here to criticize you, or I, I'm just here to listen. So you are here to spank me and morally yes. chasten me when I. Every guest gets a spanking, and that's been ever since episode 800. So okay, but that's if you guys than... will get there, Hayes and Sean, you can start spanking people on uh, 801. Okay. Here's what happens <laughs> I'm drinking my alcohol. Sure. Or I'm about to. Your gin. Yep. And I'm looking at a who I think is a normal looking fellow walking down the street. Okay. And then. He just takes off into the air. Huh. And I look at my bottle in amazement and I throw it away mm. because I'm like, I've been having too much, too much of this, of this stuff. Yeah. And then before I know it, the bottle's gone and I'm not drunk. And it keeps, keeps happening. happening to you. So against my wishes from witnessing the physical phenomenon of Superman, I cannot get drunk. I see. So now you have a bottle, which I'm presuming has the letters X and X. Oh, yeah, baby. Depending on how strong the alcohol is. Sure. With a little cork in it sometimes. A little cork sometimes. You're in the alley. You see a normal looking gentleman walking. I got a top hat on. You have a top hat. Great. Okay. And does he take off any clothes? Or Yes, sometimes he does. Sometimes I'm seeing what I think is a freak. Walk into a phone booth, starts taking off his clothes. I'm like, oh, boy. Do you have a phone booth in this alley as well? Oh, yeah. Got a phone booth right outside the alley. It's great. A lot of stuff in one alley. Yeah. It's a great alley. Sounds nice. Oh, it's very nice. It's starting to sound like a house. (laughs) Not a house. It's an alley. (laughs) Top hat got a patch Do you have a phone booth in your house? (laughs) The top of the top hat coming off? Yeah. yeah, Top of the top of the hat. Like a soup can lid. Like a soup can lid. Yeah. It's You know, I'm a character. Yeah. Well, I, also, the phone booth's not in the alley. It's just it's just outside the alley. Oh, okay. you got one just outside your house? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, sounds great. No, I'm not in a house. I'm in an alley. I got a little clawfoot tub and a phone booth right out there. Anyway, okay. this, who I think is a freak, goes into the phone booth, starts taking off his clothes. I'm like, looks like... Looks like it's freak time. Looks I'll like be it's watching freak this. Time. It's yeah. all going down. Oh, boy. <laughs> I'm shaking my head. And then he comes out in his red and blue pajamas, which I always forget mm. is him. And then... Whoop, up into the sky. I right. looked out on my bottle. Ooh. Is it a bird? No. It's, That's what I wonder. What about a plane? I go through this list. <laughs> sure. Is it a bird? Then I think plane. Then I'm like, oh, no, I remember. But by then, the yeah. bottle's gone, and I'm sober. This is bad. I hate. This is bad. But wait, wait. Okay. So, number one, you know about Superman. Yes. Yeah. But We're friends. Seeing him, wait, you're fr- hold on. Oh, you're friends? Wait. Yeah. I mean, I've gotten to know. He. I don't know where... He must be in my area. Because Where, where's this alley? Uh, it's in the Midtown Metropolis. Uh, right. Is it uh, right by the Daily Planet? Oh, okay. Interesting. Nice. Yeah. But Great seeing him in this context makes you think that it's the result of. And also, are you sober at this point? Like, when, like have you had any in drinks the from thing, the bottle? I've had a couple of drinks, okay, but I'm not fully okay. toasty. I'm not fully tight. Have you had okay. drinks today, by the way? Yes. 
<laughs> you're not sober. I'm not a hundred percent sober, but I'm not fully Look, engaged. If I you're like be- at least even twenty five percent sober, I think that counts as sober. That's what I think too. And also, I'm at least twenty five percent. I well, like, I'm why no would more you, than seventy five percent. Why drunk. would you look at the bottle then mm-hmm, and yeah. say like, okay, great, like this stuff, this got like, me, this, this works. Got me hey, yeah, <laughs> finally, I'm seeing a flying guy. <laughs> you're, 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 it makes sense. I should be, I should be happy. All I can tell you, have you ever seen a man fly? No. Okay, if you did, trust me, you would be agape. Okay. You would be shocked. It is just primally strange. I mean, uh-huh. most people, I think to your point, Hayes, when you go on any kind of psychedelics, LSD, mushrooms. Sure. Fingers you crossed a guy starts flying. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> at least, yeah. you know. You don't Maybe really you'll... expect that with an alcoholic. I would think if a guy oh, stepped out of a phone booth and was just like walking away, mm-hmm. then I might look at this bottle and <laughs> like this throw it out. not okay. doing anything. Yeah. I've had that happen. I've had that happen, though. I'll okay. be getting a bottle of my sweet, sweet... Triple X alcohol. <laughs> I was thinking about it in my hands. And, you know, and I'm just like enjoying my day. And a guy will walk along who I think is normal. And then out of his eyeballs come two laser beams and melt something in his hand into like slag. Mm-hmm. And then he just like keeps walking. And I'm like, Whoa, look down at the bottle, throw it aside. Huh. Too much of this. And then I've wasted another bottle. The bottle. So you're making homemade. In your bathtub. Gin uh-huh. in the Where bathtub. you sit. I sit in the bathtub. I also make gin. Are you and swimming in vodka. the gin? Sometimes well, I'll swim in it. I, I'd like to hear about the bottles. Okay. Sure. Sounds like you're going you're, through yeah, a lot of them. Yeah. Trust so me, many. that's another problem. I'm throwing bottles away left well, and right. But what about like a flask, like a metal flask? Oh, I've because got a flask. You're not, because then you could throw it away and it would just kind of clamp around. Yeah, yeah, it would clatter. I got a flask. I've had flasks. I throw those away too. I'll like, I'll just dip them out. I'll just like turn them upside down and empty them out right in front of me. Throw it over my shoulder. Why I throw never, it over your shoulder once you've emptied it out? Yeah, well, just to empty. like, you know, put a little punctuation mark on it. Let them, I am telling God that I understand I've had too much. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Hmm. How interested are you right at this moment in this story? One to ten. Uh, I'm at the three usually, okay. which is good for this show. I think that's great. honestly because I, I I got could, no problems. And, you, and these guys know they're at their 500th episode. After after 25 Thanks. or so, you kind of yeah. lose interest in whatever the guests are saying. So mm-hmm. you know, it's kind of like uh, three's not bad for me. Uh, I, th- I think you might have. I, here's here's what I. Yeah. Do you have any advice? I'd come on the show looking for. That's a not what I was going to say, but I was going to give you my opinion. Okay, I'll take it because I don't like to give advice because you know uh, who Why am not? I to tell you the way you should live? You're an accomplished functioning adult. But here's my opinion. I think all these different guys you're talking about. Mm-hmm. I think it's the same guy. I doubt it. I doubt it. And it's I in fact it. Superman. Sometimes it is Superman. I know that. Sometimes it's sometimes when he comes out and he's in his red and blues uh, pajamas, I'm like, okay, that's right. Superman. No, but see, I here's my opinion. I think Superman is not Superman 24 hours of the day. Mm-hmm. I think Superman probably is, uh, likes to dress up like a normal person, so he you that know. doesn't add up to me. Hmm. Sometimes there are normal little freaky guys wearing their glasses and their suits. They're little reporters, notebooks. They're walking with Lois Lane, and two little laser beams will come out of their eyes, and I'm like, another one. Right? Yeah, DJ just Khaled. Khaled. And it turns something yeah. into slag. Tumbling into slag sometimes. Or I've had other times where, uh, you know, I, one guy was walking along, right? And it just looks normal. Puts his hand up and a safe, which I had not noticed, falling through the air. He just catches it with one finger. Gently puts it on the ground. Guy in his suit, mind you. Is it yeah. the same as the slag guy? Similar. Glasses? They, similar. Similar? Similar ethnicity. Uh, which is white? Okay, Caucasian. so you just look at it, and you're just you're just clocking the ethnicity and moving. Is on. that all? I, I is all like, you see a skin color? I don't. Okay, because I, like I don't. I don't know trail. that I like having we guests were in like the this. Process of trying. To I had a guest I'm, on about three weeks ago who was in blackface. The that guy sounds time. like a oh. terrible person, and I don't appreciate this. A man who only sees skin color. Well, I reject so, that characterization. It, of me. First of all, uses the word fire water. That and, was bad. But we and then only sees skin color. I mean, come on. Well, I don't think in in. 
in trying to identify if somebody is the same person, I think it's fair. One thing you might take into account is their ethnicity or their skin. Color. One thing, sure. One thing, but the only thing. The it main like. thing. The main thing, and that's what I clocked. Like all you see is skin color and walking with Lois Lane, because <laughs> you're because you're checking out babes too. I think the first thing I mentioned is that laser beams come out of his eyes. I don't know if the first thing I mentioned is his ethnicity, which is Caucasian. What's your relationship with Lois Lane? Well, you know, like, you Lois know Lois Lane. Lane, 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 by Lane. Lois Lane and I went to high by school sight? together. Oh, in Smallville. I don't think she's from Smallville. Uh, who is? <laughs> Lana Lang. That's what I went to high school with. All these L ladies. I get them mixed up. Yeah, Lois, because I don't know. You don't know who, I know know who Lana she is, Lang. but you, you know her by sight. Lana Let me Lang. think this through. I know Lana Lang, and through Lana, she's mentioned Lois because she's got and you so, see, so you see a different woman, <laughs> and mm-hmm. you say, that's the woman I went to high school with. Most women are the same to me, and I also look at men only by race. <laughs> Okay, I, don't, I don't know. No. Look, Kenny kicks. What? I, I, I got a problem here. I want to be I, drunk. I, I, I I'm had ready you on, to party. You're, you're, you are drunk. I had on I'm what not, I thought was going to be a sober man. We were going to do a Dax Shepard style like mm-hmm. uh, interview about being sober. And, and instead, you're some drunk guy who's <laughs> racist. I wish. And who, I wish I was racist. And who thinks all women are alike. I wish I was racist and sexist. Because that would mean I was drunk if I was being reduced to a stupid... But unfortunately, I'm still mostly sober. I'm at least 25% sober. I don't know, guys. Would you ever have someone like Kenny here on your show, Hollywood Handbook? I was going to ask if he'd come on. Yeah, I'd love to. Yeah. I'd love to come on. Do you have any credits or... (laughs) <laughs> yeah, have you been in any movies? Uh, let me think. Uh, yeah, I was in Die Hard 4. Die Hard 4? But I was in the DC Universe Die version Hard, of yeah. Die Hard 4. That's where Lex Luthor is uh, John McClane. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah, it yeah. wasn't very popular. Oh, interesting. I don't know what it was like here. Well, look, Kenny, this is... Uh, what? Uh, you uh, wrapping up already? Yeah, I am. Yeah, sorry, but B-Block is coming to an end, so get ready for that spanking. Good thing we cut to the chase. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, it's your fault for cutting to the chase so early. You're right. I take responsibility. Quite honestly, because we could have talked about a million things before we got to your real, real thing, which is being racist and no, thinking all women I don't are, think are alike. My real, thing. my real thing is I'm a sober man. No, nope, you came on to talk about being a racist and a sexist. Hey, yeah. I'm sorry I had you on. All right. Well, a, I'd be, love to be back. Whole energy has changed. I'd love to be back. I. He's drunk. Here's to you. <laughs> Here's to you. You are finally drunk. He's my friend. He's actually a I think really we're maybe pleasant. the best friends that I've ever been. Now that I think about it, I like him so much better. Like yes. Now that uh, your inhibitions have been lowered, what are, Yo. your, what are your real thoughts on the races? Yeah, there are. They tell a lot. Sweet Adeline. <laughs> okay. Yeah, Santa which I will did do. it. He did it, and his blood-soaked stuff is the evidence. Oh, no. <laughs> On Earth. <My>. On Earth. <laughs> and we all have third eyes. But yes. So my... telegraph me Santa tonight. <laughs> oh, will you be back next week? I mean, you'll all be dead, but maybe. Okay. <laughs> all right. Well, thank you for having me. <laughs> It's tough when you're an administrator to get on talk shows. Yeah. But it says here in my notes you wanted to close with a song? (laughs) Sure. Yeah. All right, if you... Could be any song, right? Or do you have preference of a type of song? Mm. Uh, Why don't you pick the genre of song and then I'll... Is this how this usually goes when someone says they want to close with a song? They... (laughs) In the administrator world, yes, we're, that's, we're very that's collaborative. Not, that's not fair. <laughs> that's not fair. I mean, I... Th- who, me? What about, what about, um... Who, me? You. Who, me? Who, me? Where is she? Who, you? Where is she? <laughs> Where is she? <laughs> How about a jingle? <laughs> a Christmas song, you mean? No, like a commercial jingle, like a, oh. for a product, yeah. Sure, yeah. What do you I got? can just pick anything, right? Can yeah, I, sure. Can I help? Is there any way I can help? Yeah, I mean, if you know it, you could chime in, I guess. Maybe I could. I haven't picked one yet. Do you need a... I'm going to do, a... do, do a meat-oriented jingle. Okay. I, I could give you a bass line if you like. Be great. Because I'm a flawless tenor. <laughs> yeah, the people on stage, I'm the one they want singing. <laughs> Would you prefer to start? Yes. <laughs> And do a meat-oriented jingle with infantile imagery. Very specific genre. There's tons. There's tons in that genre. There's one song that springs immediately to mind. <laughs> Arby's, we have the meat. It's not a full song. No. Not a full song. It's not a full song. 
How does it start? Um, Would you like me to do it again? <laughs> maybe you start. I'm, I'm maybe happy you to start. start. Yeah, you happy might. It might be faster for everybody. If you I think start. Scott can help you out too if you're worried about. Okay. Yeah. I want. I want my baby back. Baby back. Baby back. Baby back. I want my baby back. Baby back. I want my baby back. Baby back. Baby back. Baby back. I want my baby back. Baby back. Baby back. I want my baby back. Baby back. Baby back. I want my baby back. Baby back. Baby back. I want my baby back. Baby back. Baby back. I want my baby back. Baby back. Baby back. I want my baby back. Baby back. Baby back. I want my baby back. Baby back. Baby back. Wow, this crowd really livened up. From my perspective, they were full silence. <laughs> All right, that's our show, everyone. <laughs> Thank you very much. Let me introduce <laughs> the inevitable <laughs> Will Hines. <laughs> I'm not downloading this one. <laughs> Thank you for having me.